Obunu gini kama chozunu Ima na chukwa kozi wombo Onyele miu, nyelu yumi What am I, what am I looking for? See my God, he don't bless me, yo He give you me, give me you Obunu kife la chasha so Obunu kife mi chasha me my baby, you know, say you, you go love me. Hey, yeah. I do go, I do go. I go, go, I go, go. When I call your name, Shakara for me. Oh, ro, 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 ma. I will be your Romeo. You go be my Julie. Ro, ro. Roma, I will be your Romeo, you will be my Julia. Oh, give me your love and I'll go run away. Show me your love and I'll go use you play. Carry me, go me, I go follow you away. Follow you, they go. My God, Munagi, me and you. Oh, Kwa Munagi, my baby and me and you. Me and you. All right. Can anyone hear me? People are saying no audio. Uh, so, yes, um, Choma, you are saying no audio. Uh, one Nigeria is saying I'm hearing loud and clear. So, which one is it? Uh, so, indicate to me if you can hear me. Can you hear me, one Nigeria? Oh, all right. Oh, okay, so we're back to the intro. Uh, Choma, maybe you need to... Uh, uh, bring your computer from on mute. So let's start all over again. Uh, good to see you all, by the way. An epic session in uh, in the working, so in, in progress. So, so stay there. Obunu gini kama chozunu Ima na chukwa kozi wombo Onyele miu, nyelu yumi What am I, what am I looking for? See my God, he don't bless me, yo He give you me, give me you Obunu kife la chasha so Obunu kife mi chasha me my baby, you know, say you, you go love me. Hey, yeah. I do go, I do go. I go, go, I go, go. When I call your name, Shakara for me. Oh, Roma, I will be your 
Romeo, you go be my Julie. Ro, 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 my, I will be your Romeo, you go be my Julie. Oh, give me your love and I'll go run away. Show me your love and I'll go use you play. Carry me, go me, I go follow you away. Follow you, they go. Munagi, me and you. Okwa Munagi, my baby and me and you. Me and you. Okwa Munagi, my baby. Obuzi ki fin la chasha so. Obuni ki fin la chasha me. My baby, you know, say you, you go. Love me. I do go, I do go. I could go, I could go When I call your name Shakara for me Oh ro 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 ma I will be your Romeo You go be my Julie Yeah ro 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 ma I will be your Romeo Roma, I will be your Romeo. You will be my Juliet. Ah, Roma, I will be your Romeo. There's two Lagos state governors, past and present, that took crucial action to turn back the clock on a century of coastal decay along the Lagos coastline. Today, and a liability that threatens the entire Victoria land of Lagos has been arrested and is being converted to a great asset of prosperity. You must give credit to my predecessor. He was the one who started the protection of the Babich. What the federal government used to do was to come and pump sand four billion naira every year and the sea will wash it away. And you can imagine how many four billions they have spent years and years until we said, no, there's a better solution to this thing. Before we did that thing, every year that it rained, flood used to reach NTA. NTA used to flood. NTA has not flooded for the last seven years that I have been here. <laughs>
Since I was born, but now I am getting old. I gonna move to I gonna go to And there it is, right there. So there it is, right there. Uh, apologies for the background noise, by the way. Just um, uh, the only way that my wife permits me to do these sessions is for is for me to keep it completely out of the house. So she throws me into the conservatory which is a very busy part of the house. You have the washing machine and all manners of funky things going on just right around me. So if you're hearing a little bit of background noise, it's because I'm thrown out of the house, so I'm able to do this. So so a uh, good day to you. Uh, como estas, senor, e senorita, e senora, and como estas, uh, pequena. So good day to you, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. So So there it is right there. You see, I'm multilingual. Who said that I'm not multilingual? I even speak a little bit of Yoruba, I'll have you know. Karo uh, Ojire, uh, you know, so uh, you know that's your, your inflection. No? We, you, you know, we always are, um, they call it Estran language. Uh, they, you, I'm sure you've heard Estran English. Uh, it's, you, you know, it's inflecting uh, different. Anyway, let me leave all that. Uh, good day to you. Good to be in your company. And how are you? So, so that's just the sum total of it all. Uh, uh, so, good day to you. Uh, good to uh, see uh, one Nigeria trying to pretend as though he understands Spanish. Uh, good day to see you. Uh, good day to you. Good to see you. And how are you? So, always a delight to be in your company. I'm even more delighted when you click on the like button, so you should be doing that as soon as I'm calling it out. You should really be doing that as a matter of routine, but do that as I'm calling it now uh, out now. So click on the like button. So click on that. Subscribe if you haven't done that already. Do that as well. Uh, these are for reasons of YouTube algorithm. You all know why, why people ask you to do those things. So do them for those, uh, for those nice and cozy reasons. Click on like, click on subscribe. And then if you want to come and uh, if you want to come and join me on the screen, click on the hyperlink that says StreamYard. That pops you into a studio space. As soon as I finish delivering the body of the talking point, I let you onto the screen, invite your thoughts. So, so there's nothing complicated about it. Click on like, click on subscribe, click on the hyperlink that says StreamYard if you want to come join me. And then the dollar sign at the bottom of the of the of the comment section. Uh, click on that and uh, use that to donate towards the platform. Uh, we have the anticipation of a, a, a minimum of five super charts in the course of every session. But don't do a derisory amount, or it's better you don't do it at all than to do some sort of derisory amount that's just uh, going to annoy people. So don't be an annoyance. If you want to do it, do it properly. But a minimum of five super charts, the anticipation, like, share, subscribe, click on the hyperlink that says StreamYard, and super chats to the five platforms. So five instructions there 
for you to be going on with. So five instructions there for you to be going on with. Uh, let, let's just kick it off. Just a raft of so many things to discuss and all heavy hitting news. So it, it's just a funny thing. Uh, uh, in, uh, uh, in some instances, we struggle to find you anything that will engage. And in other instances, there's just an abundance of it you have to sieve through to bring what you feel is most pertinent. But this is what I have sieved has been the most pertinent, the most uh, engaging. So let's dry, let's dive rather straight into it, uh, just as soon as I take a sip of water. <clears throat> <clears throat> Pardon me. So, so let's dive straight into it, just as soon as I take a sip of water, which I have just done now. Uh, breaking, APC suspends Ganduje over corruption allegations. So we kick it off with that bombshell headline. So we kick it off... Uh, Oh, oh, all right. Okay. So I just saw a headline there. So we kick it off with that bombshell headline. But really, uh, is this really just for the cameras? Because uh, it is not today, as we say in Nigeria, that, that Ganduje suddenly became a corrupt politician. Ganduje was corrupt long before he was appointed as the APC chairman. So Ganduje was corrupt long before he was appointed as the APC chairman. And he was openly corrupt as well. Uh, let me actually, I should have actually found it. Let, let me look for it now. It was openly uh, corrupt. So le let me just, uh, let me quickly dig up that video of him uh, pocketing dollars. Uh, oh, hold on. Ganduje pocketing dollars. Uh, 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 so, so he was openly corrupt long before he was uh, appointed to the APC chairman. Uh, uh, le let me let me show you this. You all remember this clip, of course. This is Ganduje uh, pocketing dollars in some sort of a uh, bribery scandal. Uh, so let's uh, yeah, let's let's just. Uh, so he was openly corrupt long before uh, he was appointed to the APC chairman. So quite now, what now? What has happened now uh, to make them suddenly uh, suspend him? So there, there is Ganduje right there. You, we've all seen this clip. It came out about four, five, six years ago, with the guy pocketing dollars into his babariga. Uh, so let's just see. Uh, that's the Gandu. I, I don't quite know why they've put a logo over it. Uh, but that's Ganduje. We've all seen, uh -huh. So, so there he is right there. So there he is right there collecting the dollars. Uh, and there he is talking it away. You know. So. So 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 yeah so so there he is uh, taking the dollars so oh, let's go back to the headline yes so APC suspends Ganduje over corruption allegations so now let's now see if there's anything else uh, because of course it's under uh, heavy pressure from the uh, Kaduna State Governor uh, incumbent at the moment so that that uh, that certainly was propelled this the all progressive congress apc has suspended abdullah ganduje the former governor of kano state ganduje um the all progressive congress apc has suspended abdullah ganduje the former governor of kano state ganduje is the current national chairman of the ruling party ganduje's suspension was communicated by hilaru guanzo the legal advisor to Tawankin Tofa, local government area of Kano State. Addressing journalists in Kano State on Monday, Guanzo cited allegations of bribery against Aganduje leveled by the Kano State government as the reason for the suspension. So if we pause it there for a moment, uh, don't, don't, don't make any mistake oh, that uh, it's been suspended at the world level, therefore that means nothing. If you cast your mind back to what happened to uh, Adams or Shaw Mole. This was how it started as well. And this was what happened to, uh, by the way, Donio Kupi as well. When they want to get rid of this chairman, they always suspend them first at the world level and then they're ne never to be seen again. Addressing journalists in Kano State, Guanzo cited allegations of bribery against Ganduje, Ganduje leveled by the Kano State government as the reason for the suspension. We decided to suspend Dr. Ganduje from the party due to the seriousness of the allegations against him, Guanzo stated. According to the World APC leaders, the suspension, the suspension is effective from Monday, the 15th of April, 2024, until Ganduje clears himself from the allegations. So 
I'm not quite sure because nothing really seriously has changed. Uh, so this is this has to be read as a political move, by the way, because nothing really seriously has changed. There is no new thing that has come into the mix to, to have led to this. So Gandhi was always under investigation for corruption in Kano State. He has been for, for months and weeks and years. So, so he was always under investigation, but I think a, some, a member of his family was actually arrested uh, a couple of days ago, but still, is still under investigation on allegation, over allegations of corruption. So there's nothing proven yet. So why has it now been suspended at this particular time? So you have to read politics into that. There is no other reading outside of our... Uh, there is no other reading outside of our politics into that. Uh, uh, so, so, so let's take that from the top again. Uh, the All Progressive Congress APC has suspended Abdullah Ganduje, the former governor of Kano State. Ganduje is the current national chairman of the ruling APC. Ganduje's suspension was communicated by Hilaru Guanzo, the legal advisor of Dawankin Taufa, local government area of Kano State. Addressing journalists in Kano State on Monday, Guanzo cited allegations of bribery against Ganduje leveled by the state government, by the Kano State government as the reason for the suspension. We decided to suspend Dr. Ganduje from the party due to the seriousness of the allegations against him, Guanzo stated. According to the World APC leaders, the suspension is effective from Monday 15th of April. So essentially, as we speak now, as we are having this conversation now, Abdullah Ganduje no longer the, the chairman of the APC, at least is in abeyance, is in animated suspension. According to the word, uh, according to the word APC leaders, the suspension is effective from Monday, is effective from Monday, April the 15th, 2024 until Ganduje cleansed himself from the allegations. Recall that the Kano state government had dragged Ganduje before the Kano High Court on charges bordering on allegations of bribery, diversion, and misappropriation of funds, including the purported acceptance of $415,000 and 1.38 billion naira in bribes. The Kano State Attorney General and Commissioner of Justice, Haruna Dederi, said Ganduje will be arraigned alongside his wife, son, and five others. The accused individuals, as listed in the writ summons, include Abdullahi Umar Ganduje, Hafsat Umar, Abubakar Bawuro, Umar Abdullahi Umar, Jibrila Mohammed. Lamash properties, except so it goes on to list her, uh, but really the main person they are targeting, of course, Abdullahi Ganduje. So there it is, right there. The dollar pocketing governor is about to pocket a, a, a prison term. Um, oh, hold on. Right, so the dollar pocketing governor is about to pocket a prison term, but of course, it's all about politics. It's politics in play here. The incumbent governor wants to embarrass him. There's the under undercurrent of the hand of uh, Kwakwanso in all of these, so a myriad of all manners of going on. Uh, so hopefully, if we have an assembled panel, they will comp uh, they will unravel what is going on there for for us. So uh, 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 um. An assembled and, and that's your hint, by the way, to hop on. So let's have some, some people coming on to take on the conversation. <clears throat> right. So so this is it now. Um this now next. Uh, so uh, what uh, send me the link uh money more. Uh, uh one man APC Exco has dismissed the sack. So 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 we find out. Uh, oh oh, I think somebody just sent me that actually. As uh, somebody as uh, somebody just sent me that. I, I think uh, uh, I think uh, yes. I, I think uh, Baba just sent me that actually. Uh, this is a is a fast moving space. Um, it says Justin Ganduja's word exco debunk ex governor suspension 
blames NMPP members. So I, I'm not quite sure what this means. Um, oh, 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 all right. We, we have to go with the fact that he has been suspended until we have full and firm confirmation that that is not the case. Tinubu government has brought full... Uh, Tinubu government has brought back for a subsidy and is even paying more than uh, Tinubu's government has brought back for a subsidy and is even paying more, but many Nigerians don't know. So L had no fury like a woman's corn, is what they used to say, or L had no fury. Uh, I, I think we have Alexander Gomez. Uh, uh, Alexander, a, a, a rare appearance from you. Good to see you. Hello, how are you? You all right? Uh, I'm good. I'm good. Oh, oh, always better for your company. What was I hear? On? I hear your weather's getting better in, in England. Is it true? It, it is true. We actually went out in t-shirts today. Oh, fantastic! Yeah. Well, I just wanted to call in to say uh, hello. It's been a while. I have about five minutes to spare, and I wanted to call in to say, look, you guys are doing a good job. I like the way you guys are dialoguing. It's not one directional. People have their opinions. Sometimes right, sometimes kind of warped, but people are freely allowed to express themselves. And I like that. So uh, that's why I called. And I also called to acknowledge the wonder that uh, my brother, uh, Yemi Cardoso, has been performing. It is exceptional said. stuff, isn't it? Yeah. You, you know that yeah. the Naira was the best performing uh, currency in april globally fantastic fantastic uh, these people I'm, have I'm, not seen yet nothing yet or they'll see magic from these people magic well well uh let, let the lagos boy do what the lagos boys are best known for uh aria aside we're just very competent people and we're there to prove to the nation that yeah we might be lagos boys we might be showy but we have reasons to be showy so that's just that. Uh, and that, that includes you too, because you're a Lagos boy too. You always say, oh, you're, 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 but you're a Lagos. When you open your mouth, what comes out of your mouth, mouth is Lagos diction. That's what comes out of your well, mouth. Well, so. well there, there it is, uh, from uh, yeah. Oregon, uh, Oregon, Oregon it, inflection. Well, exactly. Uh, exactly. Uh, but, but, but what, what are you making of the going son, uh, uh, your older schoolmate and mine, uh, Godwin M. Philly? He looks as though that guy, Mark 12. No, he was my junior. He was my yes. junior. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, I think it should rot in jail. Like I said on uh, on uh, 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 um, uh, Rudolph's platform yesterday, and you kind of challenged me a little bit. I, I don't know where that was coming no, from. No, but... I know. You know, I've been saying that uh, Amy Philly is the richest black man. I, I thought maybe you heard me say it. Uh, but no, uh, no, 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 yes. no, 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 no. Nobody is as rich as that guy. Yeah, he's no, I, yeah, he's he's stupendously wealthy. Um, albeit uh in a crooked manner but he is stupendously wealthy but a lot of a lot of nigerians who have his wealth are, are not genuine in the way they acquire their wealth so but he should rot in jail i i the way i'm seeing it if this continues the way it is this man's just going to have a major heart problem heart problem and give up because this is way too much they leave him they pick him up they leave him they pick him up Presently, I think do, he's do giving you think, up. Hope. Do you think? Do you think certain people want him dead? Uh, you know, I, I, I'm not sure. I won't be surprised if that guy mysteriously passes on uh, sometime this year because he knows so many secrets. So many people he can implicate. You know, so many people would rather not like, see him like, alive. Yeah. Like, 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 like they say in, in America. I think Buhari pushed him under the bus. I think that uh, I, I don't know how such a brilliant guy uh crooked yes but brilliant whatever whatever way you look at it uh i don't know why he came back to nigeria i, I don't know what he thought was going to happen i thought they i thought I, what i think happened was i think he had a meeting with buhari and and uh and uh the president where the president guaranteed him that nothing was going to happen to him but it was just uh, a false promise he was given because i don't know why he came back if he knew he did so much uh, atrocities as a, as a central bank governor. I don't know why he came back to Nigeria, uh, but I don't do, know. Do, do, I, do, do, do you not think it's arrogance? I, I, I think. No, he, I, no, I think it, no I, he's I not. He's not yeah. No, by his very nature, he's not an arrogant. This is someone I used to know very well. He's not an arrogant person. I think he was just reassured 
that don't worry, you, we give you amnesty, just come back and uh, you, 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 we, we look past you. But I think they lied to him. Uh, he was trying to run away when they caught him, you know. So I, I, I don't know, but 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 um, I think other people should go down too, not only him. I think that attorney general should definitely go down. He's he's as corrupt as uh, as uh, yeah, No, that, that's the that's the one space that uh, that still <laughs> strikes me as curious. Why it's not being picked up? Uh, but then, do you remember? Um, just as the uh, Buari administration were packing their bags to leave. He mm -hmm. quietly married one of Buari's daughters. Yes. So, so yes. I think he's packed his immunity under Buari's name. No, I, th I don't think he's in the country. I don't think he's in the country. I think the people that really stole money under Buhari, I think they fled. I think they left to Buhari because Buhari, Buhari left Nigeria overnight. He just took on a plane and just got out. Got, said, "I don't want to have anything to do. Just, just don't, don't. I don't want to be involved in that. I've done my eight years. Don't call me into any any things that you guys are doing." And he left quietly. But I think when he was leaving on that private jet, he took along with him a lot of people who had stolen money. I, I don't think that man, uh, the attorney general, ex-attorney general, is in Nigeria. They would have picked him up. They would have picked him up. But I don't think he's in Nigeria. That's why. They stole a lot of money. That's why people are going through what they're going through today. So I, 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 I think it's a record stealing. Uh, yes. I, I don't think yeah. anybody has stolen as much as they did. No, they, no, they just stole no. everything. Yeah, someone said, I heard someone said one of the most impressive or one of the most, uh, one of the saddest statements I've ever heard, saying that only in Nigeria do we use money to buy money. And that was MFLA. You use your money to buy money. <laughs> you, you, it's, it's amazing. MFLA, no, no, no. Now, I'm sorry that he, I'm associated with him because we went through the same educational system. But, but this guy, this guy was... He was the pits, man. I, I can't believe that he... I, I've been shouting it from day one. Mefele destroyed Nigeria. Now, the only reason why he did it was because he knew he was working for people who didn't know their left from their right. Bunch of Nikon popes and illiterates. So he was just playing them. He was playing them. I don't I, I don't even think Buhari knew he was as corrupt as, he, as, he, as, as, it is, as it has appeared right now. They knew he was thin a little bit, I'm sure, but I don't know that it was to this extent. He's given back four point five billion dollars, and that's yeah, just the and that, no. That's that's still chicken change to him. Uh, that, yes, and that's that the tip guy, of the yeah, iceberg. Yeah. That's the tip of the iceberg. There's still more coming. You know, every time they pick him up, he'll release another billion. <laughs> His wife disappeared. His brother disappeared. You know, you, so you, you, what, you know another person that like them to go. It would never happen, of course. Is Buhari's wife? She, and she probably stole as much as uh, Amy Philly. No, they, they won't. They won't pick those northerners. You know, they won't pick those northerners. They won't pick them. They won't pick them. But we have two Nigerians. We have the northern part of Nigeria, and when they have the southern part of Nigeria, and nine times out of ten, the the Mutums in the north they have am amnesty. So they they they're not going to. I mean, what what happened to the? Uh, uh, accountant general. Nobody's talking about that accountant general. He stole a lot of money too. You know, no, so well, he's, he's in court though. He's in court. Oh, is he? he is, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, he is. Well, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's that. And, well, man, thank you for having me. I just wanted to call in to say hello to everybody. And uh, we're proud of you. You're doing a good job. You, you're, you're, I must say, your command of the English language excites me sometimes. Okay. So God bless you. All right. Uh, 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 all right, Brian. Th thank you. So, so that's Alexander Gomez, the chief executive officer of the One Man Went to More platform. So that's a a, a, a gene up pat on the back uh, uh, cameo appearance by the CEO. So back to the news. Uh, Tenable government brought back fuel subsidy and is even paying more, but many Nigerians don't know. So I was saying, L had no fury like a like a woman's corn, that's the phrase. Uh, but our uh, L had uh, even greater fury than a woman's corn when a politician is corn. So the little man from our uh, Kaduna state, he's about to blow up the government. Our Tinobu government has brought back for subsidy and is even paying more, but many Nigerians don't know. So it's the mini me from Kaduna state. Our former Kaduna state governor, Nasu Erufai, has declared that President Bola Tinobu has restored the fuel subsidy regime, but many Nigerians don't know. So, <clears throat> so um, you know, I, I've heard a lot of people say these sort of things. Uh, 
uh, I, I've heard a lot of people say this sort of things, but um, you have to look at the numbers sometimes to, to check the... It's a bit like when they were telling us designing Madreke that she stole about uh, $50 billion or something, which is the equivalent of the country's economy uh, over two years. So there was no possibility of that ever being the case. So sometimes you have to look at the numbers. If the government has introduced first subsidy and even pay more, as El Rufa is saying, then where are they getting the money from? There's no budget line for first subsidy in the budget. There's no line for first subsidy in the budget. So we know that it's not being captured by appropriation. Are they dipping into the NMPC? The NMPC has been opened up, and I don't think they have... You, you know, so where is the money coming from to subsidize the first subsidy? And we're seeing the effects of the uh, first subsidy removal in terms of increased uh, monies to the states and infrastructural builds like the Lagos, uh, Lagos Calabas, uh uh, coastal road. So we, we are seeing for subsidy monies being spent towards the country. So where is that money then that they're using to subsidize? So sometimes a lot of these things don't cohere with logic or sense. A lot of it don't cohere with logic or sense. Former Kaduna State Governor Nasir El Rufai has declared that President Bola Tinobu has restored the first subsidy regime, but many Nigerians don't know. According to him, the federal government is currently paying more for fuel subsidy than before, uh, than before it was removed by President Buhari in May 2023. The former Kaduna State Governor made the submission on Monday whilst fielding questions from newsmen in Maiduguri, the Bono State capital, after delivering a lead paper at the occasion of a capacity building workshop for top officials of the Bono State government. He submitted that the restoration of the first subsidy is what made the price of uh, petrol per liter to be at 600 to 750, which could have been much higher than diesel, which is now sold for 1,000 naira, depending on the location. The former governor, however, added that many Nigerians are not aware of the situation. He submitted that, and this is a party member, by the way. So, so they say, keep your friends close, or, but keep your enemies clo even closer. This is a senior member of the APC throwing his party under the bus. He submitted that the restoration of wealth subsidy is what makes the price of petrol per liter to be at about 600 to 750 naira, which could have been much higher than diesel, which is now sold for about uh, above a thousand. The former Kaduna state governor, however, added that many Nigerians are not aware of the situation. He submitted that as a leader, when you implement a policy and you see that it is not working well, you should have the humility to stand back and say, this is not working. I wonder if he exemplified that in his eight years of brutish dictatorship in Kaduna State, when he doubled up Muslim Muslim and told the Christian population of that state to go whistle. El Rufai said, as a good uh El Rufai said, a good leader must be decisive and have the ability to make good decisions, trustworthy, empower others, uh irrespective of political, religious, or ethnic... Con this is El Rufai speaking, by the way. It says to empower people irrespective of political, religious, or ethnic considerations. The biggest uh, religious bigots... Do you remember that clip that made the round that it told us that uh, the Muslims were out to dominate Nigeria and there is uh, because they are benevolent people and there is nothing that Christians can do about it? That's one of the things that uh, led to him not being confirmed by the Senate. El Rufai, El Rufai said, a good leader must be decisive and have the ability to make good decisions, trustworthy, empower others irrespective of political, religious, or ethnic considerations, have clear communication skills, and resilient, uh, and resilient in all ramifications. So have, um, uh, so that have clear communication skills is an asabic side swipe at Tinobu, who, who notori notoriously speaks in a very sluggish, so, some, somewhat, uh, 
uh, you know, it's so much retarded way. Tinubu speaks like a retard, doesn't he, really? So that that's that's an asabic uh, aside towards uh, the, the Tinubu's uh, vocalization. Uh, have clear communication skills and resilient in all ramifications. Though it is too early to judge the present administration, it's just been here, it's just been there for only nine months, and you know leadership is work in progress. You start something, as I said in my speech, you start a policy because you are absolutely sure it's the right policy, but in the course of implementation, if you see bottlenecks, you modify because the key word in leadership, in my view, is not ideology or anything. It is pragmatism. You should always be pragmatic. You are not God. Only God is perfect. So as a leader, when you make a policy and you start implementing and it doesn't seem to be working well, you should have the humility to stand back and say this is not working well. I wonder, as I said, if he exemplified that in his eight years in Cardinal State. And we're not seeing the super chat streaming, by the way. We saw Ayo uh, do his bit. So I want that comment section lighting up in multicolors, if that's possible, super chat. Uh, for example, if you appoint a person to a position and it's not performing to expectation, you should have the humility to say, look, I need a better person to do the job perfectly. I, I thought he said no perfection except from God. Leadership is a continuous thing. And in terms and in a term of four years, you can't assess a government of nine months. But as I also said earlier during my presentation, the removal of first subsidy by the present administration is another good policy by President Tinobu. I have always supported withdrawal of first subsidy. But as you can see, in the course of implementation, so this is where he, he, he sticks the knife in. So, but as you can see, in the course of implementation, the government has now realized that the subsidy has to be back because right now we are paying a lot. Uh, because right now we are paying a lot of money, amounting to trillions of naira for subsidy, even more than before, because the impact has been seen and the packages of the support. Uh, that will reduce the impact have not been effective in reducing the impact. And so the federal government has to backpedal by subsidizing petrol. So there is a refi right there then telling us that the subsidy is telling us not only as if the only thing is where is that where who, who, where is the subsidy coming from? So it's not it's not captured in the budget as I said. So really it points then to the NMPC to say are they subsidizing? But the thing is the NMPC has not been formulated into a limited liability company. So it doesn't have that back passage government entry anymore because it's not accountable to shareholders. So where is that money that is being used for this subsidy that uh, mini me from Kaduna State is talking about? Where is it coming from? Many people don't know this. If they want to know whether there is full subsidy or not, they should compare their prices of petrol and diesel per liter. This is because under normal circumstances, petrol is supposed to be more expensive than diesel. As it is, diesel is above a thousand naira, whilst petrol stood at about 600 per liter. So we are still subsidizing uh, for fuel in Nigeria. So there is some veracity to that, uh, to that logic. Uh, because of course there is not there's not sharp enough a movement in the price of petrol. There's been consistency, which is to tell you that it's been supported in some form. But, but is it to the degree that um, that El Rufa is talking about? That's the wider question. PDP crisis. Northern groups reject article and does VK as party leader. So you know that the uh, PDP are going through there. Uh, and by the way, let me send. The, uh, ho hold on. Yeah, good to see you, Kenneth. Uh, let, let me let me send the link to the to the studio. Uh, we, we we need the studio populated so so the conversation can take place. Uh, and we need the super chats coming in as well. Uh, so 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 now, um, some of you may or may not know that the uh, PDP uh, they are going through their uh, convention at the moment. They are having whatever NEC meeting to determine then who's going to be the chairman of that party. So there is a, there are two camps within the PDP, as you know. There is the wicked camp, 
and then there is the Atiku Abubakar camp. So now, uh, however, whichever direction that party follows, whoever wins through between the Wiki camp and the Atiku Abubakar uh, actually, let me switch on the camera to explain this. Uh, <clears throat> so, so now, there are two camps within the PDP. I think we all know that. There's the Wiki camp and there's the Atiku Abubakar camp. The, the PDP are now going through a process to elect a chairman. We all know that as well. So the chairman can either come from the sway of the Atiku Abubakar space or they can come from the gush of the uh, uh, Yemsen Wiki space. So is it that that, that that lilt or this tilt? So is a lilt or tilt? So whichever direction it tilts to, it tells you then the sort of politics that uh, PDP are going to pay, play going forward. If if the WK camp, if um if the Atiku Abubakar if the Atiku Abubaka camp, if they get hold of the T PDP chairmanship, then that is to tell you then that the PDP are going to launch a full onslaught on the on the uh 2027 election. That is to tell you that they're going to go all out for, for the for the 2027 election. That is if the Atiku Abubaka camp. If they if they if they if they get the chairmanship position are uh, going their way, if the chairmanship position goes to the direction of the of the Yemsen Wiki camp, then that is to tell you then that the PDP are playing a long game because Wiki is not going to campaign against uh, Tinobu in 2027. But uh, once Tinobu completes his administration or, or his eight years, or better off. So they can then launch full throttle uh, against 2031. So whoever gets to pick the chairman, if Atiku picks the chairman, they are launching against uh, 2027. Uh, and if Wiki picks the chairman, then they are playing the long game towards 2031. So that's my reading of uh, uh, of that particular uh, going on. But, but let me give you the readout. Uh, Northern groups rejects Atiku and Dossi's BK as party leader. So, so there it is. As the crisis over who controls the soul of the People's Democratic Party PDP rages on, a Northern group has rejected the overtures of the 2023 presidential candidate of the party, Alhaji Atiku Abubakar, and rooted for the leadership of the Minister of the Federal Capital uh, Territory, FCT, Yemsen Wiki, just three days to the crucial meeting of the National Executive Council, NEC, of the party, Arewa PDP Transparency Group said the recent media war over who the national leader of the major opposition party uh, to champion the affairs of the PDP in Thursday's NEC meeting was unnecessary since Wiki has the capacity to turn the fortune of the, of the party around for good. A statement by Honorable Haruna Baturi, National Chairman of Arewa PDP Transparency Group on Monday, said, leadership means care, concern, and responsibility. It is not self-serving, not periodic or spontaneous. So self-serving, periodic or spontaneous. So you, those are all traditional digs at Atiku Abubakar, who disappears in the fado years, only, only to appear in the, in the time of harvest. So that is a harvest politician, a fair weather politician. Uh, a statement by uh, Honorable Haruna Baturi, National Chairman of Arewa PDP Transparency Group, on um, Monday said, leadership means care, concern, and responsibility. It is not self-serving, not periodic, and not spontaneous. The PDP is the biggest opposition party in Africa. Uh, the, BDP, the PDP, as the biggest opposition party in Africa, has suffered a lot of leadership crises, which resulted in its loss of power at the national level from 2015 till date. These crises uh, are largely self-inflicted due to insensitivity lack of political vision, lack of care, co concern, and respect for the vision of the founding fathers of the party, and for the yearning and aspirations of the Nigerian citizenry. Charity, they say, begins at home. 
uh, a party whose leadership cannot take care of its own and showing good leadership definitely cannot take care of Nigeria or offer good leadership. We wish to particularly bring to the attention of the leadership of the party that the fears by, the, by some PDP leaders about His Excellency uh, Chief Barrister E. N. Wicke's appointment in the APC government is born out of jealousy. Uh, we wish to particularly bring to the attention of the leadership of the party that the fears by some PDP leaders about His Excellency Yemsin Wicke's appointment in an APC government is born out of jealous, jealousy, hate, bitterness, bias, and their blindness to political reality that the failure by the PDP to ensure, ensure power, power rotation to the South led to its loss of power at the center. If such fears are genuine as the claim, why was the PDP still able to win governorship and other elections in states across the country? So, 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 so there it is right there. Uh, uh, so whoever wins that chairmanship slot uh, gets to control that party. Um, let me bring you this. This one has nothing to do with politics, but this one is uh is being talked about all over social media. So it's the narrative of this uh, woman who went on the pulpit to give testimony of her educational achievements and then was summarily embarrassed by the pastor to the point that she, she had to bring out her certificate to prove that she's who she claims to be. I was shattered and disgraced woman accused of giving false testimony by Pastor Eneche at Dumina's church opens up. So so uh, a lot of you are following that storyline. So we'll bring it only as the headline. We won't necessarily do the readout, but if anybody wants to talk about that, then we'll open it up a bit more. Uh, Eru 5, federal government now pay more for fuel subsidy, but many Nigerians don't know. I think we've already done that. Uh, let, so, so uh, still a follow-on from that um, lady at the church, Abuja Mega Church bows to public pressure, apologizes to woman accused of false testimony. So the, the pastor has been forced to take a knee. The Dunamis International Gospel Center, Abuja, the Dunamis uh, International Gospel Center, Abuja, has apologized to a female worshiper, Veronica Anyim, who was on Sunday publicly accused of giving false testimony in church. A video that went, if anybody has that video, by the way, send it to me so we can play it. I think uh, there might well be conversations around this to be had. Uh, a video that went viral on Sunday showed the church, the church's senior pastor, Paul Enenche, uh, questioning the credibility of the woman's testimony at his church in Abuja. The woman, who claims to have graduated with a BSc in law from the National Open University of Nigeria, was interrupted by Eneche, who accused her of lying. He told her she didn't sound like a law graduate, uh, going by how she spoke. He also told her that there is nothing like BSc in law and demanded that she leave the pulpit. Some Nigerians, therefore, called the pastor to apologize to the woman after it was discovered that her testimony was genuine. In a statement on Monday signed by the personal assistant to the pastor, Sylvester Edo, the church explained that the intent of the encounter was not to embarrass the lady. The statement reads, whilst we remain resolute in our passion for excellence, uh, whilst we remain resolute in our passion for excellence, in tolerance of mediocrity and falsehood, we wish to reiterate the fact that no harm or hurt was ever intended by the senior pastor against Miss Ayem Veronica. The senior pastor feels deeply concerned and had already reached out to her. As a commission, we regret every inconvenience, hurt, and embarrassment this unfortunate scenario has caused Miss Veronica. Uh, we, remain we remain committed to our physical welfare as well as her spiritual growth, and God bless us all. So that physical welfare and spiritual growth uh, probably means that she's been uh, she's been pumped with some money. Uh, clarifying what transpired on Sunday, the statement explained that during IM's testimony at the Glory Dome on April the 14th, 2024, 
concerns arose regarding her language, her language proficiency and the clarity of our academic credentials. Uh, 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 to be fair, should we want to balance to say that um, if somebody comes, because in Nigeria, the, the, the conferred degree for law is LLB, you know, not BSC, but LLB. And uh, and there should be, uh, maybe, maybe not proficiency, but certainly you have to have a level of competence in the English language as a law graduate. So if those two spaces are not manifesting, was the pastor right to call her out uh, 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 for, for th that she's making it up? She couldn't really speak English and she didn't even know what certificate she has saying she has a BSc in law. Uh, clarifying what transpired on Sunday, the statement explains that during IM's testimony at the Glory Dome on April the 14th, 2024, Concerns arose regarding her language proficiency and the clarity of her academic credentials. Edo, Edo said her speech suggested a level of English proficiency below what might be expected of a university graduate, particularly with a law degree. He added that the discrepancies also emerged regarding the nature and duration of her academic pursuits raising doubts about the legitimacy of her qualifications. The statement emphasized that the senior pastor's actions stemmed from a commitment to upholding standards of excellence and integrity within the church. The statement reads, a scenario was created on Sunday, the 14th April, uh, uh, on Sunday, April the 14th, 2024, at the Glory Dome, the global headquarters of Dunamis International Gospel Center, where Miss Veronica came out to testify of how God helped her graduate from university, thus making her the first person to attain that feat. That feat. That's F E A T O. Uh, before you start uh, questioning my credentials as well in her family. These were the immediate triggers uh, from this said scenario. First, listening to the testifier's expressions as it borders on basic spoken English conveys the impression that the minimum standard uh, standard expectation of a graduate, especially a graduate of law, was not met. Second, stating that she studied law for 10 years begged the question of what her degree actually was. Third, she was unable to state exactly what the correct degree for law, which is LLB. Rather, she, she said it was a BSc in law which is largely unknown as a law degree in Nigeria and possibly globally. This prompted the senior pastor, doctor, uh, um, where, is he a PhD doctor or a conferred uh, doctorate, an honorary doctorate, uh, because we need to be questioning him too. This prompted the senior pastor, Dr. Paul Eneche, to stop the testimony immediately as a product of a lie. However, relief came when it was later confirmed that she actually graduated from a university. It must be pointed out clearly here that embarrassing the testifier publicly with the attendant public frenzy was never intended. Uh, whatever happened was under the spur of the moment. According to the statement, the action of the senior pastor was rather based on his and the church's aversion to seeming mediocrity and an appearance of untruth. So, so they still that 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 that's that's what they call a qualified apology. Sorry, but not really. Is that that's what that sounds like? So, sorry, but not really. But that's what that sounds like. So, let me play you this now. This one now is a clap back to our southeastern brethren. Uh, if this was happening in a southeastern dominated space, of course, the whole of the internet would have blown up. Ongoing removal of illegal properties built on the drainage channel. A long system one midstream, Odo, uh, uh, Odo, Ayilaro, Ojota, Ogudu, Rich. So these are these are still people's properties being demolished, but thankfully it's not the southeasterner. So, so so this does uh, so this just goes quietly as just an administrative stuff. So these are people's properties being destroyed. Imagine if this belonged to Uche now, Emeka, 
the whole of the internet would have blown up. So so there it is right there. It's not it's not it's nothing personal, it's just business. At 33.2% under Tenubu, Nigeria's inflation hits highest rate since 1996. So this is Tenubu squeezing the life out of uh, every person within that country. I'll give you only about three paragraphs of this. Um, for the 10th consecutive time since President Bola Tenubu assumed office in May 2023, Nigeria's headline inflation wrote, rose to 33.2 uh, in percent in March 2024. Additional findings show that the inflation rate is the highest the country has recorded since March 1996. Tinubu, upon his assumption into office, met the inflation rate at 22.41. Uh, the new figures show that the president's policies have increased the rate by 10.79% within his first 10 months in office. The last time Nigeria's inflation rate uh, the last time Nigeria's inflation rate dropped was in December 2022 when the uh, when the figure fell to 21.47%, etc., etc. Et uh, according to the National Bureau of Statistics, the March inflation rate increased by 1.5% when compared to the 31.70 percent reported by the bureau in the preceding month february uh, 2024 the mbs data showed that the rising inflation rate was majorly driven by food and non-alcoholic beverages the cost of housing water electricity gas and other fuel as well as the prices of clothes and transportation so all of this list now they exactly point in the direction of tenable's policy so entirely this inflation is as a result of tenable's policies the increase is coming despite several palliative measures and interventions by the president to alleviate the prices of goods and transport after the removal of subsidy in May 2023, MBS said the urban inflation rate was 35.18%, which was 12.11% points higher compared to the 23.007% recorded in March 2023. So um, within, within a chasm of, um, of 12 months, inflation actually went up by 12, a whopping 12.11% within 12 months. So calendar to calendar, 12 months. Uh, it's unbelievable that that guy, uh, by the time the by the time the good time that is promising comes, the whole of the country would have died off. Uh, there'll be nobody left alive to enjoy whatever good life is promising them. Uh, let's go on from there. Uh, so we go this, I, I'm not going to play you this clip because I think it may well have copyright music, but this is by your Ononuga. Dangote refinery rolls diesel by road and sea from its complex in Lekki, Lagos. It is a new dawn for our country, an importer for decades of refined products. So I think uh, uh, by the by, by the third quarter, certainly of this year, we would have consigned that language of importation of fuel uh, uh, to the annals of history. So so uh, to the annals of history, uh, just a couple more, and then uh, and then we. I, I think the readers have been excessively long today. U.S.-based Nigerian uh, Chidoze, shot by wife, dies after 18 days in coma. So this is a story making the headlines uh, in the in the social media space. That's just where I don't know the backdrop to it. I don't know anything about it, but it, it was all over social media. So many people sent it in. So let's just uh, let's have a gander. Let's just uh, let's peek through the through the curtains to see what's going on here. U.S.-based Nigerian Chidoze, shot by wife, dies after 18... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm reading this so flippantly. This is a guy who's lost his life. Uh, U.S.-based Nigerian Chidoze, shot by wife, dies after 18 days in coma. So look at him. He looks like a bodybuilder sort of... Uh, uh, a 26-year-old Nigerian man, a 26-year-old Nigerian man, Michael Chidoze, uh, has died of spinal uh, injury complications after his wife shot him four times during an argument inside their their Houston residence, Texas, United States. 
Chido says wife, uh, Kiara Shavoye. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Uh, uh, what does she look like? She she doesn't look African. She looks she looks um she looks Southeast Asian. She doesn't even look Latino. Uh, but the name certainly is uh Kia is K E A double I double R A. And then the last name Shavoye. S H A. So it sounds somewhat Eastern European, but she doesn't look anything at all Eastern European. But uh, what, 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 whatever it is, she's a killer. Uh, Tito says wife. Uh, whatever her name is, uh, two years older, shot him in the middle of an argument on March the twenty first in front of their two children, claiming she acted in self defense. He was rushed to hospital after the police found him with gunshot gunshot wounds and his wife in a panic holding their two kids aged three and so how do you even explain in the future how their father died is just the thing how do you explain to your children how their father died according to correspondence chido they uh, lingered uh, 18 days in uh, on life support in hospital before dying of spinal injury complications. Consequently, whatever her name is, has been charged with aggravated assault, but it has not been upgraded to murder since his death. Uh, she claims to have shot Chi Doze in self-defense as she feared for her life during an argument uh, when he followed her into their bedroom. The argument began elsewhere in the house before she went to the bedroom, where she picked up a pistol and shot him, the police said. However, the report did not reveal whether the Nigerian national, who was a bodybuilder, ha had physically assaulted his wife for her to resort to shooting him for self-defense. Chidoze was shot once in the arm, once in the chest, and twice in his torso, and left to die uh, on, the, on the bedroom floor. Police found the wife with the children in a nearby parking lot. After she didn't even call the police, by the way. So, so she 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 did she did it. You know, in law. You you know you know in law. Uh, th there are two things that has to be established before a conviction can be made in law. Uh, there is something called actus reus, that is the criminal act, uh, and then there's something called mens reus which is a criminal intent. So for a conviction to take place in law, those two things have to be established, are uh, actus reus and mens reus. So if she if she's scuttled from the scene of the crime without calling the police, if she acted in self-defense, once the, once the guy was incapacitated, she would have been remorseful, panic-stricken, bewildered, and should have called 999, especially as it is the, the father of her children that is on the floor bleeding, bleeding his life away. But she escaped to the parking lot itself uh, instead. So that is to tell you that there was intent. It was premeditated, which makes it murder, not self-defense or manslaughter. So, so that's just how that goes. Uh, at least that's my reading of it. Uh, uh, let's move on. Uh, just a couple more. I'll probably just give you them as headlines. Federal government to compel uh, federal government to compel oil companies to sell oil to local refineries in USD or Naira. So what's the compulsion there? Are those not the two options anyway? The federal government, through the Nigeria Upstream Petrol Regulatory, whatever, has introduced new regulations requiring its oil producers to sell crude to local refineries in a move to reduce the country's dependency on imported refined products. The new regulation mandates that all, all oil companies in Nigeria must supply crude to domestic refineries that are unable to procure, procure it locally. Only after filling these domestic supply commitments are producers permitted to export crude. The NUPRC will serve as a middleman between local refiners and producers when agreements on crude supply cannot be finalized, helping to arrange a sales uh, purchase agreement based on a willing buyer. Will uh, it says, uh, it says uh, helping to arrange a sales 
purchase agreement based on a willing buyer, willing seller model. So if you are compelling them by law to sell it to the local refineries, it's certainly not a willing seller. According to the regulations, payment for crude to domestic refiners can be made in dollars, naira, or a combination of the both. The regulators, the regulators plans to implement the domestic crude oil supply obligation initiative in the second half of this year. The specific quantity of crude each refinery is required to procure has not yet been de determined. Uh, in January, the XYZ mandated all, all uh, mandated, mandated all producers in the country to allocate around 480,000 barrels per day to local refiner refineries with 650,000 barrel capacity uh, uh, than Gote receiving the bulk uh, share of it. So, 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 so there it is. Uh, they're, st they're trying to stabilize that uh, market space. Uh, so I think that's sufficient enough. So that's sufficient enough. Uh, so that's sufficient enough. I, I, I think, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, let me send the link again, uh, see if we can get uh, people to come into the studio to have conversations. Otherwise, we might uh, have an early night. Uh, so so uh, otherwise, we might have an early night. Let's play the uh, the K-Guide music, and then hopefully by then, uh, the, the, the studio would have populated. Uh, hopefully by then, the studio would have populated first the K-Guide. <laughs> And there it says right there, Akuko Oromeiko, the cockroaches of the heavens don't crow yet. Iku Koni Riwa Gbeche, may death have nothing to do with us. So, amen to that on behalf of myself and you, my friend. So, amen to that on behalf of myself and you, my, my, my friends. Uh, joining us, uh, Ekene from, uh, uh, I, I wonder if he even if he lives in Alaba, I'll ask him in a moment. Uh, Adale Koko, of course, ever trusted your favorite voice and mine. And uh, one for the ladies, uh, Prince Daddy. So, so that's the assembled so far. Anybody that was to hop on, hop on. Uh, uh, so, so we kick it off and we start off with uh, uh, Kenne, if it's ready to go. Uh, Kenne, how far? Oh, man. Okay, I got, I got, I, it don't reach small, though. Our fight don't finish. Good to have one. Eh? We, we don't even see your brake light anymore. You don't work out. Uh? Just that uh, sometimes even uh, yeah. most, of, yeah, breaking up most of the time I tend to I tend to occupy this area. So most of the time I don't have strength to talk. Yeah, I, it's it's the timing. Yeah, yeah, it's the timing, isn't it? 
I, I think yeah, the timing is one of the things that uh, we are contending with at the moment. Yes. So, how about the yeah, which is able for your side? Yeah, everything okay, one man. We appreciate more, small. I think that happened. Yeah, no. I know. I, I, I want to ask yourself now. I love how you they leave or where, where they leave for Lagos. Nobody say we won't come knock your door. You know, say, uh, what uh, we, we, nah, now we, they leave, God, God. Oh, okay. So, so you don't, so you just from home roll into the shop quickly, and then that's how do you even get to yeah. know Lagos if you don't? Have you ever been to Ikeja? Yes, I've been to Ikeja now many times. So, I'm going to carry me on Lagos now. That's it. Okay, so it's strictly business. Oh, 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 all right, so what are you looking at in the news? What, what's got your attention? What, what are people talking about where you are? Well, nothing much. Just um, this um, Gandhi gesture stuff. But I know that that news is not too more. It's not a... Uh, I don't rely on that news because I know that uh, the influence of Tinubu will still play out there and uh, and they are not going to remove him. They are so, already debunking it anyway. I don't... Yeah, I know that's, I know that that's what it should be. And that's what it's going to be. Uh, so, Gandola, I probably don't know he's a criminal, but the party he is also is a party that he... Uh, if you are ready to play along with them, your sins will be forgiven. So that is it. According to Shomole. Yeah, according to Shomole. And what we know is uh, many things has happened now. Many, many people. If I remember my brother entered the council, his debt. And I'm come. So what else? That's an NPC for you. Come and let your sins be forgiven. That's what they do. So, and uh, this Elufai stuff, what Elufai is trying to expose is what we already know, except people that don't want to know it, or who don't want to know what is happening in Nigeria. Yeah, so what Elufai said is what we already know. We know that the government is paying subsidy. Some people say they are, they don't want to, well, uh, just like a one man, you don't want to call it subsidy, you call it some sort of support. Or, okay, you call it intervention. Intervention, but uh, I don't know what's the meaning of intervention. But, 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 uh, what, why is El Rufai saying it? I, I don't know if there is subsidy or not, or because uh, the government has not told us that there is subsidy. But why is El Rufai saying it is the question. He's a senior member of the APC. So is it a declaration of war on the party on Tinubu? Is this what we're saying? Uh, that's what it is. That's what it is. It's a declaration of war. You can just call it. Yeah. Let, let me tell you. Uh, El Rufai is the reason why Tinubu is the president of Nigeria. Forget this Gandhija stuff. Gandhija, nobody listened to him. He's a criminal. Even though you know the role he played starting from the time of uh, that a new currency, how he took Buhari to court, and uh, how they stood together to support this dollar uh, you know. So, and at the end of the day, you disgrace, you disgrace him in the house concerning giving him a minister. That so that's the issue. I don't expect him to be happy. You understand? And they, yeah, but, but nothing obliges Tinubu to make him a minister. You, you know? Yeah, nothing. Nothing. But, uh, you know, a lot of people that he made a minister, what obliged him to do that? Just like Matawale and uh, what are their, what are their capacity? What obliged him to, for them, for him to appoint those ones? Uh, so, those things that oblige them, I, you know what, it, that's political settlement. I think if you're talking about the political settlement, Erufai should be the first person to be settled in Tunibu's governance. So even though he couldn't deliver his state to Balame Tunibu, because a lot of people from Kaduna State lost confidence in him. And uh, he didn't make a good governor. 
in the United States. But today, the reason why he's fighting back is uh, the betrayal that APC has done to him by not giving him a minister. And I think he's out there to contest in 2027 against Bola Ahmed Tinubu. And he's now playing his game, trying to say things. I, I had I had um Dili Faru Timi on some space talking about um how how El Rufa is reaching out to Peter Obi. Yeah, that discussion is ongoing for me, but I don't can, think can, it will work can, out. Can you can you speak up a bit? Your voice is a bit low, but carry on. Yeah, that discussion is ongoing, but I don't think it's going to work out. That's how I that's what I know. So but they really want it to work, but it's not even the real for letting me said in that discussion that uh, if such thing happens, he's not going to support it. So uh OB, I don't know. And I don't think he's yeah, going but, to but why to why would Dele Faro to me not support it? Um for 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 Peter B to stand any chance, he needs a northern running mate. And not only does he need it, we saw what the disaster with uh that year bed. So he needs a strong big name as well. And you don't get any stronger or bigger than El Rufai. So and they should be they should be, be begging him rather than <laughs> Papa would you not support it. Uh, it's just ridiculous, isn't it? It's the character of El Rufai. A lot of people don't like don't like his character. Yeah, and uh, what El Rufai would do with Obi is just to use will be influenced to sell himself to the south because he knows that he cannot win an election in the south you understand so he, the only thing that and uh, for me i don't see any need for that alliance edify himself even in cardinal state the people of cardinal didn't vote even the candidates his candidate then the presidential election what was he able to offer pdp won the state but he still did well in cardinal state even without his support. So, what is he bringing in the table? I don't know. I don't see. I don't see much. I don't see much that he's going to bring in the table. To, he's in the bringing table. a big, a big Fulani name to the table. Well, I don't think so. A lot of uh, people has lost confidence in him. You know who he is. You you know so it, it's I'm not it, it's not as though it's it's not as though Peter Obi has a white choice to pick from. You know, he doesn't have a white choice because all all of the big names in uh in 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 the north they are already spoken for. Uh, you know, uh, he's not going to go to Kwakwan, so he's going to tell him to get lost. Ganduje is not an option. Um, he's not going to go to Zolom. Zolom Zolom will not even entertain. Oh, who, who, it's, it's going to end up again with, with another dirty Ahmed. If if he if he cannot hold his nose and and, and swallow it uh, with somebody like a uh, he wants a clean cut northerner. Is that is there such a thing? Let's see how it goes. One man, election is still very far. But uh, for me, what he's doing now is just uh, a thank you tour and some visit and uh, many things that he's doing. So and that's how I see it. Until he comes out to say this is what I'm going to going to do. But well, he has made it clear that he's not going to drown with the Labour Party and that. Who is talking? No, no, so no. That was, that, that was Folly B coming in. Uh okay. So another 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 thing is that um, the dollar that is reducing, but it's not affecting in the price of goods and services in Nigeria today. Yes. So, is the I don't know. Uh, do you not do you not understand why? For me, I understand. To okay, why? Understand. why? Why? Why do you think that is? What well, the dollar is re reducing quite rapidly, but it's not affecting the prices of goods, uh, or, or it's not prices in the market. Why do you think that is? Well, I think, uh, like um, for me. The cost of uh, production is still high. The interest rate is still high. So you factor all in all those stuff. No, no, they've always been oh, high yeah. anyway. What, what's happened? What's happening is, even though the the naira is um is is gaining strength quite rapidly, uh, the market is still on the price of the dollar that is high. 
So, so the market needs to get rid of that or well, whatever it has on that high dollar uh, uh, purchase before it pivots into the lower dollar. So it, would, it is it is is old expensive stock essentially uh, in in your language, uh, old expensive stock. That yeah. Well, uh, for, uh, it's, that one is still there, but I don't think uh, things will easily come down like that because oh, we already have a. Uh, we already have a high cost of living in today in Nigeria. So to just like you, you don't expect me to reduce my my profit to please you. When I know that uh, a cup of gare is still what it is, a bag of rice is still what it is. So I cannot displease you and please myself because it's still what it is by the, the, the purchasing power of the people still very low so uh, we have not tackled the major issue that we need to tackle to get things done you see uh, you see our our inflation rate today is about a 3.20 percent still very high so what's the effect uh, those things have not come in place the, the price of commodity is not really uh, the physical police the physical side of our policy is not doing well it's just uh, some monetary uh, policies that uh, Cardoso is doing. So, but the physical side of it, nobody is talking about it. Nobody is discussing about it. No policy to back it up. So, you, you know, you, you, know you, 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 you don't just rush to policy, you know, uh, be, because um, the, the way I see it is that uh, Cardoso is essentially a trailblazer. So he's doing all this raft of policies uh, to to rescue and steady and stabilize the naira, and that has to play to some to some level of consistency before policy backs it up. So policy cannot be backing it up every single step because policy solidifies whatever he's doing. So if it plays out for a period of time, then policy comes in to show it up at the back end. Well, let's see how it goes, but uh, it's still what it is. You know, uh, you think uh, those things don't count? The increase in electricity, electricity tariff, the increase in interest rates. You think those things doesn't count? It counts no, I, a I, lot. I, I know they do count, and that's why policies. Uh, you are saying the the fiscal policies are uh, they are not catching up with the monetary. Yeah. Uh, yes. So all of those things, uh, they have to play out before 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 policy can come in. You, you know, yeah, so what, it, it just, yeah, what, what they are doing is it, they are unbundling all those old uh, uh, blocks in, in the economist way. So, so they are unbundling it, they are unshackling yeah. it, you know. Yeah, it's just like, a, just like a, a banking sector, maybe a bank paying a, like a two million in a, for electricity in a month, few months ago, today they have to be paying like six to it's about three percent or three hundred percent increase. They have to be paying about uh, six million or or eight million in electricity. Uh, you, you, you know, if 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 they are paying that, but then there's an improvement in electricity supply. It is still it's it still ends up as a savings. Yeah, it it has to, but the issue is that we are paying that for darkness, no improve electricity. Is it not pay as you go? It, yeah, no, it's prepaid meter, isn't it? So you're not paying for darkness. You are only there is you can't use every month because you still have to whether prepared or not, you still have to buy gas to support your electricity to power your generator. At the end of the month, you understand. So when you count it, if you only pay for that electricity and not buy any gas, that would have been a, a better, a better stuff. But you will still have to factor in the price of gas, pay that high amount of electricity. At the end of the month, you have to make a, you have to balance your expenses. But the price of diesel has come down. Yeah, even come you down can to which it... amount? One thousand, uh, is it uh, about one thousand three hundred or so? You know, it's, so about it's still, 1, it's still, it's yes. still not. It's still what, what 
it should be. It's still yeah, very high. It, it, co it continues to whether, come whether, down. Yeah, but it, it insulates whatever tariff is being removed, doesn't it? What matters is that. What matters is that. So I'm going to factor in the price in the in terms of production or whatever service you are rendering in Nigeria today. You have to factor in the price of diesel, no matter the amount. You understand. So we are still you are paying high for darkness. You understand? You're not, you're not paying so high is, for darkness now. How can you be paying high for darkness in a prepaid system? Yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. If you have that service, if you have that service, then at the end of the month, you didn't buy any petrol or any gas. That's more better. You understand? So, but today, at the end of the month, you have to calculate the price, the amount you have spent on gas and the, the increase in electric tariff. So something you are paying for two million at the end of the month, you spend like uh, six or eight million naira. It's uh, more than three poor of what you used to pay. So, you uh, no, no, I'm, 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 not sure. no, 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 I'm not sure how you got to those figures. So, because um, the tariff that they are removing, the subsidy they are removing is run about 25 percent. So, how does that increase your? output your outlay by by 300 percent just check it now is it about 60 something naira to uh 300 and something naira or 200 and something 200 and something naira check it now it's almost 300 percent increase so i'm not there uh, that's that's the that's what it is but oh, the problem oh. is that yeah. you don't see the light so any production you are this this uh this thing affect production so much the interest rate affect production so much. The increase in electric tariff affect production so much. Even I was surprised that uh, I went to buy a, a bottle of malt. They I, something that I was buying uh, 500 naira a um, few weeks ago. They are telling me seven. I begin to shout at the woman. How can you be telling me that a bottle of uh, malt is uh, 700 naira? What we used to we are managing the 500 naira. We are now adding a 200 naira. The man said that is a new price. So why? Why should it be so? So he was even trying to tell me that the, the cost of production is even higher today than what it used to be. I just have to. I just have to leave it. I didn't buy. No, but how how would they how, how would they how would the malt seller know what the cost of production of a malt is? Is it a malt no, manufacturer? No. Now that's Sabina, but for me, for me, those things are in play. You cannot just wave it away. You understand? You cannot just wave it away because I was even surprised that something like malt or Coca Cola is even increasing in prices instead of reducing in price. Check it. Then we are oh. expecting this main price to still drop, but at the rate of 7,000 something, I think it's still very high. You understand? Depending on where they met it, at least men should be selling at least nothing less than four, five, or four thousand to be a, to at least to be affordable. Especially now the dollar is dropping, but so it's not affecting so much in the price of commodities. So and uh, yeah, uh, you have to calculate. But it. But, but but um, Dan Gote, he told us that um, because of the price that is releasing this diesel at the refinery that the inflation will come down? Well, let's see now. We have not, I have not been able to see it. It's just too early because he okay. just started that one. So we we'll still give him some time to know how it's going to pan out. But for now, there's no, there's no effect to that for now. Oh, 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 all right. Yeah, so we just have to give him some months to know how it works. All right, let me take you to, an, to another space. Uh, are you following what is going on in Dunamo's church or where some lady was embarrassed? No, 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 no. I don't want to go to that. Oh, uh, oh okay. So, oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, you thought not my anointed, Abby. Oh, oh, all right. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, why don't you want to go to that? Because it's Christian. Well, for me, I don't, there are things I don't like to discuss. I don't like to discuss the uh, church matters and the uh, prophet and all those things are for now is not part of my discussion. So oh, let oh, them oh, oh. 
So they are doing 10 to go 12, whatever they want to do. Like, oh, 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 right. Like, let, 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 what, what, are, what are you asking him that he's scared to talk about? Hey, 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 um, the, the, there's this, uh, yeah, this, this incident that happened. This lady, uh, <clears throat> she graduated with a law degree and then she went to a church, one of these mega churches, it's called Dunamis. Uh, and then she 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 went to the church. Dunamis, not Dunamis, Dunamis. Yeah, Dunamis, yes. So she went to that church to give testimony about her achievement. And then the pastor called her uh, to the front. Of course, she was giving a testimony about her English was not fluid. It wasn't fluent. So the pastor picked up on that. And then he asked her what she studied. And she said she got a, a BSc in law. And then the pastor then yanked the microphone of her, kicked her off the pulpit, and shamed her as a liar that she came to tell lies that they don't know what BS is in law, and she didn't speak sufficient enough English to be a graduate in anything. So the lady now went out to publish all of her details, her graduation, uh, all, all the roll call, everything. So it was established then that she did study that degree, and the pastor just uh, embarrassed her unnecessarily. So now the, the, the church now remorseful, and then uh, they are given a qualified sort of uh, apology. But the lady, of course, was embarrassed by this uh, 419 uh, pastor. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and, and this is what Ekena is afraid to speak uh, well, about. Well, well, what <laughs> is, uh, <laughs> and they don't want to say anything about, about pastor at all because they don't want Holy Ghost Fire to come and strike them. Holy Ghost Fire. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what happened. What, uh, why the pastor did that? I mean, the pastor said his own side that uh, uh, she, she, um, with the way she was uh, speaking, uh, she, I mean, he, he didn't think. Is, is that not a fair comment, Ajan Lekoko, that somebody that is a graduate one and a graduate of law or law too? So yeah. you, 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 you would expect a, a reasonable, if not proficiency, you would have a minimum expectation of a reasonable command of the English language. Oh, is, yeah. is, is that not an, is that the, I, I don't, I don't like that guy, even that pastor. I think it's just a crook. Uh, but I don't think it's, it's wrong to to jump to that. You don't. You are calling. But what you, what, what, you, what, you what the degree, and you are saying is BSc. What what what, what the what the pastor uh, need to do is to you know show us the video of when that lady was speaking to justify her. Yes, if somebody can send it to my Instagram, I, I think yeah. it's circulating out there. Yeah. Yeah. If, if we can see that video, that be able to uh, tell us the uh, better. Uh, of, of this, uh, of the, uh, I mean, the uh, better side of the story um, uh, 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 as to why the pastor reacted in that uh, manner. I mean, pastor is yeah. a human being. He is not. No, no. Yeah. What did you say? Allah, Allah, Allah. I was trying to chip in to say that it is not yeah. a place for a pastor to set something straight. She was given. I watched the, uh, the video. She was given a testimony. Even let's just assume that she was lying. Mm -hmm. It wasn't the place mm -hmm. of the pastor or the church to correct whatever achievement she must have recorded in her life because she was the point. Yeah. Because she was, you know. Your connection is very poor. Oh, yeah, I God. think it's, it's outside. Uh, no yes. Kind of yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. Well, well, yeah. Yeah, but I somewhat agree with that. Dewali, all, all he needed to say was, uh, God bless you, my daughter, and move on quickly, but not share right. her and, and publicly. Yeah, Prince. Yeah, to, sec to second uh, Dewali's, um, yeah, I was going to speak to that point. Uh, to Agile Koko, yeah, there is, there's no justification, playing the video or not. There's no justification. See, this, this Nigerian pastors, you know, they are a, a set of human beings that lack humility in their highest form. They have a zero humility, you know, because all their followers treat them like like gods. They're like mini gods. I mean, there was no reason. See, in society, and depending on the position that a person holds in a society, that's the way you have to behave. But I think, the, I think the, I think the, I think the, I think the pastor has come out to to apologize. Yeah, the church has come out well, to apologize. Yeah, he can apologize. And, uh, that, that and the lady, that's and the lady himself, and the lady said that. Uh, He's not. Uh, he's not angry with the pastor. That the man of God still remains his uh, pastor. Yeah, I'm sticking. I'm sticking to a larger problem. 
I, well, I think I, I think that, that I think at that junction that matter is settled. So any of you hold on, hold on. Let, let's pray. It, it, it is settled to you. It's not settled. I'm talking to a, to a, large, a larger point here. Yeah, you, you're talking about this instance, <laughs> which is daddy. fine. Talk not, not my anointed. Talk <laughs> not my anointed. Carry on, please. That is not settled. <laughs> it's, not, it's not settled. No, you know, you know, you're talking about this you instance. The lady, lady says, right? "Okay, that she move on." But uh, to my point so, uh, so, again, sorry, sorry, Prince. Uh, sorry, sorry, Prince. I, 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 don't know, I don't think Prince is necessarily fighting for that lady, but he's speaking to a wider point of the excesses of this pastor, sir. Karen Prince. I agree. I agree with yeah. him. I agree with him. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly to that point. They, they like humility. I mean, you, you can't verify. Well, yeah, she, she can't speak good English or whatever. Okay. But, but as a pastor, no, there's certain kind of a. Uh, you know, uh, character or attitude you have to display to the public, uh, not to be phony, but it, it, it's something you have to cultivate, like the fruit of the fruit of the spirit. These people don't have it. They're so arrogant, and, and that's why Christ said at the end of the day, in the last day, they would come to Christ and say, "What well, I did this? I, I healed people. I, I opened the the, the a blind eye. I healed the lame." And Christ would say, "Get out of here! I don't know you." This, this is to the point. These people are they're too Prince arrogant. Praise God. You remember yeah. there was a time, Bishop, where Idipo slapped somebody in his church, right? I heard, you yeah. Remember? Yeah, he slapped, yeah. He slapped one of, uh, you know, I, I don't remember whether it was for a miracle or something. He slapped, so what gives these people the authority over their food? It's like, um, I don't know, I don't know, the connection is very poor. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Because I'm taking a work with my little one, that's why. Anyway, hey, yo, oh, yes, we can hear her in the background. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> She's having hey, the I best. Yes, hold on, uh, Russell, mind. Let, let Prince start the land and then you come oh. after him. Prince. Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I was just going to just make that point. You know, uh, th these people, they, they're becoming unbecoming, slapping people, talking down on people. And this, are not, this, this is not what you expect from a pastor, a, a shepherd of, of, the, of the sheep. This is not what they're supposed to do. You have to show humility. You don't have to embarrass somebody in, in front of a, a large congregation and the rest of the world. What are you trying to gain? Uh, because somebody can't speak up proper English, they, they determined that she didn't qualify. Well, she could be, for all you know, she could be a very great, a uh, very good administrator uh, as, a, as an attorney, uh, working in the back office, drafting, you, you, you know, intellectual property laws. How, how did she secure the degree without proficiency in English? Oh, woman, well, come on now. It, because that, everybody that, that's, the, that's the backbone of a law degree. But, uh, okay, 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 let me tell you. Um, there are uh, a lot of Asian people, okay? These Asians, they, you know, when they have to, the diction or pronunciation or when they speak English may not be the best. Nonetheless, I, I spoke, I mean, I know uh, plenty of Asian people that speak perfect English anyways, but my, my point here is that there are some that don't. But nonetheless, these people are master of the English language, one man, master. They, they're right, they, they're right. You can't find one single error in their sentences or, or their narrative. They are that good. But when, when you speak to them, they, you know, like this person no, can be an attorney, can be this and that. That's all garbage. They, they, that lady we're talking about, she probably speaks a perfect Yoruba or, or, or I would say, or Igbo language. What is wrong with that? Yeah, she does have a, maybe a great command of the English language. Yeah, but that's attorney. not the language of law now. Yeah, the Yoruba now, so that's not the language of law. Well, my, my point is that just like the Asian person, uh, that particularly can, that can, in Nigeria. <laughs> well, my point here is that just like the Asian person, um, they are master of English, but they may not be able to speak that language fluently as as a, as a native native speaker. And and again, regardless of how bad the la the lady's English is, right? She could be a great uh, attorney working in the background, so to speak, drafting documents, working on on really complex legal stuff. She can have the brain, one man. Why are we limiting her to, to, to English? Well, what is that? She could have the brain to, to she, she could be that smart, but not able to express herself publicly in, in, in English. You see, this, this is more like a, uh, you know, maybe a Nigerian or African thinking. We, we, we always box ourselves and limit ourselves based on some on, on quirky uh, reason. I, I, I mean, it's so likely we would not judge her or condemn her, 
for not being able to speak properly English. I wouldn't do that. But anyways, let's go back to Kenneth. Oh, 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 all right. Let, let, let's uh, rational mind uh, come in at that point, and then uh, I think Kenneth does want to speak on it, so we move on after that. Rational mind. <clears throat> Thank you, one more. Thank you, everybody. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Kilo, yeah, 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 yeah. But banana and um, and granite. My goodness me, what a combo! Carry on. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, I mean, I wish it's Bolian yeah. Nepal, but it's just a banana, a small banana and a Nepa. Anyways, yeah, so I think um, um, Pimp Daddy has already, um, <laughs> Pimp Daddy has already said most of the things I want to say. Um, the angle I wanted to cover, what really brought me in what matter was that, because I, I just got out of the shower, I'm about going out to uh, do some, a little bit of uh, errands. Um, I said, well, when you said that thing, when you said something, something when you said what really got me so mad, I was like, what's killing one man, killing one man? So then, is that when you said that um, if she had a if she had a BSc and she can't speak English, woman, do you know the mental gymnast that is involved when you speak more than one language? As a linguist myself, I struggle with certain things. Sometimes you have to think in one language or another language to. You know, do you know the mental gymnastics that is involved in that? So you see, us. Let me give. Let me say this. Uh, some of our, some of our people here on this panel, the panelists say they can relate to that. And when you when you are here, like in America here, initially when I first I was having a conversation with somebody a few days ago. When you first arrive America here, but even now, even this very day, I still get it. What I'm saying is that when I first arrived at America here. They will tell you where they you make from? you repeat yourself, Abby, because yeah, of the that, accent, say, yeah. Well, well, where are you from? I mean, that accent, you know, like I like, but I know I, I could see through, like, I mean, that's my perception of that then. I could see through the hypocrisy, or should I say, not, not really hypocrisy. I could see through the, uh, like, you, you, you knew you were being patronized. Yeah, being patronized. I think that's the word. Uh, yeah. So uh, now you're not being sincere. They just try to, like, you know, where's that, where's that accent from? Blah, blah, blah. You know, I got mad. I, mean, I was like, what are you talking about? I mean, like, I school I speak I mean I was raised on Queen's English I speak British English that's what I was raised to uh, to speak in Nigeria where I'm from you see the crappy people speaking here you think that's English blah, blah blah I go back and forth with them on that and but over time I come to realize that maybe some of them were really sincere out of curiosity some of them will ask that question and uh, they will talk about where are you from I mean even within the United States here we have New York accents we have <laughs> New Jersey accent we have Oregon accent, we have Californian accent, we have Washingtonian accent. So people can tell where you're from. Even from even from the southern part of the um, United States here, it's a very kind of way they speak, in, like in Texas and uh, maybe Alabama and other places. So when I even see themselves, they patronize themselves, you know, they ask themselves, I come to understand that no, it's not really some most, most of them is not because they just want to patronize you. It's out of curiosity. So my, my what I'm trying to say here is this woman, is that we need to we need, we need to recognize one thing that it's not normal for people to be taught a language in a language that is not their first language. A case study in Nigeria. Uh, um, uh, 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 um, uh, rational mind. Uh, oh. If you take a law degree in Nigeria, you, yeah. you, you know, there's, there's something called mutin. No, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's something they do in law. Uh, mm -hmm. the, 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 I think it's M O O T I N G mutin. Uh, mm -hmm. so so when you are studying law, you do all this. Um, uh, it's like a re practice something uh, adversarial something as part of the course of study. So one student takes the defense. One, so they do mutin. They do, uh, you know, they do submissions. You know, they present. You know, it's 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 very. What's you're talking about? Is it orally done? Is it for them it's to hear? It's orally English? done. It's already done. It's, it's okay. as though you you simulate a court environment. That, what that's, 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 what, what yeah. man? What you, man? What well, you know, how can you how can you have a law degree without a, 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 not, not proficiency but efficiency in English? The, 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 the proficiency is different. Uh -uh. Uh, you you what you say proficiency, but efficiency. You like like uh, Fanikayo day something uh, like Falano, you know, 
you, you can't how can you have what? a law degree without her? I, I, I don't know. I don't. I don't know the context without, of what. And and then she said she has a DSc in okay. law. In what degree? What what was the degree? Is it third in law? In law. law. In law. Well, well, have you patronized that you have been a lawyer before? I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, so, that thing that you are saying now, if you have patronized them before, you understand that what you are saying is not really you know, There are a lot of lawyers that they are not that fluent you know, when it comes to this uh, French English as a thing. So, there are a lot of, I mean, one thing is when some people have uh, phobia for public abuse. And you see them, you know, uh, in a public place like that, sometimes they fumble. They, they say things that they themselves will be embarrassed you know, after they will watch the uh, performance. Around. So it's possible. Not every lawyer go to court. There are a lot of uh, uh, areas. Yeah, well, are, are, you using Bluetooth? are you using Bluetooth? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 all right. I think that may be it. Uh, let me see if I can fix it from here. There's a. Uh, uh, no, uh, don't worry. Uh, I will so I will so take it out. Don't worry. I'm close to it. It is something that uh, Kaizo showed me just the last time. Uh, oh no! Oh, oh, oh um, oh, oh, mute for a moment. Let me see if I can uh, do something here. Oh. Hold on. Oh, okay. Well, I'm I'm home now, so it's gonna be quite. Uh... Oh, 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 all right. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, um, yeah, yeah. So, so I, I think we lost a Kenneth. So, yeah. But um, no, I, I don't accept that. Uh, you have a law degree, and you don't. Yeah, not you don't have an efficient use man, of the man. of the English I, I, language. I'm on board. I'm on board with you, one man. Yes, I'm on board with you. Uh, let me say this. I think. Well, I, I is, it, is it going to be speaking pigeon to the judge? Is, is that I, what it is? But uh, uh, George, you know, so we see the matter. That's <laughs> so we see the matter. We say don't do them. Eh, what do we for do now? Is that, is that, is <laughs> but let us even look at it uh, um, uh, from the uh, it, the religious aspect. When they are talking about testimony in the church, I mean coming in the front of the church and telling people, oh, I just graduated. How does that, does that go in line with testimony? If you, if you want to, you know, um, make a testimony in the church, it might be something, you know, happened to you that maybe miraculously, you, something happened to you miraculously. That is when you come to give the testimony. But like graduate, you graduated. This is something that you walk. Uh, I, I, I get it, Coco. Having a law degree with bad English, you don't think that's miraculous enough? The, 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 the bigger miracle is having a BSc in law <laughs> because they only are, they are what they love me, but she has a BSc in law. So that's the bigger Isn't miracle. The, <laughs> what is it? What is miraculous in, in something that you work towards to achieve? She worked towards, you know. Um, but we don't know the obstacles that she faced to, to the graduate. Four years, and now she graduated, and now she come in in front of the church to and that's what, what what is that for? That has nothing to do with. It's nothing miraculous, you know. I, I don't know. So she brought the uh, I tell you, men. you're a traditionalist. You're not a church person. So a, a testimony can be anything. Just like I, I, I said, you don't know what she went through to, to obtain that law degree. You could have taken her a lot, maybe financially and a lot of sacrifices along the way. Uh, well, it's up to her. Uh, it, it, apparently, it, it took her 10 years, apparently. <laughs> uh, there, there you go. Well, there you go. And, and uh, it took her 10 years. And um, yeah, she, maybe a lot of things were, were sacrificed a, a, along the way. But by the way, giving testimony anyway, it's all about giving thanks, really. Uh, so you, one can be thankful for anything, just like God says in the Bible, be thankful for everything. So you can't limit her to just miracle. And, and that's, and that's a, 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 actually a, 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 a wrong thinking, actually, to always want to only want to thank God for, for miracle. Not at all. You should thank God at all times for everything. But it was must you. Well, 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 let, let me let me. Uh, I get up to my bin. Right. Yes. Let rational mind that. Yeah. So I was. Yeah, yeah, so what, you see, one man. You see, one thing is this: this uh, basing our our capacity to um, 
to be educated, to be literate on being able to speak English. For me, it's, um, I think it's, it boils out from, I think it comes out from this inferiority complex. No, right? no. It, that has plagued, it, yeah, let, me, let me land this one. That has split black men. Our language should be promoted. Uh, I don't know why. But that's a different uh, thing you're saying, though. No, well, it, what, I'm, what I'm saying is this. We need to commend people when they make effort. As somebody who has taught languages to kids, to students, I, I can tell you that for, I mean, first time, the, um, uh, the complexity around language um, learning and teaching. Uh, in a country where we speak many diverse languages like Nigeria, of course, this person you're talking about, most, I understand what you're saying. Some people are very good at, we all learn, I mean, I've been taught language to people. I've seen, I've seen different kids, different students learn at different rates. Um, I, don't have all the, I don't have all the details as to this, this situation, but it's just because one way sometimes we promote English as the basis for being literate, for being educated. Uh, it, it kind of, um, let me use your word, it jars me. <laughs> oh, it kind of like, what, what is wrong with us? Why this inferiority complex? I mean, we see the Germans, we see, go to Europe. I mean, we know the former Yugoslavia. I mean, they, they have like, like almost four, 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 five, I mean, four, three countries. Let him land because he's been trying to land. Let him land it, yeah. So, sorry, go on, yeah. so we have these countries where they have, they have to go their separate ways and they all, stick, they all talk to their the, uh, Slovaks. They, slow, they, they talk to their, to their own um, language. The... Um, the uh, Czech, they stuck, stuck with their own language. The Germans, I mean, all these countries, they all stuck to the, the Lutheranians, they, they stuck to their own language. I mean, why can't we promote what we have? I mean, I, I don't get it. When people go to hoops and different lands to learn, uh, to be taught or learn a skill or learn some kind of um, uh, thing or achieve, I mean, I get, I get a degree in a different language that is different from their mother tongue and we want to criticize them based on that. I understand that we all speak uh, as an official language in Nigeria. But we have our own different dialect that after school, we go to our homes. The majority of our times is within our people that speaks our non, that speaks not English language. Maybe you only use it for learning, maybe in school. And maybe sometimes when you interact with people within your neighborhood, but at home, where you sleep, where you, when you interact with your brother, sisters, mom and brother, you speak, no doubt, most times, either Yoruba, Igbo. Or, so that in itself, it, it, it brings in that complexity of trying to like learn that language, which is the English language. So, we need, what I'm trying to say is this, let's not uh, put people down because they cannot speak English. Um, I believe people can, uh, can, can speak their own mother tongue in itself. That should count as, as, as being literate, as being educated. I can tell you, my mom, my mom can write Yoruba from anywhere. I learned Yoruba from my mom. She has, I mean, she, she taught me with, with, uh, with uh, she, we used to have, I mean, when I was growing up as a, uh, as a child, she has uh, one um, Yoruba written uh, uh, story book no, not how she wrote it, she, but she bought it and then she, she'll read it to me way back then. That's how I learned Yoruba. So what I'm trying to say is, is it's like, it is what we have we should be promoting. This English, I don't, I don't get it. It's, it's, for me, it's, it's I mean, we, we're not like, I mean, uh, what's his name? Uh, the Prince Ali just said to you now that there's some Asians, when they come from Asia for the first time to America here, yeah. look at the way they speak English. But as with time, they get used, they get good at it. They can even write perfect English, even more than even the Americans here who are very born and where all their generations have been here in America. So, woman, well, let's not breathe, let's not, uh, I'm not saying but, this. But Prince Daddy is making wrong analogy now. In Nigeria, when mm. you graduated as a lawyer, you are expected to be very good in speaking English. The educational system is English from uh, and, 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 and also she 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 is coming from an English speaking country. She's what, not, what, a, what she's not country? an Asian. She's not, she's, not she's not migrating. She's not migrating to the language. Is it not an English speaking? Sorry, Ajani Koko. Is it is it not an English speaking country? So that analogy is wrong because the Asians they are coming from a different language. Let me ask you guys. Let me ask you two of you. Let me ask you a question. Have you sat down with native speaker? I mean, when I mean native speaker, I mean I mean when I mean native speaker, I mean like Americans that were born here, born raised here, and you that is from Nigeria. Who was maybe your most part of your life, or maybe a early part of your life is okay. Let me just say, early. I mean, some of us who came here, maybe, maybe some people that came here when we when they were like in their thirties, twenties, and can you can you can you compare the level of your proficiency in English 
to somebody who is from here without having to grow for words sometimes. No, 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 no. I, I think you are conflating pro pro proficiency with okay. grammar. Are, are you pro are you conflating proficiency with grammar? What what what's what's up? What, what, what is it? What does proficiency entails? It is it's lucidity and fluidity. Oh come on, come on, come on. Lucidity, fluidity. So if you are lucid and if you are fluid, does that mean you have a good grasp of vocabulary? Isn't it? it no, no, no. It, no, it, 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 it means you have a natural flow for the language. Uh, no, no, no. It's, you see, that is the thing. You come you just want to look at a definition from a point of view of being the definition. When you are lucid, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are, you flow. It means you have a good grasp of the language. You know yes, what vocabulary not grammar, you use. though, not grammar. Not, it's, not, it's, all, it's all included. It's all grammar and everything. It's, it's all included in proficiency, being able to speak the language, proficiently speak the language. So I don't know what you're talking about. The thing is this. It, 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 I'm just saying, I just want you to understand that there's a mental gymna gymnastics that is involved in language learning. No, no. No, that mental gymnastics only comes in if you are crossing over uh, English is not a crossover language in Nigeria. It's the it's the it's the it is it's a the, crossover language. Oh well, man, that is what that's the point you're not getting. It's a crossover language because people have their own mother tongue. You speak Yoruba, you speak uh, Igbo, you speak Hausa, you speak even before you speak uh, you speak but, English. But, uh, uh, but every Nigerian speaks English from birth. No, no, everybody, not, not every Nigerian, not every Nigerian. No, every Nigerian. And, and, and that is oh, 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 all right. So, 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 but, so, sorry. So, but, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Land and let the wali come in. But, but, but the to. issue is this: but, uh, a rational mind. Look, a lawyer is expected to speak simple and correct English. You don't have to be, you know, too not too much grammar that will, you know. Um, uh, 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 speaking too much grammar that will portray you as uh, a, a person that is proficient in uh, English uh, 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 speaking, but at least simple and correct English. And, and I think that, that is what she failed to do when she was addressing the church and that got the pastor hungry that what kind of mess is this? You call yourself a lawyer and you can't speak simple and correct English. What, what nonsense is this? Just get out of here, man. Just get out of here. You understand what I'm saying? So we should be able to. I, I get you, uh, woman. I mean, yeah, I get, that, I get that you. That is what God the past well, that this. you then, call then yourself a lawyer mm. and you can't speak simple and correct English in front of the con congregation. How would you be able to address the the court when you well, are well, in the well, court? Well, to well, 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 to well, well, hold on, hold on. Somebody. We're well, too quick to judge. You see, that is what that's what I'm saying. Let's not let's not be too quick to judge people. Because like uh, uh like um Prince Daddy said earlier, some people have phobia for public speaking. I know they are very, they are very a, I mean, a lawyer has phobia for public speaking. A, a lawyer. That's, that's the thing. That's, no, that, uh, a lawyer. You know, no, listen, 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 listen. listen, listen, listen. No, no, no. Let, let me say, let me say something to you. Let, you see, let, this is it. If you if you if you yeah. listen to what are you people defending? Come on, she come did on. Wrong. Can I, can I, can and I she was in? corrected by the pastor. No, uh -huh. can, can I chip this in? Can I can I put this in? You, you see, you see, you see. One thing you need to understand is that. There's a size of crowd that you can speak if you're in a courtroom where you just have just a very manageable size of people, maybe like 20 people. Some people but don't, don't have a, does not have a, I've, I've seen people who are very eloquent, who speaks in public speaking. But when they got to it, when they saw like thousands of crowds of people looking at them, they just lost it. They lost it. They can't even, can't, can't even speak articulately or use, I mean, put their, I mean, put their word out there articulately and speak in a way that they, they, they are known to be. Able to you, speak. you, 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 so, you know, there, there's a technique to public speaking that somebody yeah, once said. Yeah, that. yeah, there's a technique. So that's what I'm saying. You need to understand you, that. You, 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 you imagine, that. you imagine the audience naked. That's what they said you should do. Imagine the audience. Uh, that is, the, not everybody understands all the same because some people they just. You see, let, let's not overflow this matter, um, woman. It's in this. I just don't want us to. Um, Promote English as the only basis. I know, they, they should shut that school down. That that give her a degree. No, 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 no. Speak English. I, well, I mean, I mean, I mean you're, you're, you're your man now. Um, I've I've seen oh, yeah, many lawyers. Can I can I say this now? Uh, in your state, there, I, you know, uh, I know so many lawyers who went to University of Ibadan, who are from Oyo DC, Ibadan, Aziz, where Bishop and all of you, all of you are here that from Oyo, you are from. Toban, Toban, so English, Ibadan. 
you can you can, you will see that 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 Yoruba accent in the yeah, but they are you're talking about the accent now. Call answer now. No, 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 Okay, all right. Let me not argue with you guys. I know you guys have the point. Oh, 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 all right. Let, 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 let's not put down our uh, promote English over our language. That's what I'm saying. No, no, um, but we are not. Though, we are not. Though. We are just having the expectation that a lawyer should have some, okay, some yeah, com competence in the English language. Uh, but uh, Dewale, you wanted to come in. Dewale. Uh, have we lost Dewale in the noise? Okay, while we're waiting for Dewale, what yeah. about uh, to Angelica Koko? Um, I've heard about people studying uh, or that study computer science in Nigeria without ever having to work or learn on the computer to that degree of their, you know, their computer science degree. Well, what would you say about such people? I think that was uh, back in the days that uh, uh, what you are referencing to uh, happen. It, it doesn't happen now. When you see people that study computer science, I mean, in the school, I think they are provided with um, and with um, this uh, uh, computer to work on and stuff like that. And even they, they, they have um, uh, um, um, other, uh, I mean, from their own personal effort, they, they can do a lot of things. So... It, 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 no, I, yeah. so you, you guys are painting, you're painting a rosy picture, really. Like, like even the medical school in Nigeria or other disciplines, like they have all the tools, all the equipment, and, and all the necessary uh, resources to be the best work work class uh, graduate. I disagree. Okay, and, and by the way, one man, I, I don't I don't believe that all attorneys or lawyers have the ability to speak publicly. That's a, that's a farce. That, but that they cannot should be, be. They should be, though. I mean, no, no, no. You can, no, no. You, you, that should not be the case. Uh, not no. everybody have the same that same talent. That, no, me, I, the I, best I, public you... speakers are not are not attorneys. They actually not attorneys. The, the best public speakers are just you know, uh, just public speakers. They just have that talent. The knack for it. But you tell me because you're an attorney, you have a command of the of public speaking. Not at all. I, I'm. I'm, I'm there hasn't been that many attorneys that I'm impressed with when it comes to public speaking, quite I, frankly. How would you be able to present your case? How would you be able to defend? How would you be able to, 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 to present your position in the court as a lawyer when you cannot speak oh. good English? Oh. I, I, I mean, right. how would you be able to do it? Well, well, my, uh, yeah. what's, yeah. You guys are talking about, you're talking about Nigerian, um, maybe system you're talking about. I've heard it said that the best attorneys do not go to court, go to court. I, I heard it said, if you're such a good attorney, you, you, you're supposed to avoid the, the court system and to be able to settle with your client. And also, when you go to court, you're not going there to impress the judge unless he's just going to kick you out or, 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 or dismiss you. You're going there to present your case and save time by, by, being, by being practical and, and, and technical in your submission to the judge because the judge is, a, is, a, is, a, is an equal in that degree to understand what you're talking about. So it's not about show, show off. It's about presentation. Go there and say the right things uh, to get a judge, you know, to, to look in, into the case. So uh, lawyers are not good public speakers. I, I'm sorry. I, from my point of view, I, I don't think so. All right. Well, well, we have a clip of the lady. So let's play okay, the clip okay, of the see. lady. Yeah. And then maybe we have Dewali to pick it up. Uh, and they are appreciative of God. So your name and what God did for you. Praise the Lord. Above only. I want to appreciate God for my life and my family. And I want to thank God for using mommy and daddy for our sake. It all happened that uh, I was trying to school in uh, National Open University. Before I came to this dunamis, there's a lot of things that is happening in my life and my family, from my father's side and my mother's side, nobody's a graduate. They will only end up primary or secondary school. Praise the Lord. But when God remembered me, I got a job and I was, I was working and I decided to further my education. I started the school. I want to do law, law uh, program. I started 20, uh, 
2014. So I continue like that. And I want to thank God because during that time, I never lack of money to pay my school fees. Praise the Lord. I keep going to the extent I go to 500 level and challenges everywhere. Problems, sickness, they afflict me with leg pain and I cannot be able to finish. My meds are finished. So the law uh, program is six years. So since I cannot be able to meet up, some of my meds finish and uh, I keep on like that. And uh, yesterday, God declared me. Well, she said that embargo was there in the course of her program. In the course of her program, she was afflicted. And it looked as though she wasn't able to, or she isn't going to finish that program, but God helped her. Yesterday, she graduated, like she said, the first person to, to bag a degree, a degree in her family. Degree in what? In what law? What program? What's it, what's it called? What's the name of the degree? Like medicine is MBBS. Give her, give her the mic. What kind of degree is it? My medicine is MBBS. BSc, sir. BSc in law, sir. So the, the testimony is a lie. There is nothing like BSc in law. law you either have LLB, LLB or BL. LLB. It's a lie. The testimony is a lie. Please go back to your seat. So, 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 that so, so, that, 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 one man. That, that, so, no, that was no, it. Woman. Uh, that is uh, one man. One man. No, uh, so, so that was it. You I can't am, lie. You can't lie before the people of God. You can't lie before the people of God. It's a God that helped me. Guys, guys, guys. They were late. They were late. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. You see, you see, this is what we're doing here. She brought this shame on herself. Listen, listen. No, no, no. No, no. no. nature brought the shame on himself. Angelical, ah. that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. The man asked him, the man asked her twice, and she, she mentioned BSC twice. Ah. No, no, well, no, no, the no. lady she was nervous, she, she was nervous. And, and by the way, she's first uh, By the way, I didn't see anything wrong with it with, it, with the damn English she spoke. What, what was wrong with it again? Well, what's wrong with that English? Yeah, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong with that English? No, it that is not nervous. That and, 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 I think, and, and I think that, that, that's English should come with us with subtitles. No, 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 no. Is, what, what, you see, you are the one who is making us believe that that's what why they the, 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 the young, not the English, yeah. but, it's, it's but because, because you lie. Well, man, the way you people, the way you people painted uh, that lady, mm. cannot even express herself at all. I know it's crazy. Man, she spoke very well. She spoke very well. That's yeah. Not real. That is what we are even talking about our short uh, our passport. I didn't mean that that lady is somebody that is a uh, a, a rich person. Would that take a parcel at the page? Even the way the way uh there's a way by which you can ask a question and the person that you are asking do you know the way the the the, the, uh, the pastor Ask her question. It was a probing question. As if it's, uh, as if she's uh, under uh, no, under investigation. No, 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 no. The lady was just no, 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 Hold on, hold on. The the, the 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 pastor had to he had to intervene because she was unconvincing. She was unconvincing. She wasn't. <laughs> and, and then hold, hold on. The pastor said, "What did you study?" Like a uh, in medicine, they get a blah blah blah. I'm not quite sure what he said. Yeah. And then in in engineering, you get whatever it is. In uh in doctorate, it, it, so she, he, he already prepped her up and then gave her the thinking time to to tell her, tell him uh, what she got. Uh, and then she said BSc, and then he invited her to repeat it again because of course he had indicated that there was an error in what she said. And then she repeated uh, exactly the same thing. But, but, you know, but she, think, was, she was a scooby doo being all but, over the place. But but, but, but uh, open university, hold on one man. Go, go to the open university site, website. I think they give BSc in law. They give that, yeah. They're kind of, they're kind of educational um, qualification that they give, uh, the award. It's quite different from the normal, because they call it National Open University. So they don't give normal, they don't award sometimes. You know, some of their, some of their um, degrees they award is so ridiculous sometimes. But it's still, yeah. So I, I won't I won't put I won't say she's lying if she has a BS in law, because I know National Open University has some ridiculous kind of um, 
um, degree that they award to people I'm, that go I'm to not from that. There is a BSc in law and then there is a LLB. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I think so. BSc in law, they specialize on the different part of the part of the legal. They also legal into the contract, economics, and every other. It's only LLB that that are legal. That basically they did not uh, uh, they did not involve any other discipline uh, any other courses other than the law. So there is a BSc and there is a LLB. Yeah, and uh, yeah. uh, 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 one thing I want to there's something that I want to so uh, I want you to also appreciate is this lady is coming is coming from a background of uh, uneducated people. Yeah. Now and uh, she uh, she they have limitations. In their family, and she's strong. Good, as you know, because no matter her limitations, that she's doing, she, she wants to break the deal. So, uh, you should the purpose no, yeah, of yeah, yeah. The, 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 you know, the pastor, the pastor, pastor the right now, no, the well, pastor, I'm really, I'm really mad at that pastor. Yeah, the moral, so the right the moral, now, the pastor, the moral, the moral, the moral, the moral, the moral, the no, no, hold on, this, uh, hold on this car. I think other voices want to come in. So just uh, hold it for one microsecond. Yeah, uh, Prince. Okay. Uh, you know, th that pastor acted so, so terribly. I mean, it, it was just uncalled for what, what he did. He was arrogant uh, in the way that he, yeah. Uh, Open University. Oh, 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 all right. I think Prince lost connection for yeah. a moment. Oh, no, that's Nisuru, Nisuru, Nisuru. 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 Yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, so, uh, you think, uh, I, I would like start. I mean, like, I, I, if you go to that um, now, um, National Open University of Nigeria, they have different degrees that they award. So, I think BSc is one of them. So, she's not lying. You see, when you uh, think you know, when you, hold on, hold on, it's been on. established that she's not lying, and the pastor has yeah. apologized. Oh, but, then, yes. but then, but hold on, woman, because the issue when we when we had this topic, the way it was presented to us here was that oh, she cannot speak English. I think the the, the bone of contention here was when she said BSc. That was when the uh, pastor said that she yank or she says, I mean, just uh, you know discarded that like no, you are lying. You know how could you say somebody's lying? I mean, publicly you are shaming her. No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. She's he's publicly streaming this guy, this girl. You see, this is a girl who just came out from who came from from grass, from 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 the lowest and lowest. She's even you could tell even she she struggled to even speak the English. So you, you see, I mean, you, you, if you know the kind of method of education of National Open University, you understand it. Because I've I've, I've seen their program before. I've taken one of their program before. I even I still from here. I I had to discontinue it some time back. I I was taking a program in uh, in their diplomacy, which they have. So it's you see that at home, you can do it from your comfort of your home, you can study and all of that. So my point is this woman is that we need to we need to commend that girl for being able to break that 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 circle of never going beyond maybe primary six or primary uh secondary school university and secondary school education. And the way that pastor, you know, that is the thing about these pastors. They think that they are kind of some kind of personal savior to people, or they kind of I mean Jesus Christ never even treated people like this. I mean, these, these pastors, they are so full of themselves that I don't even know who, why Nigerians keep going to their churches. I mean, you, you, I don't know. You, people are so brainwashed that they can't even see. So for me, one well, man, that pastor went overboard here. That pastor, I mean, any member of that church should be leaving that church in protest because how can you be a pastor and then right from there you'll be calling somebody who is on the pulpit in front of a large crowd of about almost 10,000 or even 20,000 people and you contain she's lying when you don't even have the facts. You think you know because all you that, know is that, LLB, that, LLB. that woman would have cried all the way home. Uh, exactly, I, I can exactly. Imagine. That's, yeah. that's a shaming. I mean, you should you share it's it's an embarrassment to, to, to her. I mean, look at how she came and she was happy to even relate the story that she broke that. Don't get me wrong, I'm not and, and if you see the way she dressed as well, uh, she's, she was she built, she she built herself up for the occasion. And like yes. Star was saying, if that girl were to be a very wealthy, say uh, son of um, uh, son of Pashala, I mean son of uh, uh, Tinubu, or any of those uh, big men in Nigeria that came up like that. And she said she was she had BSc. Let's, let us forget the even the English. And she could that dunamis guy shame him or her like that from the pulpit like that. Can she do it? You see, when they they they, they, they commonize people because people are not from a, a well respected, I mean, well known family. They don't, uh, you know. You see, 
You see, uh, that's what I think. There's a, there's a portion in the Bible, I think, the book of James. No, uh, you know, what, what I think let, is let the, the, the guy likes uh, phone, eh? he wants people to, to be speaking yeah. phone. So, yeah. so, you see, that's, that's what uh, I think James, when he was writing, in his in, uh, James wrote in his book, uh, the book of James. I've forgotten that, but that um, um, uh, I think he's talking about people who do personality worship. People who, who are favoritism, who give uh, rich men the, uh, the front seats, come and sit down. You, you lowly one, go sit down behind. I will sit down here on my floor and on my floor. These are the kind of these are the kind of uh, pastors. Is, so, is that not is that not the natural order of life? Uh, it, who, who, who will you sit in the front? The poor sometimes. people. You know, is, is it the poor sometimes. people that you will sit That's in? That's why front? I said some people don't understand the whole idea of the whole idea behind Christianity. Christ said he said he came not to save, um, not not to save um, um, righteous people but sinners. And if you look at his, all the, the episodes and the different writings of uh, even even I mean, even Paul, when he, when Paul was writing, he said God called the lowly ones, not the ones that are intellectually sound. In, you see, that's why I would say these pastors they are just phony people. They don't they don't really represent what that Christ is. They're just there for just for the for the optics for so that they become known. They want to have uh, I mean ten thousand I mean one million seated uh, seats of arena. They just want their name to be. It's not about for them. It's not about fame. And the money and whatever the wealth and the Lord that comes with Christianity is about service to the lowly people, the, the, the very lowest and lowest of the society. But look at how he shamed this girl. For me, I mean, I think uh, members of the church, if they see this thing, they should stop going to that church. I mean, it tells you that this place is not even. I mean, when uh, when uh, what was his name was talking, uh, uh, Prince Daddy was talking about the fruit of the Holy Spirit or the fruitage of the Holy Spirit. This guy apparently lacks it. He doesn't have it in the first instance because for you to even have it. You will not be you will not be displaying this kind of um, I mean this this embarrassment that you're embarrassing people or even to himself. So one man, you see, now I get the picture clear now. I don't think it's the English. I think it's just because the girl says something that he thinks he knows, but no, he was wrong. That yeah, there's a BSc in law. There are some schools that are, are, that award that the National Open University awards that. And it's a good thing that the girl came out later and showed these things to the world. And look, I said I have BSc, and I have it. Look at it. You know, you see, these pastors they should be they should learn humility. They should learn humility and learn that Christianity is not about service to the rich. It's about service to the poor. You serve the poor. You don't give them seats at the back side, like James was saying when he was writing. Say people do personality worship. They want to like they 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 they, 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 they give the front seat to the to the rich. No, it's not. That's not what Christianity. Is. That's what James writes in his book. Go and look at that chapter in the book of James. I think James is about five chapters or four chapters. So go and look for it. You see it there. But maybe James or Jude. I just go and look at them. So. Paul, I mean, um, woman, uh, our listeners, you see, you should be able to read between the lines. Read your Bible yourself and read and compare these things. Jesus said, by their fruits, we shall know them. These are one of the fruits we're talking about, the fruited year. No, the lack of humility, lack of um, people, people are like very, they're very presumptuous. They, they lack modesty. Yeah, I think that's another word for it. He's a very modest person there. You know, just call somebody liar from it. I mean, do you know what it is to call somebody liar in front of a man? 10,000, 20,000 people seated in your church. What am I leaving at that? It's so annoying. Oh, 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 all right, brilliant. Uh, uh, are you there now? Uh, we came to severally. Oh, okay, I, I don't think we have the De Wale fully yet. Uh, uh, Kenna, you don't want to speak on that space, so sh shall we just move it on then? Uh, 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 so so, so, so let, let's move it on. Uh, let, let's move. Uh, uh, you've already spoken on the inflation, uh, Kenna. Um, do do you want to speak to uh do, do you want to speak to the narrative of this uh US based Nigerian that was shot by his wife? Is that something that would interest you? No, I want to talk about Wiki and PDP. Oh oh yes, 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 oh yes, oh okay, yes, uh, yeah, I wanted you to talk on that as well. So yeah, so 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 the going on there, we uh, uh, the PDP now they're in the throes of their NEC to determine the direction of travel of that party. So the direction of travel of that party will be uh, largely shaped by whoever is uh, elected, appointed as the chairman of that party. So there are two stools within the, there's two divides within the uh, within the PDP. There's the wicked camp and then there is the article camp. And whoever, whichever camp gets to install their man, as the uh, chairman of that party will tell us then the fortunes in the immediate and long term of the PDP. So what are you reading of that space, uh, Ekene? Well, Wike is fighting hard to take control of PDP, even though he's in APC. 
I had a Shegu show with me saying that um, accusing him of praying to national work. Is that APC or do you mean that because he's serving the government, does that mean that it's in APC? It's not in APC. Well, he's a member of APC. So he has already committed to 2027 of Ibola medicine now. So, which means if he take control of that party now, in 2027, he's not going to fill the candidate now, according to his words. So he is not going to challenge Tinubu until 2031. So he made such comment. So let's see how it is. If he's able to, if if he's, if he succeed in taking over the party, your share will show me he's accusing him of paying thirty thousand dollars to some national working committee of the party. So you know that wiki is not. Uh, he can spend money to get whatever he wants. So let's see how he's going to take charge of the party and. Uh, it means that uh, PDP is no more a party. It's a women organization. So they have shot themselves in the foot, and they, it will be very do, difficult do you, for them do to. You, do, you, do you disagree with that strategy? Uh, because um, there will be, it, it will be very difficult to unseat Tinobu in 2027, and the pragmatism of, of politics tells us that. And, and what Wiki is strategizing is that the play is not in 2027, but 2031. So if he gets hold of that party, they have all of that seven plus years to build up to 2031. But if they launch against 2027, they, they will fail, and then the party will revert to this disarray, and, and then they might not have the momentum for 2031. So that's his argument. Whatever happens, PDA, PDP, even... PDP is not going to have anything to do again as a party. They can only have state election, but in terms of national election, they have lost their relevance and they, they continue to play in the hand of APC. And doing that, they are losing their relevance. You know, PDP, most of their members love money. And the wiki just were like what she showed me said. It's already feeding them with money. So I'm not surprised that this Northern Group legit article and then does wiki as a party leader. So that's uh, the money they have chopped. You understand? Because for me, uh, Wiki is one of the people that fought for the downfall of that party in the 2023 election. So it's an anti party man. It's only Shay who showed me that he's saying that he uh, uh, will sanction Wiki and all that and all that, which I don't know if he has the capacity to do that. So Wiki for me, Wiki has brought more damage to PDP. And uh, he's not a loyal party man, especially during the time of presidential election. It's one of the reasons uh, uh, PDP is coming to PDP. How? He has done a lot of damage to PDP, starting from the time of, uh, of their primary and all those stuff. You know, he fought to clinch that ticket. He fought for power to the South. And a lot of people told him, if it is power to the south, then it should be southeast. But what he fought for is just to take power. He made it clear that, that uh, he's not going to go to the southeast. He's just going to be power to the south. And that is why PDP decided to throw their tickets open. At the end of the day, they played him northern politics in the primary, and he became angry. And he was still, he was still not able to... To recover from that and they, mind you in that primary we can stood up to say that whatever be the outcome of this primary as a royal party man he will support it he made such statement and that is why people like him are not to be trusted up until today do you support it no after he failed to claim that ticket we he support it he's not the one responsible for uh uh, the power shift to the south and not to the southeast is the party. Is the party? No, it know. is him. Done now. It is him. You know, I know. You, on, it is him. Stop this propaganda. It is. No, not there is nothing like uh, propaganda, Baba. You see, yeah. let me tell you. Let me tell you. Oh, we can. Oh, we can. can. Oh, can you hold on? We can personally install the. I'm, I'm, uh, let me speak. Uh, hold on. Uh, 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 okay, your chair. Are you? Yeah. Hey, Hold on. No. Can you the let party, Baba the party inaugurated a committee? A committee that had its membership 
one member from each state of the federation. That committee went around the whole country, every geopolitical zone. And at the end of the day, to, 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 to get what the party members want. And the party member members across the country adopted open, open, I mean, mm -hmm. adopted that, to, that presidency should open to every part of Nigeria and not, you know, zone to any part of Nigeria. So, and uh, that decision was made before they start selling the form to everybody. Obi agree with that. He bought the form. Everybody agree. They bought the form for nomination. So it's not that it's not weak decision. So don't say this. What you are saying is wrong. Well, uh, yeah. Well, uh, we um, Babaja, you have made your point, but I still disagree with you. The reason being that the WK has been a powerful force in PDP. If you look, if you look very well, yeah, WK has done some good to PDP, but the damage he has done to PDP is more than the good he's done. Uh, for me, I don't like Atiku style of politics because if uh, Atiku has stayed together when they lost uh, the first election, they would have rebuilt our party. But what we what Atiku does is go back to Dubai, come back whenever he wants, pick the ticket, and it got a lot of people angry. You see, and uh, uh, they have uh, Atiku. Uh, uh, somebody like Wiki has supported uh, somebody like Tambua in many, in many, many times to get the support. But at the end of the day, if you know the role Wiki played in PDP, all the role he played is to get 2023 ticket. He first of all put uh, somebody like um, Sokondus. He personally put Sokondus as the chairman of the party. They are now seeing that. That's not going to favor him in 2023. He went ahead to remove Sokondus and put Iyo Shayu so that the, the chairman will be, at, will be at the north. But surprisingly, Iyo Shayu worked against him. As an alternate, he worked with Atiku to defeat Wike in the primaries. But those things were there. Wike played the game to make sure that he pick up the ticket of 2023. So, uh, what you said is just what they discussed and what you had. But if you listen to their interviews from most of their members, everything Wiki did is to pick the party form in 2023. And that is the reason why Atiku Abubakar personally told him that if it's going to be South, after all, South has South South has been there. Then what happens is just throw the throw the ticket open. You understand? Wiki insisted that it's going to be South. Only South. Because he knows that if it is only South, he has the upper hand. But Atiku refused and said no, unless if it is Southeast. Then they will not run. But the Wiki said no. It is South. It is, it is uh, South. So that he would defeat, uh, he knows that he has the capacity, he has, apart from, apart from Atiku. The next person that has money in that party is uh, Wiki, then, because he controls state resources. He has already, just check the primary now. When Wiki was coming for the primary, he was already feel like a king. He drove a lot of convoy. He was shouting, raising his hand as a winner, driving around the arena, and everybody thought he, uh, he has already won the primary. With all his ego. He mount the poopy. He praised himself. He said well, whatever he wants to say. And he said, as a royal party man, whatever be the outcome of this primary, I'm going to abide by it. He made such statement. So as that royal party man, when the ticket didn't go to your favor, what next is for you to obey the outcome of the of the of the primary. But that animal city was living with him. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I, can I have you something? Hold on, hold on. Can I, let me say this. What of higher child are you, uh, um, well, child are you that said openly, we have, we have the video, the video is out there, that if power, if a northerner should win that primary, 
he will leave that position of chairman for a sadhana to take over. He said it. That is what they, that, oh, that is what they did. Hold on. Hold on. He said it. So WK was holding him responsible to that statement. This is what you promised us before the primary that if a northerner should win, you will step down for a southerner to take over in order to um, have rebalancing of power within the party structure. So when he failed to do that, that was why Wiki was saying, and the G5 said, no, chairman, you can't do it. A southerner, a northerner has won. Uh, hold on, hold on. Um, <clears throat> He said that. You see, I don't like. I don't know. Sound like maybe I'm trying to make. It. Because when this whole thing was happening, I was myself. I, I was thinking like you. Um, you see, did you not say that? Did you not say that? You see, you see me? Is that you not what Ayota? Is that not what Ayota promised? He you? said it. Hold on, hold on. He uh, said it. Okay. He said it. He said it. So, yeah. um, but you, you need to understand the uh, what played out at the end of the whole thing. Uh, yes, we expected him to have resigned. Uh, but then what they said was that after the election. That they will do that. That it's not. He now. said what? He said what? The, 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 what? What the article article camp said is this: that after the election. No, 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 no. That. It is not. Hold on, hold on. No, that, that's what they said. Hold okay, on, what, what, did they say? what, mind. what did they say? Don't mess things up. This is not about article camp or weakest camp. I'm okay. talking about the chairman of the party. I know he said Who that. Was, we understand on, he said that. Hold on now. Uh, okay. All right, go on. You can't be the leader of the party. Mm. Say something. And you don't want to, you know, uh, uh, fulfill what you promised the party. So he promised the party, I will step down if a, if 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 the chairman, I mean, so, sorry, if the candidate of the party comes from the from the from the north. He didn't say, oh, after the. He didn't say that. We know. We know. We get. He said it. that. We get... No, we so know he didn't say that. After the primary and the and the northerner became the uh, 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 presidential mm. candidate, then the leaders but, but, of the South... But, but the thing you're failing hold to... On, the, hold on, hold on. Okay. Oh. The, leader, the leaders of the party in the South, overwhelmingly, all of them, now ask him, oh God, this is what you promised us. Okay, step down and let us have our own from the South to be the chairman of the party. And then they refused. And then Katakata started. So don't blame, don't blame. Wiki. It's not Wiki. No, it's no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, 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 all right, Rasna man, make that point. Uh, can I round up, round up that space, and then we go to Folly B. Just to. Uh, it's, it's yeah. very, I also want to talk to you. Oh, okay, you talk. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah. Hold, hold on. We're doing it turn by turn. Um, the start. Yeah. All right. So I'm sorry. Uh, let's so let me quickly see. So now when we go back to go back in time in history, we leave out some details as to. Uh, I do that too sometimes. I mean, maybe because I we are not all perfect. I. I, I, I mean, leave us some information. But you need, when we go back to the scene of what happened back then, how it all played out, as Ekene um, already told you part of it, is that you remember that after that election, uh, that when Abu Bakr was declared winner, the uh, wicked camp says, no, you must leave that place. And because he said that, we agree. But one thing you are not leaving, you are leaving out is that two information, vital information that you are leaving out is that. Wike was playing his game to become the, uh, the vice president. Then I think we had to raise up um, a committee that you people go and do your whatever and come back to me as who you were going to nominate for me as my VP and I will take it. When, v when Wike saw that that thing did not play in his favor, he was skimmed out of that too as well. Then he launched on Yocha that he must resign because you said this. And Atiku Akibu, Kukam says, we cannot do that right now. That's what he said. He, of course, he said that. I agree with you, but he said that, no. Uh, Atiku Kukam says, no. We cannot let you resign now because it's going to tilt the whole arrangement for the election. So maybe after the election, you will resign. But Wike said, no, we want it now. So you see, I, I understand the Wike's, um, Wike's uh, politics here. But you see, the thing is this for me is that, um, these politicians, they are very, uh, they are people who lack principles and moral principles or whatever principle you want to call it. 
Because this is the same guy who said, I would not, um, I would stand by whoever win this election. So why did he even, why, why, did, why, did, why did he keep his own side of the bargain? Because what they said with them was that he will resign, but let this election be over first, because we don't want to do another uh, convention in the middle of an election for uh, a presidential election. So when the election is over, he would resign, we'll make him resign. And when we cannot started working against them, okay, they said, okay, well, of course, he's, he's not going to resign then if you want to work against us. So you see, we cannot, can, we cannot eat his cake and have it. You cannot eat your cake and have it. So wicked, wicked, wicked politics is, you say, you see, uh, we kill all of them. You, 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 you know, you're you mixing oh, things. Oh, oh. Right, that's another man. You are mixing all, oh, oh. all right, gentlemen, we must move on at some point. Uh. Hold on one man. Yeah. The, the, the position of chairman is different from the position of vice president or president. The chairman is who control the party. You understand? And he promised fulfill it. The game that Article them were playing, you thought that the weakest them, they stupid that time. You thought the Sardana are stupid. This winner take all politics doesn't work in a party that, you know, um, have the structure across the country. Winner takes all, all Northerner. Look, the structure of the party then, the Northerner was the chairman, the um, um, ch uh, president from the North. Most of the strategic position were from the North. And that is why the Southern leaders, including the Wicked, saying that, no, we can't have how can, we must have a balancing of power within the party. And you are all saying that, oh, it's wicked ambition. No, it doesn't work like that. The, Tinubu um, said the same thing too. When he saw Buari trying to frustrate him, he said, look, a Milokon, if you want to play um, that dangerous game, I will fight it to the end. That is the way the game is played. It's politics. So it is not wicked. Um, you guys should not blame wicked. It is um, uh, for, for the balancing of power between the south and the north that the no, leader. No, no, okay, okay, no, 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 right, we have to move on. on. Yeah, we have to move on. Let me uh, let me make uh, 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 a point. Yeah, in a short summary. I think that wicked arrogance is what destroyed PDP because even the Sokundus, he's the one that appointed him. Iyo Shayu, just is he not? few months to his appointment he's now wanting his resignation because he didn't get his ambition again you understand for me that's the arrogance of wiki and that arrogance is why pdp is where it is today and the pdp should not give him that chance again if they really want to succeed as a party the point is clear whether you shall you say he was going to resign or whatever because you know what plays out there so because of fatty could to succeed he has to agree on that agreement Wiki has wanted all the, the lifetime his ambition is to that 2023 ticket. He has played along, removing chairman, putting in chairman. You put in your share, you a month or two months, you, you install him as a chairman. You want to remove him again. Now you, now you, the worker come for PDP. No, you, they for PDP. Which kind, what kind of ambition is that? He's a very greedy fellow. And that's what I'm trying to say. I'm not saying that uh, what uh, you share, didn't say what he said. But his own greediness is too much in a party that is not only him, that has uh, leaders in the north, leaders from the southeast, leaders from south south, leaders from southwest, and every part of the country. You want to be only your decision must be obeyed in the party every given opportunity. You want to say this is what happened in PDP, and people have people fear people in, in PDP begin to fear you. They couldn't make proper decision for the property to grow because they have wicked. And I still blame PDP, and they still allowing it today. Is going about bribing the National Working Committee, put in anywhere in the party to make sure that they stand by him for him to still take charge of a PDP. What is he looking in PDP again? He is already a minister. Why not concentrate in his ministerial position? So he still want that. He's still not showing that ambition. Too much ambition is not good, and Wiki has too much ambition in him, and he's a greedy fellow. He's playing out. You install the share, you install secondos. Some few months you remove him. You install the Yosha you because you didn't get the ticket. You said uh Yosha you should resign. Few months. Who does that? In a party. Not only you there for PDP. All right. 
So for me, people allowing Wiki to destroy PDP because of his personal ambition is the people that I blame. And he will continue to do that. And in doing that, PDP will continue to crumble. And that's what I have to say. Oh, oh, all right, brilliant, excellent. So, so thank you, Ekene, for that. So, thank you, Ekene, for that. So, so gentlemen, we're going to do eight minutes monologue just to get around the voices quickly. So, with the eight minute monologues, interjections are are are, are allowed, but are only if you feel it absolutely necessary. Only so that we get to the voices a lot quicker because our our people have been uh, hanging around. So, we do it in this order. We go to Folly B, and then we go to. Uh, 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 we are going to. Uh, I thought we had uh, uh, Dewali has dropped. Uh, so we go to Folly B, we go to uh, Prince Daddy, and then we go to Larry. Uh, just by the uh, because Folly B is in uh, Nigeria, uh, hopefully still there. Uh, Folly, show you, Amen. Folly. I'm not sure, I'm not Alpha. Oh, the dark, dark, I'm not sure. Eh. Mm hmm. Wow, you're not sure. You're not sure. Eh. Eh. Well, I just woke up. Well, eh. Uh, so, so talk to us. I mean, uh, what is foremost in your thoughts in the politics of the day? Uh, actually, um, in fact, I think is, is the, uh, back, by the way, is he back in the country? No, no, he's in the park. Okay. He's in the US. He's in the US. Oh, 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 all right. So, so I mean, the, the, the headlines that we have, the um. Ganduke being suspended, or has he? We're still not clear on that. Um, uh, Ebru five running against the government are uh, telling us that uh, Tinubu is paying even more in subsidy, and then this Dunamis church that embarrassed somebody and had to apologize, uh, and then the record inflation that are uh, so uh, the, the highest since 1996. So, uh, either that or anything else that takes your interest, uh, uh, uh eight minute monologue from you. All right. I think um, let me start from the uh, inflation stuff. And then it's not actually new to us. Well, it's not something we, we believe is non, uh, is that we cannot, that we, we will not face. From the onset, we all know this will happen. Um, even to know himself, know what is going to happen about it. But the problem is, um, I think I was listening to uh, a particular one of our, one of my brother here when he's talking about uh, the dollar rate, dollar coming down, and yet the inflation still still at where it is, which is the truth. I'm not sure the dollar can actually have anything to do with the um, price of things in the markets because. Even if dollar come down from now to the next six months, okay, I'm not seeing anything. I'm, I have not seen anything that that will make the dollar to to make the price of things to come down yet because already people are already stuck up, and before the people can actually go back to markets to get their goods for it to come and meet up with the new price it will take it will take much time apart from that and already a lot of people are already believing what they are selling that is where they can meet up with what is happening in their in their society you can't expect me to sell things and come and buy come and use the money to buy uh sell things at the, at the cheaper rates and come and come and use the money, the same money to buy something at high rate. I think these these are the area that we can we are not getting it right. Where we are thinking that dollar should affect, which dollar has nothing to do about it yet. Maybe with time, maybe that can come down yet. But the dollar we're even talking about is is the dollar even come down with one thousand one six one thousand one hundred one thousand six one thousand sixty. It's not to me. It's not yet down. It's only we are we are we are seeing it coming down, but it's not yet down. So I'm not seeing anything happen on that space at all with the way things is going. So with the issue of all these um uh what's it called? What are these people? Uh, Ganduje, um, 
Uh, can DJ Mata? I'm not yeah, be, be, being suspended for corruption. I'm not, I'm not interested in talking about those people. These people are just they're just playing our intelligence, whatever they wish they want to. Uh, is to is it today that we know that the Kagude Kantuja is corrupt? Have we, have we not talked about that before? Before even when the next governor of his state, the what well, is the second time for in his in his state? I will not see it. I will not see what he did the first time. So all those people, the space is not something to talk about. So Nigeria politics is not what it is. It's not something anybody should be discussing or debating. We have the crooked who already attacked the system for most. So any any pretending that they are they are trying to pretend for us. I'm not freak. I'm not. I'm not in. I'm not in it. Um. 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 Folly. Talk. 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 Talk to us about life where you are. You are in uh, uh, the interlands of Yoruba land. Um. Um. Is life getting even if it's marginally? Is it getting somewhat easier or is it stable? Uh, what's the What's the lived experience of the average person where you are? Is things stabilizing and are there marginal uh, ease uh, in, in just life uh, where you are? Mm, Mr. Uh, Mr. Woman, you know, wh whatever will call me, eh? I love you listening to all this, um, uh, uh, what's it called, internet economy. I used to say things about Nigeria and see if. Uh, that as if people are better here. I won't like to you. And whatever will come here to talk. The reason why I decided not to be even talking as much is people think that maybe because I was com maybe because I'm complaining. And maybe because this thing is affecting me personally. That's why a lot of people think we used to come here and we talk about the uh, what people are actually facing in the society. It's quite it's quite good that a lot of people will be fine. Many will be doing fine, even if things are difficult. They will still know how to how to play their play their game. But when we are talking about economy, economy should be a kind of space where anybody with the little he has in his hand can actually felt. Any system that you cannot feed people, that cannot allow people to feed with the little things they can do. It's not, it's not, it's, it's not, it's not, I mean, I'm not appreciating it anyway. So wherever we talk here, people think because we are not in this political party or uh, we are not very politicians, we are just here because this is our country and we have no place to go. I will cherish where we are and we want to make sure things work for everybody. But anytime we are here to actually share our sharing our mind, our opinion about what is going on, people believe that is because I'm frustrating um, this and that. Um, I, I was just be, I would just be laughing at uh, most of people here, wherever they are trying to have that kind of um, mindset towards our direction. But things are not really easy for Nigerians. Things are not easy for Nigerians. I won't like to you. Nigerians are actually facing it. Yeah, but is it getting marginally getting... better though? Is it getting are you seeing any signs of things easing up? Uh, uh, I don't see anything easing up here because the transport still remain on eyesight. The food is still the same thing. The prices of things is still getting high. Salary is there is no any increase in salary, so there is no way things will getting easy. Or we, we always love to paint it that we are getting better because we are using to that system already. Oh, 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 all right. Uh, uh, do we still have you? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. I, I, yes. Oh, 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 okay. The, are you following then the going on in Dunamis or Dunamis, uh, the, the church? Yeah. That, uh, yes, yes. I think I've, I was yes. actually following up about what happened in that space. I was. You are, you are pausing quite a, a um are, are you there can anyone still hear me yeah i can hear you what's going on 
Yes, I, um, there's a heavy pause from uh, Folly. Folly, okay. Uh, yeah, maybe we come back. You know, it's um, yes, yeah, it's the connection, I suspect. Yeah. So. Oh, 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 all right. Well, let, let's go on to Prince Daddy then. Uh, the, uh, since, sure. since, oh, oh, uh, he's actually speaking. Uh, uh, Folly, we lost you for a bit. Uh, okay, I said the the doc, the pastor in questions. I'm not sure it is his first. Oh, oh, all right, and I think his system finally gave up. So, so Prince Daddy, you're up next, Prince. All right, one well, can you hear me? Yes, perfectly. Uh, carry on. All right. So, okay. so, so just free flow at it. Or you don't have to even talk to the talking point or whatever is uh, foremost in your thoughts. Okay. Um, hello, everyone. Like, share, and subscribe, and love the show. Uh, yes. What is there to talk about? Um, the kind of school that you actually attend is uh, all these uh, open university of a thing. These are the people that would just go to school, go and write exam to pass. They are not going to school to go and add any value with themselves. They only go to school to go and write exam. So it's not it's not new, but this is their whole thing with church. We don't like talking about church. Church as society. And there he is again. It's gone again. So sorry, Prince. You have to take the floor. I I, I think uh, 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 uh Folly is in is in a kitty. So so you can imagine. Yeah, he doesn't even know when it dips out. Uh, yes, I, mean, I, I bet you he's still talking now. Thinking right. About, uh, talk, uh, talking to my friends. So, uh, carry on, now, Prince. Yeah. Um. Well, I guess just to I guess wrap up on the comment about this uh, nature guy. Uh. You know, the guy behaved like a, a charlatan. Mm -hmm. Quite fully, yeah. So it's just a system. Is it is a systematic fail that we that is coming out that we are now seeing the how the how routines the system is that what actually caused so whatever is happening now. I've not maybe the doctor was maybe the uh, the pastor was surprised that why would you be a, a law student, a graduate law student, and you are speaking this kind of the way you speak. And to be sincere, the lady is actually proud it. Uh, fully, if you can, if you can hear me fully, um, if did you listen to the lady? I mean, how bad was her English or her addiction or pronunciation? Was it really bad um, for the pastor to have come out like that to her? Oh, 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 all right. Uh, uh, oh, 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 all right. Uh, Folly, we must move on. I think the uh, it's dropped again. Uh, f f Folly, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, uh, your, hear system, you. yeah your system keeps dropping out. Then you come back in, <laughs> but but then you st oh, and it's gone again. Uh, uh, okay. Please study. Just uh, take the floor. Please, please study. Okay. Yeah. Um. So uh, that pastor and nature did not give. Um like a pastor, like a, like a man of God. It, it was just, it, it built like a charlatan. And and being a man of God, you would think he had some kind of a, a premonition or, or so, a word of knowledge to know that this lady's lying. And I don't doubt that people come to his church or people in general, just for attention or whatever reason, would, would go to the, uh, to the stage or the pulpit and, and you know, make things up. People do that for attention. I know people do that. But in and, 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 but there's a way to to handle such situation, especially in this case. I, I didn't I didn't think it behaved uh, 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 well. Uh, it, it behaved in, in such a, a crude way, crude and crass for a pastor. It was just unnecessary the way it came out. Um, and again, personally, not an English teacher, but I don't see nothing wrong with that lady's English. She just spoke like any other Nigerian. If you ask me, you know, for the for for the most part. Um, uh, the, the fact that she did, she wasn't so maybe eloquent or fluent in English, like like an attorney. Well, and what, by what the I, way, what I fully was saying is that it, it, no education actually takes place in those open universities. And I think Rational Mind was hinting at the same thing. No education, and I think we can guess that from um, uh, from from what we heard that no well, education. Actually, yeah. Yes, then you're making the assumption that all the other states and federal universities. 
maybe excluding the top ones like Ife and, and the others, ABU, you're assuming that they all churn out this quality graduate. Let's not make that assumption. And, uh, I, I, yes, the, the, the private universities, they may have a lot of shortcuts in, in the way they do things. Uh, okay, fine. But let's not pretend that the rest of the universities, they, they churn out the best of quality graduates. It's not true. So let's not down on this lady again for whatever she's accomplished. Okay. For, for, for however little you guys think of it or nothing about it. Well, she did it. She, she put in the time and she came forth to, to explain a struggle and a challenges. And for, and for us, or for, for, for that pastor or people to make fun of her and try to ridicule or mock her was just unnecessary. I don't find that in, in my heart to, to 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 do that or to even try to associate with such people. No, I, I don't. I don't go with that. Um, yes, you know, all degrees are not all the same. I mean, one can say a degree from Harvard is not the same as some degree in you know some other school here in, in America. Fine, but but we all have different you know levels. Okay, so let, let's just try to appreciate people for their own accomplishment at their own level. It is what it is, that is life. Not, not everybody's gonna have it perfectly or, or have everything you know, given to them in, in such a way you know, that, you know, that they, they enjoy the best things of the world. And that's not the way it works. We, we, we have to have compassion. And that, that guy, I call him that guy, that energy guy, he doesn't have any compassion in him, not the way he spoke. Of course, he can be forgiven. Nobody's beyond being forgiven, uh, that, that, that is fine. But 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 such people again, it's it, to me they just you know uh, appalling uh, for the most part. That's that's and and the lady, she's not a young girl, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know too much about this story actually, just from listening to yeah, to just you from the vi just from the visual, she looks uh, at she looks um at late thirties, early forties thereabouts. Yeah, she's not a little child. She's a grown woman, and she came forth to explain her, her, her struggles in life, and and I could empathize with her and, and see where she's coming from. So she, you can't just call her out in, in the public and try to mock her, you know? you know. I mean, you know, people like myself can be reserved, but if you call me out like, like that in public, I don't give a damn where you are as a pastor. I'm gonna call you out too, you know? You know, people might just, you no, know, yeah, anyway, I was just upset about it, you know, really. But, but, but again, uh, I, look at the, whole, the, the entire scenario. It, it wasn't so much about that lady. It was so much about the, how that pastor behaved. If you ask me, not so much about the grief is fake or not. I, I don't. I don't care. I don't know about the school she went to, uh, but but you know that, that's the way you, you treat people. You know, uh, and you think a pastor would know that for sure. But anyways, um, let's talk about uh, Wike. Wike trying to fight for the soul of the PDP. Yes, the soul of the PDP. Yes. Um, well, uh, in order to, with the backing of Tinubu, with the backing of Tinubu, I guess, I mean, uh, obviously uh, no one wants, um, well, not, I mean, some people do want Atiku to, uh, to continue really, because he is the, is the money man, is the man with the, with the bag of money. So, um, but, but okay, you know, Atiku is, is never, is never dying. It, I, of course, I mean, I heard it said before, he wouldn't mind coming back in 2027 to run again and after coming back from Dubai. Um, but it, it's, it's all part of the plan. It's, it's all strategic for the most part, if you ask me. Um, it is an in interest of um, Wicked to be at the helm of PDP because, of course, it, it benefits uh, Tinubu. And, and, and Tinubu would do whatever it takes to... to uh, to back up uh, Wike or, or support him uh, to fight for that for that uh, for that leadership in, in PDP. Um, does, does, does it benefit the PDP for for Wike to be at the helm? Uh, um, um, not as a party. No, it does not. I mean, you, you can see now uh, how formidable would our PDP be in, in, to be a real opposition to Tinubu. Especially when Wiki is working with Tinubu and being close to Tinubu, it's 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 they, not... they, they, they will have to jettison um, 2027 and, and then build to 2031. Essentially, yeah. yeah Essentially. But, but is that not a better plan though? Because uh, 2027 seems that uh, it's not a reach, there's a very little prospect of them being able to wrestle power from uh, Tinubu in 2027. Um, 
Well, with with the present um, configuration, yeah, uh, uh, perhaps not. But um, uh, I mean, I don't know. It's um, the 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 gentleman you had on your show not too long ago is it Shoba Wale, right? Um, show me, show me, show me. Yeah, show me. He wanted. He was vying for the the chairmanship, right? Yeah, it's it um, yeah. PDP is is a party that money talks a lot. That money talks a lot, and we, we know that, and um, and, and that's why over the years, Atiku has been able to to buy his way, um, uh, to buy his way. One second. Oh, 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 oh all right. So, so Prince Daddy needs a moment to attend to matters. So, 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 but, but um, I, I feel that um. BK South it serves a better strategy for the PDP than Atiku Abubakar because if they go after 2027, it will end up in another disaster and the party will be in disarray after that. And then it will not be sufficient. They will just go through what they went through in this cycle again in 2027. And then the party will fall apart. There will be quarrels over uh, uh, how to reconfigure the party. And then before they know it, 2031 is there again. But uh, if Wicked takes charge of that party, he will give up 2027 and launch at 2031. And that's the long game. But that seems to me altogether a better strategy for that party than going with the article strategy. That's just uh that seems to make infinite more sense. Uh, uh, uh okay. You're back. Uh, carry yeah. On. yeah, um we say it makes more sense, you said woman well, for Yes, to play, to play the long game, to abandon 2027, go for 2031, and let Wiki re rebuild the party. <laughs> Wiki rebuild the party. I don't, I don't know. The, the PDP right now, really, if you look at it, at least, for example, uh, as a comparison, you know, uh, the, the, MAGA, uh, the MAGA, MAGA section of the Republican Party here in America, right, you know, with, uh, with Trump at, at the helm. Uh, the leader of, of, of the MAGA um, faction, right? They've been able to uh, maneuver and, and meander their way into the uh, Republican Party. And now, quite frankly, they are at the uh, at the helm of power because now we have uh, uh, the, 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 chair, uh, the chairpersons of the party were uh, from the, you know, from the MAGA, you know, uh, group, if you want to put it that way, uh, with, with, the, with the PDP, um i'm not sure what to make of them really i i don't know the construction of pdp it's of course it is fragmented right now i know i think you said earlier they're trying to um choose their own uh, do they have a chairman right now or are they trying to go through selecting one the they, pdp they, they, they have somebody in tarim some in, in, them, okay. that, yeah them, uh, something or the other some nondescript element yeah okay uh, maybe sure. I take that back. No, not a non-descript <laughs> anyway, because uh, those are sort of words that get me into trouble. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know what I mean. A, a non-figure. Yeah. I, I got you. Um, yeah, uh, PDP. See, Atiku, you know, as much as we all want to pretend about this Atiku guy being this great leader that that has so much, you know, you know, leadership, leadership quality, the, the guy to me has none. Um, and, and he's had the, this PDP party. At his, you know, at his behest for for such a long, long time, and he's not been able to mold it, mold this party to your own image, if I can say that, to 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 be a reflection of you as a politician, as a leader. He's not been able to do that. He's such a poor leader. I took him talking about such a poor leader. Okay, now and, and it shows because it he, he, he uses he uses money uh, to buy everything, and. It, it, and, and that shows his, his ability to negotiate and to be strategic in, in, in running a political party. It's, it's been a big failure. And supposedly PDP is supposed to be the, the largest, what, what now I said the opposition party in, in Africa at one point in time was the largest political party in, in Africa. But they, they've not shown it. it. It shows that, you know, the strategy would, would, would defeat, you know, uh, just money galore for everything. The strategy would, would do that. And, and that's why I mean the way Tinubu came into power. I think we all know that by now. It's 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 miraculous the way he did, because he had everything working against him, and 
and but but the man was strategic and and is it was smart brilliant politician and that's the only reason only reason why he was able to win if it, it had been somebody else you know without such quality as a leader it, it wouldn't have happened for him um so um yeah you know pdp it's it's fragmented right now if you ask me it, it doesn't have a real ship it's an amoeba for the most part quite frankly and everybody's kind of adjusting right now we is trying to take take uh you know take power or seize power um and if it does again it's to the benefit of uh, of uh, tinubu not necessarily apc but but tinubu uh, for, for sure and it's going to get the support to do that um and you know right now uh i don't know where pito b stands yeah uh, so, something tells me um which i've said just like many other people that is going to leave the labor party okay uh peter b is not a loyalist he's not loyal to anyone okay he's going to leave the labor party if they can cover uh, a room or uh, uh, a good space for him in pdp it will go there it doesn't care it will go there whatever vehicle is able to use to propel himself or to run it would it would it would go he has no loyal, loyalty to anybody. That's Peter before you, and I've always say he's not a builder, and, and and that is fine. Not everybody's a builder. We should we should appreciate and respect people for for who they are and and and, and what their, their abilities are. Peter B is just that kind of a character, and and, and that mimics uh, that of uh, Atiku also. Um, so um good luck I, I think he's not a builder either you know <laughs> he is a you know what the what what phrase does show molly call him a rolling stone that gathers no no more so what, what is it that, that's a pretty good uh description of him yeah it's pretty it's not a builder yeah just like just like peter Obia said it because you know he had the opportunity to to, to mold pdp into his own image and he couldn't do it and, and to that point uh you guys when you guys were talking earlier you see um we know, of course, Tinubu is a big, big whiz uh, uh, politician in the APC. Tinubu, Tinubu does not own APC. We, we all know that from even what happened in the last election. Of course, when you are in the party, you, you try to get a momentum, build critical mass, and, and be the person that, that you know, things default to or that call the big shots. But even that, it shows that you don't control the party. Look at what happened to El Rafai. I think, quite frankly, Tinubu wouldn't mind El Rafai being the minister of power or whatever. But obviously, there was some internal opposition to that. Okay, and if Tinubu had his way, he probably would have you know, called the bluff or, or just do whatever he wanted to do with El Rafai, but he couldn't do that. Okay, as a leader, it tells you, you, if you know when people are smart, you know when to push your power or push the limit of your power. And when to draw back or, or, or resist, and it, it, you know that's when you know you have a good leader, a, a really smart leader, wise one, in in, in the person like Tinubu. And yeah, Tinubu doesn't control everything in APC. It does not. Of course, he has a lot of power and influence. It doesn't control everything. Um, so to to think, um, Erufai, um, and whatever Erufai is doing right now, um. Um, I think somebody. I think you said he's trying to align, possibly with <laughs> um, Lib B. Yes, uh, I, I, heard, I heard um Dele Faro to me speculating to that. He was saying that um he's reaching out to to B. Uh, 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 you know, I would like to see that happen because that that will that will pretty much uh, end the the Peter B something or the other. You know, <laughs> imagine a Rufai and Peter Obi. That's just an, It's just only in Nigeria. Can you imagine that? Well, at least uh, Kenneth called it right, right? Uh, Kenneth was right. He it said, no, it does, it does a bad combination. Uh, Kenneth can see through it. He said, no, it's, it's not going to be a good combination. And if anything, it's going to erode Peter Obi's um, legitimacy, um, Peter Obi's influence somewhat. Um, and yeah, and, and because uh, a Rufai is a strong character. I mean, you know, I, I, it, it, it's not anybody's second fiddle. Though. It is not the same. It, it oh, doesn't see himself as a second fiddle. Oh, never. You know, the, the man from the yeah. Of course, he does. He sees himself as as a, you know uh, a prominent leader in, in his own right, in, in every way, shape, or form. And um, yeah. So 
uh, bits of B, no, it, it's it, that combination is not going to work. It, it can't work. It, it can't handle uh, every fire. And I, and quite frankly, I think we know every fire doesn't think much of bits of B at all. He does not. But it can align uh, just for you know political expediency. That, that's about it. But, but, but um, um, who who do you think um because uh, Peter B necessarily has to get a running mate from the north. Uh, and then, and then we saw what disaster that uh, that Ibaba made uh, that that was. Uh, so if he's going to stand any realistic chance, not that he stands any chance in uh, cuts in 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 hell, uh, but if he's going to stand any chance at all, he has to be a big hitter from the north. And all the big hitters from the north, they 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 are off the El Rufai ill, kind of a bit damaged, a bit smelly with with a rough past. Yeah, well, I, I don't know a, a big hitter from the north. Um, who that could be? I mean, we have the names, but um, do they really want to align with uh, Peter B? Um, uh, I, I don't know. No, I, I don't know of anyone. Well, I mean, we we still have a few years uh, ahead of us. I mean, who knows? Uh, who knows what the combination could be? Do do, uh, do, you, do you think the Peter B? Do you think the trajectory? Do you think it will sustain till this time next year or mid next year? Is momentum? Yes, this what all this um high octane as verbosiousness around him. Do you think he can sustain for? Uh, because it's a it's a long lift to. He won't, can he carry this all the way through the three years up to the election? Does this bouncing up and down, making noise, constituting a nuisance to time and space? Can, can yeah, he sustain it. it, it. I don't know if it, um, well, you see, you know, Peter B somehow conserves his energy. And what I mean by that is that is, um, is, uh, the, the, the internet or this social media space helps, uh, propel and fuel a lot of his, um, his momentum or his activities, you know, they, they, they over exaggerate uh, what it does. And it just comes in sometimes and, does interview feels in the gap go to the north and do some ball holes and all these things so it, it yeah it can't just i i wouldn't yeah it's it's sustainable let's put it that way the, the way it, it is going right now it is sustainable actually it is sustainable um because you know it's not really carrying the the, the load of it. it you know the heavy lifting is not really do much of it quite frankly and because guess what he's not sitting down trying to uh trying to uh uh, uh, reconfigure the Labour Party. He's not negotiating. He's not doing a lot of things to build a party. He's not doing none of that. So his work is is kind of light. If you look at it, one man, his work is light. He's not trying to build a, a real political party that he has to spend time, energy, and effort and and do a lot of work. He's not doing that. You know, it goes up and down, it runs, and he's not doing none of that. That's where the real work is. Episode is not doing it. So yes, to your question, I think it's sustainable uh, based on the way things are configured right now. So he'll just keep keep joining them along till uh, 2027. Oh, oh, all right, let, let me take you to uh, to one more space, uh, 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 Prince, and, and then we, we'll go on from you. I think we'll go to Larry. Uh, um, I, I'm not sure if you have any interest in this. US-based Nigerian, Chidoze, a shot by wife dies after 18 days in coma. So this is a story that was uh, high on the headlines, uh, but I'm not quite sure if it reached you. No, I just heard it uh, for the first time on your show, one man. Um, yeah, uh, unfortunate. Uh, it's an unfortunate situation. I don't know much about it. Uh, who knows? It sounds like a, a domestic violence kind of a, a thing, obviously, to pull a gun out and, and shot uh, the husband, uh, a man in front of a is children that that's that's horrible i mean i mean that's that's just that's just a nightmare uh you know it, that's it that's kill that man no he killed three people she killed three people uh, because uh -huh. i said she didn't just kill that man she she killed three people because do, those children now uh, it would take some heavy therapy to get them over that if it, if it's possible yeah that's what yeah exactly i agree with you to to, to your point uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It, it just like you know, you, you put on, you know, it, it's 
uh, yeah, it, it's a nightmare. I can only feel for those children. I mean, what would become of them psychologically in in the future? It's it just it's just terrible. It, it's terrible, and, and um. You know, sometimes that's why we pray one man, because sometimes you can't control every situation. Who, who knows? Um, you know, such situations are almost sometimes un unavoidable. When to when a couple or people get into an argument and and, you know, something just leads to another thing. And, you know, our ego takes over and, you know, it's it gets crazy. But, you know, it, it's a sad story. Uh, and it's a what, 26 or 24 year old uh, a young man. Uh, it's a sad story, and um, I, I wish the you know the family, the, the children well, and the rest of the family, quite frankly. Well, look at the guy, though. Uh, uh, the, not to speak ill of the dead, but uh, if the bullet had not gotten him, maybe the steroids would have. <laughs> <laughs> look, at, look at that. Do you, do you want to look like? I wouldn't want to look like that. Would you want to look like that? I, I'd Absolutely like to be in shape, not. but not that. That uh. Yeah. Uh, no, absolutely not. I mean, I know people have their own forte. Yeah. You know. Yeah. We all have an ideal a uh, body type that we would like to be. Uh, I'm pretty pleased with mine. But if I were to 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 you know have an option, even with the beer belly, look at this. We think we don't know. <laughs> 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 well, if I were to, to you know to have an option to choose, I, I would like to have a body of a swimmer. You know, uh, you know. Well, uh, you mean I, that felt sort of uh yes, like a who was that American swimmer that won all those gold medals and then? No, 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 no. That's freakish. That's my uh, Mike, Mike, Michael Phelps. That's Michael a freak, Phelps. Yes. Yeah, that, that's a freakish body. No, if you know, I'm talking about like a, you know, yeah, a a a, a, a body of a swimmer. They have this body that's like you know it's it just it not not bulky you know it's super lean and, and you know it just but you know you know you have it's well built you know that kind of a body. No, no, I'm not a macho man kind of a, a you know fantasy kind of a guy. What what, what 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 do you think girls want? Do you think girls want this? I, I don't know, man. What what People this guy think... is presenting? Well, because I, I I don't think women want this. Well, what man, you know. You speak for yourself. I, I can't. I can't speak. I, I think some people do like it. I, I don't know, but you know, for me, it's, it doesn't do it for me at all. But mm -hmm. I think some people do like it. I don't. I don't know. Uh, all right, his biceps are bigger than the, the whole of my body, and I'm no. <laughs> I, I'm no. I'm no. I'm no stick. Uh, stick. Stick. What? Stick insect. But uh, 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 so so thank you, Prince. So so that's, uh, that's the elegant Prince that they are. I, I think we have Folly back. Uh, uh, Folly, do you have you now? Is the connection better? Oh, 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 all right. Let, let, let's go to Larry then. Uh, Larry, hopefully you are there. Larry. Good evening. Good evening, one man. Uh, okay. How are you? Fine, sir. I'm all right, good. sir. Good, good, good. good. Uh, speak to us. Uh, just free flow. I mean, you, you usually, you know what you're talking about. So talk to us. Uh, let's delight in the vastness of your knowledge. Okay. Uh, I think let me start from the inflation. Let me start from the inflation. You know, I know a lot of people have been saying they've not really seen the impact of of the the exchange rates on on inflation prices of things, and I think at this point, I think what the government did with with the exchange rates, it's it's unconventional, and I think they need to kind of like do something now on inflation. Because if you look at the whole thing that they did, right, they first started with the conventional way, trying to like make kind of like looking for an equilibrium and looking at Nigerian factor, right? A lot of things were really at play. So they were not really dealing with some of those things. And at the end of the day, they saw that you no know, demand and supply was not gonna, gonna make it work. Then what did they do? They started looking at the other things, other variables. And those other variables was able to help them stem it down. So, and I think they need to do the same thing now. I think probably, I don't know what they want to do, but what I expect them to do is to now move towards the big guys, right? The big guys in that industry, you know, the Dangotes, the Boas, and kind of like, you know, get, sit down with them, know what they can do. Because at this point, because I understand the facts that a lot of people are feeling the pain because you can, you know, 
it's a lot of the major problem we have in Nigeria is a lot of things are not documented and everybody kind of like do all sort of things how they like right arbitrarily they increase prices and and there's no nothing to no way to monitor it so but be it as it may i think at this point what government needs to do is to talk to the big guys in that industry at least let them know what it costs them to get each of those products to the to the to the retailer in the market and if they can actually get that, at least you can one or two put a little bit of markup and see what is normal. Then, if they want to come in into that space, because you can't just come in and people are saying regulation, you can't come into regulation. Uh, Larry, I think they're asking you to speak up a bit. It says, uh, Larry, more volume, please. Uh, so, yeah, carry on. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes, I think that's uh, that's slightly better. Carry on. Okay, okay, yeah. So, oh, oh sorry, I'm sorry. So, I was actually saying what government needs to do because I know a lot of people are kind of like complaining now because they've not really seen the impact of, you know, the exchange rate stability on the prices of goods and goods and, and every other thing in the, in the market. And I think at this point, I don't know what the government is planning, but what I think is that at this point, they need to now sit down with the key players in the industry, sit down with Dangote, sit down with Boa, because obviously, if you look at at least the Dangote and Boa, at the, presently in Nigeria, they control at least 40% of household things in, in, in that country. So at least let's look at what exactly is the cost price and what exactly does it cost for them to get it to the retailers in the market and put just put a little bit of markup and see what is actually normal in that market. So if they are able to do that, because at this point, they need to look for unconventional way of handling this. They can't just leave everything to like, oh, it's going to normalize. It won't well, normalize. Would that not be interfering with free enterprise? Uh, no, 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 no. It's not. It's not. It's interfering with free enterprise if they've not been able to sit down with the guys that are supplying those things. If they just go arbitrarily to the market and start saying they want to regulate. Because the major thing they need to do now it's if you can sit down with Dangote, take for instance now, Dangote brings out sugar, Dangote brings out spaghetti, Dangote brings out brings out a lot of things. And if they are able to factor the transportation and everything, what exactly does it cost for it to get to market? Take for instance, now let's look at spaghetti. If spaghetti costs, let's say like 400 to get to that woman in the market and put a little bit of markup, probably that woman should be selling at probably 430, 450 right and eventually if dangote is able to let us understand and make it public that this is what it actually costs for it to get to that woman and if that woman is now eventually selling that thing for 700 obviously then you know that something is wrong because at this point the only problem we have in nigeria is there is no data and everything you know people kind of like sell things unlike what we have probably in the us or somewhere else at least you can at least particular minimum you can know what is being sold in Walmart or probably what is being sold in, in some other places. But it's not like that in Nigeria. So at this point, I think what government needs to do, right, is to talk to these guys. Even if they need to subsidize a little bit, right, of this, they need to come in. Because you can't be talking of, because most people, right, that buy things, we talk about dollars. The most people that really understand all this dollar thing are people that are on the internet. An average person in Nigeria wants to go to the market and see the impact of, you know, kind of like buy things cheaper because obviously things are not cheap. And I don't know how government is going to do it because my, my projection is that in May, inflation is going to increase after May because I'm expecting them to announce a new minimum wage. And with that, that's also going to increase the inflation. So they need to do everything they need to do now from now till May they need to use whatever they want to do, right? Use the normal artificial way, how they did it. You can see that the, the below the change guys are crying now. They started crying now, right? Because it's, 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 that business is not booming again. So I'm not saying they should just go and start saying, oh, go arbitrarily to the market. No, you need to first know what exactly does it cost that person. Even if they said they had stock, right? Obviously, whatever stock you have, maximum probably like 
two weeks, that stock, you should be able to like, you know, get that stock out. So that's what I think personally, what the government needs to do now. And it's not something they can just sit down because if they sit down, it, things are really going to get out of hand. Because after May, if they are not able to tackle this inflation, after May and there is, you know, they announce a new minimum wage, it's going to get out of hand. And that is the same mistake they did with, with the exchange rates. They announced it, they didn't do the right thing, things got out of hand and they were trying to use every economics, econometrics to bring it back. So that's what I think in that aspect. Hopefully, if they're able to do the right thing, people will start seeing it gradually, right? At least gradually, gradually, and they just crash the market. Obviously, everybody, it's going to be a win-win situation for the woman in the market to, to get an average profit, not, not that exorbitant profit at the detriment of the people they are selling to. So oh, that, oh, 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 all right, brilliant. What, what politics do you think El Rufai is playing? He's telling us now that uh, not only has a uh, first subsidy not been removed, they are actually paying more in subsidy than, uh, than the previous administration. Uh, so is this a case of uh, sour grapes or uh, what's no. going on there? What, what's his politics? So for Erufai, for Erufai is just playing the politics of relevance. That's relevance or bitterness or both? No, 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 no. <laughs> he wants to be relevant. That's that's just the truth. Right? Because I don't see Erufai pulling any string. Erufai is just going to be another Kwankwaso. Because presently in Kaduna State, because if you want to really have that capacity to control things in the north, you need to have that call, as in that followership. And I don't see Erufai. If you put Erufai today and put Kwan Kwaso today, Kwan Kwaso will beat Erufai hands down. And even in Kaduna that Erufai is coming from, Erufai and the governor are not in the, on the same page, Right? So what I think Erufa is trying to do, you see this normal, I want to be relevant. Even him himself, he knows. So now, on the issue of subsidy... Do, do, do you think he wants to be relevant or do you think he's smarting from the way that had, uh, he was... Because he was mistreated, we have to... Do, do you consider he was he was badly handled uh, by, by, by uh, Tinubu? Uh, uh, one man. Yeah. One man. Be because he, he did a lot to if remove El Rufai Tinobu will not be president, it, it is stabbed yeah. him in the back and and he's yeah. not willing to take yeah. it. See, one man, let me tell you something. Everything is politics. Everything is politics. It will be dangerous. You know, people that actually advised Tinobu against El Rufai, they knew they knew what El Rufai could do. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Go ahead. Go okay. Ahead. So people that actually advised Tinumbu against Erufai, they knew what Erufai could do. Erufai likes power, right? If Erufai had been in that government, Erufai would try to be one of the, the probably the most powerful minister. And I'm telling you, if Erufai has that power and capacity, Erufai is going to stab Tinumbu in the back in 2027, no doubt. So sometimes when you are playing this politics, right, you have to play this politics smartly. Erufai, all you see, most of all these northern guys, and that's exactly someone like Erufai. All Erufai needs is, 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 is that power and the capacity to be able to like push things. If you've been if you've been looking at Erufai, probably if you've been monitoring Erufai's politics, Erufai politics is this guy that proves to be loyal, right, gets closer, is able to, like, control a lot of power, and thereafter, he comes out in his full, with, in, with his kind of, like, full self. From Atiku, remember Erufai versus Atiku, this loyal guy that is always kneeling, kneeling down, you know, kind of, like, playing this loyalty, and thereafter, he becomes popular, and then he brings his true self. He did the same thing with Buari, this loyal man that sometimes you kind of like look at Erufai, you know, it's always loyal, you know, he greets him, kneel down as, as if, oh, Erufai is, is everything. At the end of the day, what actually happened? So for Tinubu, Tinubu knows him. And I think at, what Tinubu was trying to do was, okay, fine, I think I can still accommodate this guy. But 
along the line, probably when they look at one or two things, right, they felt, okay, Tinubu might not really be able to accommodate that guy. Because look at now, they require in Tinubu's government, a weekend in Tinubu's government, you know, <laughs> It, it, it's not going to be easy. Well, they've been able to manage Wiki, though, and uh, as big as uh, El Rufai's ego is, yeah, you can't say it's bigger than Wiki's ego. You know, there's an element. Do you remember a time that El Rufai went to Lagos to go and confront the Tinubu space, and they made some rather unguarded comments? Uh, there, there's, a, there's a theory that uh, they set him up to flog him for that uh, no, unguarded... No, uh, no, yeah. no, no, they didn't. They didn't. I think a lot of things happened after the election. A lot of things happened after the election. I think Irufai made some move. And that move was, I think most people that worked against Irufai uh, were basically Ribadu and the vice president. Those are the two people that kind of like worked against Irufai. So in, you see, this politics, there's a lot of things that we don't know from outside. That a lot of these guys actually have access to, right? They have access to meetings. They have access to one or two, you know, one or two gimmicks and everything. So that's 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 why some of all those things. Because personally, we felt, oh, why why is Erufai not giving that opportunity to do this and do that, right? But some of these guys, they don't they think far beyond, you know, normal, you know, now, right? The whole calculation beyond 2027, these guys have it. They have the template. They know what's, what's, what is going to happen in that party. So for Erufai, I like him, right? I like him. He's smart, you know, but it's kind of politics. It's, it's, uh, it's kind of politics. Is, it's a little bit, right? It's kind of politics. He gets closer to you. Once he knows that you're weak, he stabs you, and he comes out full force. So that, I don't like that kind of politics. No, oh, 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 all right. Do, do you have any commentaries on the going on in Dunamis uh, Church with this uh, rather arrogant um, uh, pastor uh, uh, reducing this uh, uh, hardworking lady to tears? Yeah, you see, I've heard a lot of people talk, you know, so, uh, the pastor, the lady, and, and some, some people even went on to so probably the education system, it's a now thing. Open it. So, so John Moyele, Konombe, Nikilo Shele, eh? Should I call social services? Look at this guy, eh? No, no, no. It's not. It's it's. They are, it's they, she's fighting with the sister. I, I know. I, and we have that sound in my house too. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Hit me speak? first, you know. Yeah, when carry on. Speak, uh, so, carry so, on. so, so, I've heard a lot of things today. Right, but what people don't understand is even here in the US, how does some of these open university actually work? Some of these online university, you know, there are instances that you go to some universities here, and by virtue of your experience, right, there are some credits they just give to you. And if you look at that particular woman, this is someone that have risen to the point of being an inspector in, in, in Nigerian police. And for somebody, obviously, probably she entered Nigerian police with 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 uh, O level, and that means she must have spent years in the Nigerian police, right? And she has a lot of experience, you know. Experience, you see, there's a difference between experience and this normal whole uh, academic theoretical things, you know. So for me, I think the pastor was wrong and and it's good that he came back apologized they did some pr you know the woman came out and and, and um you know and and probably you know she doesn't have anything that so oh, yeah it's my pastor and everything but i think i think it's it's good probably that's how god actually wants it to happen for the woman right and this is that you, you know i i i have the sense that the woman will ultimately gain from this Exactly. Actually, yeah, she will get job offers. She certainly will get money. You know how Nigerians like to throw money at those sort of spaces. No, no, it's not, uh, even, yeah. it's not even that, right? So I think this is it. For you, even when you have some of this degree, it takes time for you to get promoted in police, right? I think for me, I think the, the first thing is just that she's getting recognized. And obviously, I'm expecting her to probably get one star in the police very soon. 
you know, by virtue of, of this dent, you know, this has actually brought her out. There's a lot of eyes on her and it will definitely help her, her too. So that's why, you know, some things happen. To uh, uh, in the whole of the thing, the person that actually came out more Christianly is the woman, not the pastor. Mm -hmm. she, she defended herself and she she forgave very quickly. She spoke honestly, no. but no. the pastor was just arrogant and pompous. No, what would she have? What would she have done? <laughs> you know, number one, it's good that she's able to come out and defend herself. And it's it's not even that she came out to defend herself. I think it was actually people that immediately the thing happened. They went to her Facebook page. And they were able to see pictures when she was when she was for a convocation pictures. So and people kind of like started bringing that out. That yeah, this is that convocation convocation pictures. And I think some people even went to the fact that they, they went to look at her name in the last now convocation list, and they found it there. So you know, and obviously, you know, the pastor was it was kind of like being emotional. You know, which is normal. It's human too. So the fact that he's a pastor doesn't make him, you know, non-human. It's human, and uh, and it's obvious. It's good that he's able to identify his mistakes and he's come out to 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 apologize. And yeah, the woman is good. You know, I actually hope that would definitely help her to, you know, bring her out and see what she can actually do in the Nigerian police. You know, and get some promotion from it. Uh, 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 all right, but then let, let me take you to one more space, uh, uh, Larry, and then we'll move the conversation on. Uh, do you want to speak on Ganduji, uh, the suspension or lack thereof? So the headline that first broke was that he had been suspended uh, for, for reasons of corruption, but it looks as though now they are saying that that's, that, that was a bit, uh, that that's not the case, but uh, so, so much shrouded in, uh, in, in fog, that whole space. But... Uh, uh, of the of the first of the of the back of the first deadline that Gandude has been suspended, uh, is this uh the new direction then uh of Tinobu cleaning up house? First, that uh, better you do now, Gandude. No, no, no. Tinobu is not involved in this. I think it's just more of normal kind of state politics. Is the is the state government trying to you know pull some things, but it's not going to stand. It's not going to stand. I think it's more of the state government. You know. Kind of like trying to pull some things in that in that in that regard, which is normal, right? Because how can you as a party, you know, you said you are party leaders, you said you are suspending somebody because you know it has an issue with with the state government, you know, who obviously is actually from another political party. And this is a case that is already in court. And, and I think it's been adjudicated that you know, for you to try this case, it has to be to be tried at the federal level. So there is no basics. Because even the, even if you say you want to suspend somebody and that person challenges in court, right? So you don't it doesn't have a stand. So you can't stand something or nothing. So so it's 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 a normal thing, right? It happens in politics. They tried it and you know it's it's normal. So let's not deceive us, let's not disturb ourselves with these politicians. It's a normal oh. thing. Oh, 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 all right. Is, is there anything else that caught your attention in the news cycle before I go on to a general club? Yeah, I think another thing, you know, I just want to say something a little bit about is the PDP issue. Oh, yes, yes. Um, yeah. It's a real uh, game of brink, brinksmanship going on there. Whoever blinks first loses. So, we can, again, we've been there before. Uh, we can versus uh, 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 Article Round 2. You see, I know a lot of people have one or two things against Wiki. But have people even been able to look at? A lot of people are not happy with Atiku taking hold of that party because the way Atiku handles that party is more like yeah, it's 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 you know I can always get ticket anytime. And if Atiku, if they are not able to to take Atiku out, right? PDP is just going to die a natural death. It's using the party as a, like some sort of booty call, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Anytime because, it you know, needs us. He believes yeah, any day, yeah. anytime, you know, <laughs> I'll go to Dubai and come back probably in 2026. I can always do one or two things. I'll get a party ticket. And and a lot of people, let's, a lot of people, particularly the PDP governors, right? So if you see a lot of them, they are just, everybody just think it's wiki. It's not wiki. A lot of PDP governors 
really want to get that party out of Atiku's hand. A lot of them, even in the north, Bauchi state governor and a lot of other governors, they really want to get that party out of Atiku's hand. Because they want to have, you know, obviously, every the governors definitely want to have be that pe those people that will definitely take ownership of the party. But Atiku is, you know, Atiku's game, and um, and a lot of people think if they are looking at Wiki's direction. What I'm seeing in this in this Atiku issue, number one, I'm looking at this Bauchi governor. I'm seeing Sheyimak in this hand, and I'm seeing some other people's hand. Because if they don't get that party out of Atiku's hand, Atiku is still going to come back in 2027. He still wants to contest. And obviously, he doesn't have a chance. Unless PDP is able to purge itself out of some of all these, all these characters, Atiku and, and, and um, Wiki, and, 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 and kind of like look at, go back to the drawing board and see what they can actually do differently. Because the present PDP that we have now I don't see that PDP winning national election until probably they put themselves out and start looking at how to really restructure. Do, do, do you do you think they should abandon uh, uh, 2027 uh, and use a long period to uh, to inflect uh, uh, and and recalibrate? Uh, because mm -hmm. I I don't think they stand a chance in 2027. So why why even put in any real of course just show up for for keep sake but but um do, do you get what i mean that their their place should be uh, 2031 not 2030 no no i won't write them off i won't write them off for 2027 now it's a function of one or two things it's a function of how tinubu is able to manage the nigerian economy is a function of how Tinubu is going to is able to manage the northern politics. So it's 2027 is still far. So a lot of things are still going to if if they can number one if they can actually get themselves push themselves take ownership of the party leave these individuals some characters that will come back in Dino Mirai and the likes of them that will come back in 2026 push themselves out of those people. Now start looking at how to really rebuild the party. So if you can, if they can start now, rebuild the party and look at what Tinubu is doing. If Tinubu doesn't get it right, right? If Tinubu doesn't get it right, if he's not able to take charge of the economy, if Tinubu is not able to take charge of a lot of things, 2027 is going to be difficult for him. It's not, he's not going to get it on a platter of gold. So it needs to, so it's it's a whole lot of that's why for me, I'm not talking about 2027 now, because there's a lot of there's still a lot of hurdles for Tinubu to cross. So that's for me, 2027, I don't know. So and I'm not talking about it. I just think everybody just because for me, I want a very viable opposition. Do, do you not think the politics of 2027 is already in play? Peter Obi is uh is um all is already campaigning, not that he ever stopped. Uh, uh Rufai is throwing his hat into the ring, looking for a party to 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 propel his ambition. Atiku Abubakar is indicating that he wants to run. Uh, uh so so uh, the the campaign the 2027 is already in play now, is it not? No, 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 no. You know the thing is, all of them are not busy. You know, when people are not busy, they, they tend to look for one or two things. For Peter Obi, for me, I Peter Obi has not really gotten where he's going, right? Because if he really wants to start talking about 2027, I think he needs to first resolve the issue with the Labour Party. But I don't think he's interested in resolving that issue, which means that if he's going to leave Labour Party, he's going to start looking for another platform, right? And that platform, you know, and if he doesn't get that platform now, probably people are still advising him that he can get that platform in like 2026. Or then he still needs to now push that platform into people's hearts. And, and you know, it's a whole lot of things. So for me, for Atiku, Atiku is just normal, normal Dubai guy. Come in, bring some money, you know. And like I said, Derufai, 
Erufai, without without any without getting his state governor's support, you know, I don't really see Erufai getting his influence outside Kaduna presently. Presently. So everybody is still it's a normal thing, you know, politics when people are not really busy, you know. Oh, they start thinking of 2027. It's not even 2027 now because a lot of things are still going to unfold in 2025. You know, a lot of things are still going to unfold. So whatever anybody is doing now, you know, it's just a normal, you know, I'm trying to see what I can do. But Who, who do you think is going to superintend the... Uh, uh, do you think it's still going to be Mahmoud Yakubu? Uh, because I think they might actually be flouting constitutional... Uh, provisions. I, I, I'm not sure that um, is it not the provision that uh, uh, an INEC chairman cannot serve more than uh, two cycles of elections, and and he's serving. Is this his third one now? No, 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 no. No, I'm not sure. I'm not sure it's his third one. I think it's still his second one. I think it's still his second one. I think if, if Mahmoud Yakubu leaves and Tinubu picks the, <laughs> there is game over, isn't it? He's not going to pick anybody that, that is not going to make him win now. Oh, well, <laughs> let's let's wait till then. You know, let's let's wait till then. Let's let's wait till then and see. Because obviously, I see Tinubu picking someone from the south to be our next chairman. Because I think we've have two people from the north, right? From Mahmoud, from Jaga to Mahmoud. So and in twenty in um, probably if anybody replacing Mahmoud to definitely will definitely be someone from the south, and that's going to still raise a lot of things, right? A lot of a lot of you know a lot of debates, a lot of eyebrows. So yeah, it's 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 normal politics, you know. It's it's normal politics, but let's wait till we get there. You know, I can <laughs> I don't know what they have in their mind, and well, let's wait till we get there. Hopefully. You know, we're still going to be here to discuss it. Oh, all right, brilliant, excellent. I uh, know that we will be. So, so thank you. So, thank you, Larry. Stay with us. Uh, let's go from you to Ajale Koko, see if he's ready. Ajale Koko. Oh, oh, all right, we don't. I, I think Ajale Koko will be in the fridge. Uh, let's go to Kulata. Uh, uh, Kulata. Hey, one man. Uh, 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 your avatar, baby. What's what's going on there? Yeah, you, yeah, uh, 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 <laughs> I'm, I'm an obedient fan. Look, look at that. Eh? A new Nigeria is possible. A, a new Nigeria is possible, but are we even already getting? You know, they keep saying they want a new Nigeria. We're getting a new Nigeria with the raft of policy changes and infrastructural bold moves. That we are seeing, we are already getting the new Nigeria. Well, it depends. Um, what makes you say we're already getting the new Nigeria? Uh, be because um, they are putting in policies that uh, for, for 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 the first time uh, makes the country actually looks like a look like a serious country. I'm talking about the most of Kadoso. And the uh, Jim Obazi uh, mandate is to go into the financial system to identify a special, the, the corruption, yes, but the loopholes so that that can be plugged. Everything is being streamlined to follow an automated uh, sequence of processes. So, so that, that, there's so much excellence going on there. And then the infrastructural development, the rapid rate at which a uh, 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 Mahi is traversing the country, you, you know, the security situation, uh, you can see a visible significant reduction in incidents. So the, the whole thing is just coming together. And then Dangote rolling out, everything looking good. The future looks bright, uh, a new Nigeria. A new Nigeria is not only possible, it is already here. Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You are, you are setting me up to prop the government. But yeah, if you talk about uh, Dangote, yes, that's consumption to production. Um, we're talking about uh, CBN. I mean, I said CBN. Uh, we're talking about local supply of crude uh, from the PIB bill. That's a new Nigeria. Essentially, as of today, uh, as far as the capacity for Dangote's refinery, we've essentially stopped importing diesel. 
That's a big deal. And uh, I want to believe if we use NAFTA, it was the name of that heavy oil. We don't need to import that too. And jet fuel, we won't need to import jet fuel. So we, with a matter of time, petrol, even though we may bring the crude from America or whatever, but at the end of the day, uh, we'll export some, which will make us dollars. We're adding value. We're, adding, we're finally adding value to, um, to what's it called? Raw to, to things you dig out of the ground. So in that sense, we're, we're moving ahead. And I also think we're moving ahead because I think at Doso, they're trying to drop the Naira back to the old black market rate, which is around 800, 850. So if they can get it to that level, right? Um, the only additional net that they will have done was the removal of subsidy. So the amount of money they will need to pay people minimum wage will be small it, it won't they won't kind of like you know all those times that labor was asking was it two hundred thousand naira or something minimum wage no if you can get dollar back to what it was the black the old black market rate around that range let's just say 850 900 that worry range 800 850 900 and co then how much much money do people want to ask for for minimum wage the only additional thing you're going to ask for is for something to cover the cross subsidy because you're going to have pass through effect of the lower, the stronger Naira. So anything that requires import should be cheaper. Inflation is going to come down. It will start coming down. It may take a few more months because, I mean, like I said on another platform, even though from chats, that prices, they're lagging. All these things, I mean, people will first abuse, I mean, I mean, they have to replenish old stock, abuse the stock, I mean, abuse the privilege of old stock, whether well, it's real or imagined. Uh, and sorry, do that. Before, you, before you go deeper, uh, I know you mentioned we, we had no value to, to something right now. So to bring about, to give us some clarity, could, could you define or explain to us what it, what it is to add value or what is value added to, to anything? Value addition in layman's view. The, the fast a... question, Abi. We, 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 we <laughs> try to pretend like you know. What is you take a raw, raw material, raw commodity, and make it into, and and process it into a more finished good. So, uh, crude, you 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 are uh, you put it into the production process. You get diesel. You get heavy oil, nap, I can't put, is it nap palm or naphtha or whatever. You get uh, bitumen, you get things, you get more things. You can get Vaseline, right? You can get Bongas pomade for those that dye their gray hair. You can get all those things. You can get drugs out of um, the refinery. So something that, how much is it $90 for whatever uh, barrel, the, the going rate? I, can't, I don't even know. If you convert that, you refine it, you'll make way much, much money than uh, just selling crude. So finally, we've got to that stage, at least with our biggest product. The only regret I have is we stopped investing in uh, oil and gas um, extraction, especially onshore. We stopped that a while back. So while many people say, oh, no, they're still in 400,000, can it's not that simple. They're not literally stealing 400 barrels a day. They we're supposed to be able to produce those additional, uh, what's it called? But because of uh, vandalism and all, if that pipeline doesn't put out the expected uh, PSI or whatever, then they will say, okay, this is money for gone. While they're stealing, is not literal 400,000 a day those things could just be pumping the, um, the additional but if we had invested or we kept on reinvesting we will have way more uh production coming out of those oil fields we'll be able to get to like 1.82 million but we didn't do that throughout worry i don't think they invested squat even i mean i can take it as far back as jonathan so that's what we're really suffering because now we have no choice but to import crude 
which is not bad. What's that? Well, I mean, a refinery will have capacity, um, I mean, um, running capacity. You have to be able to make that capacity. So if an NPC cannot satisfy you, you go and buy. And if you have contracts and they're still not satisfying you, you go to the spot market, you buy. So all those things, is, I'm fine with it because at the end of the day, we're going to be exporting some of these things and they will make it way, way much money. But the balance of trade between importing crude and exporting and selling refined diesel, refined petrol is fantastic. Dangote exported whatever product I can't seem to pronounce his name. I have to Google it. Is it, it starts with N. He exported it to America now. They're buying it from him in America. He's already started selling. So, I mean, it's good. It's, it's, it's good. That's consumption. I mean, anybody that wants to know what consumption to production is, that is consumption. I mean, <laughs> I'm being silly anyway. I'm being facetious, but no, that's not, from production. You're you you not being facetious, uh, uh, Kulata, because um, when, when they use all these peppy little uh, phrases, uh, a new Nigeria is possible from coal. They don't. They, they don't actually know that it is slow, boring uh, steps that actually take you there. And it's those. Two, uh, so, that's what's happening now. You know. Yeah, that's, what, that's what's going on. They, 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 they it's a slow grind. Yes. They think you will be, 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 uh, Peter Obi gets there and he snaps a finger and then everybody starts producing. No, the the economy needs to be well oiled to be able to support that our fiscal policy are everything. So when we keep looking at what's going on now, um, like I said, I want this, I suspect they want to get the Naira back to like 800 level. And if they get it back to 800 level, that's kind of like starting back from ground zero, but a good ground zero whereby there's no arbitrage. Check it out. Parallel market is more, is encouraged to buy dollar if I want to sell dollar now, many people, I mean, if, if you, you see that parallel market is slightly lower than even the official. So the way Cardoso has done it, uh, parallel market is more encouraged to buy. And then the banks, are, 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 I mean, have whatever, I mean, they have the capacity to sell. And there's that maybe $50, is it $50, 50 naira, some small difference. And the, uh, the, the, what is fantastic about this managed float is the amount of money they use to maintain this rate. It's not a lot. It's really not a lot. They're giving $10,000 10, 10, 10, to BBCs. How much is a loan in at the end of the day? It's not, I mean, it's not a significant chunk. People who saw that time that the, what's it called? Um, the reserve dip. They said, ah, they were using the reserve to do this. No, that's not true. They use the reserve to pay the way four trillion ways and means that Tinobu borrowed last year. They used it to service the paid back CBN. So for, for the ways and means, they basically they were they, they were not supposed to. I mean, they were not supposed to take any out. So things are looking. I mean, things are much. Things are looking up, but it's of course they're still. So but, but, but they are they are looking up on a more solid footing is 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 more the point and, and that that's what I'm Sus saying that sustainable Sus footing yes that that's the new Nigeria isn't it sustainable footing that's the new Nigeria because while subsidy is gone is back if they if we can get Naira back to eight hundred or something then government will not be paying any subsidy anymore. The reason right now is because we've devalued the Naira so much and we need to get our mentality of fixed prices. That doesn't exist like anywhere in the world. You live in the UK, I live in the US. Is there any such thing as petrol price? I can wake up and know what the petrol price will be. Of course not. I have to go to the gas station and see what the price is. There's we Nigerians, we've been spoiled with that oh somehow that the, the price must not change the price just needs to stay like when in the world does that happen it's, i i don't know a country that is not heavily subsidized maybe they don't know what to do with money that they'll be having fixed prices so i get why they had to start subsidizing petrol again because the shock was too much and what else i said is true when you look at the actual Naira amount, if you if you look at the Naira amount, 
the amount of subsidy they're paying is higher than under Buhari. But relatively, if you look at the value of the Naira, it's lower. But when you look at the, I mean, when you look at it in like in uh, absolute terms, yes, the subsidy Naira getting paid is way higher than what Buhari is getting paid. But if they can bring the Naira down, if they keep on bringing it down, it's going to get to a point where they won't be subsidizing anything. But at that point in time, please release the brakes. Let the price move with the market. You can let the price move the market and say, okay, I will peg it at some point, meaning I will intervene at some point. But I mean, which is what they're doing, but don't let that intervention just go for multiple months and months. Let it go up and down like it is. You can ease it a bit so it's not too much of a burden. But we just can't have this single fixed price. Look at diesel now. Diesel is not single fixed price now. If you go to the if you go to your gas station right now, premium premium PMS is more expensive than diesel. Abi, Abi I like for people that buy gas. When you go to the gas station, isn't diesel cheaper than petrol? Or am I wrong? But in Nigeria, even if diesel, because I, I can't remember, I don't use a diesel car, but there are few, few cents between each other. But when you look at if you're going to buy diesel now in Nigeria, it's all over double the price of petrol now. Over double. And if this is these are things coming out of crude oil. So all that heavy-handed subsidy that we have to do, we have to satisfy Nigeria. The price needs to be won. Please stop it. Even in abroad, yeah, going, even electricity is not just one price. They change all those things. We have to get used to market forces. We've, we've been spoiled just to kind of like have one price. It's not like that in the real world. So once they can get the dollar down, further down, Take remove. I mean, release the, the, the your foot from the brakes. Let the car move. Yeah. How far down are you looking at here? I've heard. I think Goldman Sachs says seven hundred. Right, that's the, what they're looking at. Seven hundred naira. Yeah, the fourteen dollar. That's the range they're looking at for the dollar to come down to. So how far oh. down before we start to see that impact of what you speak of? Like how oh, far? The pass, the, the pass through effect. Ah, yeah. It depends. Oh. It depends. I mean, it's when you think about okay. Let's think about a situation like people that bought stuff a dollar one thousand eight hundred. Even the people that bought stuff a dollar one thousand five hundred, it's gonna take. I mean, it's gonna take a while for to sell those stock, right? It's gonna take a while. But whether it takes a while or not, people will always they will also want to abuse it because some people will start. I mean. This is not a good time, honestly speaking, because it's keep, it keeps going down, 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 down. Yeah, so but, but you, the, the reason I asked that question is because, you know, months ago on this platform, during the campaign, we discussed, uh, is it a pricing board or something like that? Wait, that kind of watch all this thing. Oh, so, pricing board for um, commodity like, board. Commodity, like, so that way you prevent, like, hoarding of goods and services. Like, when, when, when you know they've exhausted their, 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 their stock, but they're still keeping the price high. Even if they are buying low, so that's yeah, why. I, to, yeah, I don't know. I've not seen any action about like minister. Do we, of do we, do we have a board right now, or they are still working on it? It's coming. Like, I don't you know. know. It's it's, coming I, think, I think it's, it's coming now. Okay, okay, because it's only serious governments like Lagos. At least they've done something about their own. And if you look at the latest inflation numbers that came out. Lagos uh, inflation increased, but not significantly like other other states. So they, that own Jericho, you could I literally see the impact of that own Jericho in the inflation coming out of Lagos. So, but the Tinubu Commodity Board is that, I mean, I think we're still in, it's coming because not all ministers are performing. Like even Cardoso is just a superstar. Everything we're saying now, is because of some of the things Buari laid out before, and uh, Adeyemi Kadoso. That is the rest, I mean, you still have slim pickings of people doing good thing or the other. But I don't want this to be a lamentation fest. I've been doing that too much. But get, I mean, if that naira gets that eight hundred, and it stays there, 
I mean, let's say back and forth, back and forth between 800 to 950. We get that through next year. I mean, by towards the end of the year, prices will come down. I mean, because the only sustainable cost push that we're getting is going to come from expensive petrol. Diesel that is used to power generators, used to drive trucks. Diesel has been diesel. It's been, it's been removed for a, for a while. So really, the only sort of damage to people's pockets that you can say Tinubu will cost, at, I mean, if we can get the dollar down, it's just petrol subsidy. And the, uh, what's it called? The effect, I mean, the ways and means that got printed, 20 something trillion, hopefully, um, we'll keep mopping up those by open market operation with the high interest rates that CBN has done. Maybe they will, ja maybe they will jack up interest rates further, which will further increase uh, uh, FPIs, people that are bringing in money for fixed, uh, for fixed uh, sort of investment. Another thing that can happen is, I think I've mentioned this before, if America lowers their interest rate, uh, people that want like fixed income investment, they will move to the countries like Nigeria will be more attractive because we will increase, we we'll probably increase our interest rate. And we probably have capacity to ride that out for multiple times before we finally contain inflation. But I think we should start looking at prices come down, coming down small, small, starting from the next three months. We should be able to start getting some respite, in my uh, opinion. I, 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 think, I, I think. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Yeah. So now, what can you say are the short term shocks that this government can actually do before May? Because obviously, if they announce new minimum wage in May, inflation would definitely inflation rates would definitely increase. So what are those things that you think they can do now? Well, whatever they do, whatever intervention they do is still going to cause inflation. But what they can do is uh, that distribution of money that is backed up by NIN. They can do that. They can, uh, uh, they can kind of like give some stimulus checks to people, right? And uh another thing they can do whatever agency is supposed to be going i mean whatever agency that's supposed to be responsible for prices or price controls they can deploy um, things out to go and shake up the market to see people that are gouging the system right so but those are not significant i mean the latter one is not that significant the former one requires them to be prepared because they can't keep doing the distributing cash the way they used to do that in Bwari because we know they were just stealing that. So if they say, okay, NIN, go, go to bank, or is, is it NIN or BVN? I think it's NIN. If it's NIN, no, go and get BVN. I think you can mix the two together now. I don't even know. I'm, I don't live in Nigeria. Say, go to bank. You will receive your stipend. And then they give stipend while they still work on getting this thing down. Because I think what will be this major justification if we can get dollar back to the black market under Buari? So how much minimum wage should I increase it by? Because the only thing I've kind of like increased on you is just the uh, subsidy. So should I, I mean, so should I now double your minimum wage? No, because I got the dollar back to where it was. So the only other thing is just subsidy. So I can give you a 25% bump or whatever. You can say, okay, how much? I mean, you can't really say that because um, petrol is supposed to be fluctuating in price. But let's just say you calculate an amount and say, okay, th this is your living wage adjustment. Of course, that really applies to government workers. Minimum wage means nothing to the general economy. So while you stimulate government workers, it will have, I mean, it will have multiplier effect. Yes, we get it. But the the majority of the population will even not feel that bump of minimum wage because a lot of states gone will not be able to pay it. It's just going to be federal government, Lagos, and maybe uh, Lagos, uh, maybe Portacot, and a few other states that will be able to quickly do it. So even though that inflation gone may not be too much, 
and then we're going to look at okay so which one carries weight more because we have both we have both uh what's called demand pull from the 23 trillion 23 trillion which hopefully the increased uh mpr rate interest rate is supposed to curb then we have the cost push which is maybe pass through cost from increasing transportation cost and uh i don't even know where we're going to put this insecurity so we have that cost push that one is the stubborn one that one is going to be the most stubborn one because the the, the factors surrounding it they're not addressing it in an encompassing way like addressing its insecurity like in a more robust way the fuel subsidy one like all those buses all those things they promised that one is also under is coming so at least one area of the inflation i know for sure will target and any inflation due to dollar uh, dollar whatever anything let me put it this way anything that can be controlled by cardoso we can know that that will be fine anything that can be controlled by the fine fiscal side the Edwin side we're still in is coming we're still in waiting mode because the tax reforms they've announced stuff they've been doing this we need to now get action like where's the bill where's the bill to pass to kind of like uh unify I mean, they said they're going to unify um, simplify the taxes make it less than 10. so where's the bill where's the bill is it in the house where, where is it what reading when are they going to do something about that so that's kind of like the fiscal side uh also uh, uh i mean also on the fiscal side let's even look at that um zeta's friend uh, i am um, anete that minister of uh what's an what's a minister of uh <laughs> what trade, that fine woman trade that fine woman uh, trade and investment uh i mean we need to see some action from our side like serious action so i, I think anybody but kadoso they're lagging behind in my opinion it's now time there are two things that need to happen fiscal side needs to catch up law enforcement needs to catch up to even though law, i feel at this point in time law enforcement is probably even doing better than fiscal side because a lot of all this stuff we're talking about efcc's action enforcement and all will go a long way because um we've to an extent we've kind of like curtailed or we're curtailing spurious demand for fx and we're encouraging people that want to have it to come and invest in it in, in nigeria that's good but from the fiscal side right what are we doing to get things moving and another area that they can do they may try and I, i've said it before i think it's time tinubu picks some winners it needs to create a new set of billionaires with private jets that will invest that will get things moving it happened on the Obasanjo. You could see that there was, uh, I mean, there was a. Uh, uh, but uh, that was uh, oil and gas and telecom. So which sector are we looking at here? What's what's wrong with the gas sector? No, no, no. I, I, no I'm saying. What, what about even solid minerals? Uh, that that space oil. remains on top. Can still do oil and gas is fine, but what about other sectors to create this billion? Yeah, uh, one man just mentioned one now. Solid minerals. Uh -huh. yeah, so what about that? What about even power? What about our own power? That one, yes. I agree. That one, that would be a multi-billion, multi-billionaires in dollars if they get it right. There's so many areas that yeah, like. But, but for, if, we, if, if, if they have to do it in power, it, it, it'll be it'll be it'll be bogged down in a legal mesh. Remember, they've handed out all these licenses to all these uh, portfolio people. You, 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 uh, it's, it's I, so I was arguing in my uni in my university uh, my elect uh, university group today that all these discos a lot of them are only busy they're only money why don't you make the uh, bank because this before now on this platform now we give a solution to the type problem let the bank take over 
why don't you let Ancon take over some of them? They're only basic. Many of them don't have, I mean, they're, they're insolvent. So that there's opportunity. There's, there are, up, there are opportunities. There are, there are different areas where there are opportunities. Some people, you can even give some people tourism. You can give, there, there's so many things now that we can do. We're creative people now. So uh, they need to give access to productive Nigerians, people that can do, people really that can do. And don't let the government want to do everything. I think Nubu can make his own one or two there too. That's fine. But at least get people there. So I'm expecting more action from the fiscal side. Cardoso has been, I mean, what he has. And another thing, look at how many people that Tinubu has taken money out of their pocket. All those BDC runs, all those say, take dollar here, 300, go and sell it 800. Gone. Even subsidy, why we're still paying subsidy? It's not like bo 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 subsidy where everybody and his dog were going to get subsidy uh, payment. This is more like an NNPC, Trifigura, Vitor, v Vitor, and all those trading companies is part of their deal. It's not like general now. And those are kind of like in billions of dollars. But those are, well, those are going to Swiss trading companies, some Nigerian trading companies, and all whatnot. But while the number is high, it's not like you don't have too many people chopping from that anymore. So things, the fundamentals are getting set. And part of the fundamentals is also, like I said, not having a fixed price. That's not realistic. Prices change. So if all those things get in play, empower, empower new billionaires, 30-something-year-old, 40-something-year-old, 50-something-year-old, empower them. They, they are the doers. Every society, the majority are not the doers. It's just a few. How many Elon Musk do we have in America? How many Zuckerberg? How many? I mean, not too many, just a few. But those few will create stuff. Additional, uh, Mekunos like me will be able to chop out of the stuff, go and work for them or go and help them do one or two things. And that's how it's going to spread around. So, the, the, I mean, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Can recap, sorry, can you re recap those sectors again that you you think will be areas to create this journey? You said energy, mining, right? So gas, 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 gas. gas oh, yes, gas sector. Do you, do, do, do you not to think that that space is oversaturated already? Um, all that's oil and gas. How, how many more oil well, and gas can we oil I'm and not, gas? Well, man, I'm not saying oil and gas. I'm saying mm -hmm. the gas sector. Gas, go, 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 gas. We are flaring now. We, uh, we're we're flaring. flaring. I know, I know we're flaring right. now, but the Germans are looking to liquefy it. Already. What about us? For, what about us? Nigeria, do, go, 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 go. Do you know that there's a problem that is coming from that sector? I just pray that its noble government is able to manage it well. With this shell, this shell suit that they filed in the US. And that is another mm -hmm. thing that can cause a lot of problems for that. Is company. that another PNID? It's crazy and it's coming. I don't know how they are going to manage it. I need the, if they are really serious now, the Minister of Justice needs to stand up and start working because another What's it? problem. That is coming. What was the case, please? Let me Google it. So I think it's 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 Shell. I think there was an agreement on what they are supposed to supply. NLLG, they didn't supply. Shell sued them in the US. There's another one coming up in the UK. They are going to sue them in the UK again. Yeah. And ah. it's huge. So and these are things that I expect, you know, them to start start putting their Lego team together and see how they can actually you know, face some of other things. You know the normal thing, when they want to sue you, they go to the, either the US or the UK and um, they put you into, into another issue. So when you were talking about gas, when I, 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 I knew that's another big thing, right? And most of all those problems happen because you have people, you know, they, they, they kind of like do a lot of things under the table and at the end of the day, the country is going to survive. That's another good thing, you know, I don't know why that is not really making a lot of headlines because it's coming. If they don't have I just it. saw I, I've seen it. I've seen it. Something with Shell. Yes, yeah, yeah, Swing, that is, that is. Swing yeah. Venture Global, Venture Global LNG. And they said 
the Nigeria may be impacted because Nigeria and Shell and Nigeria were in joint venture for the LNG now. Yeah, that's what it's all about. So why would they sue us? Yeah, I think there there is an agreement on what they were supposed to supply, which I think they they breached the contract, and Shell is is all out for it. And there's another one coming in the UK. Oh, I mean, breach of contract. Failing yeah. to deliver 19 cargoes under a contract is executed in 2020, yeah. January 2020. Yeah. It's, I just hope that it's a lot of, you know, I, I just hope for me, I want Nigeria to be good. And what I need from the Sinobu's government is to be proactive rather than being reactive. You know, any government that is proactive will succeed. But if you are reactive, there is no way you can succeed. You can only keep patching. And that's the problem I have. Because for this particular issue now, right, if they don't start looking for ways, settle out of court, look for a way to mediate, look for a way to undo things, right, so that you don't, because they are, they are fixing a lot of, it's a lot of patches now, right? Imagine they have that, that thing again, that's going to impact one or two things in that sector. And these are the sector that you are looking at because that sector is basically powering electricity in that country. So it's, it's a whole lot of things. So for me, that's why every time I keep saying I need them to, to be out to do some things, you know, whatever they can do. Because some things, if you look at what is happening in Nigeria, there's a lot of things that do not follow the normal laws of economics. It's a lot of factor. It's a lot of variables. So for them to be able to handle things, so they need to use an orthodox way of solving conventional problem. So that's, it's, it's a whole lot of things. You know, when you see some of all those things and the people that are actually close to the government, you need them to, to be there to start working. Don't wait till there's a problem and, you know, everybody's not like, oh, what's happening? You know, these are things that they can settle out of court, negotiate, look for a way to, to resolve it. And at the end of the day, it's going to be a win-win for everybody. It's, it's, just, it's just unfortunate. I just hope they, they learn from it. I don't think, I mean, I, I, I don't know if we ever learn because all our civil servants that are responsible for all this stuff, they are not, they don't love the country, so they cut their own deals and they don't really care. So I really don't know, but what Shell, company, Shell is suing a company called Venture Global, which is an Oimbo company because I'm looking at their board. They're all white people. Yeah, uh, and it's related to NLLG. There, do they act on behalf of LNG? Because what they did was they ignored contracts while they were selling to higher margins with the risk of a court case. And I think they said each cargo had like a margin of $19 million or something. I just did a quick speed read. Yeah. So, I mean, I hope we settle it. But this one doesn't look as scary as the PNID one. Yeah, that will have bankrupt you know why, Nigeria. Why, because you know the issue is this: one is there is a that if, if they are suing us in the US and they are suing us in the UK at the same time, you know, and this is how those those guys deal, right? They want you to be, mm -hmm. able, you know, they'll sue you simultaneously, and you kind of like you know you be in the middle. So for me, that's how I'm always more like, yeah, let's start negotiating now. What do you guys want? What can we do? Obviously, most of all those things are not things done by the Tinubu's government. These are deals that that predict. They happen under Buari. So now, that's exactly why I need them to start negotiating. Okay, fine. You know what can we do to really resolve some of all these things? Because at the end of the day, it's going to affect. It's going to affect them because number one, it's going to cause some distraction. And what they think they need now, it's it's a whole lot. And Kalakolata, I like the fact that you say you see. You, you talk about the fiscal policy, but for me, I think there is just more of the approach, right? If you look at what is happening with the tax side, I think the tax side is more of revenue generation rather than really looking into one or two things. 
for the investment side, that woman, I don't know what she's doing. She's not doing right? much. And I don't know what she's doing. Because at this point, for me, I still believe in the short run, right? The likes of Dangote, Bois, and some of this local player, they can still do something. At least when it comes to food inflation, they can still do something. It's just more like, you know, looking for a way to, to, to meet them at the middle. That's what I think they can still do. Because that's everybody you see in Nigeria now is feeling the impact, right? So if if Tinubu can really work, if that minister, I'm not even talking about Tinubu now, because that minister, work with these guys, see what you can do, you know, with these guys. I know people, you know, Nigeria is always full of arbitrage. Everybody wants to make profit at the expense of the people. But there is mm -hmm. a way you can, like, see like what they did with this brood the change thing, right? They were able to cut those guys off and the guys are now the ones complaining. So go there, look for something in the middle, meet them in the middle. At the end of the day, everybody will kind of like say, yeah, I need to, instead of waiting for that big margin, they want to sell at the lower margin, at least for them to break even. And at the end of the day, it's going to be a win-win situation for everybody, which I think they need to do now, at least. But at least. The, the thing is, if you, like, those guys are kind of like the market makers, so definitely you have to give them access into something for them to kind of like intervene that way because yes they can set prices and it will have a ripple effect throughout the economy for example cement both of them can dictate how much they're going to sell cement in nigeria for sure lafarge will follow they'll follow suit then gote can determine how much sugar price is going to be in that country spaghetti spaghetti noodles whatever spaghetti. else is selling it's a whole lot. It's a whole lot. So if you want to subsidize guys, those guys, subsidize I, them. I don't care. Yeah, but don't you have to get some kind of board involved in in this uh, uh, regulation of this uh, prices? I mean, they will at least have a say in it. No, no. You know, the issue is this. If you look at what is really coming from those guys, right? All they need is just little margin, right? If you can meet them at the middle, get their cost and just let them put that little margin. These guys, you know, with that little margin, they can still survive. But the they have the volume. Is, you, you, you can't do that now. You said that um, earlier on. You, you, can't, you can't go into a private company and force price on no, them. No, no, no. I'm not saying force. That's why I said it did No, like, no one mind. What he's saying is that in America, we call it consumer protection, right? If you will they, make your margin for a reasonable yes. profit where you don't gouge the the the, 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 the your but that's not the model that uh Tinubu is using now. What he's doing that's, is that's the reason why I, I was asking oh my. the economy in the air and say four no, that's, that's the reason why I was asking because I, I was reading this article earlier. Uh I was just uh, by the vice president talking about February this year, they were gonna launch the consumer board thing. That, that's the reason why I was asking Kay earlier about maybe it's her anything about that board. Because See, I, I'm like, what did they about? announce? Did they announce that they're going to launch it? No, no. Let me find it. The article you said in February they were going to launch it. So I'm like, who are the members? I let me send that to one man so he can put it up. So because I I really want to know who's going to be on that board. That's I, okay. go ahead, sorry. So, <laughs> so, so so one man, right? You see, it's it's something that it's normal even here in the US. So we are not really saying don't make profits. There's a way government can actually work with those guys where they can make a reasonable margin. And that reasonable margin, and if you ask those guys, they will tell you, oh, this is how much you're selling, and we don't know how much it gets to those guys. So at least if they can be able to work with those guys to get that point, that point that it gets to those guys in the market, then it's easier, right? Because obviously, if take for instance now, if Dangote is from factory, uh, spaghetti, for instance, if spaghetti costs from factory 400 and for you to get to those guys, it's more like probably it's cost like 450. So are you telling me that and if Dangote make that open and if everybody gets to know what it costs, so and somebody is selling that spaghetti for 700 because now we don't even have the data. We don't even know what. Everybody does what he wants. And that's why everybody can actually, you know, they can just decide in the market. It's a whole lot of things. Work with Dangote, work with the Yalojas, work with everybody. 
at the end of the day. But, but Dangote, do Dangote is crashing diesel prices. Yeah, it's crashing diesel prices. It's doing a lot, but I think what they need now is, you know, we need we need more. <laughs> you I, I apologize. Let me just read a few things here. You remember there was a court case in Lagos where somebody sued for increase in prices and. The federal court ruled that the government by February 7 has to fix the price of goods and services, including petroleum products, within seven days. That was in February. That was actually a court ruling uh, in regards to that, that that board has to come in, come around. So that was a court ruling, not political. The court actually said that they have to set up a board to regulate, to fix prices of goods and, and, and petroleum products. One man, I put the link. But I, I saw that I saw that headline. I didn't read it. That, that's right. kind of so, like a, it's a useless court ruling. How can courts be? Saying that one, I don't know. I don't. This I'm asking the question. Like I don't know how far are we on that one. Is it a, uh, is it constitutional to even mandate people to do that? And if they're going to bring up a board, well, they're going to have any LLC. It's not going to be. I'm going to assume some kind of price control. So how, 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 how does that judgment come I, into effect? You know. You know? Yes. Do you make the government pay subsidy or not? What what, what does that is a meaningless uh, I, don't, I don't even know how they can actually enforce that judgment though. But you know, they just have to look for what I think they can do. That's why I'm more like I'm even inter I'm interested in those big guys. Because those big guys they control a lot of things. And if those big guys decide today that okay, fine, we want to we are, we just want to make a little profit and we can do something. Those guys can do something though. There is a lot they can do. And another thing is another thing that is driving price in Nigeria. Custom needs to in, to review their rates because I'm not sure they've reviewed. I think at presently I'm not sure they've reviewed their rates. Bring it down based on the current exchange rates. Because that's it's one, it's one true something now. It's still it's higher than the current one. So yeah, yeah. So, so they need to get down. You know, a little bit, even if it's going to be a little bit below the official price, because that's another thing. You know, if they can do that, that's also going to have some effect, you know, on things that are actually coming. So it's a whole lot of things that they need to do. You know, there's a lot of gaps. So they just need to, you know, start looking, you know, small wins. What they need now is those small wins. Those small wins will definitely have impact. Wins from the custom, you know, reducing that price. Talk with those guys see ways you can actually do it if you need to subsidize for me if if you need to subsidize the likes of dangote subsidize them and let that have some effect because obviously the last the common man on the street is only interested in the price of what they buy so those are the ways that government can actually come in you don't just go in and say one of fixed price but let's sit down and meet on the table tell me what i can do because obviously this is going to have some effect on people so if they can do that so i don't have a problem with that i'm not against subsidy but i just want subsidy to be tailored to where it will definitely have a lot of impact on on, on the people oh, oh, oh all right uh, larry let, let me bail out uh, uh go to bed especially seeing that nobody has super chatted apart from my so so that so so that's give me the hump uh no i'm only joking but uh I was waiting for uh, my co-host to turn up, uh, but a bit like London buses, you wait for hours and then two turn up at the same time. So Thomas and Mike here now, so that gives me the window to 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 bail out. Uh, so th thank everyone. See you tomorrow. So uh, Thomas, um, uh, uh, Kulata has the floor still. Uh, you may want to ask him about uh, the goings on in PDP once they've done the economic beat. Uh, Ajale Koko has now spoken. When he's ready, he'll let you know. I I called him earlier. Uh, um, of course, uh, the majestic BT here. So, uh, 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 Mike here as well. To, to so so between the two of you, uh, you coordinate matters. Uh, thank everyone. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Good night, Mama. Yeah, Kulata. Yeah. Uh, uh, Thomas. Babaga. <laughs> How fun. I do. I do. But well, um, let me just put some input. Yeah. What uh, government did here is. To subsidize the farmer heavily. You subsidize them heavily. So that and they they monitor the price of the food. Uh Yoruba said I don't know how to say that in English. 
So they gouge the price of what they are selling. So subsidies, subsidizing dangote for food is there's nothing bad in that. It happens all over the whole world. It happens here in Australia. They, they, they subsidize, they give the farmers grants. Then when they, when they are selling, they are selling their farm produce. They don't sell it. They they sell it in a subsidy way, so that there will be food in the land. I don't know. Maybe it happens in US as well. So that's they my subsidize. The subsidize farming in America heavy, heavily. They do it. So they do it. Every country you have food security must be a priority in every country. Mm -hmm. now. You don't want you you can't let your people be hungry. So, I mean, they should do that, but I, I also think we need a new set of billionaires in Nigeria. We need the productive type to be incentivized. Like, you need to give them incentives. I mean, it may sound crass, no, but I I'm serious. No, no, I think, I think you're right. I see a lot of investments, right? Just like you said, I see a lot of people now getting more interested in investing in Nigeria because particularly people in diaspora, because with the way the exchange rate is going now, I think it's, 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 it's better to invest in Nigeria now, right? Because look at what is, the exchange rate is now favorable. So I see a lot of money yeah. still coming in into that space. And, um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of people are looking into several sectors. And obviously, you know, I see a lot oh, but of can you can you base your uh can you base your brain on this little uh fall in dollar to naira? It may rise anytime. You know Nigerian stuff. Things no. go up, things come down. Things go up, things no. come down. I don't. No, know. Not, no, no, not like okay. this. No, I have a quick question now. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we so, can hear you. So, uh, Kolata, I, I think I heard like. A couple of times now, say we need a new set of uh, uh, billionaires. Um, is that um, a euphemism for new kinds of uh, entrepreneurs in, in diff different sectors? Uh, because I, I don't know why you keep emphasizing on billionaires. Yes. As well, well, when I say billionaires, I'm being flippant. But yes, new set of entrepreneurs in untapped sectors. Okay. Because yeah. why are we leaving them idle? We know the government is not going to do jack shit about it. So why don't you empower people that can actually do something about it and create the opportunities? And once the opportunity is created, then the economy follows. Like, I mean, they, God created smart people or resourceful people for a reason. So if they, if they deploy them, the market will move. I just want expansion, right? Not just sitting in the same thing, yeah. uh, doing the same things, and then we're just wallowing and wasting resources away. But in what that, sector are you, right. looking, are you looking after? Thomas, like I said, gas sector, um, yeah. even yeah. mining sector, agriculture, gone tourism, gone um, uh, what really call it? Even to even gather people. To be doing call center, no? to be doing call center before robots take over all that part. That that area is there. They're so, I mean, even Kolata, don't you think what we need is rich corporations and not rich people like belong, you know, wealthy well, corporations? It's rich people that creates rich corporations, uh, Mike. No, like you know, like a corporation, for example, it's not really like you don't really own it you're more like a shareholder you can be 100 percent owner but it you it, it's really separated from you you know it's more like a, a media liability company you know so it, it's own you know a, a llc is owned by the corporate cop, cop, public but in a sense what well, it says it's a separate entity from you the individual you know but someone needs to create your, your someone salary, is, what you pay yourself is regulated as rules. You can't just, you know, every the money that belongs to the corporation also belongs to you. You can pay, you can decide to pay yourself whatever you want, but it's still, you know, it's a, it's a corporation. So if something happens to you, it doesn't die with the, you know, the business doesn't die along with you now, you know. Yeah, but I mean, we're, I think we're saying the same thing because the some the entrepreneur 
that is going that I that should get empowered. Hopefully, it's not going to go and create a limited liability. I think Mike was talking more of public companies. And that I was going to get there that someone needs to create a company, and then it will need more money. It will be doing well, and it will need more money, and it can decide to either go to the bank and get a loan, or go to the market and float the I mean, and float the company and sell shares. I don't even. But someone needs to start. Do you know that I don't even think those public companies are the ones that really drive the economy? If you look at US, for instance, majority of companies that drive the economy are basically private companies. Most of all these LLCs. So, which I think it's really lacking in Nigeria. I think it's just a little bit of, you know, stepping it a little bit further. Right, at least that middle tier where people kind of like open LLC. If you have an LLC that can, you know, have you know, you're recruiting like 50, 100 people. If you have more of those, you know, you are you you are beginning to have that capacity to tap into some of other sector, even at your own little little way. And those are things that really drive economy. If you look at US, for instance, how many companies are actually you know listed in in New York Stock Exchange or Nasdaq? Majority of the companies you see in New York are basically LLC that have probably like, you know, 100, 200 staff, right? Not really gotten to that point of really getting listed on the stock exchange. So which is really lacking. If you look at Nigeria, basically most little companies you see in Nigeria are majorly probably so perpetual, you know, kind of like... They're so perpetual, like limit, very small. Yeah. So very small, small small company like that so probably they need to have that middle tier where you have people having more capacity in terms of llc opening llc that have that capacity that could actually run at least run with like 100 staff run with like but, 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 but uh, larry uh, yeah, uh, um, yes let me say this yeah all the time we always depend on the government I don't know. I don't. I haven't been in US. I don't know how you guys. Go, there's nothing government doing in this country. What are they doing? Is just create the enabling environment. But, it's but, the but, private people that are striving and someone, making the country. Someone, yes, they will, uh, they will, uh, they will uh, force the private people, sir. They will uh, force uh, this uh, American uh, government. I, I, I disagree. I disagree with Thomas. Thomas. I disagree with Thomas. Thomas. Your government Thomas. is doing a lot. Let me yeah, your Australian let me government doing a whole lot that you don't know about. Okay. What is your definition of enabling environment? Let's start from there. Yeah, my definition of enabling environment is um in maybe in tax, it, it, just I don't even know what to say now. Let me come in. That's what I wanted to say. That's what I wanted to say. Yeah, let's you hear see, yeah, but, but those things. Yeah, you see, there are all of us, these things that we are saying. A lot of people have been saying it that the drivers of the economy are the small and medium scale companies and i'm happy yeah. somebody in the us is saying that yeah the real people that are driving the economy are the small and medium scale company now in nigeria our own definition of the small and medium scale is small most of the limited company the publicly quoted company we have in nigeria they will fall into category of medium scale companies in in america in canada because of this revenue size and maybe their scale of operations. But Nigeria knows that's what, is, that's what we need. The, the small scale companies are the ones that will eventually grow to become a medium scale company. Somebody does not just come up and say, I'm setting up a medium scale company and put his money. He can do that. But with time, it might collapse. But if a small scale company grows into a medium scale company, that makes sense. And how is that going to happen? Government need to be deliberate and be serious. I said deliberate. I'll, I'll start with and very de serious. decisive, very decisive. Yeah, serious in the sense that we have been saying it. We have done something about it. That setting up SMI is there's one SMI funding that the banks were supposed to have. They were supposed to set aside a portion of their profit for small and medium scale companies. But what I discovered was that a lot of banks, MD, then. They now went and set up their own small, medium scale companies. You see a bank having a printing company, Oceanic there had a printing company. This one had this company, this one. And they were using those money to fund those, their own companies. Whereas those money are supposed to be in pool 
accessible by any small company that or medium scale company that is trying to thrive. But for a small and medium scale company that is trying to try to access those funds from the bank, they will bring a lot of conditions. So that's why I say government need to be serious about it. They need to say, okay, yeah, we want to take some risk. Relax those conditions. Make it easy for a boy that is just coming out of school, that is ready to set up a small company, to access funds, maybe based on his certificate or diploma or anything. Relax it. If you don't relax it, the banks are the ones going to, the big companies and their friends are still the ones that will take those money. And those people are not necessarily entrepreneurs. They will just go and use the money to buy dollar, use the money to buy house in Dubai, and keep it when the return comes, they bring the return. They say they are doing business. So, uh, 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 Pato, 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 thank you for bringing that up that part. That is for establishing right now. My question to you is this for those that are, that are already established, I want to expand or they want to grow their business. That transition, right? What yeah. can government, because what we were talking about is people that are just starting from the, from the, from the beginning, right? With, with their yeah. degrees. Yeah. There. But those that are already established. Let, let me switch in your part. Let me, let, look, you Pato, Pato, I asked ask this one joint. Let me give you a comparative statistics. In the 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 the, the so-called big company is in Nigeria, our market capitalization in Nigeria, thirty-five point four three billion dollars, right? Thirty-five point four three billion dollars. The market capitalization in South Africa, one point two trillion dollars. <laughs> Why is our market cap a dwarf? compared to South Africa. Don't you see, even the, the companies we have in Nigeria, they declare profits higher than some of these companies in South Africa that have more valuation. What, why are our big businesses undervalued? What can the government do to even get the market capitalization to like $200 billion? Patu, if you can join that one to your question, to the question. Yeah, no, let, me, let me start with that. You see, you are saying that uh, uh, companies are not properly valued. You understand? It could be a lot of things. There are infrastructures, for example, statistics. You'll be surprised that even our companies, their books, the, the books they are keeping, the quality of um, reporting, those are the things that the real company, the real valuers will look into and say, okay, yeah, this is the this is the revenue we are looking at. This is going to be the cash flow. Now, when they discount that cash flow, that's when they will know this is the value of these companies. You will discover that it's either we are not keeping proper reporting for those companies for so many under underground or undercover reasons. I don't see a reason why a company that is making so much much more profit than another company and that has potential to continue to make more profit. Will be capital will be will be valued at a lower amount than a company that is making lesser profit. I will explain how that works to you. If you want to value a company, there are so many things you can do. You can look at the assets, look at other things, and then assess the value of that company and say this is the worth of this company. But the real meaningful one is to look at future cash flow, net cash flow from operation. Yeah. You understand? Maybe in another you look at 10 years. Let me just say something so that it will support what you're saying. Mm. One of the problem of Nigerian companies in terms of reporting is the mode of reporting, financial reporting in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. If you look at that South Africa that you're saying, now, South Africa started reporting based on IFRS in 1995. And in Nigeria, I think IFRS in Nigeria started more in 2012, 2012 right? So there yeah. is a lot, of, a lot of lapses that's been in terms of reporting in Nigeria. So which is in most cases, even when you are valuing, you are valuing a lot of things in Nigeria, particularly most of other public companies, you have a lot of issues with it. So I think in terms of being undervalued. I don't really think a lot of Nigerian companies are really undervalued. I think they, they are kind of like getting their true value. And a lot of us think, you know, the way we look at it, we look at it probably 
a lot of things that we're looking at. But if you look deeply into the accounts of some of these companies based on IFR, IFRS standard, you mm. end up seeing that that's the true value of some of this company. And that's why I support, you know, kind of like injecting more into that, into, into them and kind of like working more on their capitalization. Whatever it, it, it could actually be probably requirements, probably standards that have been set, set you know, for, for them to start looking at them having access to other other inflow and some of the big guys okay. like diversing some of, you know, diluting some of their shares and letting more people come in. If that is what is really going to But happen. let me ask you one question. Uh, Don't you think that people are saying, okay, we should put structures in place. Now, why not look at the soft infrastructure? Soft infrastructures like ensuring the framework for reporting is IFRS, ensuring... No, that's, that's, that's what I just said. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying there are, there are other soft infrastructures, even apart from that, that's supposed to be in place. That will make our system open, transparent. Part of the soft infrastructure is this floating of currency. Part of the soft infrastructure will be very reliable legal structures and systems. I'll give you a good example. I'm an investor from India or maybe from Europe. I'm bringing ten billion into or uh, one billion dollar into Canada, into Nigeria, and I discover that somebody can cheat me, or if I have a receivable that is a uh, that is so huge, uh, if I go to court, I can spend three years in court trying to realize my receivable, and at that point my cash flow is gone. So I don't want to be in that kind of environment where I have to go meet a judge to 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 get someone, a senior advocate who knows a judge, because that is wow. the one who knows the judge is the one that can win a case. Yeah, it's a uh, cause for me. So I don't want that kind of system. I want let me system let me chime in, uh, Petoski. Yeah, line your points, Petoski. So I want a system that's reliable. So if I do that, those are the kind of soft infrastructures. It's not just the road, the power. The, mm -mm. If you have road and power some foreign investor will still not come right if i know that if i know that to even get my tax returns from <laughs> ifrs i need to pay so much to get a particular thing i need to pay this much it's not going to work and for for them to have that kind of confidence it's not just going to be oh we have a new president who's serious an investor will now say okay let's come they want to see it work. They want to see that seriousness maybe over four years. Okay, that's a good, good place for me to chime in here. Uh, great point. Uh, what you what you guys are talking about right now was pretty much um, delineated by Fesos Kiyamo like a couple of days ago on a rice television. Uh, to the point that you're making about, uh, for example, uh, the airplanes when Nigerian um, um, airplane, well, what do you call them? Uh, airline. Uh, airline operators, airline operators, when they do a dry lease on airplanes, right? Um, and they get the planes into Nigeria, uh, because of the legal framework or structure in Nigeria, this these companies or these owners they collude with the with the, the legal system that prevents these foreign companies from being able to uh, pretty much repossess the airplane because they're not meeting their uh, financial obligations on this of this assets. Uh, because they corrupt the system. Now, Kiyamo now is working to overturn that, in so doing, actually making Nigeria's um, air, um, airline industry more robust and attractive to the, to the rest of the world. Now, open the books for them so they can actually have access to capital and leases. So to your, to your point that I think was Larry speaking earlier, um, this legal challenges is not unique to Nigeria, mostly in, in developing nations and maybe, quite frankly, apart from Japan, many Asian nations, they, you're more likely to suffer a, a legal risk or challenge trying to recoup your money, be it receivable or whatnot, okay? But in regards to the valuation of companies, um, we have to know what category or industry of companies we're talking about here. You got to keep in mind, South Africa is it, it, somehow well-developed um, um, uh, business it's environment. More diverse. It's more diverse. Okay, good. It's more diverse. And, and they have legacy companies that apart from their physical assets okay when doing evaluation for such for such companies 
they, they also calculate or factor in the intangibility of these companies also to, 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 to know their true value because they've been around for such a long time and they have good processes and they make good products and they're well known. So I'm not sure how many Nigerian companies, perhaps apart from Dangote that has the name, can, is able to accumulate enough intangible um, asset on its books to give it a more robust valuation. Uh, see, in addition to that, no. then, <clears throat> can I say something? Okay. <clears throat> I think most of our companies are locally based and their assets and valuation are, you know, are very local. So when you are compared, when you are trying to value it in dollar, they worth nothing in comparing to that of South Africa. So, I mean, comparison to that of South Africa. So as long as we have our currency so battered, we cannot match South Africa when it comes to the valuation of um, our company asset and uh, I mean um, capitalization. So South African companies, you know, in Africa, um, you know. A more international company than that of companies that we have in Nigeria. So, and that give them that, um, um, how do I say? It? A higher valuation. Yeah, higher valuation than ours, because the 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 um, they are more of um, their asset. You know, you, you, you can value them in dollars because you value them more in dollars than that of Nigerian companies that are locally based. Look at MTN, for example, that in many places around the world, and they rank as the, I mean, sometimes ago, I think they are the number one, um, um, well, they are, uh, uh, number one, um, 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 a, a company in Nigeria, you know. But actually, Coco, if, mm. if MTN, if this, the kind of performance that MTN is doing in Nigeria in terms of profits, if they are making the exact same number, the say, the, sorry, the exact same amount of profits, and they are located in America, do you know the billions of dollars that they will, I mean, uh, uh, value MTN? Uh, it, it does. It, it, it be <laughs> They it should be, be exponential. They'll be sorry. They will be like uh, AT and T. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be now. Yes. I mean, we, we are our own company, except um, Glow, that is maybe is in West uh, Ghana or uh, Republic of Benin. Uh, uh, I, say, I have a simple answer for it. I think it's because when you both don't participate like that in Nigeria uh, stock we, market, we, our companies are just too local. They are not. They are, they are not they want nothing uh, they they are not competing in in, in the world but, but I, I disagree the profit that is declared if you go and declare that same profit in another country but even change just convert from dollar from naira to dollar they will value those companies anyhow anyhow are they are they hiding the real profit or which what is it really no i'm even saying even the declared profit say eh? Right. Declare, because you look at some companies in America, zero profitability. Of course, they look at future potential, one thing or the other, market right. here, this, this can you call, can you call. But this, what I'm saying is, you look at, okay, look at the company like GTB. It's so small. And you look at companies like Access Bank, that is so big. They have almost the same kind of profit. So GTB is a very profitable company, very nimble company. The valuation should be high. But I, I don't. I, I I just think we're undervalued, maybe because we're a black country. So how so? Uh, how does government come in? To, is it a board that does evaluations, like a stock exchange? Or I don't know. You know but I think America I think has an opportunity. They value your company and then they put they, they put it on the list, right? So we can buy. Yeah, I, think, I think in terms of that valuation, everything still boils down to your financial thoughts. But right. but but but, but uh, Larry, I'm talking about financials now. Like just carry 
GTP financials, convert it to dollar, match it in yellow, take it to America. Look at how much they're going to value it in the stock market. Or uh, take it to South Africa. You know, Look at how much they're going to value you know, it. Another thing is, in terms of those companies too, one thing I don't know is how much they even invest in infrastructure. Infrastructure in this case is not just, you know, it's not just the buildings, right? Take for instance now, I don't see any reason why those guys will not be able to invest in. There's a lot of things to invest in. Because take for instance now, the data they actually have, most of those companies, you know, when dollar was was really, you know, really, really going up, a lot of them were started looking for how to domicile some of some of the things they have. A lot of them that had a lot of things doing with AWS, doing with Google, you know, they started looking at other ways. I think what Nigerian companies, all those companies need to do is to now start looking at how to, you know, invest more in infrastructure, you know, data infrastructure, in domicile or some of all those things. Because most of the expenses they spend, most of their expenses goes into some of all those things. And some of those, all those things, they, you know, what they pay to, to AWS, pay to Google, pay to all those people. Right. So, and we can actually have something of sorts, something similar in Nigeria. Well, the AWS, AWS serves even uh, companies as, as large as Netflix and, and many other big companies. Uh, AWS, as um, how do we put it, the build a critical mass to be able to 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 uh, offer their services at a yeah, at they a have, decent, they have uh, an availability. They have an availability zone in South Africa. So, but but. Whatever it is, they are making Nigerian companies are making money in naira, and they are paying AWS in dollars. So there is a lot but, of but, I, okay. Oh no, uh, is it Larry? Right, Larry? Yes. Okay. I, are you saying they pay so much that they should rather be uh, they should localize the, this this services uh, in Nigeria? Or yeah. I mean, is yeah. it a cost factor you're talking about, or what yeah, is it? I'm talking about it's part of it. The cost factor, right? And those are things that are eating into a lot of their revenue, because if you don't. Well, know, but what, what about the argument? I mean, I'm thinking I, I don't know the real numbers, but the argument that see, AWS offer its services at such a, uh, a attractive um, price point that taking on such uh, such ventures may not be even profitable and maybe risky for these companies. No, no, it's not. It's not as that as not as cheap as you think. It's 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 a sector I'm actually into. Is cheaper for people, you know, it's, it's cheaper for you if you're in the US, right? But it's not cheap for those companies in Nigeria. If you look at a lot of startups in Nigeria, when that dollar was really, you know, issue, if you look at, if probably if you look at, if, because most times I'm always, I'm always on LinkedIn and I, I'm always in so many conversations with tech startups in Nigeria. You know, the style, it was a lot of issues. You know, uh, okay, sorry. So you talk about startups. I'm I me, mean, I'm talking about established yeah, companies like the banks, like yeah, banks and, and we are still saying the same thing because <laughs> they make their money. These are companies that make their money in Naira and services in AWS are gonna be paid in dollars. So there is no even if it's cheap, right? Mm -hmm. It's it's cheap because it's cheap for people that make their their that make money in dollars. So well, it's okay, it's not like their AWS is not gonna say because your currency. You know, has been undervalued. We are going to reduce how much the you're going to pay for S3. How much you're going uh, to pay? Of for course not. S3. And that's why I'm, I'm making the point. Just like you said, if you know better, then that is fine. But yeah, I'm making the yeah, point yeah. that even 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 the weakness of the naira, that the, the price point of AWS services is so attractive that you know, is to me is not such a. It shouldn't be a big burden for those that 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 procure their services. That's my point. You know, oh. that that's my what I'm saying. It's, it's still expensive, you know, uh, Prince Daddy. It's still expensive for some of these companies because everything is 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 benchmark on how much the dollar to naira is, and they make their money in naira. You okay. know, and that's why you see most of them trying to like divest into some other African countries, at least to be able to 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 reduce that risk, that financial. Larry, can I can I ask you a quick question in regards to your evaluation? Just yeah. to I know they have different method of evaluating. As someone that trades stocks here in the diaspora here, we always look at price to earning ratio. So I'm always been, I'm looking at yeah. the earnings to your price point. I'm always reading that. 
and I know the major part they would do they, they, would, they would look at the asset right that would, that's the popular way to look at it the market approach mm -hmm. but how can you best look at our, our, our peculiarity in Nigeria what would be the best approach to properly evaluate a company in Nigeria what would be the best approach for that no it's the, in terms of evaluation it's the same thing everywhere you know like somebody said somebody said about intangible assets which is kind of like goodwill you know take for instance now a company like a company like um like Zenith Bank, mm -hmm. if you look into their financial statements, I'm not sure their goodwill is gonna be more than 30 billion naira. Right? That's more. What do you say? I said that's more. That's more. You understand what I'm saying? I think the last if you look at let me, I think let me see. Last year. I think 2023 intangible asset. Uh, to, 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 I think it was around something around 25 billion naira. You know, for for Zenith Bank, and as big as Zenith Bank is, so it's a whole lot of things. You know, that that they put together into into some of all those things. Yes, um, let me chime in real quick. Depending on the company, right? Okay, and is one with Dangote. Now, if if it were to evaluate a company, evaluation of a company in Nigeria. Um, usually it's going to be like more like heavily asset based, but also the market share. Dangote, for example, I'm not sure it, it controls what 60 percent or more of the cement industry. That that'd be a good one. The market share that the company controls, you know, it, it's it's a good way to look at their future cash flow, okay, and uh, of that company. Okay, uh, 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 Prince, I apologize. Am I reading this right? Yeah, yeah you're banks, right. Uh, hold on. Assets Bank uh, uh, is valued at almost thirty billion dollars. Is that true? Thirty billion dollars. No, 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 no. Nah, uh, nah. Ooh, that's a lot. I don't no, no. think. I don't think that. No, no. That's true. The no, entire, no. the uh, Babati, our entire market cap is thirty something billion. No, this is good. Maybe I'm wrong because I'm like really. It says maybe it's actually, naira. I, no, no, no. It, it says in dollars. No, no. How is that possible? It, let, 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 okay. <laughs> yeah. let, 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 me, let me put the link in there so you can read it. I, I was like, really? I'm not. Okay. Just Maybe access bank holdings and it, uh, Globally, the whole thing. The whole thing. Yeah. Even everything. It can't be okay. 30 million dollars. Okay. Let me quickly answer Babati's question. He said, how do you value, how do you think we should value in Nigeria? It depends on the company. For example, price earning ratio will be applicable if the companies are listed. Or if you have a similar company that is right, listed. yeah, okay, okay, yeah, okay. So you can be able to know okay, right. okay. this company is listed, it has a price in the stock market. That's the that's the market value, <laughs> and then we can start working doing the calculation and then work back to the value of the shares and then look at the number of shares listed and then come to the total value of the company. But if the company is not listed, uh, oh, oh no, Patoski. Sorry, Patoski. I think you said it earlier. In a place that we don't trust their numbers and their accounting uh, 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 principles or, or their you know methods, even the price to earning ratio. I mean, I won't. Be, I won't feel comfortable doing it in yes, Nigeria. God, God bless you. That's why we need to be. More That's the reason why you know but, uh, our remember, capital market I, 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 need to I, I, be wait, more wait, transparent. Now, wait. Remember, I asked earlier that you know, are they hiding anything? I was asking Kay that earlier that are we even sure the numbers are accurate? Like, are they hiding anything? But by the way. <laughs> No, no, they are public we can be now. In now. Okay, oh, hold on, oh, hold on, guys. I put the link in the, in the private chat that says twenty eight point eight billion dollars as of two years ago. For I checked billion. it, Babati. It's six hundred and uh, six hundred and thirty six billion. This is on their on their on their web page now. This is from their website. Yeah, the yeah, I'm looking at I'm looking at market watch. It's six hundred and thirty six. This is what yeah, they said. I, I this is their exactly. only Babati. I'm only asking the question. This is what they said on their own bank website. Babati, so, Babati is not even up to one billion dollars. It's six hundred and thirty-six billion naira. No, I think what Babati is saying is what Access Bank reported. On their own, own look at the link now. On their own bank website, what they say. You see why? You see why the regulatory body need to sanction them. So, so, you see this uh, despite the here, Clutter. What are they talking about? Even Bloomberg know. has them. Bloomberg has them at six fifty nine. So how can you then uh, trust that data? That's the reason why I was asking. But can you even trust the earnings? Exactly. Because are, are they hiding them. anything? You can't trust them. Or to go they match now. The market. That's what it means. Exactly. Hey, wow. Babati, what they are telling you is you want to buy. This is how much you are selling. 
<laughs> you, 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 you know that, that, no, no. You, know that no, no. No. you know that the problem most startups that want to see that need investment in the US faces most Nigerian companies, right? They overvalue themselves, they go out, look for funding, and they get some of those funds at the end of the day. You kind of like see that, you know, what's it? And I think that's <laughs> where I think the the, okay. The, the regulators kind of like I can, you know, work with with CBN and kind of like bring a very solid standard out with the IF, IF, IFRS, and so that at least we can have some decorum in that in that aspect. You know what everybody just does is okay. You said the, the, earlier some. You said the Nigerian companies are undervalued. Now you said they go outside, they're overvalued. Now who is giving them that? That is that an independence evaluation, evaluation or what? Okay, look at what we've got. Uh, I, I think I, I praise Ali. I'm the one that said, in my opinion, they're undervalued. Okay, that's uh, that's my own stand. So it's when they go, uh, when they go outside and give those uh, misrepresentation of value and everything. Yeah, that's what, what they, they have do done now. in collaborations with their maybe their auditors, their, you understand, mm -hmm. and they, they take their books out there, and they they, they are misrepresenting the country because. Eh, but sure. Pato, uh, one billion difference is one thing, but this is almost thirty to one now. <laughs> it's manipulated now. Manipulated. Now. <laughs> manipulated. That's what. Babaji, are, are you sure you read the right thing? I no, no, no at it's right now. Okay, the link I put the uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, Larry. Okay, kick. Uh, I put the link for of the bank on the work of Coca-Cola. Now, what I'm there now. Oh, I'm now. If you go to the, ah, you that is the, the what they are saying on their own page now. I don't know. Maybe they are talking about uh, the assets. I don't even know. That doesn't even make sense too. What the budget now? I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 don't know. I, I feel good. I feel good. I feel good. You know, you know, the bank is uh, is not only in Nigeria. They are spread all over, uh, all over the world. Is it access? Or is it Zenith? No, access, 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 access. access. I didn't know. Uh, I know Zenith is in they, they, they kind of international. Yeah, everywhere. That's the reason I'm asking just to clarify. Access yeah. to is trying to be everywhere, but don't. So, uh, okay, the one, the one you take that one billion is this for for Nigeria only or they are everything? Well, I I, I I just went to Bloomberg to see the what's it called uh market so I, I think this is coming just from nigerian stock ex uh, I, I, this is probably just only coming from nigerian stock exchange okay. so it doesn't but i'm looking at access holdings plc mm -hmm. which i believe access bank is under because this is the holding company they're selling 18 naira 55 i so cheap okay, 18 okay. Naira 55. Babati. babati i've seen it yeah so you see, seen it. It says, on their, say that they are, on their own they web page, they, they say they are worth that, that, that much. And that their assets is total $28.8 billion. A billion dollars. Yes. Uh, so yeah, I was right. Exactly. So it's no, assets. That's, that's not the market cap. That's not the market money. cap. Mm. That's just the assets. You see, what they have mm -hmm. done is they look at all the loans. You know, for a bank, the loans are the assets. Those assets are funded with your own uh equity and then with liabilities liabilities for banks are all the depositors money so when they say their asset is worth 20 billion what they are saying is all the loans we have given out various loans that we have given out is worth 20 billion that's what they are saying but they plus have a the, plus, plus, the building, okay. plus the building and other stuff that they have and other investments you know maybe they have investment somewhere they have maybe commercial so, so, so everything is that that's the amount of everything that they have uh, yeah, it's possible for them to have that because all they, they take deposits now all but if, but if you if you have that much how how we should cap market cap that low compared to what you have out exactly is that is a lot it's now possible. i mean it's possible if your market capitalization if for example you know your net asset which is eventually your equity which is relatively what you have in the market is a function of uh, your assets eh, is either funded with your equity and uh, it's funded with your equity and your and I am not Pato, I'm not arguing with you. My, I'm saying one to thirty is just that means that, yeah. that the return on asset is very low. That's what it means. That means the company is not doing very well. For thirty billion dollars. If for example, if for example you have um you have uh, this much asset, your capitalization is low. Some things can be responsible. 
if you are utilizing the asset, you have very good asset utilization, you are supposed to generate sufficient returns. It's either when you generated those returns, you just plowed it back, you just gave it to, to shareholders and as dividends, so you are not keeping money in the system, in the business, to increase your equity, which will consequently increase your capitalization. So, uh, so, so I don't essentially, know how to declare dividends, but I mean, if they, if they don't declare dividends and they have this well, much asset, pa 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 Patrick, their, their price to earnings ratio is 2.34. That is okay. clearly undervalued. So that's my question again. Is that on purpose or is it my what, what I'm getting at here, Clutter? You see what I'm getting at? Here? No, the, you guys are you guys are getting to my original point that we are under. I mean, our market no, no, cap. No, no, no. Is, it means anyway. that it means that they are, the asset utilization price to any this is that this asset that they are having now twenty point something billion. Look at their asset. Look at their profit. Look at mm -hmm. their profit to asset ratio. Well, when you look at asset, not that stuff that they're declaring, something, something billion. I'm not sending that in that balance sheet, though. So it's probably, I don't it's know. I mean, there. if you look at their risk assets, maybe all the total loans. Let me look. I'm, I'm looking. I'm, I'm, let me look. What is the total loan? Something is not matching somewhere. That's what I'm saying. No, so, no, something no, is, something is off. Something no, is no, off. No, it's not off. It's not off. Look at their... Um, Look at their. I don't. I don't have that book here. I don't have it here. I'm just trying to. I will not be comfortable, Pato. If this was on the talk, I would not be. I'm not going to invest in this kind of company if it was listed. I'm, I'm not going to put my money. I'm sorry. I wouldn't do it, Larry. Because am I wrong? Return, no, 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 no. You're not wrong. I will not do it. Come on, it's too. Low, I'm not going to do it. Well, uh, but let's say is Assets Bank uh, traded in, in Nigeria? In Nigeria, I'm, yeah, I'm not, maybe in Nigeria. 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 Yeah, okay, Nigeria. so the, the the market cap essentially their their stock right there's their outstanding stock out there and the price of the stock it could be that high depending on the price of the stock right mm. the, the the stock is is I think the stock is eighteen naira fifty five cobble that's it. The stock is less than yeah. 10 cents. Oh. They, they must have a, a, trillion, a trillion shares out there. You can't tell me you are, you are what 30 billion and you are, you are 18 net or whatever. Come on. That's, that's not. <laughs> that's so what I'm saying. The, the, they have the, trillions, of, trillions of shares market, out there. Their market cap is literally like $500 million. Dollar. Uh, it, let's just say 12, if you use 1200 So that, that asset. Like, is not that what I'm trying to tell you guys is that for a bank, that asset is not likely to be wrong because their asset includes all the loans they have given out. Right. Okay. They give okay. Out loans to oil companies, for all those. So uh, 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 but is, is also their liability and plus whatever the, the retained earnings they have. Uh, they the, the, I mean, the asset, traditional, typical accounting. So, but <laughs> what I'm saying. How mm. can a stock that is eighteen and a half fifty five, they mm. pay dividend of they pay dividend of one naira eighty, they are paid to E ratio two point three four, which means they're uh, undervalued. They have a yield of eleven percent. This thing, something is not. <laughs> something ain't Bad right. Way. Right. <laughs> 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 That's why we say my journal. I honor it. Honor it. Security Exchange Commission need to start working well, so that we are showing the world what is happening. We're showing the world this is the way we are. A lot of things we just bandit figure out. For example, look at our population. Oh, we are 200 million. We are, I don't think we are up to that. The same thing is what our companies are doing. The same thing is what you understand. We just. We just do things in a way that is um, funny, and they come to have implications on us. We need to be deliberate. We need to be more open. We need to let for the me, world right. see. For me, for me, investing in banks in Nigeria, uh, it's, 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 it's not, it's not really... Let, let, let it get it there. Let it get what we're saying. Yeah, Don't mind. Not, like, just, for uh, me, I still think there's a lot of shady deals. Shady deals. Those big guys, you know, those big guys in that in that sector, 
there's still a lot of shady deals. You know, I don't want to speak here of the of the dead, the we gray, we grays. You know, there's a lot of things that is happening in that in that place. And they kind of like report that you know, it's a whole lot of it's a whole lot of things, you know, from the audit firm that audits the accounts. You know, to to the guys, right? To the internal auditor, to their standard, everything. Well, newsflash, Larry. Newsflash, Larry. I, I tell you, the, the the banks in Nigeria, they, they're not any different than the banks in the United States. But Word. well, but, 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 but Prince Daddy, the, here's the, what is the United States. You're right. Look at all this stuff Wells Fargo was doing. You're totally exactly. right. Yeah. But, what one thing that is helping United States is the fact that they can fix the funk that they are trans they have transparency and they, they have a it basically is a transparency game. So the price of corruption let, let me just land this point. I think the price of corruption is undervaluing our equities by as much as hundred times. Because I don't see why our equities that are listed, I mean I mean I I want to think we should be around two three hundred billion dollars, and if we get up two three hundred billion dollars in our equities, do you know the liquidity that will be in that country? Kulata, let me ask you: When ever can you tell me any time that you heard that security exchange commission or regulatory body sanctioned any audit firm in Nigeria, maybe Price Water? Well, uh, when we say that people like Peter will be the head of SEC at some point in time. <laughs> do you think the woman will break it? Did I lie? If he was head of SEC when Buari first entered, do well, not put yes, him there. I'm, I'm not see, lying now. Kulata, they will see, they see those guys in those big companies and they know they can never go wrong. So anytime those people audit, I will say, ah, this is even audited by KPMG. I'm telling well, you. well, again, uh, Patoski news flash again. The same thing happens in the United States. The, what, what, how, how, how was it possible for ben, Bernie Madoff to to swindle uh, 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 investors over fifty to sixty billion dollars, and the, and the, and the SEC and all the auditors until it was the last, until it was caught was get was getting a rating on on all of his portfolios and well, investment. And that happened. Daddy. Prince Daddy, have you heard of Nigerian SEC go after anybody? Catch anybody. <laughs> They're not going to catch me. <laughs> they wouldn't even go after. Say, no, that, would, uh, that, that would be the end. Answer the question. Answer well, now. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I, I don't think this, they do. But, but, but my, my point here, my, this is in, in America also, a lot of, there's a lot of shitty deals that happens. A lot of companies are overvalued. They, many of them, they're overvalued by over 20, even 50% sometimes. And, and this, see, I, don't, I don't trust all these other than companies, mm. KPMG, all this, I don't tend to trust them a lot because, you know, at the end of the day, they, they produce report. They produce report on a, a lot of these companies. And, 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 and by the time, you know, you dig deep or something happens to the economy, the way these companies fold based on the reporting over these years, don't, don't support, don't support anything. But, but, but let me ask you guys something. Will you blame KPMG, PW, CNs and Young and all of them? Because obviously those guys will do what they I, want. I do. No, okay, well, let me say something. Why should, don't blame them. What do you mean? Wait. Those guys want to do what they want to do. Okay, take for instance now, in terms of financial reporting standard, right, not until recently when Nigeria started the full implementation of IFRS, right? And with that full implementation, even if you are going to some of these banks to audit some of these banks, you still have the local standard. The Nigerian local standard, you know, that some of those guys will still kind of like follow for them to be able to audit some of these companies. So all they need to do is just they come in, you know, they do their thing. And Nigerian system has done it in such a way that, you know, yeah, we are not doing the full implementation. Just do what the regulator wants. And even if you are able to raise something, do you think most of those guys don't raise a lot of things? There is a lot of things, you know, 
some of the audit reports that they release, right, they have one or two things that they've raised in some of those audit reports. But obviously, the big guys in the bank work closely with the chairman, and they're able to really, you know, die some of those things down. And even at the AGM, they don't even put out some of those things at the AGM, which by standard, at the AGM, they are supposed to put every other thing out. But what do you see in most of the AGMs? If you go to most of the AGMs in or for some of these Nigerian banks, you know, all they do is just that, you know, the guys, you know, CEO and um, the chairman, you know, they work hand in hand and they just, the only people thing is just tell you, oh, want to do well, uh, Larry and Kulata, you're trying to exonerate all these uh, um, no, auditing no, firms. No, no. no, you, no, no. one second. No, no. You're you trying to, you, you, make it, you make it sound like they too, they don't, they're not part of the, of the whole no. game. I mean, they, they turn their face many times also uh, when they do their reporting. No, you, the only audit <laughs> is given to you, um, no. Um, Prince Daddy. No, you don't, you don't, you don't, if you want to audit anybody, you can only audit what you have. Right, you can't go extra mile to start looking for data that do not that does not exist. All you need mm -hmm. to, do, as an external auditor, you are coming in. You are expecting them to be transparent and to be able to give you everything that you need. And that's where the regulator needs to come in, right, to ensure that they are able to comply. But if you, hmm. as an auditor, you look into their books, right, and you kind of like qualify, give a qualified audit report with some one or two things right so it's just for you to audit and leave in it's now for the regulator to look at that audit report that you've given and work on that audit report no so no if, but uh, uh, okay no no, no, no say no, it's not no, as easy to make I it don't sound i agree with you I yes so one you. second see it depends on the line of business okay you, you can't say you come in there and just go by the data they produce they produce they give you to audit no it don't work like that i don't believe mm -hmm. it works like that uh, I'm not an auditor, but but nonetheless, uh, it depends on the nature of the business. You would know the performance. You would know the ratio mm -hmm. internally of that business. Okay, regardless of any uh, uh, policy or or regulatory um, uh, laws. I mean, there's a way you can you can it's like if you evaluating a business or you know doing a company evaluation, uh, you can do it independently of of laws and know if a business is viable or not. Friend, friend, daddy, what about things? Or Prince Daddy, what about things under the books and talk? How will you audit that? Prince Daddy, what I'm saying is this. If you audit, KPMG will only come in to audit, right? And in terms of the people that needs to do something on whatever they've audited, KPMG is not there to implement anything. They are only just to come and audit and they give a qualified report if they want to give a qualified report. Now, it's not left for probably CBN, SEC, and every other people that is supposed to do their work to look into that audit report and make some do some things. Will get no, this, this what I'm saying. To, okay, so now, now, now you support my argument that no, this no, audit, me, this auditing firms, I, I don't, I don't pay too much attention to that. If that's all they do, there's, they don't provide any value to me for that in that exactly, regard. Is that? Let me tell you something. Okay. You see, the auditor has a duty also mm -hmm. to ensure that the financial statement. Fairly represent the performance of the company. Yes, I am an XY company. Report. I'm telling you that my company makes twenty billion. Mm -hmm. I want to be sure that that's a true representation of their performance. Mm -hmm. And there are so many things. If you follow the standard, mm -hmm. the audit standard, mm -hmm. it will it will throw up issues, mm -hmm. and it will throw up questions. You raise queries, and they will respond. With that, mm -hmm. we're able to see that actually it fairly represents. But if, for example, you don't know whether it fairly represents, you can refuse to give an opinion. No, that is what I mean by qualified. No, a qualified it's... opinion is that it doesn't either it doesn't really represent of course, or it no. doesn't. But when if, you, if it... you can decide to say we are not expressing an opinion. No, no, you we are giving we an sufficient support. information to give an opinion. Is yeah. that how you give an audit report that is qualified, which means that it doesn't represent the true true picture of what you've actually? No, what given. I'm saying is that I can give two more than it's not either it's not that it's not either qualified or qualified. You can also have an audit report that does not express an opinion. The auditor mm -hmm. is saying, look okay, here, because you see the whole essence of everything. Because for me, I believe most of those audit. If you look at some of the audit reports of some of those people. 
Mm. There is a lot of things that are there. But what those most of those banks do, because they have their highs in they have their highs in CBN, they have their highs in SEC. And that's why obvious every day I'm always more like, you know, some of all these bank guys, you know, Nigeria get problems. You government. know, the man who was chairman of a bank in Nigeria was the president of SEC. So that so so it's just more like my paddy paddy, you know. No. Is paddy paddy conflict thing. of interest is there now? So you understand, even when so even when Cardoso came, you know, I'm, I'm about saying, who be the who be the guy? Who be the guy? No, leave me. Who is that, that guy? Who is that guy? Is it that there are no people in Nigeria? Obi now, and, and, the man, man, and the man Obi and the man took it. He's <laughs> <laughs> supposed to say no. I don't want to take it. Um, I have a major investment in a bank that is listed in this market. I am the I was the chairman of the bank recently. You know, you just get out of uh, it. Uh, Adoski, on on Rudolph uh some days ago, he was even proud of it. He oh was saying God. it emphatically. Oh he was you know, proud uh, of guy, it. I think knowledge is power actually. If somebody the way he was so proud of putting his state money. You guys are kept in a jack quiet with this will be a pack. Pat up, pat up. There's a good question right there. So, when a governor, because by the way, FYI, it was not, not the only one doing it at that time. Where was the agency in government to check that? Say, listen, you cannot do that, or that is illegal. Go after him. Where were those bodies in Nigeria at the time? For somebody yeah, to move the government assets well, you mean why the agency government is not saying is not saying that the issue is that the man who is the head of that agency in government eh, he must have used the lobby of the governors to become the head of that agency that so the man don't they no the man is look at this i mm -hmm. i committed a, a, a crime right i come on mm -hmm. tv to confess to the crime that, that i committed myself <laughs> openly <laughs> and yet nothing happens to you but, 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 but you want to come on, confess it, it, it's no longer a crime. You know, people want to think of crime as things you do at, at night, middle of the night. But right. when you say it casually, nobody puts two and two together to think that yeah, was a massive a conflict now. of interest. But in law, you just did it to yourself and you openly confessed to it. Another problem of accounting practice in Nigeria. I think it's more of a deliberate effort, you know, particularly by the people in public service to, to really bring down accounting profession in Nigeria. And everything started with, the first thing they did, they went in for ICANN, right? They were able to, to destabilize the ICANN. And immediately they were able to do that, ICANN lost its voice. And, how? You know, Why do you think, how do you think they did that? Okay, yeah, they did that with Anan. Do you know the politics they did with ICANN versus Anan? No, it's like that everywhere now. In UK, you have two accounting boards. No, no, no. In Canada, you have two, three, like that. Do, do you know what? You know why I said that? You know, it's it's normal for you to have different ones. But when you have the other one, right, if I didn't been all of them are following the normal standard, right, strictly IRS, without no government, you know, no government interference, but what most people, because at that time, you remember, if you look at most of the public accountants, you know, they saw ICANN as more of, you know, they are so stringent, they are rules, they are everything. And the cheapest thing to do is to set another thing for them to be able to, like, you know, check, make ICANN. And but along it was ICANN that created that problem for themselves? I don't think so. I'll give you a reason. I'll, I'll, okay. I'll tell you why. When why we were writing ICANN in Nigeria, hmm? Mm -hmm. If you have double star, you have passed. You do five papers or four papers. Mm -hmm. You have you have passed all the three papers you've done. Mm -hmm. You have double star in one. You fill everything. No, that was before. The that, that was how it started. Now I'm telling you, mm -hmm. when we we're writing like it was like that. Mm -hmm. That was how it started, and then people stopped writing like they go to write. Um, uh, SDC or go and write uh, mm -hmm. this one in UK. You understand? Because if you pass, they will record it as you have passed, which you have actually passed. So those civil servants were like, 
This one is easy to pass. It's not as if it's substandard. Though I know in, in, in another case it was substandard. But, uh, 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 yeah, uh, I, I, I understand. Patosi, give me one sec, please. But we 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 are saying all those things. You guys are narrating the right thing to do. The people in the government they are not doing the right thing, and we are saying. Nigeria is going to be better. It's going to be prosperous. Are we, are we just saying those things in our dream? Because these people, they know what to do. They travel abroad. Most of them school abroad. They know what is the capacity in where they school. They live abroad for years. Thomas, Thomas dreams, dreams do become reality. I hope you know that, right? But we are even saying that Nigeria will be better. We are not saying it will be good. You understand? Because Nigeria is in a worse state now. If it is better than it was, it is now. That means Nigeria is better. It doesn't mean that Nigeria has become good like that. But, uh, but in fairness, in fairness, though, let, 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 some of what this guy is doing, example, for that Forex one, to have a transparent Forex, even though whether it's free float, or manage those strategies is part of the transparency yeah. that attracts is managed floats is managed floats it's not free yeah it's never part, been free for part part of, this is my point i need it's managed managed floating managed floating my point is to Pato's point of being better at least let me have some benchmarks to look forward to so i know when you get to that level okay this is what you want to achieve at a b c <laughs> i can follow you <laughs> now. <I> can <laughs> See, now small, small. If we have a transparent CBN, transparent market, the right. next thing is respect a um, uh, rule of law as far as respecting of contracts. Then, if people see that foreigners, then they will be bringing their dollars into our market. Right now, they they have no qualms investing in our Kulata, fixed securities. Kulata, where to even eh? start? Where to even start? Is that legal framework? That's the starting point. Because if, uh, you, if you don't have that structure and that legal framework, if you want to ensure transparency, if somebody violates your transparency, how are you going to enforce the law against that person? So you need to put those laws in place. And Nigeria has sufficient laws, but we need serious people that can enforce it. How can we need the enforcement. So let's say something. Bob, guys in jail now. Yeah, I saw somebody spray money on the video spray. David was not put in jail. I saw somebody, I saw another person spending money. They are not put in jail. Bob is in jail. Uh, uh, that uh, uh, how, that's how I'm serious. Yeah. But don't speak. I'm sorry for cutting. I've been trying to. We need to bring put that those. Yeah. Up to this that's how serious. The law that cannot. That, that cannot uh, the law that cannot put the company the president behind the DMD of the company of the president behind the dock. That's not a law now. Uh, you understand uh, what I'm saying? Are you still hearing you hear me? Yes. Can, can you hear me? Okay. Hello? Thomas, we can hear you. Yeah, you can hear me. Uh, uh, that's bring me to here. Uh, Kolata, you've been hard for, you've been away for maybe a week or some days. Uh, let's 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 make like like a comic relief. We've been to Technica uh, LA. Yeah, uh, what do you think about the uh, Bob Whiskey uh, jail uh, time and arrest everything? What do you think? That's to uh, Kulata. You haven't make any that, comment on. Is it no no? The, let me save him. K is a corporate guy, like he always. He's a corporate guy. He does not get involved in. Those so most, most, which which corporate? No, the end is it's no worse now. That, <laughs> I'm not saying he's a corporate guy. That's what he does. Uh, honestly, I, I didn't think about Bobrisky because who cares? I mean, honestly, they just wanted to send a message to to curtail the number of transgender and the cross dressers that we have in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Because, like, I mean, it's not because of spraying money now. Everybody sprayed money. When I went to Nigeria, I sprayed money on my own mom. Then you should be arrest me. You should be <laughs> oh, arrest me. Ah, <laughs> 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 me. Come on, open your me. You have to be me. Now they crease. Now they crease. Which kind of stupid law? Yes, American. Hey, come on, open your me. No, 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 no,
I'm going to spray my mama. Ghana, the only person where I spray. Ah, no go spray my mama in a decrease. So, I mean, so. I want to so, between America and uh, Nigeria. Eh? America, eh? America will be claiming that no, Kulata is an American. This uh, this law cannot can defend this law. You know? I say, oh, this is guy from Malaysia. <laughs> 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 We have to punish him. So you, 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 you think that they are just making they are just making him an scapegoat. There's nothing about money moting. No, they just no, it's just scapegoating now. They, yeah, I mean they, for they, 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 they punish him since now. People are they, looking for something to they, catch. Uh, they, they they I think oh, that's oh, the only reason they went after him. It's because of his provision. Oh, okay, oh, oh, fair. Okay, guys, listen. What what really happened? Uh, 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 yeah, let me say this, Kolata. That means uh, in the previous session that we had, that means that Nigeria is still we are not going anywhere. That is a double standard. The only standard. prosecutor they don't like now. The only prosecutor oh, they don't like. Oh, oh, you guys are listening. They don't but, go. But, but but you guys, you know, you know one thing. You know we are very lucky, sir. I hope nobody is listening to me. But um, in Ghana, you know Ghana wants to pass anti rainbow <laughs> rainbow law. Eh? And because Ghana attracts all this, uh, 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 all this uh, uh, diaspora and do do, me vessel, mm -hmm. me vessel, me way. That was the so, mistake. That, that was so, the The parliament or is it senate or whatever they have there, they passed the law. So is now for president to sign the law. You know, you know, be signed. And you know what will happen today. You know what will happen today. The money we uh, Ghana. The money we Ghana are supposed to settle, they say. I mean, they won't borrow their money. Mm -hmm. You know, that because of this law, then that thing fall through. Ghana go default. Wow. wow. Because they consider yeah. this law. So Nigeria does not want that, that same attention. Uh, uh, that's why they don't want to. Uh, that's after. why they just use the okay. normal him yeah, breaking Babati. the law. They didn't go after Babati. him because of. Babati, do you know the next thing they did? Now, they've been able to make us know that. Bob now, nah, man. What is your wife? What is your wife now? What is the publicize? Oh, oh, go on. Claim up on one shop on it now. No, oh, so pay at a point. Oh, so go on to your. So, that guy is a joke. She prosthetic. She prosthetic. She prosthetic. I like a package. I like a Baba, I don't feel when you make a woman buy any bear in the end. That guy is a smart guy, yo. he's just doing all those things to make money. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you are my convert it to six months. Shabby, James Brown, the best. Oh, the lock on your own, but you can go to James Brown, because you call her with back. What is not Why did you think Bob Risky left us? What did you pay? Go favor bring now. <laughs> That's why Bobby Skiff is saying, oh, you know, Lord Jana. but that guy is a genius. So, we, 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 I mean, the way he dresses and uh, um, find you a lot, find you a lot of women. Lord, now, I'm just, uh, uh, we'll find that guy is a genius, man. Let, let's just give it to him. I'm going to find me. Ah, <laughs> hey, the beauty, oh. hey, the beauty, but oh, he don't have to, but you better not find you. I don't know. 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 I don't know.
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. But no, there's no. a push for there's a push for it in, in, in our culture, but we, we, we must be very careful with the international uh mm -hmm. press media because it's the face of that right now. Uh, back yeah. in the day, it, it was daily back in the day in the early if you know the who they released in, in, in the 90s. Mm -hmm. But it's now the face of that movement now, and it has yeah, a lot yeah, uh, uh, of their following. So if you go if you go after after him that way, they will they will you get that CNN attention in your country, mm -hmm. and we don't want that right now. We don't need that. So, so what they going to They go just tell them for where in this is Alai. Farabaleo. Farabaleo. No, I'm I'm very sure. Probably, you know, them telling him to plead to plead guilty. It will, it will, Larry, the man will be out in maybe one or he two. He pleaded guilty, guilty now. Yeah, he, he pleaded, pleaded guilty. So everything is. They go don't tell and say, bros. But. See, they will release him very early just to warn him they will let him go very soon he's not going to spend are you surprised really i go use them you go use them by the time Toba Mafi day, everything to normalize. Everybody to best. No matter normal, normal. I have a Oh, in see for you to see anybody coming out to shake, everybody going to say, Wally. Oh, coming, oh, 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 Upcoming Big Bob, Lotus James Brown, one idiot. Oh, the sound of James Brown, the best name was you could talk about. So, it's 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 a lot of people were against her. So many people you were Nobody like we, I knew she was a fraud. She came to our movement in the in the World Congress now. We knew she was a fraud now. Once you remove you remember when we were doing that uh, petition. Once she removed that counter, I knew she was a fraud. I told them, like, how can you remove counter from a petition? And I say we have four million on your back. We, we, we knew she was sick for years ago. So I don't, don't even talk about it. Oh no, they cash out. Yeah. And, uh, Baba T. Yeah. Oh, no, they cash out for that on this thing though. No, 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 Larry. My my own approach is different. Everybody knows my approach is very different. Since I can not Where is that? Where no, is that, Larry, is that woman in the US or UK? No, she's in Nigeria or something. No, she's not in Nigeria. Uh, if she's no, if she, she, been... she, she, she's she's a fraud. Once, like, let me tell you, my own approach is very different from what you see online. I've always said the best way to go about the solution of Nigeria, which is the peaceful way, is the way our elders want it to be. You get your regional government first, then you leave. That's the peaceful way to dissolve Nigeria. So when you when you hear your bad elders discussing regional government, the end game is to leave the country. But they won't tell you that. I'm telling you right now. That's why what don't you guys just be upfront and approach so, government from no, to leave? What's all these men uh, dancing around and only, no, 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 you know, it won't be bloody. No, try. No, 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 no. There, there, there's nothing wrong in formally proposing something on the floor with your senator, your leadership, your governor, whatever. Propose it. No one will shoot you for proposing, huh? And then we'll see how you, you know, they say no. But no one in Nigerian history has ever uh, brought a uh, succession division issue on the uh, formally to the federal uh, government. Even uh, Ojuku didn't bring it up. He, Ojuku did not bring it up in Aburi. He didn't bring it up at all. He just declared um, and started war. So what is I'm so difficult you, if you want to I'm leave a country, you, try it. No one will come and I, you. I'm telling you what, what has been in work from our, the our lower days, the approach of the Yoruba elders is what I'm what I follow. No, now. that's I can't I, I don't understand all that. But what I'm saying is me, but they believe that is step by step is a more peaceful way of going about it without leading bro the people. most peaceful way is your lawmakers of the southwest come together and your government they are not and, useful oh no hold on they, they no no that, what, what is more peaceful about that go to the senate well, floor the floor approach the federal government approach and say okay we want to negotiate uh, existing nigeria is that a crime 
I mean, that, your leadership should be the one to push this. When you say one on entity from nowhere, that no, that's irrelevant, inconsequential. We just come and say, yeah, nobody your buys people. Come on now. No, 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 no nobody buys. Only person who don't no. get any mandate. Like I said before, 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 before. So those yeah. people they arrested is Nigeria charging them for treason? Is uh, Baba with them? Baba is not with them now. So what am I? I'm, I don't. I can tell you. I, I you know. That, I, list, I, I, I listen. To, I listen to those I can't people. To, once this woman abused him, I wanted to take over the movement of the old. Yeah. Defunct I, I really pity. I really. That pity, was, I was the end of me even listening. I was to listening to the interview yeah. today, and I pity those people. You know, they just that woman is was just basically taking advantage of. But if you have brain, if you have a brain that we that you should have not seen that from afar now. I'm telling you, right? One young lady was more like, Yeah, she was looking for a job, she doesn't have a job. And then you're and, and then you're like, listen to me, do you work against the phone? She came to the Zoom meeting that we had and she was very rude to like and I'm like, uh, -uh this is not it. Who is this one? Uh, only Yawabiolani. From where to where? Yawabiola. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, who is buying this fraud? Who is? So I knew she was a fraud. Almost to the fraud end. now. Which Yawabiola? How many Yawabiola you gone? So, like I said, my own approach is internal government first. This is the line of the elders of the Yobato. That's what, what, where I, I am at. Now you can disagree with that approach. And but for me, I, I, I want to go to that for a peaceful decision of the country. So. Or it or not it, I'm not in that woman, no be juju they use for those people because I don't no, know. Oh no, opportunist in it now. But why will you, you know, somebody told you go and wear one uniform and carry gun and and you are I don't know. I want out so, uh, Larry, once you leave by dawn, once you go to okay who I want to uh, I want be no, told. They said she, she took all of them from you. Why What what you bring from okay ho to come no, on? No. You follow that suit down. <laughs> ah. Hello <laughs> day, hello. No. <laughs> but I dreams with you up for now. Wait, the Diwali, o jo re mi pon Diwali. Back. It is who put this on. No, 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 but I just never is like this. But maybe when in six months, now so but I just go be like, eh, about the six months, yeah, it's okay. But hopefully, no, you go do normal. I just go just go come back as it just. But but is it maybe this one money? Put them for. I hear say they put them for male cello. Mm hmm. Now it's a male now, so why would they? Eh, for mata one one lobe. Sure, I'm get one. No, no, they say they go the guy that more. They said they go the guy that protect them. They go the fool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This man. That guy, that guy finished himself. He said, as he said, he told the, they said he told the judge, I'm a male. I said, well, no, yes, I'm a male. <laughs> no, if what, what were you expecting? Because yeah, he, because I know he, he can't say it now. Because the judge will have actually requested for examination. And it will be they will find out that it's actually a male, so he knows now. But but oh, hold on, hold on. Why are they asking him is a male? His offense is not about is a male or a female. No, no, because the, the judge, judge is money to 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 the, himself now. the judge, the judge to was trying to now. help, you know, for the correctional guys now, because he needs to, you can't you are the ones to say your 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 gender. You are now. a male or a female. Yes, you have to. At least identify what does who do, what does what do you identify as? And he said he's a male. Even if he had said he's kind of like a female or something, they will still evaluate because for him to go, they need to evaluate to know exactly what he is, to know where he needs to but go. Wait, to. Okay. What, what do you mean by evaluate? What are they going to evaluate? Ah, <laughs> okay, now you think so. Now the, when he gets to the correctional center, for them to know where to put him, they will put if you are a female, they will carry you with one female. Go check him now. Where you go? <laughs> And that guy, the one go see, say something still did there. Let me put that for where he belong. They say the guy still have that thing, no? Everything they full intact, no changes. Yeah, they say, say no changes, oh. no changes. It, uh, it took talk, and if you remember some years ago, he, he had an interview with Dele Momodu, and he even said it on that uh, interview that he still do, he do female. Mm, but after that, it was after that yes, now that he now said he has done a major operation that he has removed. No, 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 no. He's just using that one to 
You know that guy is just using, you know, it's just, it's an entertainer. He's just saying what Nigeria wants to hear. Do you know how many people is following him on Instagram, on almost, TikTok? I think he has almost 2 million now. 5 million. Can you are saying is a bad character, is a bad image, is a bad... Nigeria. Don't you know that's what Nigeria like? like? And I'm very sure his follower will be most Nigerians. Ah. No. Be most Nigerians. Hmm. And I just now. Nice. Well, you, you know, you know, uh, Larry Thomas. You know, Colad uh, Nadi and uh, Adibayo's son. They, they, they've all uh, starred in movies where they played a female role, like they were completely like they were just like a female in those in those roles. Mm -hmm. Jelini, right? If you remember mm -hmm. those dark movies, back Jelini, Jelini. all movies where they were like literally dressed up like females. Uh, mm -hmm. they put on a dress, you know, using the American uh, context. But that's a female. Yeah. That's what they do for the living. They are no, not no, like no, this. no. They were literally uh, put, 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 put portraying like a female character, like the, like a caricature of a female, some sort of uh, on TV or on, on 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 tape. So that is, I mean, maybe the, the new Nollywood now. That's maybe we should, we should get used to that. See more of these uh, funny characters on camera, but. Uh, uh, I don't pay attention too much to it anyway. It's not a serious issue for me. Just don't make it a global or newsworthy uh, storyline. Well, I, I, I never pay attention to him. It's, it's what my, my rank is the double standard. That's just it. I don't care about Bob Reese. They can jail him for 10 years. I don't care. But just the double standard. I've saw kids. No, Thomas, you're not, you're not, Thomas, you're not listening. Thomas, hold on. You're not listening. If you listen, people said that we all know the the reason is death not because of whatever it did with the cash. We know that it's just to save Nigeria from you know the attention from no, like no, CNN. That's, that's, that's the reason. No, so no, if you know that as a fact, no, no, why no, are you bothered? You know why they really took him in. It's not no, because no, of the, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Can you look at it like this? Do you think the government can actually negotiate with that guy for that guy to be locked up? With who? With Bob Bruce. To you can negotiate with him how? Beyond six months or why not? Negotiate with him to plead guilty for him to be locked up. Really? Why do you think that? Because I was not really expecting him to plead guilty. Negotiate for him to plead guilty so that I can do what? Yeah. Larry, 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 oh, plead, they could plead, do eh? you are going to go anyway? You think they care no. about what he has to say? No, no, to plead guilty to, to plead guilty. I'm trying to, to get run. you. So yeah, the uh, genesis of all those things was number one. He, Larry, he, they, Larry, wait, they, they, they have him on tape. What do you mean? Not, plead or not. no, no, they no, wait. I think we are missing the point here. Yeah, please, can, the, can you clarify, the test, Larry? The test for which he went there and to which he's pleading guilty is not. Has nothing to do with uh, his uh, gender. No, no. Everything he, for him to have gone there, everything was a, was towards this money spraying and all those things. Uh, right. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, that's, that's the like point. How, he was one that took him there. So yes. if he's pleading guilty to that, he's pleading guilty to that money spraying. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, for so, me, because I don't know the lawyer he has, because I was not even expecting that lawyer to have actually advised him to plead guilty. No, 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 no. Let, 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 let me tell you. To spread the money now. Why no. would he yeah. They have him yeah. on tape, Larry. They have, they, tape they, they have a now. tape now. We have it on have video. video so now. You, yeah. So you know, my, you know my issue. You know my issue um, is that now mm -hmm. legally he has declared his own status as a guy. So if he goes out now and represents him as himself or herself as something else, they can arrest him. And that's what's gonna happen. Just watch. They have him on record. He has he has an affidavit or a declaration in the court to a judge that is a male. So if he goes out now and he keeps dressing and doing what he's doing, they will just arrest him and no, say, I don't think, no, I don't think they can. They can't arrest him for dressing. They no. can't arrest him for dressing. No, they will arrest him. The law, the no. law, no, the law, no, 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 they can't arrest him. No, they can't arrest they him for dressing. They, they can't. No. No, they can't no. That law, that law 
they can't arrest mm. him for dressing as a female. As a female, no. Except they go back to National Assembly to put that in. The only thing they can arrest him for is probably, you know, is in this kind of like a more amorous relationship in this relationship, and it's obvious that probably is that they can actually have something. Do you know that when this police guy actually came, he said the same thing. So I don't think dressing as a female, right? In as much as you know, it, it still is within his fundamental. Uh, uh, Larry, uh, Larry, hold on. Do you think if he could he could have been arrested for that dressing, they would have arrested him long time ago? They would have. No, there's no law to ban that. No Nigeria, they will not. They do uh, not. Guys, I want oh, to ask you a question. Uh, you know that this guy used, used to use a lot of uh, medication because of some simple, simple surgery he has done. Now that he's in prison, I get into letting him continue to have those medicine or something like that. You know, Remy, uh, he, he, he has a right to take his medicine if he's prescription for whatever he did, he has a right to take his medicine. You can't say the reason if it's prescribed because I think he did some simple, simple surgery to Yeah, ho hormonal or oh. whatever, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, so, so if, he, if, if he has a doctor's prescription for it, he, legally, he has every right to take his medication. You can't bust up on the Babati, if they don't let him take that, that is the infringement on his right. They can he can sue them for that. Yeah, they are infringing on his right. If he yeah. if he if he has you, you guys think you are in the western Nigeria is the western world. <laughs> well, I, I'm just I'm just telling you what we are the roof, you got to protect them. You know, the, 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 the uh Mike, the ethics of it, you know, as if that I am just you suppose you cannot battle from taking in America, have you? Yeah. Well, it, it should be a global, it's not a, I'm an American ethics yeah, not thing, you know, yeah. forget ethics, those guys no go alarm so far. What he's doing him is not life threatening. <laughs> I think they deliberately put him in a kind of separate meal cell with maybe one person. Come on, for one do you bear? I mean, one of one do you know if you bear? They did not put him into that where this adding crack. I'm at a four tier. I don't know. They didn't put him in that place. I gave him a voice. I know. I know. I can't imagine. No, they didn't put him in that kind of adding criminal. Maybe they just put him in one or two people. Sell, no, come on, come on. So, he should have but, access to his doctors, he should have access to his medications. See, to his patients, but, but, see, like that, forget know. that thing. So, yeah. from, so far, so you get, no, no, Larry, why are you encouraging? Um, come no, on, it's not free. Oh, man, what I'm telling you the reality of that place in Nigeria and things that they will do. So you think, okay, cosmetic, uh, I want to have my cosmetic, uh, this and that. The immediately the guy identify as a male. You see all these cosmetic, this thing, cosmetic, that. The only thing that they that will allow them to, those guys to, for him to bring a doctor is probably is sick or probably has any life-threatening issue. Uh, I, I think this before, cosmetic, before, uh, before he will go out of the jail, the, the plastic rubber in his breast, Everything go fall down. Come on, look, 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 no 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 no, 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 no. Have you saw one picture that he he, he almost nude himself? He just covered his his nipples. Which one? But but, but brisky now. For where you ah. see that one, Larry? Ah, what is he online now? Uh, Larry, what is he on now? He he what is he on? Ah, Larry, Rico, I see one for EFCC. Where you wear black? Where where you wear black? Yeah, so everything was flat. Where everything? Uh, no, flat. no, 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 no. He was covering. Where Jalamia now? I say I see one where everything they flat for front. That guy everything they flat everything. for front. Uh huh. Really? Forget that thing. That guy they package that. Come on, package. Come on, Larry. Do you know why? Because yeah. years ago. 
Yes, it's Thomas. The self fake front and back Thomas, and, and you, you look at the picture. I, I mean, yeah, you can't tell. No, 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 please hold well on, Prince. The, the 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 one I saw years ago was on this famous uh, American gossip blog, uh, Media Takeout. So they, they had Bob Brisky there when he did the uh, the breast thing. He was on, on a bed covering his nipple like this, and he had the whole thing out. So I don't know when he removed it, but that was on Media Takeout like two two years ago, maybe. Yeah. And even in the that he went to Dubai to do the surgery, something Baba, like that. Baba, Baba T. Yeah. I even saw oh, his God. pictures. He was almost nude. Yeah, the he man, the, 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 the boy so, even, no, Larry, the man even announced it and said, like, okay, he went to Dubai to go and do breast. That one, now, what do we see for Dubai? I mean, I'm saying, we are saying what we saw now. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, let me know anybody. Yeah, so I saw everybody, they talk, say, where the team uh, why, you, why are you guys, uh, like, uh, surprised? But, but, but see, this surprised guy is, the, is a fraud. The guy's a fraud. The guy is a fraud. Uh -huh. Everybody's now saying let the front disappear and go. Everything you want is there already now. Just buy it and put it there, and people will think it's real and it's not really real. So the guys go. Come on, 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 if truly you guys saw a picture when the, the chest is flat, that means mm -hmm. he's packaging himself. It's a packaging. Uh, I do so for to repeat it again. Why are you repeating it? I think you can buy it online for free. It's easy. And you put it on, people will think it's real. They are selling everything now. It's yeah, I know, I know, I know. Yes, yeah, of course. Plain, plain to your skin color. They also have different color to blend to your skin color. And people your skin know. color, yes. Ah, so they are selling. So that's what he's doing. I think it's actually, it's actually very well. So, this, guy, this guy is a this guy is a fraud. I, 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 I and he's making fortunes. Yeah, 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 he's I making fortunes though. The guy now, is let me ask you five, five million followers. Do you know how much the uh, Facebook will be paying? Monthly mm -hmm. will be getting close to two to two to three million naira from all those uh, social media and they make a lot and of money from you now. He has TikTok, he has uh, Facebook, Remy, he has Remy, Instagram. Remy, 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 my advice is to close it here. You already have a feminine name anyway. Uh, 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 you know, you have a very... <laughs> I'm, I'm sure that if I stand beside you, I'm even more muscular than you. Ah. Uh, I'm I'm Remy, I'm Remy, 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 I expect an appeal. I expect an appeal. I don't know. No, no. I, but for the guy making fortune through that, I respect him for that. No, he no, is really think... making fortune. So for me, I'm actually it's, expecting... He's a smart guy. He's a smart his, guy. His lawyers are really looking well. I'm looking into more of an appeal that he should have. The lawyers should appeal. But, but, but guys, uh, let me, I think, uh, let, me, let me say this. I think... They caught him on video, and the lawyer advised him to plead guilty. They thought they would just fine him fifty thousand naira. Yeah, that's that's the that is their notion. Mm -hmm. They yeah, didn't you know think, that. Immediately. I, I think there is more to use. I think they want to use it to curtail that kind of thing in the Nigeria. Do you know? Immediately, I saw I saw what the judge was one or the other, but the, it's a way to stop. That kind of thing for me immediately that, I saw who the judge was, I knew Bob Brisky was not gonna go scot free. Immediately I saw yeah, but what, what do you what do you what do you guys think about the actors and the actresses? They always mingle and mingle with this guy, they invited no, him to a party. One of them just just run I away. Nobody cuts. Okay, wait. High level prostitution is also involved. Okay. Thomas, what is your Thomas. top address? Yeah. yeah. What would you have expected them to do? Just to go to the courts and How? give him some solidarity. How? Solidarity for what? For what? Solidarity. Thomas. You, I'm Thomas. not saying they should be shouting. If any of I mean, them just... try it. Hey. Wow, wow, no, that person is finished. <laughs> well, actually, but you know, that's, that is not a crime. 
Thomas, the Christ, Christ, one thing, nobody can charge you for that. Thomas, all these people you are talking about, what do they sell? Brand. Yes. What do they sell? Do they have anything they sell than their brand? So you think hey, hey, but, but before 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 his arrest, hear me out. Before mm -hmm. his arrest, some of them are identifying themselves with him. With him or with her? Which one? Anyone with him or with her? <laughs> they, are the they, 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 they invited him to their party. They invited him to their own bed. They even sold a female attire to Bob Rizzi. Uh, Thomas, they are just using it to cruise on their social media. Of course, now. Uh, they know uh, these people Thomas. continue to loop into their video. They make so money. So, now use, use and dump. Of use and dump. Now. Uh, but for now. It's a normal uh, thing now. You are talking about a Bobrisky that has. You are talking about a Bobrisky that has five million followers. Yes, it's a lot of money. That five million follower will fetch him nothing less than two million every month. Uh, so, 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 Larry, we, we went from talking about banking system and fraud to Bobrisky. This is what we. Yeah, uh, it was about. Thomas. Now Thomas is the one answering. Uh, no, I want to ask Patrick. I want to ask We are too technical about. in that place. We've talked a lot in that. She, she, shame on Let's someone. She, she, shame on someone. Come in, come in, come in, is Patrick still there? Is Patrick still there? I think I'm, I'm here. Uh, Patrick is not here, no. I'm here. Okay, I, will, I will throw it to uh, Patrick is here, yeah. So, yeah. so, Patrick, the question I want to ask you. I think simple. Thomas loves Bob Risky. Yes, yeah, so it's also here. Thomas, do you want to know? Bad again, she has. No, no, no. Ajale Goku. My whole every life day, is... every time you just want to open that <laughs> <laughs> you, you should know where I'm coming from. Good love. 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 Good if they can arrest uh, Bob Risky, Colata should be arrested. Colata, Colata is an American. You can't arrest an American over such things. So, why arrest a Nigerian? Well, no worry, no worry. No worry. Nobody no worry. wants to. Nobody no wants to spend money on you. Hey, Tiri, I go as you recently. Oh, beg on. No, they are spraying on the. I go on the on the on the on the carton. They are spraying on the carton now. Just not on one by one. And if you want to do bond do bond do, they do the bond do. They do the bond do. Which which is really good because do you know our people in Africa now? They brought those things to abroad too. Australia they spray money here. Money on the air, uh, Thomas. Oh, okay. Uh, can I ask something real quick? Uh, okay, forget that one for a second. Oh, but the one they also brought this uh, so called evangelism on the street, putting loudspeaker on the street. Really? Where is that? Is it in America? In the, uh, in the UK, UK, are they saying they, they put the whole church on the street on the, in the public area with, with speakers and drums? And, and, and that and oh my god, no, I think, I think there's an issue with that. But, but let me just answer that was embarrassing, man. Patoski, come on, you can't defend that now. No, wait, now they take um, you mean they take a uh, loudspeaker to the street and. No, they were in a public space. They had loudspeaker, but they, they also bought their, their drum set from church and their guitar and, and uh, keyboard. Uh, I think I think they are they are wrong, but I think what they are trying to do is that you know that in UK and in France now, on Fridays Muslim close the road. They just put their mats and pray. Well, do you is know that, what happened last week? It's happening in UK and France now. So the Christians are saying that has to stop. And the, if if the UK government is not doing anything. Then they will bring their drums and bring their and be blasting on the streets. Wow! So that's why close the road. Yeah, in France, forget it. You think you are in Dubai? They close the road. Wow! Why? They close the road. Happen. France, France accepts everything. And, and, no, it doesn't happen like that here. Mm. You know, you it's think you are in the France most... now? You think you are in the? So, Patrick, my my question to you is because I know you are a former banker. 
And that means I've been listening to you guys about the technical and many data and terms you have used. That means most Nigerian um, banking sector and also insurance, they have been cooking their book for nearly more than 40 years. Mm, I don't want to say that with... Um, oh, they sound you about to buy a sudden No, I don't want to say that with every sense of assurance, you understand? Yeah. Because I don't have proof. But it's very possible. It's very possible. And people have not been penalized. People have not... They are not being questioned why certain things are a certain way. I'll give you a good example. Look at doing that capitalization. Mm -hmm. Suppose they started working towards it now. They started working towards it. They started building their... Preparing themselves. If they know they are going to go into the public very soon. Maybe they are even in public already, but they want to go to the market mm -hmm. with an issue. Maybe they want to raise, have an issue in the market. They, they want to start working on their books, tidying up, which is okay. But mm -hmm. they go far by maybe tweaking things and stuff like that. So I blame the regulatory authority because they are the ones that are supposed to know what exactly. to do. But you see, in the regulatory system of Nigeria, there are no checks and balances. There are no checks there. Because the CBN governor is probably a political appointee. Yeah. And what yeah. about the Security and Exchange Commission? What about yeah. the, the president of SEC is a political appointee? <laughs> you understand? The NSC president is a political appointee. All those kind of things. They are not professionals, then, too. They are they have interests. Yes. If, for example, uh, a Dangote, I'm not saying that's what he's doing. A Dangote or one of these big, big people. They want to they want to make sure they have a mouth in who becomes the who becomes the sec. Uh, okay, let me give you a good example. Well, I don't think we can fault them for that because the uh, bank the business bank business. MD bankers committee Nigerian bankers committee yes. want to be the one appointed central bank governor. That is wrong. Yeah, yeah, that is wrong. I oh, think that yeah. is the problem we have about, about putting MFLA there because MFLA have deep interest in the banking sector. Yeah. And that was the problem with that was yes. the problem with Sanusi. It's just like Sanusi uh, was uh, not the candidate of the bankers committee. What about Cardoso now? Cardoso is not uh, a candidate of bankers committee. He's the candidate of the president. You understand? But you also have vested interest in the banking sector because yeah, mm, yeah. Remy, yeah, but for, yeah, for, kind of, but I mean, it's, it's just what it is. You know, for me, Cardoso, a CBN governor is not necessarily supposed to be a former banker, but a very good economist. You see, you see, for very Cardoso, good economist. I think when Fakadoso first started, right, he, he doesn't have that. I mean, he doesn't want to go against these guys. I think it was when things went south, mm -hmm. yes. right, that he doesn't have any choice than to go against these guys. They started bringing a lot of all these policies and everything. So, you know, and even Cardoso himself, because he doesn't have any choice. They know, Cardoso know where the problem is coming from. So, and it's good now that he's now facing some of these guys. And even the guys themselves, you know, they don't have a choice. They just have to 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 uh, abide by uh, what he wants. Oh, to do. what of competency? Is he competent? Yeah, I think that's what we're looking. So far, so good. I think he is. Uh, uh, and yeah. I also want to ask questions about the uh, the auditor. I mean, as a uh, ICANN, which is uh, the regulatory body for people that become a, a chartered accountant in Nigeria. I think they also have a big blame because if these guys are cooking their books, they, they are solely responsible. I mean, most of these accounting firms helping them to cook their books because they are not reporting the true value of their uh, financial statement uh, year in, year out. So what do you think we should also do to this kind of uh, accounting firm? Or how can I can come in and uh, stabilize the system so that uh, this kind, they can withdraw their license easily if they go against the ethics of accounting. You see, ICANN is, who is ICANN? ICANN is a committee of accountants, just a body of accountants. Who are the members of ICANN? And who are the officials of ICANN? They are, they are kinds, ICANN are members of ICANN. Some of them are players in, in the industry. They are players in the 
in the in the firm they are, you understand all those kind of things the people really need to do the i can't have zone role the people really need to do the job at the uh nigeria financial reporting council i think they have a body like that but i yeah. also think that most of the members of nfiu and sec they are some of them are economics some of them are shattered accountants so, 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 uh, some so, of them are economics but what i'm saying is that oh, Mr. Remy, sec, yeah you know the thing is this why i won't blame my can that much take for instance now if you're an auditor and you're an ICANN member and you want to audit an account and you put an ICANN sale, if there's an issue with that particular account and an issue, something is raised against you in ICANN, ICANN has a disciplinary committee, right, that is very, very active. But unfortunately, what you have now is, you know, prior to when this issue of Annan and all those things come, I can use to take things very serious. But the government has been able to demystify I can to the point that, you know, presently you see a lot of auditors using the Anand seal and, and everything. But I think I can is still doing what they can do. But there are still limits to what I can can actually do, particularly in terms of, you know, their own member, because I can cannot even I can every every accountant in Nigeria are no I can members. But the ones that are ICANN members, if I can hold, if they audit an account, if they are putting an ICANN sale, if there is an issue with that account and you raise an issue against the auditor, probably the auditor did some, you know, some malpractice, right? An external auditor did some malpractice and you're able to establish something. All you need to do is just to raise that with ICANN. There's a disciplinary committee that is very, very, viable sits on that and if they find that person one thing there is also a panel that that person but goes i still to. believe that they are not really doing their no 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 they have they have they are they, they, have. they have more credibility uh worldwide than yeah um, that's what i said that's why i said the that's what i said they've been able to demystify them to the point that you know now you see a lot of people using an answer but a lot of people don't even know right that's why if you're looking at a financial report being audited by an ICANN member, that ICANN member will definitely put an ICANN seal. And if you see that ICANN seal, and if you have something against that person, all you need to do is just to raise it up with ICANN. I've seen several people that have lost their ICANN license because of things like that. So my question still boils down to, you guys said is the regulatory body they are not doing their function very well. And we can also see that some of these multinational corporations are cooking their books. And if they cook their books, then that means most of our uh, ICANN uh, accountant, I mean, uh, chartered by ICANN, they also mm -hmm. put their still. So they are they are working in cohort. And you have to look at it like you say, you cannot blame them. I think they must they must do something. I think I'm no no no, I, you can't no. blame ICANN. That's what I'm that, saying. No. I ICANN is doing that. their own beats. If this somebody is somebody and ICANN can only do things for on their members. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That yeah, if, and, uh, I don't like, know. What, what you just discussed here today for nearly two or three hours with Colata between the three of you and other guys, mm -hmm. it clearly shows that some of these multinational corporations, their book does not tally. There is a lot of discrepancies in what they are pushing outside there. And mm -hmm. who is helping them to audit their book every year before the regular bodies check it? So, uh, so you are putting the blame on the regulatory body, but you are not talking about those who that help them cook their book. So I don't no, know no, no. that's where the dilemma is safe No, me. no, the thing is this. Take for instance now, if you are a shareholder in some of all those banks and you have some evidence to tell you that probably these people have actually cooked their books, right? So it's always easy for you to kind of like raise that even with the external auditor. But what happened in most cases is that some of all these, some of all these people, they come in, you know, give an audit report, you know, that's well qualified, that states everything. But at the end of the day, right? You see, these people just have a way of, you know, they just have a way of killing some of all these things. That you, you yourself, that you are a shareholder, don't, we don't even know what's even happening. And that's what I see in most cases. So, because if you can actually, like, if you're a shareholder, 
and you know that you can actually with what you've seen and you have clear evidence that states that probably the audit report has been compromised all you need to do is just to raise it up against the audit firm and in most cases if it's not all these multinationals or probably because, some uh, when you consider the profit after taxation, they declare the dividend they give to their shareholders, and then you now equate it to their share, um, the, the, their stock price. It's really surprising with that kind of a huge amount of profit, and then your share price still like eighteen naira. Uh, I, I don't understand it. Can I say something? Um, I don't know why a shareholder will go and report their own company, knowing that their share is going to plummet. That is a conflict of interest, uh, for one. And um, I think earlier on, they were saying something about, um, oh, I forgot uh, to say hi to everybody. Uh, greetings, everyone on the panel, uh, chat, and the viewers. Um, yeah, they were saying something about um, uh, evaluation of our companies, that the value of our companies. I'm not sure that is surprising. Um, you know, um, when you're in the country, sometimes you find that the property prices in different areas are valued differently because of the, <laughs> the value of that area. And clearly, Nigerian economy is not exactly, and the environment is not valued. So um, the value, even if same type of company exists in another country, will have higher value than um, uh, the Nigerian uh, institution. So that for me, that one is not too surprising. What is a little bit surprising for me during the conversation I've been listening to so far is that um, I heard someone, I think there was a discussion going on about how the rules were meant to be followed and people need to uh, enforce the rules and all that. And then the next minute, <laughs> everybody was talking about how they, how they are breaking the rules and <laughs> nobody should hold them accountable. I really found that very interesting. And I, I feel like um, we as the people have to make our peace with the fact that either we want f f rule of law or we don't want it. Uh, 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 Nigeria, they want selective justice. When they fix their own narrative, then they want justice. When they, they don't like something, they go again. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a worrying trend, especially with our generation, because we always thought that the older generation are the ones that have that problem. Uh, but they are, And not just our generation. You guys are considered somewhat above the average when it comes to political awareness. And I'm hearing it here. That is shocking because what are they, what, there's no hope for the others. Then if you guys are doing the same thing within how many minutes of each other, um because sooner or later you have to realize that you are, you the level you are uh, is quite relatively high of our awareness and you have to take yourself seriously you can't just be swinging both ways and expect your country to, your country will never get better and whether you, i don't know whether you guys love your families or your children i'm sure you do if you love them so much you, you better want your country to get better because this life we are living overseas and everything i, I don't know about you <laughs> i prefer to be in nigeria um so i really think that we have to like you know, what, what, what do you think about what uh, uh, uh Suleiman, what's his name? is he prophet or pastor Suleiman, whatever they call that guy where i is uh, criticizing nigerians for when the the uh, currency was bad. I mean, they were talking, and then when his thing is uh, dropping, they kept quiet. It's like yeah. it's like they are happy that things was going bad. When things start going better, they kept quiet. So I mean, mm. only think about that. I, I think it depends on the quarter you are talking to now. To be fair, Nigerians are not exactly very good at um, praising things when things are getting better. They don't notice it. They always think that um, they always they think that everything is bad. They, 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 most they want that everything is bad. <laughs> no, I, I think no, no. I, I think people want um, the current administration to fail. That's the, that's the given. Exactly. Some of them. Um, I, 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 say that again. Yeah. Some people say want this again. current administration to fail now. Can you be more specific about these people? No, it, it costs across, uh, it costs across um, uh, these in regions and. Well, uh, we, we, know, we know a group of people. We know a group of people. That, uh, no, you, you have Northerners. There are Northerners out there that are complaining, and I think Tinubu was want, to no, no, fail. No, no. They are so, complaining. Not, not the, no, 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 no. Please, oh, they are complaining for him to do better. Some people just wanted to fail regardless anything. No, no, no. So some of them are not complaining. Don't like, compare. If, if, don't compare. Let, let, let me, let guy, me, let me explain what I'm saying. I'm, I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you what you like to hear. Let me tell you what I know. The some people from the south is one of the things they say that they will keep quiet and leave everything. They're not going to protest. They're not going to do anything. So that is not complaining. That's saying 
Let's see what happens. No, we're not asking who's well. complaining. We are talking about people that want him to fail. They want things to fail. That's what we are I, talking I about. I think no, most people don't want him to fail because they no, know that no, there are some people that want him to fail. Of they course, there are some people that want to fail. There are, there are a lot of people, he, uh, may, even in the... Uh, and we are asking who are, those, who are those people, the demographic of those people. There's no real demographic. It's, it's, Come on, man. You, you, know, you, you know them now. Ah, you know your people no. are behaving like this. Ah. You, are, you are just being... Uh, <laughs> this is you see, your prejudice, uh, this Yoruba supremacy is there. Uh, <laughs> This is your going this is double Mike, who are his no, because that's what you are doing. That's what he's doing. Mike. He's not seeing straight. <laughs> who are his people? Are you Mike, now. Let me to his face. Uh, 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 Mumbara is, is, is even their host. Uh, he hosts them a lot. No, no, no. no. See what he's doing. That's what that's what that's what. Well, I also know people that he hosts every every week. When they ask you this question for fathers, you always avoid it. They always ask you, "Where where are you from in Nigeria?" You never answer that question. You always like you are afraid of the, of telling them where you're from in Nigeria. Why would I be afraid? I'm not afraid. I just feel like. But, it's but when they ask you, you never answer when they ask that question. You never yeah, because it's irrelevant. Question. I think it's irrelevant. Really it it like it's, it's only relevant to, to, to tribalists. It's only relevant to people that care about tribe stuff. I know where you're from, but you've said it before. But I know, unless I, you say you away from saying it. What do people care about? I don't know why they're always asking. Like, they, 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 they're always asking because it's completely The guy from the South South, that's what they matter. He says on the South South, that's what it matters. What do they have to know exactly with Pinpoint Village or. Maybe it's a good thing. Maybe it has some. It may be as it it's is. on the south south, man. It, yeah, it's the way people it, think. People, yeah. people just like to associate. I know. Just, uh, just play a lot. But that said, we all know some people want the current. They want to go after his uh, village. That's why after his tribe. And and sometimes it's without reason. And the reason why the people we are criticizing, we are also we do exhibit that same trait. That's why it's self awareness. Because some of all these people. They actually want the country to work well, but they, they don't want Tinubu to succeed. How is that supposed to work? It's contradictory. Because Tinubu needs to succeed for the country to be good. So, and and it's not because they hate the country. So many of these people, even like from my experience, anyway, talking to people in the Southeast, the hatred they, they tend to exhibit towards the country. If you ask them what they want, it's not going to be very different from what you want. So that is, it's, it's very, very strange. So, so, so let, let us go by your statement, sir. Your statement now. You say they want the country to work, but they don't want Tinubu to succeed. Some of them. So, so, so can you put percentage to those? To want um, okay, if you, if generally, if you're an obedient supporter, you'll say 70% of them. Come on, I mean, it's 90, 90 something. <laughs> no, 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 it's not. <laughs> you don't, you don't know. There are, there, are, there are various types. So, there are various so types. I don't even know one. I can't so, do it. So, so, I might not be obedient. So, I, I, so, I so majority, of, majority of them doesn't want uh, Tinubu to succeed. So, what? how does that, I mean, how, how can we interpret that if we want to, uh, you know? It, it, it's political they, now. People that are too politically biased. So uh, at this at this prison. point, with what we are going on in Nigeria, they don't want him to succeed. So who is going to suffer? It? Is it not? That's why I say it's illogical. Is it, is it it, illogical? It's illogical. Yes. Yes. So if if Tinubu fail, you know, we we all going to fail, and them too we fail. So uh, somebody like you, that is always in their means, you should be able to. You know, tell them that look what you are doing. You don't want this country to. Uh, what do you think I do? I do that. I, I do that to, I do that to them all the time now. I do that yeah, to them. Yeah, we all listen to him. I see that now. sometimes when you say that they want to, they, uh -uh. Uh, everybody uh, carry not cut last. I do take a beating. I do take a beating all the time. So, <laughs> but I do. I did tell them the other day now that. Tinubu has it in his gift to be the greatest president Nigeria has ever had if he doesn't squander it. And I I, it's, it's it. because it's a fact. No, they, they didn't say anything. No, they didn't, they, don't, they, don't, they don't oppose it because I give reasons for it because of the um, environment. Everything is, seems to be favoring me. And I must say, um, um, Buhari left a lot of good momentum for him. The question is whether he takes advantage of it. If Tinubu just does what he says he was going to do in his manifesto and execute it perfectly, He's going to be one of the best president Nigeria has ever had. It's not necessarily his own doing. It's just the environment. The oil prices are increasing. Dangote River is coming on stream. And um, the world events means that he has a little bit more room to do what he wants to do in Nigeria. He I could even you, um, uh, this in improve security. If he does all those things, to Niger, I just, just oil alone will, bring, will make Nigerian people's life improve significantly. Please go ahead. To Niger, 
I just asked some people, my some of my family in Nigeria, how much is the bag of rice now? It's now sixty thousand naira. Well, I don't, I don't know what that means, though, because I don't know what the previous price was. <laughs> the previous price is nearly 90,000. Like okay, it's come down. Yeah, it has come down. 60,000. 60, was it, was it 60,000 last year when Tinubu came into office? Yes, it was around that price, from 55 to 65,000, around that range. If it goes back to then, it's not the it's worst thing under the sun. That is what I'm telling you. And yeah. people, people will not report it. But at that time, though, people hated the country at that time, though. So let's not as act as if that today, time was the value. Talking today, naira to dollar is, is already one thousand naira today. Mm. So the, que the question is, how long is it going to stay there? No, I, I, I think it runs that is going to is, is, is going to continue to appreciate against the dollar. And probably, I I, I I think it could appreciate. It, I, I think it's not because of okay some of their policies did help they, they start, basically what they did was they started going back to the way it was before they started controlling the, the, the exchange rate to an extent and the Dangote refinery it didn't work it, I it don't you understand work. when the policy work if, <laughs> if he had left it the way he left it the whole thing will still be going in the wrong direction it's because they, they took a lot of measures salary now they took a lot of measures, lot of measures to correct it they are error I beg, I beg to differ with the currency is not floating right you think the, the currency is not floating right now it's not no no you floated it before and they reined it in now no no there are, you see there are a lot of policies you know that are actually working now compared to what we had before Fine, they are managing it, but how are they really? How are they managing it? What method are they really using? Like, sorry, sorry to cut you short. I apologize. Can I ask you a question in regards to this uh, Tinubu government? Do you feel like, um, especially, especially in the financial sector, do you think like they are building? Uh, you know, because we always lament about we don't have strong institutions, right? We always, that, that's one of the issues that we have in India. We don't have strong. We, only, we always rely on body language and whoever comes in. Do you feel like in that sector that they are building something that will last? When it leaves, it will still be as strong as it is right now. That, that way we can curtail all this nonsense of having new CBM people coming and just changing the system. Because I'm seeing something where the way they are changing the system in that sector, is that you're, you're building a solid foundation for the future. Am I, am I wrong in saying that or am I saying it differently? Basically different areas. Institutions, for me anyway, I think from my, from oh, my yeah. mind, I think when people talk about institutions, I fear that people tend to talk about it as if it's some kind of mechanism is just put together and it's just strong on its own. No, no, of course, backed by the rule of law, I, I get you. That's, it, that's the backdrop. I mean, that is not where I'm coming from. And that's not, that's something else. There is something else. The strength of an institution comes from precedence most of the time. If, if someone that, like, can you imagine like um, uh, Bob Risky now has gone to jail for uh, this thing, spray Naira? And uh, maybe there was another lady that went to jail too for spray Naira in nine, just uh, last year, uh, December or so, or November. So if that keeps happening, guess what happens? If another person goes and sprays Naira, what do you think they would think? They would think, ah, if those guys can go to prison, I definitely should be careful. That is how, that's how institution gets strong. You have to take big scalps yeah, and you have to have constant uh, precedence that's that's the strength of an institution it's not it, it's yeah, but, no matter but, what you create uh, uh, but, uh, but, uh, dismantle it but, 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 uh, hold on that's why i was asking that there's some kind of precedent being set in the financial sector by this present government for in terms of curtailing like the forex things for instance that what they're doing if they continue to do that over time like you said uh for fathers if it's sustained for a period of time then it says this kind of President, like, yes. don't this will happen. But I'm only focused on, on that sector for now. Yeah, that's you see, yeah. Babati, in terms of those that institution, one thing I think this government has actually done is financial transparency within that sector. There's a lot of things that are crude in that sector, and I think they are trying to sanitize that sector. Now, most of the transactions you see now, you know, they are bringing a lot of transactions into the formal realm. And they're having a lot of things from NFIU to EFCC to the bank. So within that financial system value chain, we are seeing a lot of transparency along that line. And which means that, for instance, now if you call any bureau the change now that you want to do any big volume of Forex, no, none of them will collect it from you. 
Because prior to this time, it's always normal, right? Call one of those guys in we say zone zone in we say zone four. Hey, far alpha, I won't do this, I won't do this. Ask them, call them now. None of them will collect it from you. That's how transparent it's been now. Because every transaction they do now is not going into the formal, into the normal formal sector that is being tracked and is being traced, and it's easier for, for it to be traced. Why do we have US, right? Why do you have a very good institution financially in the US? It's because there is financial transparency within the financial values chain. If you are doing a transaction, big volume of transaction through the banks, right? It's not just the bank that will know, right? Every agency that is supposed to know is supposed to know. I, I think I, it's a, sorry. I, I think um, we have to be careful when we start saying just because you can track things makes it um, okay. If you are running a capitalist system, and I really hope we start understanding the way the nature of these animals, mm -hmm. the capitalist system favors the elites. They don't have to even be corrupt to have advantages that we describe mm -hmm. as corruption today. They can make it legal. That's how they do it in the West. So yeah. you can see transparent and transaction. No, no. Transparency. You know that Trump is a crazy guy that man managed to get himself in trouble. Transparency that I'm actually talking about. One thing is for things to be transparent. One thing is for it to be transparent to the to the extent that institutions that are supposed to do their job, they have access to to that data and they are able to do their job based on that data. What what is the mm. whole essence of transparency True. in the US if it's not the data? But it doesn't prevent FBI corruption. Can, FBI can knock on your door, right? You don't go to FBI to do that transaction. You could do that transaction probably through your bank, right? And FBI have access to that data. And your bank is able to notify FBI if you are doing a transaction above $10,000, right? If you are doing a mm. big volume, FBI have access to that particular data. Every other person have access to that data. IRS is able to knock on your door if they see that you are stealing from the government. So, and that is exactly what makes an institution to be viable. But, but hold on, though. But to what end is all this? Because if you have an institution that you can now can catch somebody that steals, mm -hmm. but in the end, because these people are very, very rich and powerful, to, to catch those people that are still are the poor people. But because these people are very rich and powerful, then they they actually get the key. They don't need to steal. No, they no, get no. it. See? Everywhere, even in the US, people still you still see people that are rich and powerful, right? Do their things. Why would why would someone like Trump be in court? Is he not he, powerful? Because guys, yeah, yeah, he doesn't even know how no. to do stuff. No, there are people that there are a lot of people, not just Trump, that are even in this system, right? But because they have this transparency within the system. That can let them, even if they don't hold it to you today, if you do one or two things today and you go you go away with it, it can actually be in two yeah, things. Well, well, what, what you are missing is that mm -hmm. you, you, you are saying the institution is what is catching. The institution, what is doing to Trump is just it just entrapped Trump. Uh, Trump. It's not because it was designed to catch Trump um, mm -hmm. from doing mm -hmm. real corruption. Because what mm -hmm. Trump did was, hold on, what Trump did was because of the election cycle, he had to um, take money and hide it sideways which was a stupid thing for him to do so if not he could have taken the money from his um the legitimate uh, company that's, and give it to that lady it's not going to matter that's, that's not the only thing they are charging trump for that's not the only thing and that guy is he doesn't run that's, his business that's well, not the only thing. so what i'm trying to tell you is just that it's not like they don't have bigger tips here there are bigger ones here right but yeah. what i see that is lacking that i think they are bringing into that system now you know, it's always easy, those those periods, right? And now it's 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 even difficult. Why do you think all the do you think it's easier for even the bro to change guy? Why do you think they are crying? Why do you think of they course are it's crying? not good for them now? They they they, 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 they were making exorbitant from uh, profits yeah, before they need to stop. It's not good for them because they can't do most things under the table. If it's and they, they should go out of business then, uh, so is it by force? Prior to this time, they can do a lot of things under the table. But now, doing things under the table is not even viable again. Because the government capped it. They see, they are not offering value. What, what are they there doing? Just exchanging money. Yeah. What so, are they so, exchanging so money for? You see a lot of them now coming out that the business is no more viable. 
which I think is a very good approach to 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 send them out of that business. Which I think for me, did, I you, think, go, did you go and find proper job that is actually productive? As to as do. Today, I was reading some of them today complaining, you know, that they well, compl no, no, can you tell us what, what they were complaining about exactly? What were they complaining about? Yeah, number one, they are complaining that you can't even, you know, they said, okay, one of the things I saw in the dailies was I think their chairman was more like nobody wants to do any, you know, under courts, any under the table, anything, everything is open now. And look at what their exchange rates now. Most times now, you know, their own exchange rates, they can't peg it, mm -hmm. you know. And with the fact that they can't peg it, and even is not even below what they are actually seeing with the official rate, which means that all this, all this guy needs to do now is put some new fresh, fresh funding. If they are, I think at presently now, I think it's at 1,100. That's the official. So just bring the official down a little bit and wait for some time. Obviously, that is also going to have some effect. That's how you keep, you will keep bringing it down to probably like 900, 850, which is now even viable. So I still see it more going down. And you, and they, if you see them now, they are now shouting now that there is no demand. Because nobody wants exactly to is that isn't that what I was talking before? They need to cut demand and, and, so, and they, they can wants, reduce demand even so, further. So if you reduce demand further, the Nigerian currency will appreciate so more. Those artificial things, right? Those artificial scarcity are not even there again. So which means that mm. you know there's a lot of volume in the market. And by yeah, so but, doing, but but um uh, Larry, oh uh, yeah, sorry, uh, yeah, you are the one that was talking. See yeah. what they've done is that with when and uh, the pre current president came into office. They created that chaos, and can you imagine somebody that just bought Nigerian currency, um, uh, that bought dollars how many um, uh, this in um, years ago? Uh, that's how many months ago? Today mm -hmm. they would have they would have made almost fifty percent profit or so just because of the trade they've done. That is the, the chaos that the current government created that didn't need to happen. They know they know these measures that they could have taken, but they didn't do it. I'm not just being a doomsayer here, but they are experts. They should they know better than I do. Why why yeah. is it that suddenly now they know that breathe the change they need to cap it? Why is it that yeah. they, they knew all these things already? No, no, no. The thing is that a lot of people have make, made a killing. Do, you can't stand something or nothing. Why do you think they are now doing all those things they are doing? Because they have liquid to do it. Because you have to know when you're getting corn. People have made billions from the Nigerian currency in no, the last wait. couple of months. Wait now. All these things they are doing also come with some costs. Right? As at that time, I can tell you, you know, as at that time, you know, they don't have that liquid to be able to do it. But with what they are doing now, they are injecting liquid into that market. And at the same time, every other person that have caused that artificial scarcity are now bringing that, that their own house, you know, and they, so supply is coming from different, the float of supply is coming from different pipes. So one is coming from what this guy is giving, uh, what Cardoso is giving to the $13,000 that is given to the bureau the change guys. Another flow is coming from those ones that people have kept and people are now bringing it out. And now, mm. And with the fact that nobody is even deep, you can't even go that you want to go and buy dollar when you know that it's going to go drop tomorrow. Will you go and yeah, buy? Yeah, but, but hold on. See, well, let me explain to you. If I was the one I wanted mm -hmm. to con Nigeria, how I will come in this? I know all these measures that I need to discourage the use of dollars and makes dollar available in the economy, but I will just come float it because we have insider knowledge. Because even American politicians have been caught doing this type of stuff. Mm -hmm. Then they will go and procure uh, the dollars at a cheaper rate, and uh, then when it gets expensive, they offload it uh, on the market, they, and they will make a killing. And I really hope that somebody actually tracks the people around the uh, power structure in Nigeria during this period. They don't need to steal from the coffers of the federal government, but what they've done, they can steal billions without you even picking up on it just from the fluctuation of the currency. And that is what I'm concerned about. They are, they are basically digging a hole and covering it and say we should thank them for it. So how? Because if you, div if you are in a system and you know where the price is going, you can buy and sell the way you see fit because you know what you're going to do to bring the uh, price down so, or make so, the stock so, more so expensive again. Who's going to buy and sell? 
the people the ones that have insider knowledge that know that the okay let's say you um you know you are going to buy uh, the uh, the dollar at a certain rate um during the time when there was a crisis then later on you know you can sell it at the, on another rate or the night vice versa if you know you're going to make profits and you know where the direction is heading you can take advantage of that chaos no, and that is what they do they do that in america they do that in no. many places what makes something that doesn't happen in nigeria no 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 it's not like you see this issue of you know the direction that it was actually going it's not i don't think it's it's actually like that you see to, to me it is simple no. see, that's why i know they know no 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 nobody i i don't think it's actually like that they know the direction is going at. no i don't think it's actually how can like they that. not know you are underestimating their knowledge how can they not know you see see a lot of all those things it's not just the me and you just go and buy dollar and keep a lot of multinationals a lot of banks you see some of the if you another thing i think Cardoso did was some of the banks were even reporting foreign exchange differentials as profits. Mm -hmm. Right? Which is not supposed to be done. So, which means that most of the banks were just basically doing the same thing buying the dollars, keeping it, having some differentials, putting that differentials as part of their profits in their books. They are making money. That's what I'm saying. So, A lot so, of people make yeah, money from what, what is happening. So that's why I said policies, right? Transparencies policy directions standing with some of those policies these are the things that are actually happening now now we are no, I, th I think what really happened back then was that the banks were making uh, artificial scarcity of the dollar yes now that's why they have the the banks. That, that is they are what they are. i mean sorry commercial banks yes Be because uh, they were having the dollar they were not I, releasing it. i i i i think Ebuari was a little bit um this in shy of going after the beauty the change. No, you know, it's not, no, it's not, no, it's not Buari, it's a Mefele no. that's supposed to do his job, but the Mefele was using all those. Uh, he has to go after a lot of northern to, to interests. Do round tripping. <clears throat> he has to go a lot against a lot of northern people that do money uh, exchange. It and is that, not that, against, and he's even, a crooked man, and he's a crook. And he's a corrupt be, man. Are, he was making it has money been like that forever. Money. It has been like that forever. This is not the first time. Like that. What are you talking about? Nigerians have been selling. Thing. Nigerians have been selling money on the street for for decades. Well, do, do, are look, not, let, let is, is, is it normal? Are they not still selling is it, money? It, 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 for for more than four decades is since I, I was. It, it, of course, it's normal. not normal. Why? But why did they stop it? So oh, did didn't that? stop it. Wait why now, Obasanjo didn't, didn't stop it. Hold on. Mayfield did it. This is not trying to justify Mayfield. So. I think no, I don't like. I don't like the idea that you you, you some people uh, the way you see things is always through lens of tribe. But it's your own opinion. They want to it like that, man. They have their own opinion too. He's Did you did you hear him hold his own gov uh, his own uh, guy accountable? The guys are in office now. Tunaja. It's very quick to go after a mefili. A mefili is for Tunaja's village. That's why. I don't I don't like when people do this thing. He remained quiet when we were talking about the current one. Then he suddenly went after a mefili. Uh, what is this guy talking about? When the you defending the uh, Tunibu guy, you know, he's no, I'm not defending anybody. Guy. Oh, as they maybe they not committed the um, uh, uh, criminal act. Yeah, um, have you convicted him of it? Have it? Oh, look at Who this guy. guy. He's <laughs> waiting for him <laughs> to be convicted before he can. So, so to I, I think the way he will talk sometimes. Uh, I, I don't really don't know. Really 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 if he was a Yoruba man, you would be saying exactly. Why are you making about five now? Ah, why are you making about five? Because you are you are just like the people. No, you are emotional. There's nothing we accuse the main failure of being that. Because you are just like the people I know before now. That I, I I host on Sundays. At How Saturday, is he that the same thing? Tribal mentioning. You know, Naja, we mentioned a mayfield. I call him a tribal. Are you uh -huh. kidding me? No, because uh -huh. what you know why I'm saying that? Because what he's accusing because me. Because it's from your about, village. That's why. Can you know? <laughs> okay, it's for my village. No, See, but hold on. Yeah, let me let me make no my brother. point. Hold no, on. Because nobody. No, no, hold on, no, no, no. Because what is accusing me? Hold on, hold on, please. People before a mayfield did it. Hold on, for fathers. Nobody brought tribe into the argument. I did. You did. Why? Yeah. Because he remained quiet until he wants to go after Emefile. 
it is time to mention about and, and had, I know I just, I just like, I've had you do that several times when you are uh-huh. talking you tend to you tend to look as if it's not a little mefeli other oh groups do uh, oh you, if, 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 if it was uh, Ibo <laughs> people or, 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 <laughs> or northerners you pretend as if it doesn't affect them but when it comes to your body you try to protect them you all, you all do it. You all do it. Oh, from from the, from the, the West, West, and from the East, you all do, do, the do, 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 you know, do you know what's funny? Because when when you first came on the platform tonight, you condemned the very thing you're doing right now. That was the first thing you said. You said the tribe are about then you're not the one doing the same thing. No, no, I'm accusing him of doing it. I'm not doing it. What am I doing? What am I doing? The first thing I because the first that is not consistent. Hold on. The first statement was made, I made was against the banks. I said the bank was making artificial scarcity of the dollar. And that was the mm. reason why you see dollars against Naira was the, 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 the disparity between them. I mean, the exchange rate was too huge, you know. And okay, th- and so the next if, time, if, if on, this CBN fails, would you, would you blame oh, the CBN? No, let him land now. Don't, don't shift the argument. Then. Don't, don't move go post. So it's, it's taking too long to explain. I can't. No, it's not taking too long. I'm Why are you so emotional? Get to the point. I do that all the time. Get to the point. You don't want a Mefele to go to jail? No. I don't just like it, and eh? that's why people don't like me on the other uh, uh, panel. Uh-huh. I don't like what, when what have I said game. now. That I, I uh, see you don't even driver. hear yourself, but carry on. I will shed light on why I'm reacting. Can I just carry on? Can I just let quick now? Let's let him So, like I said, the first statement I made was that the bank was making artificial scarcity they were having that dollars in their vault over seven billion that the bank were were holding that did not release to the public they were supposed to sell that thing but they didn't sell it they were holding it because they were doing run tripping so and then after that i mentioned you said oh uh, they have been doing it or oh, uh, uh, this. I said, Emefele is the one that's supposed to come out with policy to make it impossible for the banks to have so much money and not release it to the public. And then you started with, uh, oh, uh, why uh, Triba or oh, Emefele? Look, what this guy has done now Cardoso, what he has done now, policy after policy, measures after measure that this guy has taken, is what is responsible for the performance of the Naira. Oh he God. instructed the banks, the central bank, to release all the money, to sell off oh all their dollars. And Thank those you. that could not, and if they were unable to sell off all the dollars, they should release it. They will return it yeah, to the, the central the bank. The point has been made now. Hold on now, let me learn. They should return it to the central bank. And they make it that they shouldn't hold on to any dollars, any dollar they could sell in a day cannot be kept in their vault. They, everything must go back to central bank. And as a result of this, and they limited the amount that the, uh, what do you call it? Um, um what 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 uh, uh, uh Boruti change can 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 um have on a daily basis and okay. due to those measures spirit change that were in existence when it came in were over six thousand a lot of them have been wiped out because they can't cope with this policy they are less than a thousand now they are just more than i mean not more than a, a thousand from 6,000 plus. So he has taken some policies that are sanitized that banking system. And that is why you see this Naira appreciating in value against dollar. I'm not saying that we have got there yet, because to me, where, where they, where they, where, when they came into government, it was 600 plus. So now it's 1,100. So, but, you know, to me, I, I don't see that. I don't think that um, 
uh, until when it it it, it it's uh, go down to six hundred. That is where or below six hundred. That's where I can say, oh, they are performing. But as of today, I think so far he has taken some measures, some policies that it looks like it's working, and it might get us to uh, uh, to, to 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 the promised land. So. It's not, I'm, I'm not after it may fail for tribal DC, but I'm just saying it may fail destroy that system. He almost bankrupt that system, make mess of, 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 of our currency completely. So, pre, um, 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 uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, to Niger. So I don't know what you are mm. saying. Yeah, oh, yeah. I always do this. I always do this. I don't know what I've been oh, doing. Okay, to be to fair to you, to, to be you. fair to you, you mm. do try even while you are explaining like that. You know, have you guys tried to you know use a manual gear in the car and you are trying to put in a gear and it just keeps refusing to get into the gear? I felt like your brain was doing. Oh my oh, dad! Hold on now. Come on, come on. Hold on now. They ask a question. You can make it a duty or not? Yes or no? Can I? Can I? Just have a question. Because that's how he felt like his brain was struggling to get it into gear. He just wouldn't get into gear. See, the point the point I was making was very simple. I, I attributed the situation to um, uh, Buhari not wanting to do stuff, and he just diverted straight to Emifili. And completely, and this is the blind spot that, that is going on in the country right now. As if Emifili was the president. There is nothing no, 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 no. Okay, well, central the bank is in, he's in the uh, central governor is independent now. Oh, oh, okay, not okay, that, okay, okay. <laughs> not that independent. What do you mean, not that? <laughs> the current one cannot do something without Tinubu, so let's not. What do you mean? So, 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 Niger, if I ask you one question, aside what I'm not even dissected what you said, but go ahead. Yeah, aside what Baba Ajani Koko said, what exactly do you think this guy, Cardoso, has actually done? Right, that has actually made a lot of impacts in the foreign exchange. What I think he has done, which he did um, months, like seven months after he floated the currency, when the damage was already done, um, was when he started, like um, Ajane Koko mentioned just now, the Bureau de Change uh, limitations that they placed on the Bureau de Change okay. and had uh, people, uh, this in okay. uh, the that's, banks. That's, with, that's, uh, where that's where I just want you to, that's what I want mm -hmm. So those things so are the things that, that have... were supposed to have been done Wait. before you even float Wait. the currency. Wait, that Bureau de Change that you said, that's the genesis of the problem that we have. Yeah, but it hold on, hold on. I yeah, know let that. Me, let me finish. Let me finish. In 2021, Emir Philly discontinued the sale of dollars to this bureau de change. In 2021, I can still remember July 2021. That was when Emir Philly discontinued the sale of dollars to these guys. And Emir Philly was basically doing the allocation himself from CBN. And it was more of allocating to whoever they like. The only difference that this guy has actually done is to now use that particular people, legalize them, use the former ones, and sell to them. And that's exactly why you are seeing the impacts now from the market side, not from the IE window. Now, it's now beginning to do things. CBN is able to do things from the IE window, while on the parallel side, because it's selling directly to these guys, and is everything is documented. Their transactions are now documented that we can actually see what is actually happening at that sector. That is exactly what is happening now. That's the okay. transparency we are talking about. Okay, so and like what they please, was doing, arbitrarily giving this one. That is not the reason account. why this stuff is uh, this thing. The limitations is placed at the criti uh, one critical one. The the bank uh, release of funds, which made a dollar a bit more available, is another uh, this thing uh, uh, one. And he, uh, you saw that the, I don't know whether that matters much. Uh, where the federal uh, the, this thing, uh, Tinubu's um, spokesman came out and told Nigerians to buy Nigerian made goods, no, which they, they, they could have. Set an example. Not, See, every, every little uh, hold on now, let me finish. And then you had the Dangote refinery come on stream. Every all these little things add up to what the markets to say, you know what, this economy is not going uh, down, the currency is not going down, it needs to be going up. So those are the things that we have put in place to 
shift in the in the right direction but remember from a year ago the currency has uh, value has almost uh, lost value that is almost, the value of the currency almost lost that twice almost twice is uh, this is because 600 to 1000 you know um the better how you look at it could be 50 percent uh this thing uh, loss in value that has occurred so from that point of view you can't sit here and say oh um he has done very well this is within a year no, 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 the damage no, that has no, happened no i'm talking about see I'm not looking at what happened seven months ago. I'm more interested in what happened from two months to now. And if you look at everything that has actually happened two months to now, <laughs> right? Why? So, okay, I agree with what is happening yes, two months me, to now. Yes, and I yes, called, I yes, talked started, about all these yes, months now, before that. Wait, let me talk now. It started from when the backlog, foreign exchange backlog, right? They paid the backlog. That's number one. Immediately they paid the black backlog. We knew that something was going to happen. Thereafter, he brought back the policy, all these things that uh, Baba actually said. And after that, he started selling to these guys. Have you noticed that immediately the first one he did, selling to some of those guys, after some days, we started seeing the effects. Now, the last one that he sold, right? I think the last one he sold, he sold at 1,000. It's not only one item. That yes, is costing man. it. You're just making it look like all this that he did is just what cost it. Otherwise, yes, the currency man. would have gone back to where it was before. All those ones you are saying from that other sector, they are not short-term effects now. You are talking about Dangote. You are talking about when the Yes, Dan because Gute that's how price. people set price for when currency. That's Dan how Gute people have currency now. Dangote started selling this when? Because people start having confidence in no, your economy. The confidence. value of the economy starts increasing forget in value. About confidence. For confidence is, is not confidence that would definitely drive anything you can have people confidence are not going to be dumping the naira the way yes, they even now. if it's five percent reduction dumping of the naira until dangote started selling something now every other thing is just okay it's just probably dangote will sell dangote has not even started selling petrol he dangote doesn't have selling. to don't you understand wait how these now. things work wait now you are talking about if it was you that's what you would do if you're a no. businessman if you see an economy yes. doing better you are going yes. to want to invest in more in that economy or not pull your no resources out of that man, economy no businessman right will base anything on expected profits businessman will always base things on what he sees now what he sells now what he gets now all those ones are point. expected do you think as a businessman i will now base my profit on expected profits no you are making my point no the confidence that you said is based on expected profits. I'm expecting that probably if Dangote starts selling, things will be st will stabilize. I'm talking because about what it, I bought it now. It points the right direction. It points in the right direction. We're How? not talking about. I'm because buying. When... Diesel. Okay, take for instance that Dangote said he will sell diesel at one thousand, and I'm buying diesel at two thousand today. Will I wait for one thousand too? I will base everything on the two thousand I buy now. Calm down, calm down. There's a reason why. Even last year, I was saying that. Mm -hmm. it, that's why I said Tinubu had the chance to be the, one of the greatest presidents in Nigeria because the headwinds are in mm -hmm. his favor. Mm -hmm. the, the the crude oil price has gone up. Um, uh, this in uh, Dangote refinery has come on stream. They've um, uh, this is released um, uh, currency into the uh, this in uh, economy mm -hmm. and they've tweeted, that's the the this in the C CBN did that one uh, in terms mm -hmm. of having the banks mm -hmm. release currency and they limited the, the this in a uh, period change the one that actually do more damage in terms of speculation and yeah, all the rest of it. Talking about those so, CBN policies. So like no, the, 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 yeah, these are CBN policies. Mm -hmm. But remember, at the same time, your 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 view it seems to be narrow in the sense that you are saying it's only two months. But the reasons why that all this is appreciating, is, I'm saying two months because that is when we started seeing the impact of that downfall trend. Let, let, see, when did what, the turn downfall trend started? See, Three what months you, ago. What, what you have it. now, the, the statement okay. you have now, let's say all the policies uh, that the Goran government did okay. is in place. Let's say all of them are in place. Okay. And what was happening before, uh, the difference between that and now mm -hmm. is that the only major difference between that and now is that the um, uh, uh the this is the period the change and the speculators have been curtailed mm -hmm. but in terms of the value of the currency it remains stable see it remains stable so it's not it's not that different if it's just that it's, it's less than the nigerian currency has let lost me value give you a hint. what will happen when dangote starts selling when dangote starts selling now it's going to even make it drop more because at that point we are not going to be needing because major i know of that the we, we are all in agreement on that yes, one. now so major, so that's why I said Dangote has not even come on board now. The, anything Dangote is not what is driving foreign exchange now. 
anything dangote we are still expecting anything dangote probably in like why you are you are thanking somebody for it's like do you know how what you are doing like you what had you let me let me tell you what you are doing yeah. i i saw you on the road and you have five thousand dollars in your pocket okay then i told you hi this guy i have this business that i wanted to do mm -hmm. and uh, just give me this five thousand dollars. i'm going to use it to do something for you mm -hmm. And then you gave me the five thousand dollar. Then I come back to you. I told you I've lost everything. You know? And you're like, oh my god, I don't die. I... Then I told you, oh no, no, don't worry, don't worry. I, I, I found uh, this in uh, two thousand five hundred dollars. Take, mm -hmm. and you started thanking me for giving you two thousand five hundred dollars. That's basically what you're doing now. You know what I'm? What What is difficult for me is the fact that you're saying, oh, probably because people have hope that Dangote will start selling. That is what is driving foreign exchange. No, no, it's not the only thing. I also give credit to, to the people that are doing you that is not even a factor. That Dangote will start selling is not a factor that is driving foreign exchange. Because that, those ones are just still in, you know, probably we felt Dangote will start selling by so so time. It doesn't have any impact on what the What does that mean? Now. Nigeria, you know, Nigeria owns 20% of Dangote. So Dangote that, starts selling. And we are able to see that it's we stop the direction. Is the direction is pointing? Larry, Larry, no, 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 no. question you would have asked to Nigeria is this: If those policies the CBN put in place have not have does not have a positive impact, he has said he said those policies are not the driver. It's not working. No, it's oh my God! You are not hearing me. See, this is what I mean by how you 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 listen to me with tribal ears. No, 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 no. <laughs> Wait, I just you told you that it was impossible because said. even I was we asking for those things. You, wait, we were telling you about the policies. You came here, you said those policies are not, we, that we were talking about those policies, that those policies were not the key things. And Baba Jale Koko tried to outline each oh, of no, the policies. No. He didn't even let me address Ajale Koko's statement. Wait. He didn't even let me go after no. Ajale Koko. But he it's all right, Ajale Koko is, is my the man. Policies to you. And now, me and I asking you which other policies you said probably it's Dangote, is this is that, and we are telling you that that policy that you said, well, you are not hearing me. I said the, 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 what the CBN did in the last three months, two to three months, was positive things that helped the economy, but it didn't need to happen in the other, they didn't need to flow the currency before they did this thing, they could have done it at the same time. How will yeah. they do that? And I'm asking you, where would they get the liquid to do what you wanted them to do? So, then? Because, yeah, because they the liquid that they got, where did they, did they steal the liquid that they got what to do it? Oh, God. Did they steal it? How did they want them to get the liquid? What, what no, no, no. Hold liquid? On, did hold they steal on, it? To Niger, to Niger, look, let me tell you. The liquid that this guy is uh, talking about, you know, Central Bank took some, um, some uh, um, um, action. Or can, let me say some measure. You know that NMPC used to get their own uh, this thing directly to them when they sell crude to outside world. You know, they they manage the um, uh, I mean the revenue comes to NMPC account. You know that one of those things that Cardoso did is that NMPC cannot get that money directly anymore. Any sales the proceed must come to central bank. Mm -hmm. So that enables them to get a lot of um, um, forex in that they were using to settle all those backlog, um, uh, 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 how do I say it? Uh, um, debt the, 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 yeah, the, the debt. debt, no, the, the debt and all the rest. And then another thing is that since the president has stopped, what do you call it? Um, what do you call this thing? Uh, uh, the subsidy. Okay. So you see that a lot of money being spent for importation of crude, you know, uh -huh. Uh, were not spent they, 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 they still lost quite a lot of it yeah, because now yeah, they, they, they still on. have to put subsidies back oh, again. Uh, yeah, hold on. So now a lot of money that they were spending for importation of this crude, that one, you know, was eliminated too. Dangote came in 
and that is how they started uh, saving money. So a, a lot of steps that he has taken, Central Bank particularly, is what is really, really helping us now. You, okay. Look, the, the system oh was God. so bad as it is. Can I, can I, can I oh, ask you, you straight know, questions? You know I'm going to be asking searching questions now so that you can think about what you are saying. You know, yeah, let me just say something before I go. Because you don't want to agree that your brother in me has done a very bad job. <laughs> yes. You know, that's the you fact. Know, that you know, know what you are doing. He doesn't want to agree. He doesn't want to agree. See, no. You are just blaming me. You are just blaming me. You are just blaming me. Oh my God, man. You are just blaming me. You can't even hear this. You can't even hear it right. Why is somebody supporting your team? Fight them for it. To kind of like cover the truth, so as no, to there is no covering of any truth. See no, what that, I hear in this country is exactly that what has actually happened. See, a mefile, uh, a mefile, if he stole Nigeria's money, he should go and rot in jail. Let me let me say this. See, if you stole country. Nigeria's money, to the you can't seem to go and rot in jail, but you won't because that's how you see things. If a mefile stole Nigeria money, personally, if he stole anything over a million, I believe in capital punishment. They should take his life. Do you believe that for Tinubu? You don't. That is the problem with our people. You say you want rule of law, but you don't want it. You just want to play your tribal games and run what our country to the ground. By tribal game. So is Tinubu the CBN because, job now? Because you didn't even hear that I, I supported what the central government did in the last two months. You didn't even hear me because you were just thinking about defending yourself. Nobody is defending anything because when the genesis of, your, of what you said was basically coming here to say, oh, we were thinking a mefele did this, and to you, this is I'm quoting you that to you, all those things that we felt a mefele do was not really the key thing. That was what you said. Yeah, it wasn't the key. Yeah. Because uh, let me explain what I said. Because what a mefele met when he was there, what they had exchange, uh, this is the change. They were all, all over the place. You go to airport everywhere, you see them everywhere. The it before he came. Um, Basenjo, Abacha. So, all so of them, he, oh, they were on, always hold there. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> he, he met it and he saw that um, the way that they were operating was injurious to the system and he could not take measure against it in order to. Okay. You know, now, make, let me finish what I was saying. You know, I, was trying to, I was trying to finish my explanation. So don't cut me short. You've already explained your case on this matter. No, 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 um, no. Because no, 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 no let me finish what I'm saying. Don't You're not going to let me talk. Oh, I just no, started talking no, no, and you no. shut me what off they again. Are doing? What you don't know. You don't want me to show you. You don't want me to. You don't want me to. This is the see. You don't want me to show people that I want to expose. What the you are doing is very clear you now. You that. see, now you see, now okay, you hold on. Now, let me expose the bias now. Let me expose the bias uh, no. because you, we have to be consistent. We okay, have to okay, land, land. Then, then we land. come Thank after you. you. Okay, land. Thank you. Land. Yes, you are welcome to come after me. Land. Uh, land. So, when Emifili, uh, that's what he meant, and what he did was, uh, what the where I started from was that. Um, Buhari probably didn't want to go after his fellow, um, the way Nigerians think, fellow Awasa men that are sending uh, all this money. He probably didn't want to go after them the way he um, Tinubu is doing. And uh, so that's why maybe he didn't do it. And the next thing he did was he went after Emefile because of that uh, exchange rate issue. But what I was saying was that Emefile met it there. He didn't change that part. And to be frank, what Emefile was doing was capping in Nigeria currency officially while in the black market they were selling it um uh, uh, this thing it was uh, losing uh, this thing the value from the point of view they are is getting they are, they are selling it more expensive however the headwinds during that time in that economy there was no dangote in the horizon um oil prices had crashed in the, in that horizon and uh, there was also um, covid-19 in that in that uh, same period we are talking about so the idea that you are attributing everything that happened in our economy to Dangote, uh, this in uh, Emefile's uh, policy is a little bit, uh, it's a little bit unfair to say the least. Because what this is why I always say you have to ask yourself to what end is all these things that are happening? Just because this guy is shuffling the paper here, there, and there, and the Nigerian currency has just uh, depreciated by almost 100 percent, 
and we just say, oh, it's okay. Uh, he's doing very well as long as he's just improved by about. What did um, they, what did they the say? Last... He was shuffling. What did they say? He was shuffling. He, he, he was shuffling the this in the current. <laughs> See, let me let me show you what he just did. <laughs> let let me just let me distill down. What, what, what was this did. shuffling? What was Hold on now. Let me distill down. Just paying off the outstanding uh, money that other we owe other people is not a reason for the currency to appreciate. It's not. That's not the reason why your currency will appreciate because you paid your debt. That's not. Otherwise, American currency will be dead. Okay. The reason is it down. That's why I always say to what end. So just because this is my problem with some people. The only you, what, you highlighted what, those what, things. Hold on, let me finish my point. The only reason why you highlighted that point, do you think that's the reason why? Oh, let me finish my point now. The only reason why you highlighted that point is because you thought that is the reason why the currency appreciated. The reason why the currency appreciated one is because they took money from the uh, bureau of change that normally used to go to them. The that gap, that speculation gap. Um, uh, this in uh, this current government closed it in the last couple of months. That they closed it, so the bureau of change are not making a lot of money, and they put them out of business. Those who are useless to the economy, and they should have gotten they should have gotten rid of them a long time ago. We had a discussion here about it uh, uh, some time ago, and some people were just de defending them, say, "Oh, they are not the reason that we need more dollars in the economy. That's the reason." But now they got rid of them. Well, guess what? What just happened? So this this is what I'm saying, and what he's just done now. The currency now, by getting rid of them, the, the value of the currency has stabilized to an extent because the speculation no, is passed high, what do you mean by and the demand. Hold what on, he, he got rid of uh, those uh, these people that are left to speculate with the Nigerian currency, and they keep increasing are it. We because they keep... still, are we are we not using Burundi chain now? Uh, we are using it, but they are not making as much profit from the from the point of view of the yeah, currency. Because they are not making as much. Hold profit on, and, 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 and if you think about it too, if if you ask the same question, to what end? In that case, the effect they had, I'm not even sure is that significant in terms of uh, the, the this in the. Uh, the the effect it has on the economy, like the way the Nigerian government is going after Binance. Maybe there was some things Binance is doing with the Nigerian Binance uh, was, See, let me now Hold tell you. About no, no, no. I, let me just finish my point. You you have your mm -hmm. chance to. So the way the Nigerian government was going after Binance because that's one other area with hemorrhaging value because they were allowing the Nigerians to speculate on the Nigerian currency. So they are selling. In other words, they are buying Nigerian currency at a lower value because the Nigerian currency was buying the dollar at a higher value, something like that. And then you also had um, uh, this thing, um, uh, uh, what the, this gap that has been closed now. Because if you, if let's say the government left the bureau to change, the Nigerian currency will be selling at one thousand five hundred right now. Because they will be hoarding the currency and increasing demand, and then you have to buy it. So by getting rid of that economy, they have taken space. Uh, they, they have taken that space in in a way similar to what Tinubu did in Lagos. Because it's not because it, it doesn't mean that before Tinubu started taking tax in Lagos. People were not taking tax. Agbedos were taking tax from people all, all over the place in Lagos. But when he came in, he got rid of a lot of all those infrastructure and replaced them by, with himself. In a way, that's what he has done again here. So, in, <laughs> so what, what has changed now? The deck hasn't yeah, changed yeah, that yeah. much. The value of the currency is only appreciating further. It, remember, it just stabilized because he got rid of some people. The currency is, is going to appreciate, is, it will appreciate further. And I believe there are things he can do to make it appreciate further. He can discourage the use of the dollar. One of the ways you can discourage the use of the dollar is to start making Nigerians manufacture and stop importing useless stuff that is not useful to the economy. If you are importing the uh, toothpick, uh, stupid uh, bottles that you don't need to, uh, when Nigerians can manufacture it, put tariff on it so that it will cost more to import those things. And then when you import it, uh, take the extra money that you get from the tariff, use it to sponsor local manufacturing. And guess what? The demand for the dollar will drop. And in Nigerian currency... He has started discouraging dollar now. He has started discouraging... Yes, I saw that too. At, I saw that too. People. I saw that too. People, I agree with you on look that. Look at the people that were holding those dollars. Everybody has brought their money out because dollar is losing value. I agree. I agree with you. But it's, they started doing it two months to ago. I, Goku. I give him credit. See, I give him credit. They started doing yes. it two months ago. Yeah. Actually, Coco, you have to understand why I feel the way I see. I sound. I know I sound very, very critical. I don't want to. You, you know where you are getting it wrong. You know where you are getting it because you are trying to defend a mafialy. No, trying I'm not defending him at all. I just told you, if he stole money, he should lose his life. He, he stole money. They caught him. They yeah. are, he, are, he they, was then take him to court. How hard yeah. can it be to try him? He, he, look, hold on now. Would he be investigated? 
get all the How facts long? against Literally, him people saying in office. To court. Uh, so, okay, so, the the, court, so hold on, you just accuse him and accuse him of stuff without trying him. Okay, look, fine. No, they have not. Look, you just the, assume he's told him, but you, the investigation you know, hasn't been completed. You know, they, start, they, they, they set up a panel to investigate his, um, his, his account. So they have investigated him. They caught him in so many deals. The way he was selling then money. Why have they not convicted him with of those things? Oh, hold on but, now. So, 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 so it's that will convict him. Is it not they the same to take him to court? Him but they have not even taken him to court to be tried so that ah, people can hear from his own side. Is now? Is it, the problem you, you have is out. your defense for this guy. And they, you know, you they held him for months because. No, I see. No, no, no. I don't have sympathy. This is the thing. I don't have sympathy. What you are saying is that they have not done anything wrong. No, 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 no. no. That's not what I'm saying. Hold on. Hold on. You, you I think that Nigeria is not conversant what is going on. It, it, you, you that said is not what I'm saying. You, you, you are saying that, oh, a Mefele met um, something on the ground, the way it's been practiced, and he let it continue. I mean, he cannot continue that, like that, that because that, everything me, he met, he, he encouraged the expansion of the, of under what? him, the expansion of what? Change, I don't even know. Expand in thousands. Niger. Um, I don't even I, know why I, you, you have the actual expand figures for that. Do you actually on. have figures for that? Are you, I don't even know why you are blaming Buhari for Emefele's incompetence. Um, because he's the commander in chief. How? No, commander in chief. Does, does, does he really go to Bari oh anytime he wants to be in exchange allocation? Um, he does the policies that the central bank uh, carries Forget out. About with the finance yes, minister and the president. Central bank. Does he go to Villa every day to they go and tell Bari with the, the president? Let's not see. See what we do. This is what you shocks me. This is where you are getting it wrong. They are coordinating with the president. The no, coordinating with the president. I'm not defending the Mayfield. I'm not defending the Mayfield. I'm saying you, you guys now. You are you would rather go you would rather go defending the Mayfield. What is what Angela Koko is doing? Angela Koko, if you carry on in this trajectory, I will lose all respect for you. You are defending the Mayfield, man. What you are doing here? What you are doing here? You are trying to excuse the president. You don't know that the Mayfield is an independent body. Central bank is an independent body. No, that is why Tinubu was able to throw him out of office. That's why he's so independent. I don't know why. You see, problem I have with people is you see. You don't when want to blame the somebody, president when they put that they coordinated somewhere. everything together. When they put yeah. somebody somewhere to do a job and that person does not do the right job, you tend to slowly shift the blame on the person that actually put him there. It may fail do no. the day-to-day -day running of their of affairs of CBN. It doesn't go to Buari every morning to go and tell Buari, I want to do this foreign exchange allocation today. Come and sign this. It may fail signs all those things. The only thing it goes to Buari to do is if, if, if there is a policy oh that actually affects the country. So why are you now saying Buhari should be responsible? This is somebody that, my this point is, is that like, it's, like, it's like the, current, the, the currency change issue. This same People keep saying this that same it's Mfele. 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 without Buhari's approval, Mfele can't do it. See, there, please, you, please, there are too many things Mfele did that he cannot do without the president's please. approval. What are you saying? Can I come in, in, in here, please, 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 I beg you because first and foremost, CBN governor is being uh, the president will choose one candidate and send the name to the Senate. Without no Senate approval, nobody can become CBN governor. And CBN have uh, they are independent on their own to follow their uh, uh, monetary policy. It doesn't need to go to worry for anything. What it does is it has been um, I mean in the national the constitution specified. What you are doing here today, to me, just my personal opinion, you are basing everything on speculation and anticipation. And that mm -hmm. is not how economics work. Exactly. That is what you are basing, what you are thinking. You know, it's about answer and speculation. But what they are trying to tell you is that a lot of policies put in place by this uh, government help them to make the, uh, the Naira to appreciate against the dollar. Oh but my God! He didn't appreciate. No, 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 what is wrong with you people? One minute, one minute, one minute. Jesus uh, Christ! He okay, never no. depreciated within a, within a year, almost by hundred percent. And you are saying he appreciated? How, how, you are, uh, can you hold on for one minute? I can see where you are coming from. If you are, if you calm down and don't. Do no, I, I get tired of just talking like this. No, I, I don't have time. I have to watch. Yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah. I get. I'm just a little bit frustrated. I don't have a lot of time. 
uh, let others talk because you are, so I, I see to me personally, this is my opinion, you are looking at it in a, quite emotionally, which you, 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 you are not supposed to do it. Because you, and when you follow Nigerian trend very well, when they came in, there is no money, there is no liquidity. And if there's no liquidity, it's very, very difficult to, and they don't, maybe they also have their own blame. They don't get the overall picture of Nigerian economy very well. But when they get to government, they discover that there's no liquidity. And of course, when a new government comes in, there's so many things that they have to readjust. And readjusting can bring negative or positive impact. It brought the negative impact immediately. And we can see later the positive impact. Because in free money, when they remove subsidy on petrol, today we are consuming less than 30 million liters of petrol in a day. Before we are consuming up to 80 million. I don't, just let you the math. From 60, 80 million um, to 30 million. Have you so, considered that a lot of people shifted from petrol? No, 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 no. I'm just trying to tell, okay. let me finish just one minute. So at least the difference is there. That means some people are very smart to buy more than two decades. From so many years of Babangi, Daoba, Sodo, and the rest, and Buari, a lot of people have become billionaires. So we know that our country has a lot of trouble. But what we are trying to tell you is that the policies they put in place is far, far outreach what you are speculating or anticipating about. The so called uh, Dangote started lifting Jesus, even it's not up to two weeks. And before two weeks come, uh, last two weeks, the Nara has appreciated. Uh, considerably over the last one one and a half month. That's what they are talking to you about. That means if um, these policies, if they are not in place, maybe we are still going to be uh, where we are before, even worse than than before. So that's what we, we don't need um, to. And the French, no matter what you said or what you are going to say about Mifeli, that guy did a big disservice to our government, our, our, our country. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> all of them, yeah, all yeah, of yeah. them have done the best yeah, to start your country. Yeah, by the way, it's not, nobody is defending the Mepele here. Hold on, no, hold on. He just don't said a lot. He just said a lot. I'll forget everything he said. If he carry on talking, I'll forget everything he said. Let me de let, let me deal with one thing at a time. You see, oh, Buari now is a stupid man that everybody no. takes advantage of. It's okay. Uh, advantage of Buari because okay, Buari because you don't have a finance minister. Please, please, no, let me just say something. Even working with the finance ministers. Hold on now. This let me just say something. Not even working with any finance let, minister. No, me, okay, Mefile is his own mafia now. Okay, good. Let's let's say Mefile is his own mafia. He's so powerful, and that's why he was in jail and all the rest. Let's say he's the boogeyman. But what I see in Nigeria is that whenever justice is about to happen, it tends to happen with uh, with the net minority because if you look at Bet better i do ethnic minority immediately and that's smaller groups that's where it tends to target they tend to target those ones it doesn't mean the major the other groups like uh, the Yorubas and the Igbos and the uh, houses are not humongous thieves they are the biggest thieves but you don't see them being revealed and it, 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 the reason why this is this is not being revealed is because oh, people are like you you just blind your eyes see, to see, it you see he's, he's defending his driver man now no, no i'm not defending him no. I'm, see, said, I'm saying you see, you see, my own yeah, policy so, see, my own you, policy you, you hold can, on my own policy is, is if anybody steals yeah. money from nigeria oh my god that results in the loss of life they took to to the life. To I don't care whether it's my uh, tribal man, man or not. So, but so I'm calling you out on you your tribalism and, your, and the kind of bigotry you put display. Why you know, are you, you are not even conscious of it. You just do it. Better I do to this conversation. Hey, you see, he because to defend because, he's a okay, minority. Tell me, one tell of me how many of from the minority tribe. No, so, no, I'm, I'm is is no, is a minority like on you. Now. So, if tell me are, oh, how many they, people have why been are they going hard on a minority? Because of no, no, and I'm, all I'm of us that, that are majority have been left alone to yeah, But this, this, this is the nonsense eh? in Nigeria. Now, you all know you all play this game in Nigeria. Where eh? when is this is why somebody would do something so, wrong in Nigeria? They did not do wrong to you. Who said they didn't do wrong? I never said that. Are you hearing me? Or you are hearing me with only that tribal filter in your ears? Yes, they are trying him because it's a minority. That's the only thing you have. You only. It's like you can't even hear me that he, he did something wrong. No. I don't have a proof of it, but until they no. take him to court, they try him to and confirm that he's guilty, he's, he's, you don't he's, even he's, hear it. You are, they are trying to make it because he's, he's a minority, right? That's, that's No, I'm not saying it's the only reason, but in Nigeria, from what I've observed in the last two years I started of watching this scene, the political scene in Nigeria, I've, okay, obviously they've arrested um, Northerners. I've seen cases where somebody comes out of prison and the villagers come out and say, hey, welcome. And the, the person went to jail for uh, prison for, for stealing money. 
and the villagers will be present praising them. This is the kind of stuff we do in Nigeria. There is no level playing field for the law to exist. And yet we sit here talking about great great institutions when we are the ones killing the institutions. See, let me say this. Nigerians, all of us are part of the problem in this country. We speak inside. I gave that example a long time ago, and I will, uh, the last time I was here, and I will give you that example again. It's like we are all in a swimming pool. Everybody's pissing inside that swimming pool. One person pees, the other one pees, the other one pees. And by the time we finish pissing, we are all swimming in our own field. And if we carry on in this method, we are all going to drown in it. You watch, watch what happens. Because sooner or later, we have to be dispassionate about these things. Like if, for me now, if a method is stole, the way I look at this is that he should be killed. Because I believe that if you are in public office, you are very, very important. And if they give you money for the people, and you take the money, like, can you imagine if a health minister was given money? He stole it. Then the, the money that was supposed to go to hospital is not go get to the hospital. The people want to have children. The, the women are dying in, in childbirth. They don't treat people. They don't give people vaccine. All that stuff. Because people are stealing money. Why should they lose their life if they steal public money? That is what, how I believe. Do you believe in that? If you believe in that, you watch how corruption, and also, we should not be listening to all these Yeo Yibo people that are telling us that we should not carry out capital punishment. Because if you don't carry out capital punishment, you know there are about 3,000 people in the Nigerian prison that have been given um, uh, capital punishment. But if you don't carry it out, what do you think is happening? You are giving room for people that lack integrity to, to thrive in the, in, the, in, the, in the Nigerian system, while the ones with integrity are being denied space. Because can you imagine if you start a business in Nigeria now? You want to do the right thing by the people. You want to work hard, develop let, your business for 10 years. Let me ask you this question. So and by your own judgment, steals, by, steals you and becomes a millionaire. But by your own judgment and with all that you have, you, 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 the, uh, with what you know, did a Mephili do wrong? From what I know, mm. from what they've, they've said on the, the, this thing, they said he did wrong. Um, so, by your own judgment, what what do you so do? You, do you, by my do, own judgment, mm -hmm. if you ask me, all mm -hmm. our leaders, elite class, <laughs> well, no, be specific, be specific. no, 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 let's focus on the Mephili. No, 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 I'm not just see. only on the Mephili. Forget about others, others, um, you know, in their own um, um, uh, areas of uh, 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 position of uh, where they. Uh, they they operate is a different thing, but Emefiele being the head of central bank and the man that was man managing the monetary policy of the of the country, by your own judgment, with what you you know, do you think he managed it well during his time? I don't think he managed it well at all. Okay, so. There is no Nigerian no. government that has managed the Nigerian economy well. No, is that no, shocking? No, to forget you? about Nigerian government. Stop Let's it. You see, why are you Nigeria asking Bank. me to stop it? To, to, why are you asking me not to criticize not, the others? He is not part of the government. You now. see, this is what you go do. You don't want you don't want to criticize the others. You just want to criticize only one not, group. We are not talking about the government. The government is different. He you is, see, he, he, I criticize the Mefele, but he doesn't want me to criticize other people. Who is the tribalist now? No, let us focus on the Mefe. Forget about the government. A Mefele is no is separate. Just focus on him. Okay, what else do you want to talk about him? It's he wanted to get his entity. DNA. It's a separate entity from the government. It's what do you want us to get government. from Emifili now? Eh? Since you're obsessed, what do you want to get from Emifili? You, you want to get his DNA? <laughs> no, because you, it's like, I criticize Emifili. It's not good enough for you. I, I, I you're you you obsessed with Emifili. No, it, it's like it's ridiculous. <laughs> This guy is so tribal, eh? And <laughs> you are quite tribal, <laughs> actually. And and you is tribal. Not, is and you may not, no, no, you are quite tribal. And, and the worst thing about it is that <laughs> he walks around <laughs> he to as if he has integrity. <laughs> no, you just... You, because you don't want me to mention anyone else. You are telling me, no. stop, stop, okay. stop. Let's only talk about Emifili. No, let's talk about Emifili. The way he managed... The way he managed that, you know... Um, monetary policy of the government. You you have just said it that he did not manage it well. Ah, this is sick. And do you agree that he managed it? This is just sick. I'm really disappointed in you. Hold on. I, I generally go so go today. Do you believe? I mean, so do you want to agree with me that he managed that plate with enormous corruption that totally messed up our monetary? Um, 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 um oh, call it. This is rotten. It's like do the kind of stuff we do it. At, uh, you, you do a pansat. It, do you agree with ridiculous. me? Do you agree that with me? The way he managed, I just told you he didn't manage the economy well. 
so he, he was so corrupt by the way he, he, he managed that uh, monetary policy, the way he managed it, he, he was so corrupt and it damaged the economy so badly. He you didn't agree manage the me? economy well. Yeah. If you ask me, if you want me to pass a judgment based on the way I know Nigeria, yes, he's, he's probably definitely corrupt. But we don't, we, on, until they try okay. him, we don't know that for sure. So, okay. from my own point of view is that the economy has never been run well, including in the, with this government. It hasn't been run well. Most of the things that is working for this economy is not even in their own hands to control. If, if anything, they mess the economy up and we are thanking them for just retrieving a lot of the damage, that they, a little bit of the damage that they made. It's unbelievable. It's astounding. And and you guys are, you are, you are quite a, actually, Coco, you are one of those people who actually listen to. So That is so, scary. So if you want to compare, if you want to compare the way the Cardoso is managing that central bank now against the Mifede, who would you tell, who would you say, I mean, has done a good job, I mean, between, a Mifede managed it for eight years, and you said he didn't manage it well, but Cardoso, since he came in, with, with the way he has managed it, do you want to give kudos to him? Do you do you want to agree that he did? If I look at the data, if I look mm. at the data, I will say I don't know, but I'm if I'm going to predict that I don't know if I go and check because I'm Mifele was in office for at least eight years mm. at least, mm. and um, the depreciation of the depreciation of the currency. If you can give mm. me a breakdown of how much the currency depreciated under a Mifele versus how much mm. it depreciated under Kazo, so it will be easy to make a judgment. Can you give me that? Okay, if you want to consider... Oh, you are not going to give me, are you? Can you no, give me that? No, 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 hold on, hold on. You see, he's the, not going to give me that now. because he doesn't say for him. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It may fail it. The ways and means, uh, the ways and means that, you know, that we 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 had under it may fail it. And the debt that he incurred and the collateral of our what do you call it our reserve against debt compared to what a cardoso have done is settle all the debt that a may fail in court the ways and means that um 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 what do you call it this administration you know um, under this administration, the ways and means that they had, he has already paid it already. So compare both of them with what he has done and what he Mifele did. He didn't pay debt. He came uh, uh, I mean, the ways and means grew from almost zero to to like 23 trillion. 30 trillion. Uh, 30 trillion. And this guy has already cleared everything. And how, how who would you who would you with between two of them? Yeah. Who, who who do you think that, that, he, that is he, see, see, because he, he cleared hold, it hold the on, money hold that on he, now? Oh my hold god, all the mess that a method left behind. This guy is 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 correcting <laughs> all the mess, settling debt. Oh my god, you know, it's 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 trying to make things work, and then <laughs> if you give this guy eight oh. years to run this central bank between him and the who do you think will have run it better? Eight years. Okay, hold on years. now. Calm down. Calm down. Eight years uh, because so you years. don't run from the numbers because it, yeah. they, they, I, I don't, I'm not going to use my own opinion anymore. Mm. Um, so what I can see here is that in 2016, um, the Nigerian Naira um, was worth $300 uh, in 2016. Uh, by the time he left office in 2023, it was worth uh, somewhere around 600 and something dollars, if I'm not mistaken. So that is about just over um, double the, the currency value for eight years. And your guy, uh, the current one in office came in. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You, mm -hmm. you can't, you, you, hold on. I can't, eh? You, you, you are trying oh, that, to. That's you, scaring you oh, now. Hold on. Oh, no, 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 hold on. You, if you want to, mm. if you want to base it on, you see, he don't want to, he don't want to look at the numbers. So you see what he's doing. He doesn't want to look at the numbers. No, 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 no. not the, oh, okay. Hold on. Listen you to your tribal brain. Just listen only to your tribal brain alone. Oh eh, okay. 
Uh, your tribal yeah. brain is going to help you. Your tribal mathematics is going to calculate. Like that, okay? Yeah, use yeah, you, your tribal mathematics to help you like with that. the maths. Okay. Like that. Like that. If you want to look at that number, I will advise you to look at that number holistically. Oh, yeah. now, oh, okay. you see, the, the tribal yes. brain is coming, I you know. See, no, 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 excuses now. You see that they want to start making excuses. Now. You look at them, oh. Wait, your now. your guy is going to office, you know, many, how many months, the Nigeria currency almost collapsed, and you're here talking this. Jesus Christ. Let's use simple mathematics, right? Okay, do that. Yeah. You have you have 500 Naira in your pocket. And you show people that this is the 500 Naira I have. While Against that 500 naira, you have a loan of 10,000 naira. Mm -hmm. So if they now ask you, what is the true value of what you have? Would you say it's 500 naira? Yes, it's still 500 naira. You just have a loan. <laughs> so the true value of what you have is not 500 naira. The true value of what you have is negative 9,500 naira. Oh my goodness. Depending on the context. All these things no, depends this on the context. context. This is if, if, you, if you are looking at you cash have, flow, if, if you say somebody has cash no, in your account, you say that's what they have. You this can't just say because the person owes money that that money doesn't exist. That is why I said the true value, right? The, I'm not saying cash value. I said no, true it, value. I think it's the gross or whatever, the balance. Uh, they say if you, if you want to balance the sheet, that's what you can say. If you yeah, if that's, that's, that's what you want to say, uh, if that's what you want to say, okay, because you owe people money, but, but that's standard. America is negative. How, how do you feel about that now? Wait. America is negative, not against. We are saying this against Stop that. Stop with all this fake no. tribal mathematics. Against that particular currency, because everything you've done is against. America that is currency. worth negative money if you want to go now. by that standard. The ways and means, the ways and means, you, the ways and means you collected is against that particular currency. The money you are using to defend the, that currency is against that currency, right? So that is why. See, let, let me explain not... this to you. Uh, yes, in sir. business, uh, one of the first things I learned in economics, which was, I am shocked I even knew anything about economics because I am not an economist. Mm -hmm. One of the first things I learned was that it's better to have the money in wow. your hand. You, you, it's better that you, you are the wait. one that wait. owes people money than people owe you. Wait, wait. It's better for you to have money. But do you know that as, as a normal economist that you just said, right? And you are doing business. You need credit line. So do you think anybody will have given you credit if you are going... <laughs> oh God. Because you are a businessman, I'm, I'm asking you. If, because everything you, say, you are saying is contrary to logic. You you know full well that oh, most of these Western companies... See, let me say, let me explain the reason why people can give you credit. Nobody it's your ability will give, to nobody, pay. Will, nobody oh, you're not listening. Credit. Let me explain. When you know that you have 500 and you already have a loan to back that 500 of 10,000. So do you think any sane person will now look overlook your loan and say, oh, I'm basing things on, on that 500? That 500 that another person can always easily put lien on. Mm. Yeah. See, um, I think it was in Singapore that owes 1.4 oh, um, trillion uh, US dollars. And yet they are, they are sticking fine. Why? It's not because they don't owe money. You you guys, you see, some of the things you people do, you know, the, uh, the, the CBN went and paid people our uh, money, give them our money. No, they are giving their friends money quicker so that we we have to uh, wait to buy other things. That money that they are giving to those people, if it was them, until they are ready to give us. When a bunch of money disappeared, do you know how long it took for us to get the money back? They they pretend as if they are investigating this stuff. You guys, I, I don't know where you got your, where your thinking is. If you know the true nature of the world, you I, I don't know. Maybe you, you guys need to see from my own point of view. That's how I come up with some of the stuff I come up with. It's not because I'm an expert. It's just for me, it's just common sense. If your country has money, you, you have to give money back to the people that you owe at your convenience. Don't just be in a hurry to give it to them because oh, they are your palace. Why you know are your you own economy is you. uh, torpedoing? You know that has, and also that has nothing to do with the currency at all. Do you it has know nothing to do with the currency. 
Thank God that Peter Obi did not did not win that election. Obviously, probably may feel. Like I, 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 I hope that your tribal brain will help you calculate that very well. No, eh? no, 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 eh? no. Because, See, because, because everything you, you, you know what you just did now. You ran away from the maths. Everything well, you, you hold said on. Here, you try to criticize the Mefili, and you ran away really? from the maths. Wait now, tonight. Yeah. Tonight, now, why are you so emotional tonight? Now, calm down. No, I don't. Uh, no, no, because you are just mad. You are you of tribal, tribal, tribal. No, no, you know. You know. You know. You are the one who tried to make this now. Anybody you mention your tribe tonight? Why are you why are you just uh, why are you projecting now? Why are you projecting your own? I just told you no, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You are accusing people of tribe, No, I don't like it. Mike. But nobody ever mentioned the Mayfield tribe. What is wrong with you, man? No, no, no. Because I feel like the way we talk. That is what informs everything we say. It's not logical. Be because that's the way... No, no, no. Stop projecting uh, your... Because people on no. the show, you go to... That's know, the way they think. It doesn't mean that's the way everybody here thinks. You know who else. Stop projecting, man. If the people are talking about me, Feli, it doesn't mean... Hello. Hold on. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Let me talk, man. Can we talk? You have been talking all day now. Give me a chance to talk to you now. You've been talking all day. Hold on, man. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Hold on. Give me one second. Guys, give me one second. Hello. Who's that? No. Niger, you are Who's talking that? as if every can other let me person talk? except you, you, you. saying the same Can you thing. calm down? Do one at a time now. I can't talk at the same time. Calm down. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Calm down. Sorry, 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 please. Sorry. Mr. Sunaja, Mike, here's the sorry. Deal. Mr. Mike, please. Allow, yeah, here's the deal. allow me, please. Okay, allow okay. Me. I heard you now. Allow me to talk. Allow me. Allow me one Sunaja, time, please. Can you let me talk? God, Lord. Ah. <laughs> Ah. It's, getting, it's getting hot. It's getting I'm talking to you, don't force me. I mean, I'm like, come on, come down. Sooner, Jack, here's the fact. You. Make your point. I'm listening to you. Yeah, Lord, I'm I'm listening to you guys go uh, argue for the past 30 minutes. And I'm trying to make sense of the thing you keep accusing them of tribe, 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 tribe. All the measures they may fail. I bet you if you ask Anjali Koko or uh, whoever the other person is to tell which tribe they may fail, they come from. They don't know. Nobody knows. Yeah, you're right. I have to go and yeah. dig it to find out. Maybe it's from uh, I think it's from Agbo. It's from Delta, somewhere in Delta. They don't know, and you keep accusing them of tribe, tribe, tribe. They don't know it's tribe. They, they know enough that it's not Yoruba, and don't yeah, pretend it's not. You are generalizing. So, so what is? <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, this guy don't even pretend it's not. Mike, don't even pretend it's not. And you know I don't like it. What is getting wrong? You're full of crap, man. You know me. I don't like it. Turn on your, turn on your eyes. The deal. So stop, stop that. Okay, nonsense. that's fine. I don't care. You can call me that. It's okay. I don't give a shit. Yeah, I'm a you know, so Why are you? Why are you surprised? That I don't like it. You know, I don't but, like but, it. When people do those things. But, but why are you accusing the other people here? That we you all know. know. Every, everybody. Do not calm, calm the hell down, man. Every, guys, every, which guys? Who are? Do not calm the hell down. Everybody, everybody that I follow this should I know. We know for a fact that Jale Koku is not a tribal person. Everybody uh, know that, yeah, right? Uh, Mike, let me calm everybody down. It's not, I'm, it's I'm not a, a subliminal uh, uh, tribal. Let me, let me hold on. You guys, you, you, you come here just I'm accusing him of try, 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 try. The mind having conversation by me, you are talking about tribe. It seems to be because it's not. You sound really foolish tonight, man. You know what it sounds like. The only reason why he came in is when the ultimate thing came in. When, no, uh, you, I, I was listening trying to make sense of what you are saying. But yeah, the because, thing is, if it's someone that you are accusing of that, then okay. I can understand. But you are accusing people that don't, and everything right, they are right, telling right. you. Hold on. Let me ask you that. Let me ask you Let me ask Let me ask Mike. Let me just ask Mike. No, Pastor, let me just ask Mike one question, then it will be okay. You see, Mike, you saw when Ajale Koko asked me um between um uh, the, the this current government and uh, this in um uh, uh, this in uh Emifili, how well they performed. And I said, give me these numbers. And he didn't give me the numbers. I went and checked the numbers. It, and I told him, give me the number. Do you see the number? Then he tried to run away from the number of his own guy. He said, no, 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 don't do that. You see, that is what bothers me with people. So what does that to do with tribe? If you are if your if your argument is superior in whatever you're arguing about, but you're keep accusing of being tribal supremacy because because he seems to be protecting his own. He doesn't want to just focus on the issue. 
His own. Who is his okay, own? Okay, okay. Foreign <laughs> government. Foreign <laughs> government. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 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 Uh, uh, with uh, Baba Jali Koko. But by the time you start using the word you guys, all of us, that is what makes me not understand what you are saying again. You are having a, a, a dialogue with somebody, but don't generalize it like all of us, all your robots. Yeah, I think you are right kind there. Of I, take that one are not, back. I take that one back. Not, right. Yes, thank God you know. I'm not wrong. If you are in another platform, if somebody says something like this, you know, of course, so every platform always have some kind of supreme, I mean, um, superior narrative they flow to. So, and if you have in that kind of platform, you need to respect that. If I'm on Dr. Damage's platform, I know the narrative they flow to. If I'm on uh, the satanic platform, which you know, there is, a, there, is a, there is a narrative they flow to. So if you are on this platform, if they flow to a narrative, that doesn't mean that we are all crazy or we are all mad. So that doesn't now mean that if you're having a dialogue with somebody, you will now be generalizing it. You guys, you guys, no. Okay, I think it's apologizing. Uh, uh, okay, yeah. so, so what I was going to say, I watched, I'm watch. i watching the debate, and of course, there's this tribal um, undertone. And it's nothing wrong with tribalism, to be honest with you. But in this case, what to Niger for the first time, it's making a lot of sense. It's making a lot of sense. <laughs> In the, it's, in the, in the, in the, oh, please, please, like let me, let me, let me. You're making sense to pass that. I mean, something's wrong. No, please, please, please hold on. Please hold on now. What I'm saying is this. Every platform has a cyber tone to it. BQB, you were, you were giving the courtesy to go first before me. And I didn't go first. So please relax. Let me see what I want to say. making a lot of sense by generalizing and counting all of us. This is the reason why, right? Before you, you talk about, you talk about the issue that we have with the CBN governor that, that performed his duty as a public servant. First of all, we have to know the history of the Central Bank of Nigeria, the, the Act of 1958. That's when that uh, uh, institution was established, right? And what it's supposed to be doing is to ensure monetary and price stability, to issue legal tender for Nigeria, and then maintain external reserves to safeguard international value of the legal tender, that currency. Uh, promote a sound financial system for Nigeria. That's the role of the CBN governor. Now, I'm going to talk about other acts, for example, the one of 1991, and then, of course, the one MFL himself put together. So you, you have to know that that Central Bank of Nigeria is an independent agency, just like we have here in the United States. The Fed is what we call it here. You're not supposed to, after a, a public servant performs their duty, According to law, according to the establishment of that act, it's, an, it's not under the whims and caprices of politicians. He's supposed to do his job. Now, he doesn't have to do a good job. He could, he could get it wrong. And uh, some of us would say that he got it wrong in, in many cases because how could you not? In Nigeria, you have a military dictator, a former thug, as president. What you're not supposed to do now, because we were there, and we know that during the campaign, towards the end of that, or the beginning of the last election, that he instituted a policy that Tinibu disagreed with. And the entire camp, the entire uh, um, APC political party, were against what he was trying to do, even though the president himself was complicit. Buhari was complicit in whatever activity he's doing because... The, the, for, the last act about the CBN put the, the, the uh, CBN under the presidency executive. They're not supposed to do that, but they did do that. The autonomy that he's supposed to have was yanked away from him. So, Tuna is making the case that uh, he cannot do a lot of things he's accused of doing without the president and others, other actors, you should arrest all of them if you're going to arrest them and go to court. But in that, he's, he's entitled to due process because it's an independent agency. So when, when that case gets to court, 
the first judge is going to throw it away. He's going to throw out the case. That's why they charged him with terrorism. They found a couple of guns in his house, just like they did with uh, this uh, cross-dresser. They don't like the fact that he's cross-dressing, so they charge him with uh, currency, whatever. And that is instituted by MFLA himself. That's the kind of country we have. That's the nexus between all this lawlessness. But you don't go, Ajahn Lekoko doesn't know these particular things. These are the things you have to know. So why are they going after him, if it, right? uh, that's, 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 that's why I'm telling you, so, it's a bandera. So, Hold on, it's a good question, so, right? So, so, we, can so only, you, we can only speculate, but, but please, please, please let me land He asked me a question. No, I want why are they going correct, after him, if it? They're going after him, if it? So... Okay. Hold on, that, hold on, uh, hold on, please. The, the go. That, uh, you, go, you never listen to hold on, but I, you always uh, want somebody to hold on. Hold on. Okay, go Now, ahead. Larry, what is the question you have? I want to conclude. What, is, what do you want to say? Yeah. What do you want to correct? You were talking about the charges against the Mefele. Yeah. Did you read the current charges against the Mefele? Because I think it was the previous charges that you were quoting. Yes. Now, the way the law works is that you uh, there's something called the fruits of a poisonous tree right you're not gonna go under one guise to arrest a public servant who just completed his turn and you are charging him with terrorism and then you start holding him you never released him he has no access to his uh legal there's been no judicial it, it, nothing has been by uh judicial authority and then you, you, you start charging them with other things just to hold them over. You're not supposed to do that. No. There's something called justice. Is hold it, on. It? Hold on, woman. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Now, to Niger, to Niger, to Niger, the issue the same view as Judah here. He said they're only arresting Igbo and South South. Is that true? Yeah, yeah well, that, that is true too. Hold on, it's not you that just turn now. Ask him at what do you mean? Turn. I'm asking to Naja a question, man. It's not about turn turn. It's just I'm just, no, just hold on. It's gonna come. Let, let's not answer my question, man. All right, to Naja, do you share that view? He's a, he's a moderator, so what can we do? We have to uh, had so far seems to involve people from the south south. That's what I'm saying. He said, he says yes. Let's put a now. He says yes. I didn't say yes. I didn't say yes. I don't have conclusive evidence. All I'm saying is that the high profile. No, you, I have, you have to have conclusive. I can't, I can't say something that I don't know. So you disagree? Okay. Answer is no. Okay. No, no. Okay. So let me hear. Two Niger, two Niger, please hold, hold your, hold your peace because. Two Niger disagree with you, Pastor. Let's not just speak for himself, man. Two Niger, hold on. He's answered. Here's. Let's not just continue. Two Niger, finish, finish your line. If you don't want me to make my, my point, let's say that just talk. Let me moderate. You're, I'll kick you out, man. What, what's, what's you're this? a Yoruba uh, moderator, uh, so on, okay, get, okay. Good night, Pansa. Oh, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Mike, don't do that. He didn't do much wrong. Yeah, and, what is that? You think I will tolerate this guy coming and insult my ethnic group? I mean, come on now. Huh? Okay, you didn't insult your ethnic group. Okay, that's not nice. See, you that you that you won't even. I know your, your doctor damage is there. You know. You guys do that. I, I, just go ahead. Sir. Let me not even get into this kind of stuff. Uh, good, good. Uh, so, for me... And I, and I think tonight, you are, what you're doing tonight, you are projecting your uh, your your echo chamber uh, mentality, <laughs> the damages. you are projecting it on oh this onto this platform. See, I need to chill out with that, okay? See, that echo chamber see, crap, you guys do. Stop it. There's yeah, not an echo chamber. It's a diverse see, view here. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> has different views. You okay. have a tenet, yeah, it's one side. You have a uh, <laughs> different views here, so don't come and be saying in this type or you do, 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 do. You see, we still allow you to do all that too, right? After, so not, after everything you said tonight, mm -hmm. if, if I go on your plan, your dog, your that your platform, and say you cut off, you like kick me out because I've never been out? there before where I didn't even go that far. You, out? I, you have you didn't did I even say anything close to that before you kicked me out that day? No, I didn't give you up because you were insulting people or something and you refused to stop. Are you kidding me? See, you you asked you, you are telling me to condemn Oba of Lagos. Did I ask you to condemn Oba of That's Lagos? That's what you did. You told me to condemn Oba of Lagos. And I said, ah, well, no, I can't condemn. He kicked me out. No, no, no. I was no. like, can I, on, the, on the same show, I can I say the Oba of Lagos, you started the Oba of Not this, I can I hear. But a different, a different, I can not if anybody, anybody listening. There was a one... One little guy that has head like I am, flesh hammer. 
Right. The guy, the guy was reporting to Naja Olon. The guy, that your echo, to Naja Olon, who is this now? To Naja, calm down, calm down. Let me tell you, I'm just trying to let you know. No, that same day, and uh, the that guy named you know this Ekene that come here, but a different Ekene. That one guy, one Igbo guy, we had like Slash Man. The guy was talking, say about Lagos and idiot, talking about Lagos, this and that. He was talking about Lagos, and you were telling me to condemn about Lagos or for what Ekene that kid. And I said, I, 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 I just ignored you, and they kicked me out for that. So I know I can't call you, you, you on that show. You guys are very. One side dead, you know, biased towards you know your south south southeast kind of can thing. I say something? Can I say you know, Baba said, "Cannot come there and talk after the thing you said here tonight." You can you never something? tolerate it. You kick him out quick. I, I know that something? for you. Can I know I that something? for a fact. But me, I'm nice. I allow you to do all that. Okay. You are nice. You go ahead. You, know? you are not the owner of the channel, so I'm acting as if. But I'm moderating you. tonight now. I'm just letting you know I'm different from you. You know, okay. just go ahead, sir. Let me make the point I'm making. The, oh, the original point is that I, I can. I don't know whether I will be proud of it. I'm the only person that hosts um, a platform where almost everybody in the chat abuses constantly. So, so even the people on the panel, almost every Saturday they come and attack me. For what reason? It tells you that there's an element of balance that is going on. Every person I go, they, they attack me. So, because it doesn't really have balance, I have no, no, and that's, that's why I tolerate you because those people they are, they are, they, they, those the people we are dealing with tonight, they are the kind of people where if we agree with them, 99 percent, 99, not one percent, or even 0 0.1 percent, disagree with them, they will attack you. So it doesn't mean because you are balanced. People don't like to be called out. That's where they are there. So you, you agree with them. No, hold on, hold on. They, they only attack you, they kick you away from there because you agree with them 99 percent, 99.9 percent, but you disagree with them 0 0.1 percent and they attack you on that. See, Mike, I could have been here. I could have been at Niger Watch. See, and I, I would talk to anybody. My own, my own thing is I tend to be logical. Maybe I'm a little bit autistic. I don't know, but I tend to be logical. I don't tend to play these games that we tend to play within Nigeria, and, and I see that it is damaging us severely. We keep saying we want institutions. I'm like, if you want institutions, then do what it takes. Stop acting as if you are going to have institutions by playing it both ways. You can't eat your cake and have it. And that's what I do there, and people don't like it. I go any platform, you, you've seen it yourself. So I'm not here being biased. You, you know me, even when we are on other platform, on the Kezo and all the rest, you know how I roll on, the, on this table issue. I don't like it. Okay, look at what we just had. I have to say you have evolved a lot. Yeah, you have improved a lot. I will say that. Now nah, nah, I've evolved. You see, now nah, I've evolved. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to exchange with uh, this guy for four hours before he starts saying sense with you. I would say, I would say, I would say, like, they make you look like angel. I mean, you, 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 I'll give you that, I'll give you that. You know, I'll give you that, Shai. So you, so, you, you try to be fair. Yeah, that's true. That's I true. try to be fair because if we don't get fair, we, we will pay the price. We look at our country. It's a total mess. And we have highly educated people. That should tell you something is wrong with us. And this is what is killing us. We, we, are, we lack objectivity for some reason. And we can't, get out, we can't get ourselves out of our own way to fix the country. Like me now, I don't like to be punished. But if I do something wrong in that country and I'm caught, the way I will look at it is that, okay, fine, I will fall, I will fall on my sword because it's better for the entire country that there is rule of law, even when it's unfair, because people have to understand that when you do something wrong, you pay for it. But if nobody pays for it, it's anarchy. That's what you get. So that's why I come from this point of view. And when I watch Nigeria, I see a lot of that. I've, I've witnessed it over and over again. Nigerians don't want rule of law. And yet they say they, they keep complaining. They really don't. Like, literally, they will tell you, oh, it doesn't matter. Because they're a person, or it doesn't matter. I've seen people say they don't want to do the control traffic in Nigeria. Like there is a traffic warden there, and I say, why is the traffic warden not controlling the traffic? He said, no, because the traffic warden is going to abuse his power. Ah, that, that is the country I live in. And this is happening in the capital Abuja itself. That it, the so whole junction. Why, why, um, why is he employed for if he can't control the traffic? Uh, because they took the power away from me to control the traffic. And then I asked them, they said he doesn't have the power to control the traffic. I said, why does he not have the power? Why don't they give him the power? He said, why do you want to give him the power? So I go and abuse the power. Does that, make any, I, does, I that make any, does that make any sense? It doesn't oh, no, make any now sense. Seeing, this is what I lived through. Nobody told me. I was in a, in a, in a taxi, and this is what I was told. In mm -hmm. Nigeria. But do we in uh, actual uh, sense do we in actual sense need all those all those traffic wardens? <laughs> are, are you seriously asking that? The, the Joshua was choked. There was nobody. He took a military guy to come in 
and clear the road for me to be able to get past uh, go go along after he went past with uh, soldiers before i went on the whole so junction was blocked the the thing i'm saying is is that is that way of doing things is sustainable why are we still of course not yeah so why are we still more like yeah we still need to have one guy wear one yellow thing stand on the road and but we don't have traffic and... lights we don't have I traffic doing lights hands like this, even Nobody in Abuja. Most of the time, don't obey it. No, the thing is this: if this is in Abuja, we are not even saying so. My, my brother, my brother, hold on. Want, so the country you are living, if there is no traffic light, they will need traffic water. It's because we don't have traffic lights, so we have to. We need traffic water. There's no traffic light anywhere. You know that. It's yes. few people who say that traffic lights. Even here, yeah, 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 if there is, if there is, hold on, uh, if there is, if they out, out, hold on, please. If there is um um light a uh, loud light outage or something, the traffic light is not working. The police has to come in and 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 do the traffic warning because there will be accidents. Nobody will want to wait for their uh, turn. Yeah. In Abuja, it's not like there are no traffic lights, and that's why I'm more I'm more Abuja itself. Some of these things can happen in some other states, but we are talking about Abuja here. I was, I was heading towards the this in the uh, train station. So when you're heading towards the train station, that is where I encounter that problem. So it's in Abuja, and depending on where you want to consider the train station to be, it's still in Abuja. So I was heading towards the train station, and there was you a know, there was a road you had to bend to, to be the there. standard. That's yeah, you would think now. That's when, that's that's where it's supposed. To, Abuja is supposed to be the standard. So if, even if you are saying there are a lot of things, right? If you are saying probably in Lagos people don't follow traffic, traffic lights, they don't do this. Yes, yeah, it's, it's understandable. A lot of things happen in Lagos, but this is Abuja for crying out loud. It's crazy, isn't it? I think in the cities, like we say, all those main areas, things are better. The area, some area where even I'm in those who say they are not, even if you go to who say you go to Asokoro, right? You go to all those places, they are not even using it. Abuja mm. is my base. I lived in Abuja. I lived in Abuja for over fifteen years before coming to to US. Ah, that, that's solid now. You have experience there, then. So, so, so if um, that's why I'm always more like these are things that are not sustainable, and they know it. Which area were you in Abuja? I I lived when I was in Abuja. I lived in Guarimpa. I lived well, in. Guarimpa is good, though. Yeah, I lived in Guarimpa. I lived in Wuse. I lived in Lube. Lube, eh, right now, Lube, you can barely get light. That's another one that I'm so, experiencing. We are seeing so in Lube was, now. So, 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 if a lot of things are happening in Abuja, and ev almost everything I have in Nigeria is in Abuja. Yeah, I see. L Lagos is not bad, you know. L Lagos. So, um, me and, no, me are, Lagos, me and Lagos are, no, no, we are, <laughs> we are not, we are <laughs> parallel lines. It, it depends on where you are in Lagos. It, no, 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 no. There's no time. See, see, to Nigeria. Even when I was in when I was in Nigeria, anytime I'm in Lagos, immediately I leave the airport like this. I don't know. I don't know. That thing just comes into me. I'm like, hey, well, I don't come. <laughs> you know what? People that live in Abuja, especially if you, if you spend in, years in Abuja, you will like Lagos. Immediately I get down from I I just get out of Ikeja like this. I don't know what comes yeah. around me. Everything is just like wow. This is another problem. Mm. Place. I I do like Lagos. You know what they yeah. say? They say people that live in Abuja. They can take Lagos maximum a week, then they want out. No, no, no. You won't if you if you live in Abuja that long, you won't want to go to Lagos. Lagos it's too fast. It's too fast. Lagos is crazy. It's crazy. I like Imagine the I was in Lagos. I was in Lagos somewhere around Maryland. And where we were going to, ah, just where I could drop on my car and just we spent close to two and a half hours. Somewhere that I could just use my leg to 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 just to trek. No, 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 no. I do like Lagos. Though. Lagos, you see, you see, when I came from Portugal the first time I came to Lagos, yeah, it was a little bit fast, and you know, but you get used to it. And it turns out that my own personality is quite, <laughs> is, is quite fitted to Lagos, you know, because you, even the people that we are around, they were like, "What is wrong with you?" Because like in Lagos, you can be walking around and you hit somebody, you know, in normal place like Abuja, you like, "Oh, sorry," or something. Like that. Lagos, you like. I, I, the person will look at me and say, get out of here. It's like everybody just insults each other. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's a very, like, rough place. It's very... Yeah, it's I don't just, know, Lagos it, is just like, you know, like New York here, you know? I, I don't know New York. I have not been, so I can't be... No, no, no. Just, like, just like, you know, like New York.
for me, New York is another place that I don't like. Anytime I'm in New York, <laughs> it's another problem for me. But sorry, the traffic situation is better now, sure. Probably in because Lagos. of the foil, yes, in Lagos. Probably because of the foil price and the economic situation. Ah, the traffic in Lagos. Now. Like, well, no, it's better now. Right it's not as crazy as like before. Uh, if, if you don't grow yeah. up in Lagos, then you can't, you can't yeah. understand Lagos. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't grow up in New York, you can't, you can't survive. And to go to go from uh, Yanopaja to Ikoyi in the morning can be like forty-five minutes now. Mm. So, uh, if you know that journey you, before, you, you in be. the morning, no. <laughs> in the you morning, be. you can but, spend four bro, hours. Yes. Yeah. When Lagos problem, uh, right. let me tell you my story. The, oh, yeah. two, uh, two years ago, I came to Nigeria. We went to see my sister at VGC. VGC to my hotel in Okwebi, we spent eight hours. <laughs> VGC to Okwebi, and it was a straight road, my brother. Yeah. From VGC to the Tom Milan Bridge, I stayed yes. to Okwebi. So yeah, my hotel true, yes. was Okwebi. I'm not going yeah. to Yanopaga or Abulegba. We spent yeah, eight hours. Mm. Ah. No, it's, be it's better now. It's better now. You know we that we are, we go there regularly and often. Yeah. It's better. The, now. the traffic in is fact, no more in Lagos. Is, yeah, I was just there. The best right, time right. to enjoy. Yes. yes, if you are there, at least I was in Lagos, uh, December, January, and uh, wow. yeah, yeah, I was just there this November. So, uh, it, 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 uh, Oti Yato, uh, what's his name? Thomas. Oti especially, Yato, especially if you don't go, especially if you don't even go <laughs> during. during if it's not a rush hour time, it's like oh, everywhere yeah. is free. You drive, no traffic at all. No, no, no. Apart from that, even if you go during rush hour, what I observe is that more people now use there is this yeah, BRT yeah. now more. And yeah, people use so more people use. Stuff. Yeah, so it creates a form of free. Uh, uh, but what? Access. What? But uh, BKB, what contributed? Yeah. What? 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 Why? 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 I think for uh, I think for price majorly. That's the what fuel, I believe. You know another. The <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, no. Before the drive, drive, drive their car. Car. That's another yeah. thing, sir. <laughs> but also, also another thing is when they ban or cut down. You understand? Yeah. Because those for Kada has they create a lot of traffic too. But, but, but all those things, uh, all the, no, all those no, things. Mike, Mike, it's not Okada. It's the fair price. I don't think it's Okada. No, no, now, the now the fair price contributes to people not moving around. No, that, that, that is the major. Yeah, that is people don't move around recklessly. You don't see a lot of car on the yes. road anymore. People are not paying. They can't buy that guy. Maybe that's why it's in the movie. Yes, but... Even if you use... If you use a car... Like Better uh, price, yeah. Uh, oh, my back up, of everybody. Come on, you go man. Everybody, yeah, no. everybody pack yeah, your no. no one knows, no one knows, he knows. Yes, even if you use mattress or Corolla, all those more, you spend 25,000 to fill your tank. Uh -huh. So, no, you not even more. Be and less day. than a week, maybe five days or six days, you don't finish. So, uh, how, how much do you want to be spending to be filling cars? Uh, that's that's quite true, you know, because <laughs> with the almost tripling of the fuel price, a lot of people cannot yes, afford cars anymore. They have to give it up. Wow, <laughs> uh, that's quite significant. I, for me, I had to even shift to gas and then so to solar uh, with what I do in Nigeria. So you can see why the usage of petrol plummets because a lot of people are running away. It's too expensive, and, uh, and that's not even the, the high the highest price. If, if not for the subsidy that you're putting in it, you'll be somewhere around one thousand right now. Can you imagine that? I don't even know who uses petrol in Nigeria. Yeah. It's so expensive now. Unbelievable stuff. Oh, hopefully, hopefully, I'm actually waiting to know what Dangote wants to charge. If he eventually starts, let For him me, charge whatever he wants. We have twenty percent there. No, 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 <laughs> no. He's still gonna charge. No, whatever. Even if we have twenty percent, he's still gonna charge. He's still gonna charge what he wants to charge. So for me, even if we are paying subsidy and we can actually know that this is how much we are paying Dangote, it will reduce. Price will come so, down. Then, then so definitely. It, you know. If, so. can, if Dangote can, obviously, probably Dangote come come on with like um, major, probably like seven hundred. I'm actually looking at something around seven hundred, seven fifty, and probably government is subsidizing like one fifty, and he, and is giving out for like six hundred, because obviously government is still going to subsidize Dangote, because there is no way they won't subsidize him. How, how, why would they need to subsidize him anyway? Because, yeah, because they would definitely need to subsidize him. Because if you put everything together, Dangote cannot sell at six, six fifty, six seventy. 
yes, in, I don't know how. Or what you are trying to say, or what are you trying to say is that when they buy from him, they will now subsidize us, uh, the buyers. Is that is that the way it should be? They, they no, can't no, subsidize it, him it now. It depends on how they he want to do it. He has to pay like, on, um, you know, uh, yeah, when they sell the crude, he has yeah. to pay on international price now. Yeah, it depends on how they want to do it. Probably they can they can subsidize at the depot at the depot level. You know, probably what the marketers buy. You know, probably. I, I, I don't know what I, I think. I, I guess that's the term you can use the word subsidize. That's what it means. Because what I, I the way I look at it is that whatever share belongs to Nigeria in terms of the profit, Bangladesh should sell the petrol. The price is meant to sell to make profit for the company. Because if the company is making profit, people will want to invest, and you know the company does well. But the share that Nigeria gets in that it should be coming to dividend, the Nigerian government should leverage it to reduce the price uh, domestically. Yeah, 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 yeah. It can it, that can be a way of probably they want to use that. I don't know the I don't know the deal and I don't know the agree, agreement if they if that is what they can use to to subsidize him, you know. So um and another thing is the Portacot refinery. I'm still waiting on that. Let's see. When, when um, is that one due on? I've been waiting every month. They keep saying next month, the next yeah. two months. When no, is I it think, coming? I think the last time they, I think they said, they said end of April. All right. I think they said end of April. It's around the corner now. I've so, had so, it and it's, it's almost here. So probably we wait for that. I think, I think that's going to do 60,000. Yeah. 60, yes, Sorry, 60, Mr. Larry. 60, Mr. Larry and Tunaja. So what you're saying, if I can get you correctly, is that if Dangote comes on board, um, then the price of uh, pump price, I mean price in the and the machine in the filling station, is not going to come down. Imagine, it's going to send it in. Um, no, no, no. It's going to come down marginally. Marginally, like how? Ten naira. Yeah, marginally, probably. I think how much is it sold now? Six hundred, uh, six ten, six twenty, depending. Uh, but majorly. Around that six, I, I, I think what is going to happen is I think what is going to happen is that the money that the Nigerian government is using to subsidize the petrol right now, yeah. that we have to take from somewhere else, will not be coming from the income from the uh, yeah, it will be. It should, I think it will be a significant uh reduction, not yeah, just no, no, no. I'm not ex don't expect, I, I don't think no. they will, I don't think they will reduce it, and they will yeah, use the money yeah. instead for some other thing. I don't think they will go. If government wants to do like that, then there's no basis now. Why are they now no refinery? No, you know, you if know what I'm expecting. If I was them, I would take that money, the money that I would get from Dangote. Um, yeah, uh, the reason or, the reason why I'm saying it's the other refineries or speed if you, if you go to UAE, Saudi Arabia, mm -hmm. you can't compare the pump price of pump price here yeah, and in UK or US now. Foil is cheap here. Yeah. yeah, you know what? You know <laughs> yeah, what, yeah, what yeah. I'm saying. You know yeah, what I'm so expecting. that's why I'm surprised that no this that know, is their natural resources and they have you to, know what I'm expecting. to do it. Well, so why me, would CC be selling it at international price? No, 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 because it's buying crude in international price. That's what I'm saying. That you can bypass all those international price, international something. No, no, if no. you have the crude, it can't. You are buying in your country. You can't and you, you can't. can refine it. No, no, no. They can't sell <laughs> to him. Let, let's, not, let's, let's not let's not complicate it. We uh, have twenty percent. Uh, That's what matters. Big thing no, no, no. is government refinery mm. that can um, do something. You understand like what that. I'm trying to say? Uh, but uh, yes, for, maybe uh, this Dan country Gote. I'm trying to compare to is Dangote government that owns privately it. owned. Who who made yeah, the invest? Who made the twenty percent in Dangote refinery? So who 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 is it? Buhari that made the investment in Dangote refinery twenty percent for Nigeria. Yeah, Nigeria, 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 Nigeria state. Oh 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 oh, is he Mefili? Who said the Mefili? That tribalist. Mefili, who mentioned the Mefili? Buhari, it is Nigeria. Nigeria, Buhari, Nigeria, 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 Nige
That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. He did it on behalf of Nigeria. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he did it on behalf of Nigeria. That's what I'm saying. As if what I'm saying is wrong. He made made it on behalf of Nigeria. But what I don't understand, yes. and this is what, this is, that's why I'm more like, I don't really know how that deal, how they actually made that deal. That, I don't know yes. if that deal is related. It looks to, obscure, like not to, clear. To supply. You don't even know. You know, if you're saying 20%, will it affect supply? Uh-huh. Kind of like what is coming out from from, from them, them probably the price to us generally. So I don't so know. If I'm it's not, not going sure. to affect them, what is the purpose? So I'm not sure. you, see, you see, the Allah beauty Allah of Allah that arrangement, you see, the beauty of that arrangement is that no matter what shenanigan Dangote refinery does, Nigeria owns 20%. If whatever profit they make, except somebody is taking the money and escaping with it, twenty percent is still going to come to Nigeria. So no matter what, that's why I like that arrangement. There's something I wish mm-hmm. that Nigeria did that with Dangote um, uh, Cement and all the others. Actually, would have been making money from all of them. Yeah, yeah. So, but so that's what I'm. That's what for me. That's what I'm actually waiting for. I would have, had, I would have loved Dangote Refinery and Potako to start at the same time, or probably Potako start before Dangote. Yeah, because and they, 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 they said the Potaka one that is 60,000 that is the yeah. smaller one that they are working on, even because I think that that refinery is supposed to do almost uh-huh. more than 100,000. Even no, but they are working on the smaller that side. I don't understand. I think, no, I think they worked on the smaller one. There is still this other big one that they didn't touch. Yeah, In why, why, why leave the big one that is more modern? No, 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 no. I think, I think even the 60,000 home they did, it was more like they did. A grand zero to hundred percent, you know, kind of like bought new things and and everything. I think it was it was going to be ex- more expensive to do the other one because I was listening to one of the someone on Arise News one time, one of the former refinery this thing that they got. This they they expenses. They get it done. They get so you can start making. Look so, at the money that Saudi Arabia is making from uh, uh, refining oil. So if they, can, yes. if they can make. If they can make that work, so for me, mm-hmm. I want to see because you know Dangote is as beginning is. I think he has started asking, kind of like trying to like look at the the kind of like better price to come up with, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I am expecting. Then they said he's buying oil. I mean, crude oil from USA. Why is it that Nigeria don't have oil supply or no, the demand? No, most of the, the capacity oil... in this is more than what we can supply. What is the no. yes, Nigeria, 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 Nigeria is not uh, supplying adequately to him, so you have to source. I think uh, most of the oh, oil. No, no, I think they said it's because no, Nigeria, the Nigeria, Nigeria is sold into. They said Nigeria sold into the future, like yeah, they we don't their, control. Oh, yeah, in the future, yeah. we have mortgaged so, our future yeah. already. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, uh, I should have. I will borrow that one. Collected money for future. We've not supplied. Yes, exactly. We've done wow. a lot of forward. We've done a lot of we've forward. We've collected contract. money for a lot of. Uh, <laughs> because I'm like, so now, Jam, maybe in Nigeria, that people don't want to sell Dango Tehoi. Oh, I think they are buying from America now. How? Uh, it's, that's it's what really I'm weird. surprised. At. No, no, he's, he's not like. I think he's he's buying from both ways. I, I, no, no, I think it's from America till it's November. From America, mm-hmm. most he's of not, the news is from America. He's, he's, he's good for you. He's selling from America now. I wish this shipment from America. Wait, it's, gonna America. End, it's gonna end this November. It should end this November. I mm-hmm. think that's when the you well, start buying. From I think America. Nigeria before being buying from America, I think Nigeria supplied him almost six million, six million. Yeah, yeah, they, they supply quite a bit. Yeah, he uh, started going. getting uh, the supply from Nigeria, but uh, Nigeria cannot meet up uh, the demand. Mm-hmm. And the capacity of what he did. was what not Ajale Kuku, why can't Nigeria meet up his target? That's why? what I'm surprised about. Yes, no. Because we sold it away. They will mortgage it away. We have to wait till November. Nigeria, Nigeria have okay. commitment with we other commitment other as elsewhere too. And at the same time. But Dangote should be our priority. Dangote should be our priority. But we've uh, signed, we've signed, Dangote, man. We've signed yeah, so those contracts. Nigeria have commitment Come here. with uh, uh, other other buyers uh, around the world. I, I think Nigeria is with uh, commitment with uh, OPEC or something. I believe. Yeah. And, uh, uh, how, how much cruise is Nigeria doing a day now? How many barrels? I think the team fell back to one point two. One point three. What? No, 1. it should be more. Uh, it should be more than that. No, for March. 
for March, there was drastic reduction to like 1.2 million. 1.2 million eight hundred. Yeah, 1.3. Yeah, that's actually more than that. That's a lot of money. I mean, so I it was more than that. No, no, no. I think for January, they, okay, okay, for March, for January is 1.6. I saw. Yeah, I think for um, February, February we did, we did like 1.6 in February, and in March. So the I think they said uh, probably they were doing some turn around maintenance some maintenance that actually affected that so hopefully we are looking at what will happen in april it's crazy you know because i was shocked to see that uh, sometime during uh, jonathan or um or passenger we're doing 2.5 yeah 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 million. and so they had it out suddenly crash yes now now the brick bros we did that side now you know now no, you don't wait know. wait if, if we're selling 2.5 million every day and that's a uh... For fifty, how much it is was two Niger yeah. people that were blowing the pipeline. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that, you know, that, uh, that, 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 your people that were destroying all the pipeline. I, I see, I'm not in surprise of. I'm not in support of all those. All those. Uh, uh, yeah. I consider those most supportors. Anybody that disrupts the state, because uh, we are all poorer for it now. Look at what it, the yeah. massive cost. Yeah. We're poorer for it. Instead of us to be doing two point five, you know how much we are losing. It's rubbish, man. The, all this stuff annoys me, man. You know, when I came to Nigeria in 2016, and with, I uh, felt like Nigeria was like there was this energy in the air that things were going the right way. Which part uh, of Nigeria did you stay when you yeah, went to see. Nigeria? No, you see, you see, you see, you see, no, you see I why I <laughs> <laughs> okay, I didn't stay long, but I landed in Lagos. Then I went to Abuja. I went to different parts of Nigeria. I went to different parts of Nigeria. I went to the south. I went did to the visit north. Your and village? All of them. Did you visit your village? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I didn't go to the village then. Now. That was the first time after many years. I, I didn't even have that long in Nigeria. It was barely two weeks. Why are you they going will kidnap about? you now. They will kidnap you. you know? yes, no, 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 no. Don't say kidnapping wasn't a teen. It, it, it's more recently kidnapping became a teen than nonsense. Yeah, 2016. So Lagos oh, is yeah. the savior. Eh? Yeah, Lagos. No, Lagos had a lot of energy then because it's 16 years since I had been to Nigeria. And then when I got there, I was like, wow, there was a lot. I saw some improvements, but the yeah, city, I the architecture wasn't that good. Though, I think I Lagos say. has. I I think Lagos. No, it has, has improved significantly. No. I think Lagos has already changed. I really look yeah. forward to probably going to Lagos very soon. You see, one of the reasons why I don't like. Um, uh, I was a little bit from that okay. time a little bit against uh, Tinubu. Because when I came to Lagos was during the period where Ambode was just removed from office. That's oh. that, that he wasn't removed from office. They they were selecting uh, the next president, uh, governor, go governorship Thank candidate. Uh, so oh, he was okay. removed. And when I, what what I, what I was told was that it was Tinubu that caused it. Mm. And you know why I didn't like that? Because while I was on the street in Lagos, everybody was praising Ambode. He did work. Well. So that that as shocked a, me that the guy wasn't allowed to run again. I was as surprised. A mm. An but original Ligosha, he did well. But he did you know that politics very well. So you know, Ambo did did very well, well, but politically, I was I'm not really sure he did very well. No, 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 he did well. Oh. Mm, the people liked him. That's for sure. I know yes, that man. people were talking about him. So I, I wasn't was, was doing okay, but not as good as uh, some other. No, 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 no. He, he did well enough to. Win a second term. There is any. Yeah, any I just continue the normal thing. Like uh, any yes, now what yeah, was, was doing now. was continuing. Any metrics yeah. you want to use to measure? He did. He met those metrics. He, so, did, he didn't play his politics, politics right. right. Yeah, I think it's politics, it's politics right. 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 problem. Yeah. When yeah, they yeah, interviewed Babago on one show, then when they interviewed Baba during voting, him too said that uh, uh, um, governance is not just is not only about bricks and mortar. Mm -hmm. So what that what is saying is that the guy is actually doing well, but it's much more than that. Mm -hmm. so everybody mm -hmm. I, I I found that so, a little bit disturbing because that, then I didn't even know that much about Tinubu. The later yeah. when when they told me about Tinubu, I said, was it not yeah, Tinubu that yeah. was in London when Abacha was ravaging the whole country? Yeah. Is he the one telling yeah. a governor not to be yeah. governor? Yeah. I was yeah. quite shocked by that. Yeah. 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 Do you know a lot of things that people don't know about that Lagos politics? That Lagos politics. Is even beyond Tinubu himself. I think they have this. Yes, now. Ah, uh, it's bigger yeah. than Tinubu now. They have no. I, I don't. Yeah. I don't think it's bigger than Tinubu. The way you're yeah. oh, bigger than Tinubu, Tinubu is Babasa. Like like Tinubu doesn't have this. <laughs> everything. Like have... Everything revolves around Tinubu. So you can't you know say it's bigger than that. Tinubu. You know why I said you know why, that? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Expansion yeah. on it. I want to understand. Yeah, you know why I said that. It's not like Tinubu doesn't have influence. 
But there are a lot of foot soldiers that control a lot of places in Lagos that Tinubu needs to really hear from them. Like, wow. I think that was that was exactly where Ambode got it wrong. And take it's the same thing we are saying. It's the same thing we are saying now. Wait like now. politically, he Wait got now. it wrong. Yes, but take for you to say, now. if you yeah, look at I'm this Ali Moshe side, as at that, that is time, my, that is my area. Yeah, as at that time Ambode was there, right? Okay. The likes of um, Raouf Arek Beshola was a factor. Mm -hmm. uh, so what happened? This other, guy, this other guy that is presently in Lagos, that is presently in Ogun State, um, uh, I, yeah, he, uh, was also a factor. Uh -huh. And at that point, Ambody was not really in good time with some of these guys. Particularly, yes, because know, there was an incident. I know Raouf Arek Beshola came to beg for point. money. Yes, what he came to beg for money. Who? There was an incident. Yeah, Rufa came to bear no, for money. No, he didn't. He, for he, he, he just, no, no, no. I think I, I remember that particular case. He okay. was not there to beg for money. Uh, I okay, think that's actually, what you call it. No. So what did he came? What did he, what did he come to do? No, no. These are people that you know. He mm -hmm. came in to see this guy. Didn't see. He didn't see. I think he left him for a whole day. He didn't even come out to look at him. Not to talk of talk to him. Yeah. And he felt this. He felt he felt that it's so disrespectful. Yes, I, I I had to. So, do you think? Okay, so does that mean he has actually? This is somebody that you didn't even see. So, how do you no. know that that person has come no, to the, beg for money? No, the story is that he came to beg for money to pursue or show election. That somebody oh. was angry. That why are these people always coming to ask for money, bros? That is the at that point backstory we had from that's the only one you said. Side, yes. even at that point. Do you know that even at that point, I'm at that that point. That's number one. Was number two, the, number see two. The see the w guys that Tinubu use. Yes, you remember number two. that point. Yeah. was something against them. He was and that's to, what I'm saying. He then again, number bring two. This Agbede guy. Yes. He was number two. Agbede guy against there's another factor, uh PSP factor. Yes. All those PSP people, the all those uh, truck are owned by their the party, APC party. party members. So Ambode wanted to revolutionize um, uh, waste disposal and collection by bringing an, uh, a new agency, a new company. Yes, to do it. So those uh, those guys to feel cited that we collect free money every month. If you just it's just like this CBN. Those people that registered for Blue the Change, there were so many um, um, Larry and Son, Larry and Son waste collector. Uh, there, there are so many of them registered, and they collect money from the state government every month, whether you pick waste or not. Oh. So, somebody wanted to change that to not knowing that he has, he has stepped on, on the, the wrong people that he's not supposed to. So. That PSP issue too was part of it. Uh, so those uh, guys collectively make Lagos of, very dirty. It was a lot of things. Is it was it not during that period? <laughs> no, I'm, that I'm, no, I'm saying some trying, of the some of the big trying, highlights. He did so many trying, things that was openly, against them. Openly abusing somebody. And of course now, why is he abusing somebody? Well, why, when was he abusing somebody? It's not because of money. No, no. You see, that's why yeah. I said. You see, most of all these things. I I know that's yes, why probably Tinubu felt, you know. You need so when it's, you it's, need it's not it. like it's not like yeah, it's not like Oshetin Ubu. No, so, yes, no, Oshet, so many people, Tanja Food so exactly now. That's why a lot of people I were understand it perfectly. So those people are so much complain about him. And I so, think they said they said they even told Tinubu that time that yes, if you try so, to impose this guy on us, we'll work against him. So it so it was very obvious now, that BKB. It's not yeah. only even the food soldiers alone, even the traditional <laughs> king. He wasn't giving them their regulars. The regular. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Sinubu, sometimes when they look at Sinubu, Sinubu is just smart. Sinubu has sort of read the body language of the people mm -hmm. he's leading. So, I think you read their body language very well. I think Sinubu is a more conciliatory um, leader yes. than people give him credit for. Yes. He doesn't, he doesn't so, force things when he knows yes. he's not going to hurt. People so, are the ones because, that put lodging. Because if you remember, uh, Faisal Atu wanted to have something like that during the second term. If you follow, mm -hmm. we we are in Lagos politics. Faisal Atu, but they changed their mind though. 
they want they don't want to they do they wanted them to allow fast to, to come for second time. Oh. Yes. But fast does not have this uh, negative like Ambody. Ambody was too much. <laughs> so, so they much time you like that. Lagos. Do you know yes. that even of Lagos was really against him at that yes, point? Yes, of course. Like said, like that. They said at the end of the day when Tinubu was trying, you know, some of these governors went in to beg Tinubu. Some of them even yes, for them and, to allow him. He said he them, does with his power. And they said, I think people. People, they said all of them told Tinubu point blank. And I think that was the first time they told him point blank that they were not going to support his candidates. Mm -hmm. And you know, Babatu still wants his influence. Of course, now. So he because will be, he had, he he had, just carry on with what they say. Yeah, that's what yeah. he did against somebody. Not that he has a personal. Yes, um, um, uh, but a lot of people, do, a lot of people that do not understand Lagos politics, you know, they felt probably he, 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 he himself, you know, kind of like said he was not going to let somebody. Uh, I guess, I guess that's, that's how people understand. That's, that's, that's what they use. Yeah. That's Tinibu what they use in a do. That's Tinibu, what they use in a do. Tinibu is at the tip of the spear, so yes. they, that's how people are going to understand it. They, they don't <laughs> care who. They don't care whether he was listening to other people when he did it. They would when say he's the one that did it. That, that's yeah. what I was told in Lagos too when I was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, a lot ah. of people that do not understand <laughs> politics will say the same thing. And if yeah. you look at Tinubu's kind of politics very well, you know, he listens. He listens. No, he listens so. He's yeah, he listens. He does listen. Check the body language. Yeah. You know, he listens. Check the body language. He's a kind of common interest kind of person. Tinubu is like a. He's, he's like I don't know how to describe him. He's he's, he's like a. I, I, the way I look at him is that he the way he approaches people is about their in, common interest. Common interest. If you have a, yeah that and he yeah. he's quite faithful to the people that work with him. Yeah, he's faithful. So though. and this is why it's very very rare. You, I don't see people mm -hmm. coming out and turning. Oh, this guy betrayed me and all that. No. He tends to stick to agreements and work yeah. uh, with people uh, in, a, in a more conciliatory manner. If you look at the way he became a, the candidate of APC, that should tell you something. Where governor yeah. after governor after governor is stepping yeah. aside for him. For he me. tells you that, and he's an old man. Because he tells you that a lot of people owe him a lot of loyalty. Money. This is, when they this talk is about more, money. Is it that yeah, it's not about money, it's not about force, it's not yeah, that's what I was telling somebody. Do you mean that Do you mean that Tinubu pays everybody? No, 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 you cannot. No, <laughs> How much money thing? would you have to no, pay yes. all of them? <laughs> do you know another thing people uh, respect Tinubu for? <laughs> he keeps to agreement. Yes, I, I, that's why the, the people around him like him too. Because keeps, they know where they stand with him. He that keeps, is very important. He keeps to agreement. Particularly, look at the agreement with Apabio. Mm. Because it was an yeah. agreement that has been long, yeah. long. Yeah, even the one with Buhari too. That's why Aerofi, Aerofi insisted that they have to fulfill the agreement that they owe to Tinubu too. And even if the some people within the, the Buhari are around, they didn't want it. But Aerofi too is somewhat like he wanted to fulfill the, the agreement they had with uh, this in Tinubu. So, and Tinubu is like that too. So, he, and I think that's where most of his power come from. Because if you look at him, he's not exactly the most forceful guy. It's not like Wiki. <laughs> so, no, yes, so, yes. Hey, thank God you know the difference. <laughs> No, no, no. Yeah. But Tinubu is not no. like that. No, no, no. Tinubu is not like Tinubu is not like uh, that. No. Tinubu, it's more of accommodate everybody kind of person. And he, mm. yes, and he rewards loyalty. I I I heard something. He I don't know if it's, if it's yeah. Yeah. When when then uh, this this man in Kano, this president APC chairman was having issues in Kano at the point, and they said you know people started telling Tinubu to forget about him and 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 everything like that, and they said Tinubu told them. That rather than you, you know, forgetting about this person, why don't you try to manage this person? Fine, he has his flaws, but why not try to manage him? Because if you're able mm. to manage him, it's still, it was, it was still going to help. And, mm. I'm, and that's the kind of person. But, but, but Larry, though, the, the question remains the question I wanted to ask is um, if Tinubu wasn't from the southeast, uh, no, southwest, mm. and he was maybe, I think he did not, he would be fine too. But if he was in the southeast with that kind of attitude, he may not have succeeded. Um, mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. being conciliatory in the southeast or south no. south may not necessarily be the best way to. No. Uh, they don't mm -hmm. like that kind of style of leadership. Do you know the thing? Is, uh, which one did they like? The kind of really, is forceful. 
you know why? Like we can. They, you know they, they, yeah, they tend to like people um, that just do their own thing, carry out your vision, and make sure people don't get in your way. But the Southwest, I have to say, the Southwest, some of the things that they do, they tend to. No, it's, it's a very, it's very, very tricky to explain without coming across as patronizing. They tend to yeah. try to follow hierarchy. They tend to maintain yes. hierarchy, and then if that hierarchy is also bounded your loyalty, do you know the difference? Yeah, that's the yeah, difference between politics of being patient and politics of being ambitious. Yeah. Southeast and some of those guys, you know, their own politics is more of ambition rather than patience. If Tinubu had to be someone from the Southeast, he wouldn't have supported Buari for second term. He would have run by, by himself, though. He wouldn't have supported Buari because a lot of people... UK, uh, I remember UK said it now. He said he went to Buari in uh, Tinubu one midnight. He said it was in the midnight. He was in Tinubu's house. And he told Tinubu to, I think, to support someone else. And Tinubu asked him, what, what alternative do you have? And he said at that point, he was saying uh, probably uh, Bukola or this and that. And Tinubu told him that I would rather still stay with Buari than go <laughs> from all of these people. <laughs> that mm. Because he knows all of them. Mm. And Buari is quite a good bet too because Buari is a, a lot more straightforward if you think you about know, it. They, you know a good the idea. number of things that some of those Buari people did for <laughs> Tinubu. Yeah, they tried to. Even people that were chances. supposed to be loyal to Tinubu. Let me ask BKB this question. <laughs> what, yeah, is what is going on in APC now? Is it true that they fired uh, the Gaduge? I, I don't. I'm not interested in APC true? politics nationally. Yo. I Could don't be know. True? I don't know. I'm just reading it in the news. Oh, Baba is Baba. But who <laughs> announced it? Who, who that, that announced is, it? Yeah, that's not true, is it? It doesn't sound like <laughs> something like that. Happen, sound but... <laughs> no, I think no, it's, uh, it's more, it's it's more of Sano politics. Uh, no, yes. Sano, Sano politics. Okay. Let me check. That they, they arrested him for, uh, or sacked him because of... Um, no, no, no. I think they said or... some people because from Because of that world. same dollar issue now. No, some people from his ward you know, some APC people from his ward sacked him probably because they said he was having issue with the state government. So, obviously, we know where that was coming from. And I think the local governments came out and said even those people were not even member of the party. So, 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 so. It was normal strategy. Now, the same well, thing. All, the, all, the, all these politicians. Uh, it, my problem with all these are Nigerian politicians. Maybe they, Kwan Kwanso and his. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah the the my, my, my problem <laughs> with all these Nigerian politicians is that they, it's one thing to be a politician. Most people dis, despise politicians worldwide, but they they do things to benefit their people. This this our politician. They don't. It's like they don't, they don't even have ambition. Yeah, it's like they don't even care for themselves too. <laughs> Yes. Because you can't compare um, um, Jeff Bezos or Bill Gates <laughs> with Dan Gute. Why don't they feel embarrassed that we our own rich is a little bit smaller? Uh, Nigeria, they care for themselves. Or what are you saying? But, you but, but, if you, if, no, hold on. If, if you have a yeah. farm, if you have a farm, uh, a Jale Koko, <laughs> and you, a livestock farm, don't you want to feed it so you get more returns for your yeah. investment? Don't, don't you see the budget padding they did for that? Their, hold on. Yeah. What do you mean they don't care? You don't see the budget padding they did for themselves? Budget padding. Okay, yeah. let me give you... The, the, now you don't you see the very good they bought for themselves. What yeah, let me explain to you so you understand what I mean, so you can fully understand what I'm saying here. Yeah. The entire Nigerian budget is $26 billion, while California spends $200 billion for healthcare alone. In dollars. So, yes, they and they dollars, don't... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's my point. I'm saying these people are not ambitious. That's my act. Like, why do they not have ambition for themselves? Yeah, because they are just too selfish now. They, they have they that's have what I don't like about them. For their, they have ambition for their pocket, but they don't have ambition for the for the country. That's the, the problem. People, yes, I agree. they are too short termists. Short term, yeah. they, they, they don't think the, big. big. They, they don't even have no vision. That is their problem. And I and agree. and the problem we have, I mean, uh, and the and the uh, and what is going on around the world is, is um, you know, we are not even in, we are not even competing in any. I don't know where we are not competing in any. Uh, oh, any nothing, sector. nothing. Look at what happened in Israel recently. Nigeria. If anybody comes to Nigeria, they will not have umbrella even. 
There's no umbrella. But, we don't even have enough umbrellas to put so that the rain doesn't beat another. But we normally we say we are educated now. What is the purpose of education? That is the problem. <laughs> I think I, we had a conversation here. We, now. Are, we, we had a conversation a, here. We are in a, a Nigerian community in uh, Saudi Arabia. We just deliberating that we we'll say education, education, and we live in a country that we can boast that we are more educated than them. We we'll say. What is the educational qualification of the king? What is the educational qualification the, of the king? BKB, we but, are not organized people. Right? Yes, from the but top. how is That's your country the functional? Uh, we are, they are we doing are things, right. things that are being done progressively. But yeah. our own that we say we are educated. Things are not We are not like organized in that country. <laughs> and that is the problem. We I, don't have vision. See, so, we don't have plan. So I just we wonder, have, yes. What, see, what is um, the problem? I, I, I think it, I, the, our problem is not organization. I don't think it's... It, it, it was, it was, uh, a lot of people, countries are... It's lack of vision. The place. Lack of vision. We have nothing we are pursuing. We are not pursuing... We are not pursuing yes, I think to part of any yes. goal. <laughs> I, I, you see, I, every day I'm trying to get to the core of this thing. We had a conversation here about what is the use of our education if we cannot use it to solve our problem. It, what, yes. it, what, what it came well, down to is that it, education is not necessarily the reason why the country does well. And this is I why when I, I, the, time I, the way I distilled it down was that I said a, 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 a better a school leaver that is a nationalist than a professor that has colonial mentality. And I was speaking to um, uh, one guy that was on the other channel the other day, and people were furious that I said that. I said, because all this, our degree, what, where has it gotten us? It hasn't gotten us anywhere. Degree, 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 degree. It, look at where we are. Yeah. What, what does that <laughs> tell you? Because we are not nationalists. We don't build nations. Build nations, but, yeah, that's true. We, we, <laughs> and, no, and, let, let me tell you that our ind individualistic uh, nature of doing things is what uh, you know is killing us. We 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 are not um, we we are not um, how do I say we, we we don't do things in a in a group manner or communal. We don't we don't believe in communal effort. You know, in achieving mm, that, something good. On, on, on that, another another but, suspicion that I have is yeah, that so mm -hmm. you, this indiv 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 individualistic uh, way of doing things is what is is killing us. Even from the look at the politician, they even, want to be Papa, very selfish. Papa, it's not even the politician. Even in academics, even uh, everywhere. So even it, in it's academics, just, it, it's just the research. And it you've just done that research to a particular point where you need some collaboration, mm -hmm. right? But an average Nigeria, because Nami Duam, right? Yes, you are right. I want to take the glory. I want to take <laughs> Yes. At the end only, of the day, I won't yeah. even be able to move beyond, you I know, agree. where I am. Look at what is happening in some of all these countries. For you to yeah. have a very good technology, right? Other people have to work on it. Today, we are talking about Android. We are talking about Mac OS. We are talking about yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. Some people <laughs> actually built the Linux kernel. And some other people picked on that, open source it, and started it. building yeah. on it. But if yeah. a Nigerian has that, right? A Nigerian would want to, like, Nami get them. Yeah. It won't go out. I, I, I think, yeah, yeah Fela, Fela yeah, got we... it right. Mm. Let me just add this on quickly. I think Fela got okay. it right when he said uh, they released us, I will not release ourselves. Just give me a minute to explain these dynamics that I, I fear me uh, be at the heart of our problem. Mm. When Yoyibo people left, the people that they handed power to were the people that were working with them already. They were, they've groomed these people. These people are used to serving them. So they handed power over to them. I remember some of all these people during the colonization wars, they, their parents were, some of them were exiled and the ones that remained, they kept them there. And these, and some of them even were the ones that were selling our people as slaves. And then they handed over power to these same people. And these people didn't see themselves as free people. The reason why I say this is because, like, if like South Africa or um, um, Zimbabwe, where where they actually fought the colonizers, especially Zimbabwe that fought the colonizers, or Algeria, you see, when you fight the colonizers, you have to fight the people that collaborated with them too. They are the elites that fought with them, and if you win that conflict and become uh, you, you you become independent, the people that are in charge are not the people that collaborated with that elite anymore. But in our own case, and in many African countries where they got the, where they got their independence peacefully, 
the ones that are ruling are the ones that collaborated with them when they were in in office i've watched tv programs in nigeria when i was growing up you see all these our you know our african men they will wear short knicker shirts they are like headmasters they will be inter inter a kind of interceding on behalf of the locals versus the british and they speak english people respect them in their villages those are the kind of people they handed power to in Nigeria and they never changed. And their mentality means that they don't think independent of the colonizers. Hence, you see Tinubu, all of them, they rush to Washington, rush to uh, yeah, this in London, and, and they can't think for themselves. Look at all the countries that fought for their independence, even in Asia. Look at how developed they are. But, but to Nigeria, we started well. When we started the uh, founding father that they handed over the... Uh, uh, the independence of the country. They started very well. They were not. They were not even looking up to the colonial master for them to do anything for their people. They, were, you know, had the best of the best. Uh, because they people. left it for them. They left all those things for them. Oh, and... Hold on. Oh, hold mm -hmm. on. They, 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 they had the best, the best of the best people in the position of authority, of government, and they were all committed to you know, developing their um, um, region, their people, according to, you know, what they believe in, like, about our uh, 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 you know, uh, education, we're able to give his people education, he was able to put in place uh, uh, some um, um, uh, economic uh, uh, policy, uh, you know, that, um, uh, um, help the West, you know, to achieve uh, that uh, achievement. To I mean, to achieve a lot of things that they achieved back then, you know, he he, he, he set up the um, what do you call it? Um, uh, or do a group of company that was a, a rival to the USC by See, the civilian. So he was able to do yeah, a lot of things. What, what counter, you are saying, oh, what you on, call... Hold on now, let okay. me, let me okay, fine, fine. He was able to put a lot of things in place to counter the colonial... Um, Powers. Uh, uh, yeah, those colonial... Uh, mm. uh, uh, Colonizers. Uh, uh, Colonizers. They, what what they, 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 they left... What they left behind he was able to have alternative against them in order to eliminate them, you know, in so many mm. fields of the economy, no many sector of the economy, you mm. know, it, 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 it did a lot of things to push them out, to rival them, and then push them out. Within mm. the short period of time that we were able to govern that place, the Oibo man never built, uh, they are not the one that built the uh, co 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 cocoa house, that happened to be the the tallest um, uh, building in Nigeria, the La Palla, the Western House. Oh, we were not able to do all those kind of uh, 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 things, but he was able to do it. He had the insurance company that is totally different from um, Yoruba. I mean, uh, what do you call it? Um, what uh, uh, British bought them? He had, you know, a um, bank, the National Bank, the Wema Bank under the um, uh, uh, management of a group of companies. He has so many companies to rival the, mm. the British. He brought mm. in the Leventis to rival the Akinsway. He brought in... It, there are a lot of things that he did that, look, when you, you are the colonial... Uh, 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 Colonizers. Uh, colonizer. But we British. push you out of our place. So they did a lot of things. But what... The Oibo was able to do. Oibo used the divide and rule game to set us against each other. The North back then, that were resistance to uh, Western education, were used by the colonial people against within the structure of Nigeria to derail the way that. Obafemi Awolowo and was trying to do. You go and merge with this. This is the way you can. That they did it across Africa like that. You know, if you look at mm. the way they demarcated the countries alongside, you know, uh, what do you call it? Um, with many tribes within the component 
they called a particular country, they were using some tribe against some other tribe, particularly the progressive. You see, the, the, we have done a lot of the, the, what is happening now with Africa, they have planned it over 80 years ago before they handed over independence to those African countries. They handed over independence, but they will never let it go. But mm. in our own case, we try the little way we can do to eliminate them. But the military coup of 1966 derailed us completely. Since then, we never got it right. If that so, coup had not happened, maybe we would have been better off today. But the coup happened, disorganized the whole structure, the way we were as three regions, centralizes, and then establish a, stand, a central government, which is still what we have today, even though they, we call ourselves a federating unit, but we are still centrally controlled by uh, uh, um, 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 the executive at the, at the center. So it, it is it, it, it's, it's the is the military rule that um, you know um, the real you know uh, the progress that we are making back then. So if not so, if not that, maybe we'll be better off. So I don't want to agree with you that uh, uh, we. Um, what did you say earlier? You know, I don't want to agree with that. Um, yeah. the, the, the reason why um, you see, I hear all those things you are saying, and I used to believe that that is um, actually a viable explanation that somewhere along the line we just lost our track. But when I look the pattern uh, that is replicated in many aspects yeah, in many parts of the world, including Africa, and uh, especially in Asia, where it happened repeatedly, what you tend to find is that the binding glue that people use to found nations, um, we didn't have those essentials. Often it's based on high level of conflict, getting rid of said another force, and creating the nation. And when you do that, there is this level of unity that comes from that, that seems to ex ex supersede anything that comes from just, hey, let's just use logic logic to come together. There's something deeper than that. Like in the case of even Zimbabwe, when um, it looks like Mugabe was taking too long to do the land reforms. One of the things you see, that's, that's a, quite a good example of uh, what I'm talking about. The people that fought the British, that were still, they, they, many of them were looking, they were dying and they were getting old. They told him, if you don't do this land reform, we are not going to let you rest. And this is not going to end well for you. And he was one of them that fought the British. So he knew what it was like. And he had to do what he had to do. If you look at South Africa today, that is exerting all this independence that they are showing right now in the world, part of it is because of that fight that they fought with the British. Because the, when you fight the British, you fight, you also fight your own people that are the collaborators. And if you win that struggle, those collaborators are not the ones that are going to control the country. Because those collaborators, it's not because they are evil, but they are too close to the oppressor. And they don't, they don't understand that their own people are different and they need to fight for their own people like the way somebody fights for their own child. They see themselves as an extension of the colonizer. This is why you see many of them, they join the secret service of the, um, the West. And was it not the um, uh, Senegalese president or one of them, one of the leaders in Senegal that was saying it the other day, that they don't want these people to be messing with our leadership, that they will recruit them into their secret societies and use them to control them. These are the reasons why you see Africa so poor. It's not because we don't have the capacity to escape their control. It's because even many of us, our mindset is still linked to them and we see ourselves almost as if we are there to serve them. While all the Asian countries, look at um, uh, North Korea. North Korea was destroyed like destroyed, 80% of all the structures in North Korea were destroyed, almost like in Gaza. Um, um, South Korea, destroyed. Japan, nuked twice. Um, um, uh, this in China, 
destroyed the, the, the Japanese invaded China, destroyed them. And look at all these nations now. They are they are so advanced. What does that tell you? That tells you something that when people survive and fight for them for themselves, there is a bond that comes. It, it's, it's just unity in the end. But it, this bond, you don't have to explain it too much. Every, you just know. You don't have to forget tribalism. Nobody cares about tribalism then. Because you just know that you have to fight for each other. Common sense. But I fear that many of the nations, if you look at all the nations that got their independent peacefully, especially in Africa, all of them are just completely useless, almost completely useless universally. Because the people that are governing it today are the ones that were working with the British in the 40s, in the 30s. If you go to Kaduna today, I saw the picture the other day, I think I shared it here. In Kaduna Town Hall, you know when they kidnapped those children and they brought the children back, one of the things I saw on the wall was they were putting a list of governors of Kaduna State in, on the wall. And they included the, the British ones too. Something that should be in the museum, you include them as part of your own governorship uh, this thing in Nigeria, which you, you are independent nation. You are different. You wrote a totally different constitution. It's like America putting the, 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 the king of England as part of their presidents. That is what our leader, and this is what I, and there is everything I've just said, there's even evidence for it because you can see that our leaders are still doing those things. And this is why we can't seem to excel. We have never been involved in any kind of first world uh, uh, this interaction where we, okay, let's say trade barriers or conflict or anything. We've never been involved in anything. Why do you think that is? Because your leaders have completely given up that position to see themselves as an independent nation. Who do you think is guaranteeing our security right now? Who do you think is guaranteeing our security? It's not, it's not us. It's not our military. It's the British, the Americans, and the others that these our leaders are relying on. And this is why we are where we are. I believe this but, one but, but, is but, uh, to Niger, To Niger, we cannot, um, um, you know, we the people too have to share part of this blame. The reason is that when we see some of us that are very competent to lead, we don't support them. <laughs> so we support politicians that are very crooked. And those ones that have, you know, but, um, uh, demonstrate, demonstrated uh, exemplary leadership just because they are not worthy they are not they are very disciplined they don't want to vibe their way through to power we don't give them this the full support so we, most of the time we don't want to i mean blaming the brit i mean blaming the co colonial colonialists and all the rest all the time sometimes to me uh, i don't want to yeah. agree in but, totality. But, but, but what you heard me say is yeah. not the col the colonizers or the British are basically um secondary problem. It's yeah. our I told you it's our people, not the British. Our people are the ones causing the problem. Because those people normally in the nation that fought for its freedom, those people will not be the ones in charge. You see BKB, what I mean? BKB was asking that with our education. It, it doesn't make any difference. Been, Hold on. The problem is that we are foolishly tribalistic people. We don't want to go for the best among us. In Nigeria today, in that country the way today, the way that country stand, if we really want a radical change, people that can work for the people and not for any interest, is person like Shore that we should go for. <laughs> but <laughs> a lot of you don't want to do it. You want to support one politician against the other. All of them that are committed to uh, a, 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 a colonial, uh, a col colonial uh, uh, people, mentality. mentality or colonial people. So that is the problem. 
That is the problem with all. But, but we are not think Shure is not like that too. What do you think? think that he too is not um um is not uh, gonna be listening to them when, uh, too. When so, you when you listen to everything he's saying, does it show like a person that wanted to follow the capitalist system of government the way they run it? Uh, is that what I, I, I don't is. see him follow? I don't see him like somebody that's doing that, but I don't see him, yeah. You can't way around we, we, too because we, we, let, let me I, I have you. reasons for it. Was he not the head of uh, this in uh, Sahara Reporters that was yeah. based in America? So you don't necessarily know the source of these people where they are, um, uh, this in uh, power come from. So, but we're ahead, okay. So, so now, yeah, you see, yeah. the fact of the matter is, as a weak country, you have to follow one of those powers, man. You, you just have to. You can't be alone in this world. You I agree with you on that, actually. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You have I, to. I, I, though, I though you may, you may kind of leverage your, I mean, some things to get a, 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 as much good deal as you can out of it, but you still have to fall under one of them to, to some, it, it, I mean, it, degree. You don't have to necessarily fall under. You you can be um like form partnerships with them. See the way it, it should work. No, name, name a country in this world that doesn't take order from at least whether it's um the U.S. or it's the Soviet or Russians. You know, uh, like you know that West Block East Block thing now. Huh? You know that Cold War politics. Every country in this world is under somebody. Like the countries that. Are, America was saying their enemies because there's the country they're not controlling. But every one of those countries, you know who's protecting them. It's the, it's the no. Russian. Okay? See, uh, let me just add this. I agree with you on like the Cuba, idea for example. That... Let's say Cuba, for example. You know who's protecting oh. Cuba? Huh? It was oh, the Soviet. No. So... Yeah, yeah. Let me add. See, I, and let me add to what you just said. See, if you look at Japan, it's doing fine. South Korea is doing fine. Yeah, but it's Taiwan US that's controlling fine. them now. Yeah, yeah but but that, that's my point. It, it, what does what does that tell you? It's not it, what it tells no, you. No, that. no, but 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 the thing is, they leverage. There's something leverage for them to get the best deal. Yeah, out of it let me finish my point. Oh, no. that's, okay, that's finish your point. I know where you're going, but go ahead. I know where you're going. <laughs> okay, tell go me. Go ahead, go ahead. So, um, so the point I'm making is that if all these countries are doing fine, even um, UAE, all of them, they are all doing fine. What did I tell you? It tells you that the white man is not necessarily a boogeyman. He's not a boogeyman. It's it's up to you to decide. I never say it's a boogeyman like that. No, 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 I, I, no, my, no, no. I'm not saying you. I'm saying because sometimes the way I come across, maybe I'm talking to myself. Sometimes the way I come across, people think that I'm saying the white man is a boogeyman and all the rest. It's us. We have to get ourselves to a position whereby we say, you know what, you you can't just come and tell me what to do. But if you want to work with us in this on this capacity, we can work with you. If you don't want to work with us, no, they can. They have to tell you what to do. They have no, to. No, no, they can't. Well, tell you, you you can still get things out of it. No, you. Well, no, one of them have to tell you what see, to do. You see, can't stand see, alone. You see, your your thing is. You you, you can still like, like I said. You can. They, they still they will still get what they want from you. That's what the point I'm no, making. They can get one. I, I agree with you on that. Okay, they will get right, what okay. they want. You get what you want. Well, you you can also get what you want. Yeah. Yeah. Because if if let's say you want. Ten dollars from the deal, and they they say they want ten dollars or fifteen dollars. You say okay, give me my ten dollars. You take your fifteen. I'm good. So that's how it works. That's how they work with the Asians. And the reason why they are able to work with many of those Asian countries and even Middle Eastern countries because those countries are important for one reason or the other to them. Exactly. That's what that's the point I'm making. We like, want made example, the, let me, like, like the Japan, for example. Let me use that Japan and South Korea, for example. Mm. Those ones can easily just say, okay, you want to control us but hey if we don't get our own deal out of this control that you want then we just sabotage you and side with you we are right yes, next to the chinese the chinese and the soviet yeah, you understand? now now you, so you, the, you see we're on the that, same that, page now and that's why the america had to forgive the japanese quick immediately the, that war was over they quickly forgive them even started pumping exactly. money paying them reparation taking care of them look at south korea south korea is just a step away from siding with north korea and china now so america yeah. has to hand out to them like really treat them nice yeah. and good things. So that that's all it is. So by the end of the day, they know that America will still say, I got I'm gotta get what I want from you. So exactly. you can all you have to get something. But the, the ultimate point I'm making is you can't just say to hell with you. You understand? Oh, no, they no, 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 gotta no, work, you they, they're, gonna, they're gonna take us enemy and they're gonna treat you, to, no, you know, no, like you really can, attack you. Can, you. See, the thing is you have to understand you have options. You just said it yourself. If Americans decide to screw around, they go with China. They could go with Russia. 
but our leaders don't act as if they even have options. They never ex exerted anything. And the reason why they haven't is because of that reason that I said. Because they are so... But, but, yeah, but, but the thing is, the ones that are, you can't, the ones that have done it try to do something. You know what happened to them now. So people are learning from. They, they look at their position. They didn't okay. try. They didn't try. Okay, check this out now. Check this out. Uh, Abacha tried it. You can you know that for a fact. Even uh, okay. Muntala yes. Muhammad tried it. Muntala mm -hmm. Muhammad at one point was like screw mm -hmm. the. Well, even uh, Gowon at one point, mm -hmm. he uh, Idiami was trying to learn him to because uh, Idiami was Idiami. Hold on now. Yeah, go ahead. Hold on, hold on. He, he damn me trying to talk to them to turn against the West and things like that. And we're trying to, you know, put the African plan, we can do things together. And you know, Gohan was overthrown while he was in our meeting, <laughs> you know. And uh, then he didn't know he was in the middle of their meeting with their now when they called him. Uh, I didn't that, know hey, that, you know. Unbelievable. <laughs> the video is on YouTube now. I got to watch the wow. video. Wow. The, 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 the West, the, the journalist put camera on his face. The moment they were, he was very good. I, I can't believe you don't even know. Wait, let me see if I can pull uh, it he was, it was attending. He was attending OAU meeting. With the Amina. In Uganda. Yeah, in Uganda. but it wasn't, it wasn't only in the Amina yeah. was there now. Yeah. Mm. No, but, but in was the But, but yeah. in the Amina was anti-West too. Yeah, oh no, no, India we were super anti West. Anti West. Um, uh, he, they had to even invade his country to get rid ah. of him. He's one leader that got security right. He got it right, but the only thing he failed on, he, I think he made a mistake to try to go and take some land from Tanzania. I don't know why they did they do those things. I don't know why Saddam Hussein did that too. Go and take some land from Tanzania. He caused Tanzania to invade him, and the West used that as an excuse to invade his country. But that said, I think what the what the issue is that you see the reason why people like Sankara, Abacha, and the others failed is because the people surrounding them too don't they've never really done anything like blood brothers together, you know, like a proper group of people that do fight their real battle. Because most nations, the I said it before, the founding of most nations, like even America, was founded by people that fought for that nation. So those people are going to be patriotic and they are going to protect and they will do anything to protect their nation. But Nigeria is not founded like that. It's founded by people that just negotiated with the British, they shook hands and everybody said, okay, let's get on with each other. That is, they, they, they don't, under, they, those people, they don't get to the point where they realize that their unity and their consensus is not optional. They don't even realize it, that it's not optional. They have to work together and work together strongly before they can succeed. They don't understand that. And hence, we are, why we are where we are. Because many of these people, so their fathers and their father's father have worked with the British. So they know them in and out. Some of them, the people were there when they were growing up. They, they nurtured them. It's very hard to break out of that kind of psyche. And clearly, the case of Africa is a very, very good example where almost universally, all the black nations, you would think Americans are invading us every day. They refuse to grow. They refuse to do anything. Yeah, to I agree with you. The way you have to, the way Nigeria is, unfortunately, like we we they, we have to educate ourselves beyond to start thinking more globally in a sense because an average Nigeria doesn't really know much of the international world. Is even we don't even know much. Of, most of Nigerians don't know much about the African uh, world. What we know is our own world. An average Nigerian is only understand Nigerian history from 1960, and we will talk about the. If you notice, most Nigerians will start having conversations. We start talking about oh, Awolowo, Amadu Belo, that's uh, all. That's it. And whatever that issue was, and that's how we see each other. And we and the disagreement and the mistrust with that internal thing. Imagine if I become leader of Nigeria. Why would I want to start turning against uh, the West when I know that most people from the southeast. I uh, yeah. don't even like me being in power. Now you, you, see, you see what I mean. So, That's exactly what I mean. Because they, they it's almost conditional. Their support for you is conditional. But while if you all fought the British together, what will happen? It's not conditional anymore. Yeah, but well, unfortunately, we, it wasn't something we did together. And then being together, gone. We haven't even. We don't even see ourselves as that super one people that like that. The even that today. Is, uh, that's why I say on this channel, like Nigeria needs to get to a point where they need to have a conversation about that country and just say everybody get on the same page. Because the fact that you're not on the same page, forget about saying you want to start dealing with uh, uh, internal, internal, if, 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 even if you, you can't do that. Even if you negotiate, you separate, the problem still remains. All those people are still colonial mentality heads. It makes no difference. The, Personally, I think the gift the Nigerians will have one day is some either a European country or Western, any country, even China, they make one mistake. 
to attack one African country, maybe in West Africa, and galvanize the Africans to fight. That unites people. You'll be surprised. There's something that happens to the people when that happens to them. They unite beyond words. It's, it's not even words anymore. They know what they need to fight for because they know... An, no, an I, I think when I, what, what will probably get Nigeria to start being one is maybe when other Africans start attacking us and things like that and you know, until we begin to see enemy uh, enemy outside of Nigeria before we begin to be that if, if kind of, you know, country attack. Well, most of us don't yeah, know. Like I said, uh, average Nigeria growing up in Nigeria does not know enemy outside of Nigeria. We don't. His immediate enemy is probably in Nottana or some from another region in Nigeria. Some of That's what we see as his immediate enemy. enemy. They, they, they think we don't have enemies. Like Nigeria doesn't they don't know anything. anything about international. I mean, Africa know about Cold War politics, even World War II history. They don't know how many people walking around the street. Average, average Nigeria on the street, do they even know anything about those things? They don't know, man. The only thing they know about the Western world is that it's a good place to go. It's a place to jack out to. I'm going to have a good life. I'm going yeah. to make it. Exactly. So uh, is, that the, is that the kind of people you are telling the leader to try to be turning against the West on behalf of? No, 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 no. <laughs> the, the leaders have to wake them up. This is what um, uh, the Burkina Faso leader is doing. He, he used the term that he's waking his people up to these truths of life. Because you have to define yourself against the rest of the world to an extent so that your people can understand they have their own identity. Nigerian leaders don't do that for us. They always make it look like um, we, the rest of the world is benevolent. Let's go. They are all there to help us. We can't keep doing that because America, every single day, they keep defending themselves against other people. They defend themselves against every, every, every rest of the world. Now, Ch Japan is even going to go to the moon with them. The other day, they are giving Japan more uh, missiles again. But we that are supposed to be their friends since 1960, they've barely given us to Kanu. That they didn't make us go through hell for and, and this is why i ask our leaders it's like what is wrong with you why can't you just have a little bit of pride even just for pride because let's so say I, so nigeria, nigeria just be frank with yourself you are talking mm -hmm. as if nigeria is just one group of leaders are just being all unanimous and just together like that and be no look at our political it's like we're still struggling for power among ourselves the way even this guy that the people like uh, Tiluba and them, they, just, they were even through the 90s, they were fighting for power and this like that. So, well, they just knew country now. It, it, we we don't have country. that uh, comp that leadership of uh, people where they are just one people like that. You understand? Like the Kremlin, like uh, the like America has the Pentagon, those kind of things. We haven't developed our leadership uh, structures on that level. It, now because all we, we have we, is we, just we, group of individuals struggling for power and things Mike, like that. Mike, we, we never forced political our parties, so we haven't have that. Mike, hmm? we, we never forced ourselves into it, and I think the part of the reason why because we never really created leaders that have foresight. That when we say foresight, are willing to do terrible things to get the nations where they need to get to. If you look at what Netanyahu is doing now, is everybody will call him the devil. The, what what makes you think that guy sleeps at night? Netanyahu is not acting it. alone. The Israeli, they call them the what they call them, Mo, Mo, what they call them, what they call themselves, the Mossad. Uh, Mossad, those are a group of people that been existing. <laughs> so, the, yeah, the, the things they are doing today, so, yeah, the things they are doing today, something been planning for ten years. You know, know what I'm now, saying? But so what this, you, that's you what I'm, I'm telling you. They have drive them so strongly that they are willing to do all these evil things just to get their way. Do you think our leaders have that stomach? To do we, you to don't have, so like, I think you are missing the point. You don't have that kind of structure of leader like that. You don't have it. What that's you have is politicians. No, all that's that's what what I'm I'm just what listen, I'm maybe you know where I'm coming from. Listen, listen. There's a difference between having a uh, politician, elect uh, president and all these things, and than having an actual structure uh, leadership of people where it's not just you I just came in. Oh, let me look and I want to start thinking what to do. No, this is a structure of leadership. And now giving them like Mossad, the Kremlin, all those things. It's not only president that's just doing the decision. It's a group of people that have been planning things that they just own that country. It's a and secret society. You are basically it's saying, a, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's a society of people. But then on the face, you see a president, but it's a society of people. And they will plan long term for the people. They'll plan the next 50 years, the next 30 years. But we haven't developed that kind of uh, society of people leading us. We just have individuals scrambling for power. Like, you know, throughout the military time, just coup over coup, uh, overthrowing yeah. each other. So we never had that. See, today we don't have it. That's why we don't have, everything is disorganized.
You understand? In, in That's a way, the point we, are saying, we are saying the same thing in a way because you are saying you don't have these structure of leaders that by saying that you are basically saying leaders that have they basically they are together. They know what they are there for. And that is what I'm saying. When you fight for your nation, when this is one of the ways these leaderships emerge. And also, one other thing they do when they emerge, they get rid of all the coons. That by default, because of it, they get rid of all the coons out of the way. And when they take over, they go and do the right. These people do they do terrible things. Sometimes they see the more things these leaders do. Eh, I don't think any of our leadership in Nigeria have the stomach for it. The only one that even showed any sign of having the stomach for it was Abacha. But he didn't even have enough time. He didn't have enough. Uh, the, the environment wasn't right for him to be able to do that. And he failed. So and that, He was uh, foolish. He can't. He was foolish. That's the thing. And that's why I won't advise any new leaders to do the same thing. You can't say, oh, because I'm a president, I want to start doing it. I want to, I want to create a plan. And do it. You, they will just take you and that's it. They will take you out, and that's it. And that's the yeah, same. That's why I always tell people that. Listen, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's why I always tell people like you, you're not learning from others' mistakes. I bet I repeat the same mistake or Saka Saka repeat the same mistake of Lumumba. Lumumba repeat the same mistake of Nkrumah. Nkrumah repeat the same mistake of uh, Malcolm X. They repeat the same mistake. Why individual want to do something? You think you want to you want to be uh, an individual to carry out a mission and a Georgia vision? They will kill you, and your vision is dead. You, you, mm. It has to be a society of people, you understand, that you can, you can kill an individual, that, but that society of people still exists, that body of people still exists. The only way you can get rid of the Kremlin is if you if you just wipe out Russia. That's it. If you kill Putin today, Russia continue with their, uh, the, the, the last year, Russia continue, the Kremlin yeah. continue. Because the call you take out, you take out Netanyahu, Israel, you take out Netanyahu, uh, what they call it, uh, Israel still continues. You understand the real people, they're in the yeah, background. Don't, don't take them out. We are talking about are the people that I told you that fought for the nation because they don't have the coons controlling it. Not necessarily no, that they fought for the nation. They don't have the them. No, they, tell they, me other, other, other tell me any other way because I'm be looking for it too. Tell me on the, any other way you create those people without those it's other people. You just have, you just have to understand that you need to create it, and the next thing you do is just go with your population. Like right now, if Tony wants to do it, uh, or the group of guys there, yeah, you have to understand that this is what we need, and we just have to go between the population. They will betray yeah. him. That's the problem. No, 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 no. That's the way. That's why you have to keep it a secret society because if you keep it an open thing, he won't know matter how secret. But wait he now, is. soon as you calm down. Listen, listen. Why are you telling me to call? Listen, I'm just telling you. you, need, you, 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 you cause if you allow me, you know where I'm going. I'm not. I, you think if you allow me to land, you know where I'm going. I'm, okay. The, the way this thing works is, you you have to study human human beings. Everybody, uh, the first thing you do before you recruit people into anything is to get into the minds of the people. You know the there's something called human psychology. That human beings that are born passionate for something. You understand? Mm -hmm. Now those people. They will die for that thing. Now mm -hmm. that thing come before money or anything else because that's so yes. passionate. About it, you understand? Yes. And then there are other human beings that may like that thing. They'll be on board for it, but it's not their calling, and they will mm -hmm. pick money over it or pick their own personal life interest over it because it's something they like, but it's not mm -hmm. something they're passionate about. For example, Sankara was so passionate about. Uh, uh, Burkina Faso and the future and eliminating the imperialists and he's, he's willing to sacrifice anything, even his life. He, he, he literally mm. no amount of money he can pay him in the world that will make him give up that passion. You understand? Yes. However, the next guy next to him, Blaise Campore, he liked the idea too. He's into it too. Oh, let's get rid of the imperialists. He liked the idea, but that was not his passion. So when mm. Blaise Campore was offered something, he looked at what he was offered, he was like, ah, me, I'd rather have this money, I have this thing, this thing has been packaged for me. I think it's more important than this. Exactly. Uh, so that's what I'm saying. So if you want to recruit people into the, your society of leadership, you have to study individuals and find out the, the, those that share that same passion and that same, you know, uh, uh, no, 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 feeling like that put that interest of that thing above your, even their own life, ready to sacrifice, die for it. Those are the people you start recruiting to that leadership place. You study people like someone like you now. I, just from interacting with you, you no, know, I know you are someone that you are that kind of person. You understand? It's like that thing, it burns you. It's almost like it burns you, like you want to see that Africa just mm. like I know that if, even if even if you come billionaire today, that thing will still be burning you. 
So just to let you know that the money cannot, it's like you're calling, you understand? But whereas there are some other people here, that whenever you talk like that, they just look at you like, what's this you're talking about? Because all they care about is how they can become rich in life. They don't care like yeah. that. So it's not everybody that's their calling. So in those uh, organizations, those uh, Kremlin and those people, they go into their population and study those kind of human beings. They have so much passion for their nation and ready to die for their, those kind of people they recruit into their, that leadership. So those people, they can never betray you. Yeah. I think what you said is true. and uh, But it, it looks like we are using different terms to describe exactly the same thing. I look at it from just like the environment that generates these people. Like in the case of Kremlin that you use, what I believe happened with the, the, the Kremlin when the Bolsheviks came into office, uh, came into power, they fought for it and they got in there. When they got in there, they created more of them. They, as a matter of fact, it took a lot of bloody action that it took they, they were very very brutal to get their country because what they feared was that the western european countries were going to come and dominate them and return them back to the slavery that the czars used to keep them in so they felt that they need to bring their country back to an advanced age and to do that from an agrarian society where most of the people used to be like slaves to the uh, royalty they had to bring it to an industrialized state it took like some crazy doing in the middle of that they fought two world wars to do all that and that's how determined they are and they got themselves so it takes a lot of steel to and for all those people to do those things they have to be united you think it's only stalin that did it by himself stalin didn't do it by himself because the people around him fought to get there so that's what i think what you are describing you are describing it like in a way what you are saying is actually more useful to us now in the context of nigeria because you are describing it as something you could try to create and by just seeking them and recruiting them and recruiting them and getting them into place. But well, the way I'm describing it is that this one's happened organically and it generated millions no, of them. No, like I that. don't think so, man. They, 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 they have to recruit, man. They yeah, have to recruit they, their, they, their members. My, my point is that okay. if you, if, see, if you watch your family get slaughtered, automatically you have been created. You have, you have created somebody now that don't care about money. You just done something uh, to them. That really there, there's people. still some people. Trust me, there's still some people that will get over it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. A lot of people. They, they will take money and get over it. I'm telling you, like, but, but, it's, but everyone is not the same. So now, that's the first thing you have to understand about. Uh, uh, but uh, let me life. ask you this question then. So, out of ten, you watch your family get slaughtered, let's say by one foreign uh, entity. Out of ten people, how many of them will? be willing to take money to for compensation and or if they have the opportunity to fight and destroy this will back will prefer to go in that direction if 10 of those people yes uh, 10 people experienced it, it how many of them will choose to no, I, 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 I i will tell you that most human beings do take just take compensation and move on with their life but how most many human be, most human back? beings are it's, it's most human beings are uh you know, um, the first law of nature, all those things, is part of their instinct. You know, I understand and, and, that. You know, how they live on natural instinct, but there are some exceptional them... human beings that think beyond their instincts. Yes, most human, of... human beings, most human human being, their instinct is self preservation. I just want to survive. I just want to have a good life. I just want to. And they, sometimes when tragedy happen, boom, you hurt them and things like that. They think of justice and stuff and stuff. But once they compensate them, they go back to their natural. So, Yes, you but know, how many of them? The question yeah, I'm not, asking is, how many okay, of them would you are I, I gotta get over question, this now? Uh, better life, Mike. Hmm? Mike, since when are you started waffling too? Answer the question. No, yeah, how many? I can't yeah, give you. I can't give if, if, okay, if you. Okay, if you can come up with a number, I can come up with a number, but I can tell you most human beings. Okay, most, but not all. Hold on, hold on. I'm just coming. I'm just coming. No, no, no. Hold on. Let me finish the point. Let me. No, no, no. It's like this has not happened in Africa before. When Africans were you are going to take me away from my point now. People were giving money and they let their brothers go away. Soon as you sit down, soon as you let them go, I don't have the energy. I don't have the energy. I'm going to go. Come on, soon as you act like this has not happened in Africa. I don't want to do crazy talk today. No, not crazy talk. Sometimes, I mean, go ahead, man. I'm going to let you talk. Let me just go. You know, soon as you go, you know, soon as you go. Exactly. Soon as you always want to. To Niger it, thinks his own point is superior. I came to go learn. Ahead, go ahead, to Niger. Ah. Go ahead. I'm, I'm trying to see. If you say one out of ten chooses to fight back, do you know in a population that creates millions of people that are like that? That is what I mean so, by you create mass people that are willing to fight 
for that course that you are going for. To Nigeria. Yes. There was you a thing so that happened in South Africa. Them. That was passed on on black people. They say black people are docile. They hardly fight back when an external force comes towards them, like a white person or a different person. That's the thing about Africans. They they, they don't fight back. Well, so if a white know, person, thing is, you know, uh, to, uh, Jude, actually, let me also, fight back. Jude, let me let me put it this way. Tunaja, Tunaja, it's one thing that you also you may have desire to fight back. It's another thing that are you organized to do it? That's another thing. You understand? You can have a population that's willing to fight the fighting in their mind, everything. But if it's not something organized, okay, uh, well structured, or like like for example, you had the most Chinese population want to fight, and they're lucky to have that government is able to organize an army, a well structured army, and put the people in place and just. Put it together, but you can't say because your population are willing to fight now. What are they going to do? So I carry on my head. And, and and like what I'm talking about is sorry, Jude. I'm an example of what I'm talking about is like what is going on in Gaza right now. One or one uh, military official was saying in that, that some of the things Israelis are doing, they 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 think they are fighting 30,000 Hamas members. What they are doing is they are recruiting more, so the number will never finish. Because you are busy killing people, and you think you are fighting, you kill 30,000, you see, see more of them because you are recruiting more while you are killing them. And this is the point uh, that I was making. I was trying to link it to the fact that this recruitment, you were talking about how are you going to recruit. It will happen because like minded people will come together to want to resist. That is how it works. Well, what are you re what, resist? What? Resist? So, like, what are you talking about? Resist, I don't even what are you know talking about. I don't even what get what you're saying. I'm, I'm talking I mean, about like. Like now, in the in the context of Nigeria, you want the like-minded people to come together to come and change things, isn't it? So, if those like-minded people were to come and the, change what to come and change the country, it said to what to a, 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 an industrial nation, pro, um, prosperous nation, not to be where it is right now. So, what? So, okay. So, uh, what do you? You are the one that's against, that, so against you. Against you. So against you. Resist, resist against you. So, like, say you wanted to um, uh, change your country for to, for the better. If you want to resist, you want to call it resistance or transform the country. One of you the change your country not by resisting, man. Just by being productive and. Um, if you want to change it, you, you have need to, to create the army. You have to remove like the people that are there right now, don't you? You have to. Remove uh, the that are there. No, no. If you want to be industrial, like, just need to you, you start using brains and people that have brains need to start coming out and start being well, productive. That's why we've not done it. Eh? We, we can give you, we can give you the best thing in the world if the, if you yeah. still don't want to be productive. Yeah. 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 Mike, is started, Mike is started reverting back to we, we can make like a variant. Mike, Mike, what Mike, you said earlier Mike, was Mike, 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 no, no, because you're in your own context, I'm going with your own context because you are talking about recruiting like minded people. You must have a reason why you are saying it. If it's either not to resist other people, it's to remove the ones in office right now. Yeah, but, but recruiting like minded people is okay. I mean, you just talk of the agrarian revolution, it must not be people being killed for you to have that stimulus to fight back or to change your government. I mean, agrarian revolution, people were suffering from hunger. The amount of food being produced during the agrarian revolution could not meet the pe the population. That's why people were growing enormously to change the society. Yeah, Jude, I don't, I don't know what Africa, Africa. Africa. Yeah, but in, in Africa, Africa we don't even have that. We don't even have that zeal, yeah. even though there is hunger, but there is there is not zeal for for change. Another, so the main thing is the zeal. We don't have it, especially we, we don't black have it because, in general. because we never had any reason to have it. And I'm trying what to in the way we don't, don't have reason. We don't have reason. Right there's right there's a lot of point and heavy talking about see, we don't have any reason see, to have it. See, when I say that, I say it on a macro level because we do have not been a kind of how do I put it catalyzed to do it or stimulated to do it. If no. you have not been, if you don't have any a macro uh, stimulant to do that thing, you are not going to do it. You, so, you can, so you Africans, you want. Africans are running overseas. What gave them the zeal to run overseas? They are running overseas individually, not in an organized way to go and overthrow anything overseas. They are going to serve in a weak state. <laughs> to, to Niger. So, so they don't have that zeal to change the country, but they have that zeal to run overseas. Is that what you are saying? Yeah, because it, they are doing it on an individual basis. What I'm talking about is something that galvanizes the entire population to act against anything that is uh, uh, ailing the society. That is how other nations do it. Uh, let me, I'm let not, me I'm come not 
You know, it's not the entire population act. It's just it's the group of men that do it. It's not entire population, <laughs> and, and it's hardly and it's hardly from <laughs> Hong Kong. In China, it wasn't the entire Chinese population. It's a group of men that came together. Exactly. And was, exactly. Yeah, but yeah, that, it was, those group of men, they were not just tiny group of men. It was a lot of people that supported <laughs> them to do it. Mike, Nigeria. you will never win to Niger in no platform, Mike. It no, I mean, no, 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 it's not why it's not about winning. We, and in a way, we are in agreement to it. Just arguing with me for nonsense no, reason. No, we are in agreement you know that to the next thing. point that you make, you make those kind of points a lot, and there's a lot of truth to it. There's virtually anything anybody's gonna say that doesn't have a little that's a little advantage to something sparking people to come together, right? So I don't know why you spend so much time trying to defend that. Um, most people will agree a little bit. But the reason why I came back was that um, there was a point where Mike was making a point and, and uh, hypocritically saying that um, we should come together, that the, the country should come together. And some people in the comment section pointed out that Mike is one of those uh, who has that uh tribal mindedness right i don't think that's in dispute yeah, you made my case that to him is optional coming together is optional that's the problem with our people I, when i say to um uh, the reason why other people do well because they understand it's not optional they don't even it is not even part of their conversation they have no choice that is just for their country but the major thing you need to point out in something because what you just said there now that's true to that there's nothing you're gonna say here that doesn't have some truth to it but the point is that the problem we have in our country with tribalism, uh, like Mike was pointing out that it's people back home, they don't know this, they don't know that. That is not true. But even if it's true, we are not supposed to worry about ignorant people, right? Let's say you have a lot, a lot of elites, we leave and we go outside, but there are people who, back home who don't know that we actually have enemies like uh, Oyibos and people who want to have us be apart. Uh, so those who are ignorant, they're unaware, they're unconscious in a way. They don't have the experience. And I innocent because they're ignorant. That's the way we look at it. They're not enlightened. They're unfamiliar. They lack knowledge. That's one set of people. They're, they're being troubled because they're ignorant. Now, the main one that we have to worry about are our wicked people. Now, uh, the Bible has definition for wickedness. I have my own, but so... I would have to yield to the Bible. And that is when somebody has a, a mental... Hold on, hold on. Uh, let me play this video about Tunanja real quick. Tunanja, this is the video where Gowon was overthrown live while he was in a meeting. Uh, oh, I watched that video. They called him on the phone and he was perplexed. I appreciate this. That, 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 let me start around. In 1972, I took them together, the show, and they gave very good coverage. I appreciate this very much. No, that is being told. Yeah. Man, did you, did, did you see the former president of Cameroon, Amadou Aijo, on the side as well? A lot of leaders, It was man. so funny that the, the British, the media knew that the coup was happening. That's why they put the camera on it. The, the Oyibo man already knew what's going on. Mm. <laughs> Even the GMU. That's how they set us up now. Exactly. So my point, which will take another 30 seconds, a minute or two, is that when we're on the platform talking about some of this stuff that we're talking about, trying to hash it out, it's not the people who are ignorant that we should be focused on. Could you, could you meet that mic? Can you let me watch the video? <laughs> you know, at that time, he was an important head of state. You know, Nigeria was not where we are now. The guy, the guy with the red hat in the back is the former president of Cameroon, Amadou Aijo, as well. Look at India. Oh, which one? Uh, the guy with the red hat that was just talking to him before he did Amin. That, that was the uh, former president. Take it oh back a little God. bit. And he, he was talking to India. I mean, the way he was talking to him, it looks like they, were, they knew what they were supposed to be doing. Now. Yeah, that's yep, that guy with the red hat. Yep, that's Amadou Aijo. The this former one, yeah. president of Cameroon, that guy. Yep. Yo, this, that guy, that man, this yeah. is how we follow. This Yo, is how we follow. All of them fell. <laughs> they fell one by one. All of them <laughs> fall, man. 
Even if they have fell too, they all fell. Yeah, man. Why, why are you so? This is my point. Now, when he left home, the coons that were home sold him out. That's how we do it because we, we think it's no, optional. It's not even like they sold him. They may not even know how they were. Even they, even they uh, went a lot of throwing. He doesn't. He didn't know why he was throwing him. But that, that's what I'm saying now. He didn't know why it was yet. He did anything. And it's so funny. The same with Talamu, man. The same people that are using to battle go and start took him out. <laughs> but the DME was crazy, man. Look at them. I think we just didn't understand. We, it's almost as if we didn't even understand life. Oh, you people were just playing chess with us. That like they were just messing with us anyhow. And our leader we just didn't understand what they were dealing with. You know, because Mike, we had oil Mike, and all this, so we thought we were, we Mike, were no was, big. Mike, this was the African Union, right? Whatever they call themselves, man. They still have the yeah, same foolish was, union. Was, yeah, this was the African Union. It, it uh, could also be OAU. But uh, please... Yeah, uh, OAU. Yeah, it was the OAU. Point, former the, OAU, the point, yeah. has made, the point has been made. The point now is, from what you just watch right now, if we take a, a, a census of all of us here, we agree that they're able to destroy us because we don't have unity. So we already know these things. Because so, have, that's it goes right. to my point. The point I'm making is that it's not the ignorant people back home or here outside the country that is our problem. Well, the but, most ignorant Nigerians are the ones in the house, brother. So now you agree with me, won't you? They are the ones that even... <laughs> what I'm saying is... Are the ones, are they not the ones fighting you so now all the time? These are Nigerians in the house, brother. Yeah. Yeah. They are not the ones People are. A lot of the problem we have is now. Yeah, let, let they are more useless than the ones back home. To be honest, let me get my point, please, Mike. Relax. So right now, what I'm talking about, why I'm here, is to say that it's not those who are ignorant that are problems. People who actually know the wicked Nigerians, right? People who have a mental disregard for justice, righteousness, truth, honor, virtue. Those are the people who are causing our problems. Everybody pretty much knows what our problem is in the country. So, Mike, you, you started... Even you mean the ones that are called the minorities? Uh, small child, you just conquer them, right. like this, like that. Like if they, like that. If you, you have to tell the truth, that's my point. As you're hosting this show, no matter what your sentiments are, I say against me, you make a fool out of yourself, for example, for kicking me out. Because you don't like no, that. I don't think so. Because I just don't have power. time with your drama. That's why no, no, you know? it's not power. If you want to make your point, you poke holes in what I'm saying. You you actually look bad when you do that. No, when you start insulting me, I will throw you out because I don't have time to be insulting. Like I, if I'm yeah, hosting, well, I can't be insulting my uh, my panelist. panelist. And then he had no, you banned. If you and I want to insult each other, we meet when one man is hosting, and then we okay, and go at it. Okay, fine. But if I'm the one hosting, I can't be. Okay, you made your point you know, on that. You have the body. If you, if you want to talk, talk. But if you start insulting me, I just kick you out because I don't have time to be. To, uh, quiet, I can't be hosting. Be quiet. Okay, you start. See, that's the thing. You know, first I don't have time for you, man. Just go, go get. If you want to fight me, come during one man time, and you will fight. Okay. But if I'm hosting, I'm not here to fight. I'm just here to. Have conversation with people. That's it. Uh, okay. Mike, allow that guy to allow Ponsa to no, go. No, 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 I can't be old and be fighting when you know be shouting and be insulting someone. If I'm old, sure I don't want to do that. I gotta be you know respectful to whoever yeah, I get. That video, that video, man, seeing all those leaders, man. Even when I watched that video before, saw the former uh, president of Cameroon and he left in 1982. And ever since Paul Bia has been president since then, from 1982 to now, mm. you know, it, it's rather sickening, man, you know. Yeah, that that's your president, man, and is he is still running again? Jesus Christ! Yeah, yeah, our presidential election is in twenty next year. You know, he has put in his candidature. I don't even know how you get away with criticizing anybody else, <laughs> Judy, <laughs> with that well, kind of I mean, record. Your president mean? has. I mean, but I mean, so so I mean, in Russia they have Putin that is going for almost like <laughs> fifteen, you know, thirty something <laughs> years in power. You, you, Russia you know, is young compared to yours, man. Yours is like I on mean, a different level. But, 
it, it's happening in Turkey. The president, you know, of Turkey is the same thing. Even Rwanda, the guy just put his no, candidature. No, no, no. no. Yours was mm -hmm. around when, when the little uh, Kagame was just being born. Yours was already president. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I, but, I mean, but that doesn't take out the, the, the sense that they, 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 you know, they have overstayed in power. 20 something years in power. Well, 25 well, years. Yeah. Even, even well, you know. Jude, but I think that thing cannot happen in Nigeria, though, man. like one oh, individual no, like man. that. You know why? Tuna My, yeah. mm, let, let me tell you why. No, let, let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Tuna, yeah, because that one dictator has to come from somewhere. And imagine it would be a Yoruba man that would just be, you know, imposing himself for 40 years over. Or this other way, or is it one? Is it one evil man? Or is it one house? The Nigeria, like, you know, the other regions, you know, accept it like ah, like he's always the one guy from this place, you know. They will that, that one alone is not even possible. Nigeria so that's what Nigeria is, Nigeria is really really difficult, difficult to govern. Nigeria is extremely my, difficult. yeah, it's very difficult. My, only that we don't say you want to my you remember, remember I told I'm trying you to explain that to Alfred Amos, but the dumb guy will not listen. Like, I'm trying to explain to you that Nigeria is a little different, man. Like, it's just it's just not possible for one individual to just impose himself on the entire Nigeria because we have different regions with like powerful regions yeah. where one person that, that one dictator has to come from somewhere, and mm -hmm. the other right. region they, they, they won't accept it. So. We, you remember, remember when you know, I told you that Idiabo, Idiabo was doing well, but he decided to go for Hajj. I don't know what was wrong with all these people with traveling. Just stay at home. Look at how, um, uh, but no one uh, <laughs> Abaja didn't travel, but he, he lasted six years. I'm surprised Abaja lasted. Oh, if they are going to make us go do Allah, 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 if he had just run run the country for five then years, then Nigeria is a Muslim republic in officially. I mean Arabic is a is a language used in Nigeria. There are no, two systems of ah, there are two system of constitutional law in Nigeria. No, the Sharia not. law, ah. the Sharia law and the and, 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 and the Nigeria constitution. There are two laws. Nah, yeah, Judas you no, didn't spend time no. on the internet to learn about Nigeria. You think he's yeah, an expert? He's yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 not an expert in Nigeria law. Yeah. Where did you get that one from? My, the guy spent two years on the internet googling learning about Nigeria. Now you come here and talk about Nigeria. My, isn't 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 Sharia law a permanent law in Kano State? <laughs> It's not a permanent law. It's not for everything. Jeez, it's from low level stuff. That's what they use it for, not for like. But it's, like been, it's been used, right? It's, the law is acceptable. Sharia law is acceptable in Nigeria, mm. right? The traditional law is also acceptable in the South. So, what do you say about that? So, in, in every no, nation, no, 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 traditional law is not acceptable. In, in your tradition, if they say it's a man sac a sacrifice, you can sacrifice a human being. Does that law goes into effect in 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 Nigeria? It doesn't. Any law that yeah. violates the Nigerian Constitution has to be answered to by the Nigerian. Come on, these people got killed in in in, in, in Kano because of uh, they were talking down on Mohammed, but they say because it was Sharia law, the constitutional law did not do anything. No, what, 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 someone was stoned to death. Someone was stoned to death in Kaduna, if I'm not mistaken. They, they, they arrest, they arrest those that did yeah, it. They, they they those them. that did it broke the law. Yeah. Mm. It's not, it's it's not, it's not legal to do that. Mm. But in the Sharia law, that wasn't a crime. Mm. Well, no. It's a, it's a crime. It, okay, yeah, it's, it's not a crime in Sharia. But in Nigeria, it's a crime. Hence, you'll be prosecuted. You can't kill somebody like that, man. Oh, oh, I mean, you guys said they were arrested. I'm doubting if they were actually arrested, but it's okay, you know. See, what see, uh, it's, uh, Mike, we, our leaders they need to stop listening to foreigners when they tell us not to do carry out um dating death penalty. And uh, because <laughs> it, it, it's so awful because them they they they've gone through the process of carrying out death penalties. Then when it comes to us, they tell us not to do it. Because Couldn't I just stop? Who is telling you to stop death penalty? Did they really, even, in America, did they really say? even in United well, States, death penalty. No, even in United States, death penalty in United States. 
Oh, what yes, the hell are you talking about? They are, they're always putting pressure on us not to do it. And if we do it, they will. No, they are not putting pressure on you too, Nigeria. That's a false oh, statement. They, oh, the United States. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see where Tunagas is coming from. When did oh, okay. they put pressure on us? Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. This guy. See, they, there's pressure all over the place. I can send you links about how they are telling Nigeria to give up the death penalty, not to execute people. That sometimes when they they try one uh, musician or celebrity or something, and they say they convicted the person today, they will be fighting not to convict that person. This is why, and they, they actually oh, they, they, oh hold on now they also they have they, they also have a way of uh, influencing them whereby like all these NGOs and all the money that they give to them if you do yeah that's what I was going to ask you is, is it the NGOs hold on is it the NGOs that are pushing the advocating for it or is it the actual government of that country they, no yeah yeah is the is the they go to the government they go to the government that's because even sometimes you have people. some activists or human rights groups well, different kind of NGO groups that um, are like pushing something but it doesn't mean that is the government of that country that's pushing exactly? It. So it's an I mean, arm of the government. Is that's what? It, if if it's not an arm of the government, then why would the government respond by denying the country? To Nigeria, in United States, there is death sentence. How comes there is death sentence in United States and no one is stopping it? Since when? See, that is exactly. It doesn't matter whether they have death sentence there; they will still sanction you. There's many cases. No, 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 no one is sanctioning you, see, man. See, no, hold on now. No one is sanctioning you. Let, let me you. let me let me flesh this out. See, I was talking to um, um, Kezo the other day, and I've already had the same conversation with um, this thing on the other panel that I normally host regarding the, the pressure that they put on Nigerians. And I was talking to Kezo. I wasn't even talking about the death penalty or anything like that. Or then Kezo said, oh, because um, uh, Kenya is taking money from the West, they have to be listening to um, uh, uh, this in um, uh, the West. I said, oh, when I tell Nigerians about it, that this is what is happening to us too, each other, we don't know that this is why influencing our politicians not to. It's not that you don't know. Once you are taking money from someone, they dictate their policy on you. They, they make you okay, be. Now you understand now. You. Why are you agree? I, I, I mean, don't blame them. You are not independent. If you were independent, you wouldn't be depending on them by taking money. The person that fish you play, you know, play his music and you dance to it. That's what it is. Come on, then man. Why are you saying that they were not doing it? I'm telling you that they were no, doing but, but, uh, uh, b Because United States also practiced death sentence. I've never seen a country that practiced death sentence stop another country not from doing the same thing. It has never happened but unless you are a dumb person to call them out as well. They actually, it's not about that. It's about they will nod you. Don't do it. And what they are going to do if you, if you go ahead and do it, they are going to start pulling money away from you. And your, so, so what does that have to do with pulling money? How does that affect you if you're an, an independent good, country? Good also, money, pull money, money from the United States. Good money, also, everyone. pull your own money from the United yeah. States coffer so they should combo. I mean, why do is this. it only, oh, they're going to take this from us? Do they're going to do this. Oh, they are passing there. Why is only us, us, us? Do this. Yeah, go ahead, sir. So uh, good morning, good morning, everyone. Let me let me just yeah, put a little bit. If, I think maybe at the earlier this year or last year, if you can, if you watch uh, this man, uh, Ali Dube interview, he said when they cut all this uh, Boko Haram, then the the, the the he used the word. He said the international the international will come, will be telling them no, you are, you, have, you don't have to violate human rights. You have to take them to court. You have to prosecute them. He said, these people have killed a lot of people. And the international people, uh, international human rights will be coming to tell Nigeria, you have to follow human rights uh, law. You don't have to do, do it like that. We have to take that to court. Say people who have killed, so at the end of the day, they will take that to court. So we'll be free again. So Nanjama, what Nigeria uh, is telling you, uh, exactly, they are preventing you. Hello? Nanjama, sorry. I, I think uh, if, I, if I'm correct, the those uh, human rights people, what they are pointing out is that Nigeria army, when they go to those places like they just like they go after civilians a lot of times like they massacre civilians they no no I those, that was, that's, that's what, that there was a video i saw i follow one uh, documentation a video i saw when i just went to one community because they suspect that book around people come from that community they were just picking boys young boys just taking them killing executing them without like, what about the investigating whether they actually Kaduna? book around suspect member or not 
Uh-huh. What about yeah, the one right, that they right, told right. Kaduna yeah. because they suspect that they were Boko Haram? Yet none of those guys were Boko Haram. Yet they kill a lot of family. You don't catch people by just you know killing uh, people around. Uh, the, the, the military said that uh, you know that's what the, the military have solved it. They said there is a mistake now. So they apologize for it. They said mistake. I mean, they they, they, was, they they, you cannot make a mistake. You cannot make a mistake in such a situation like that. That's a that's a military. I mean, you you can uh, how can you you can know, you, you, you have to put it like that. If it's been repeated like that, several the people can say this is intentional like that. So you are not a military man, you are not a military man. So what are we be thinking? We are just using our own comment, our own comment to eat. So what I will do and say, let me just finish there. Because what we said is from Bono. When he was talking about what we were referring to uh, those Boko Haram that is was in Bono, you understand? He said this is what happened. He was saying it was a life interview. He said that is the problem that people who have committed, they have killed, they have killed a lot of people, they have adopted a lot of people. Now they will call them, they will call the leader. The same international community will be telling them, no, you don't have to say no, you have to kill them. Sorry for yeah. using that. We have to fight them. Like they have fired a lot of life. Why are you not spending them? Why are you not taking them to court? Because you know, one, 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 one lawyer, one do you know why? Do you know why? Do you know why United States is not calling no, out Russia? No, that is trying to talk. The I know, but you know why United States is not calling right. out. Do you know why United States or human rights is not calling out Russia or North Korea on what they are doing? Yeah, because they are not independent to them. They don't take anything from uh, them yeah. on their own. So, so what would you have to do? Why not cut the ties? Why keep taking money from them? I, I mean, it tells me you're not independent. I'm saying, uh, that's what I'm saying. They should stop. You know, because they have, they, we have to start doing our own thing. Because what is happening, let me explain why I don't like it. Because it's not because I just want people to don't keep dying. It's because, one, people with integrity, has you have to give them space to flourish in Nigeria. Because... All these people that lack integrity, if they keep flourishing because there's no death penalty, they don't have any deterrent not to do the rubbish that they do. What you are going to do is, uh, even the ones that have integrity, you corrupt them too to become corrupt. So, you see, all these subtle things that they do to us is partly the reason why our uh, societies are decaying. Where you have people, a, a, a free for all corruption and impunity because there is no rule of law. And we have to start enforcing these things because they did it. Because after you do it for a while, what tends to happen is that people that appear in this in this state, you you will strengthen your institution. Because uh, you but uh, to Niger, to Niger, yeah? to Niger, what you are saying, who's going to do it? Is it not the National Assembly? Look at you. Look at Nigeria today. The ten years, the National Assembly that we have there, that they made the law that favored them, and then the one going to change it. The people that will change whatever we are want is those national assembly. Those yeah. guys, they, they are not going to change anything for us. We have to push them. You see, so we have to. If if we have to push them, let's say let the future candidate every election for four four years. Do you think we can get even in in, in six election? Can we get the one hundred and nine member only in national assembly? Talk less of we are going to three hundred and sixty nine, uh, three hundred and sixty the uh, as of red. So those are the people that will change whatever we want, whatever we want Nigeria to be. Those are the people. As to your word, even the Bible said it. He said evil, co evil communication corrupt good manners. Those people there, they must corrupt everybody that come there. Don't you see what happened to uh, Ningi? We have a Nigerian constitution. Those people were saying on camera by National Assembly constitution. Further, you have to wonder that Nigeria there is different things going on. That those people are already they are destroying Nigeria. How can they have another? Constitution that is superior than the constitution of the land. They can only no, have rules and guidelines. No, they say they have their own law. They can only have rules and guidelines. Uh, 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 exactly. No, no, and that's what I was saying that like Nigeria has. That's what I was saying that Nigeria has two systems of law. You know, Sharia law and constitutional law. Any other nobody, law. nobody has constitution that is superior to that of Nigeria. I don't know why why we are saying that. No, nobody. There is no law in Nigeria that is superior to the, the, the that of the Nigerian constitution. I have can. I have can. No way. Wait, if they say there is no law, two law. Say, wait, uh, please do the one. Let me do the Jacob. If there are law, they are they are they make their law more superior than the constitution of Nigeria. How can a elected an elected member from the Osinotoria district that was elected? By power of the populace, and a whole one man will just stay there and say by their own law, he has been suspended. Automatically, Bauchi Central to tomorrow have no representative of whatever is going on in Nigeria. That is what they mean. And go and no. look at the constitution. Look, some See, lawyer, you can't, you, can't, you, 
you can't use one freak case to say there is some other law. Two Niger, come on. Two Niger, come on. I do Niger, please. Just say you didn't follow up. Because if you follow yeah, up and I, see what I they say, I think I heard about um, some. No, not heard about it. You have to. This is the problem we have in Nigeria. Everybody will just come to talk on topic. Nobody have the idea. Nobody. That's why we only pick on ourselves. Hey, two Niger, why you say that? Because nobody have idea. And we have ten hours to be on, on the on platform, but we don't have just one hour to go over the paper, all the old see, newspaper the every day. Making, like the point I'm making, nonetheless, stands. I didn't even make any direct judgment on that case i literally said you can't use even if that stuff happened to say that law is superior to that of nigeria it, because it's just one isolated case i is isolated case. we are talking about a elected member you give me a vote to remove me to remove me for an office i'm elected i'm not a minister i was not appointed you can hire and fire a commissioner a minister i'm elected for me to for you to recall me you have to you have to go back to my to my central district for them to recall me. You know, you don't have the in, power. In, you know, there are people in prison that are innocent, even in no, the that is crime. We are talking about crime. We are talking yeah. about elected, it's different from a poison from those are crime. Some some of all these things are based on party politics, uh internal party politics. So we don't necessarily yeah, maybe they are violating the constitution. You know a lot of people violate the constitution and break the law all the time. Let's to wait, pass Sharia law as illegal wait, wait, wait. in Nigeria, wait, wait, make wait, it wait, illegal. Sir. That's wait, a crime. Minute. Go ahead. Wait one minute. Yeah, go ahead. To talk. You don't do. To the, let me ask you another question. The day the uh, president, President Chirubu, was passing the budget in in National Assembly, is that right? Whether we are singing uh, on your mandate, which are start or they're supposed to be singing the national anthem. They are supposed to be singing the national anthem. But they are saying, okay, is, is that not breaking the law in the National Assembly? That another one. I can still no, come no, up. They are, they are not breaking the law. I think they are exercising their right as a citizen. The citizen National Assembly of, of all uh, the I can go inside the National Assembly and say, All hail Niger man, all hail. I can do whatever I like. Yeah, no, 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 this is the thing mm. I was saying before. Because some people don't like to do, they just criticize for even when it's not illegal. You know, it, there's no there's no law that says <laughs> it's illegal for people to sing there. You can what are you saying to like that? You are you are you even understand what you are saying? <laughs> yes, you even understand what you are saying. <laughs> it's it's not it's more than four hundred or something, uh, four hundred or something tribe. You are singing uh, one uh, uh, allegiance that is not of Nigeria. What are you are talking about? Are, are they singing <laughs> allegiance? You know, the many all of them come to oh. news start condemning it. Even the they have the right. They have the right. Well, man, Jack, we're talking right. about crime. That, that's the argument. We're not saying it's morally right. That's not your that's point. That's talking about the moral. Yeah, you are telling me that uh, it's not. But, so but why, you're talking about crime, man. That's why we are trying to know which thing. Which thing. They have the right. See, my point is that they do have the right. We have to talk. What? What is the? What is the song of the allegiance song of Nigeria? That is what we're supposed to be asked. Not the Nigerian. But Nigerian, the people who support you will not get problem with them now. Ah. I don't have any issue with it. This is the problem we have in Nigeria. When we want to when we want to say something, we want to think because you don't support it. No, this is Nigeria for all of us. Section 39 uh, uh, 38 uh, gives everybody right to criticize government. I don't know. We're not saying we are stopping, uh, uh, stopping all. Please, some people, what I'm trying to say, some people will just take it, maybe it's a trend or you don't like. No, unless you are criticizing or constructively, you understand. If you are criticizing constructively, I don't see any how this thing. Okay. If I'm not if happy, you had said, if, if you I'm not said, happy with this thing, that is my own opinion. German, that is what German. I don't like. You know what? You're not supposed to deprive me of my own freedom. My, 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 my,
Nigeria, you know what would be constructive criticism is. Well, let's say you said, "What do you think about what they sang in, uh, with uh, Fortinibu?" Is it not distasteful that they were doing that stuff? You know, when Nigeria is facing all these problems, and you know, and they are rubbing it in people's faces. I would say yes. It doesn't seem like you know they were considering other people. But if you say it's illegal or stuff like that's where you uh, you are crossing the line. You see what I mean? So I'm not saying that. You talking about crime? When, when they yeah, sing, so those people, so not just sorry. Those people they sing, eh, Baba, and they shake, leg, they shake. Baba, we know well. It's the way that doesn't use to commit crime. Now that was ah, funny. No, that's that, 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 that was that, people outside. That was yeah. not National Assembly. That was not. Yeah. That was not Nigeria. National Assembly. That is not Nigeria as well. All the old tribe called. That was people in the street. Not the old tribe. Yes, uh, every every tribe is. So, so what are you saying? Where, where between the book and how you would try? What are you saying? I tried and they do for there. Yeah, the man no, is no, no man. Like man, 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 man. Where that place represents? That place represents. The, I'm no, telling you what no, it represents. No, 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 no. Every tribe there is represented there in the national assembly. See, what they did there, what, what they did in that place, they can do it in the House of Congress in America. They can do it in the House of Commons. It's there's. It's no. How can that be illegal? It's not illegal. You can place one person. Like I, I think in the in the House of uh, in the UK here, I've heard them sing um, uh, "Jolly is a good fellow." I think I've seen that too. So it's not. It's not a big deal that somebody Jolly sang this song. Fellow for, it's for who? It's, it's, it's uh, for, for somebody. Who? For somebody, uh, they were singing for somebody in the House of Commons. They, they were just like, uh -huh, but okay, that song belongs to who? Um, it's it's for everybody. It's, okay. It's, 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 See what you are saying. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. We have to let her come in at one point, guys. Hold on now. Wait, we have to come. We have to let her come in. But how are you there? But well, before you come in, let me say this real quick. Najama, you have to understand in politics. Is uh, opposition versus uh, the supporter. So the president is there to represent those that uh, supported him. You understand? Now okay, he's not going to violate. He, hold on, hold on. He's not going to violate the right of anybody, but he has a right to represent those that supported him. And if those that uh, support him Nigeria. don't have problem with that. He doesn't have to cater for those that don't support him. He doesn't uh, have to cater. He doesn't care. Let, let's hear from her. Sir. Let's hear from her before he rests. Are you for real? Uh, go ahead. Uh, How are you there? His mic is not even. He's good. muted, man. Uh, Maybe he doesn't know he's muted. Are you there, bro? He's muted, though. The guy's muted. Uh, uh, if he yeah. is there, he would have started talking by now. He knows how to. Uh, he just responded to me now. Uh, we were there, bro. The cost problem for Nigeria. <laughs> Did he respond to you or is Judy? Judy looks like it's no, 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 the guy on and responded. Yeah, allow out, man. He, he's probably sleeping. This is early morning in London, so you know. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but but see, if we have if we are going to criticize Tinubu, we need to criticize him precisely. Like earlier on when I was criticizing him today, and Ajale Goko was trying to defend him, only for him to find himself in a uh, this in you have to go. With data and be precise about. Do you it. know that Ajani Goku is the one that criticizes Tinubu here the most? I don't know. Yeah, I, know, I, know I know. he does. I, but today do, he was. Do, do you think Ajani Goku is a Tinubu guy? No, no, no. I know two Niger was calling me tribal. Yeah, yeah. That's why I was surprised. Now, that like, if you were someone else, you were accusing two Niger. I probably would have. You don't know two Niger. That's how I was wondering. Ajani Goku of all people. You know, to be fair, when someone doesn't agree with two Niger, you got you got also support in the group, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To be fair, while I was criticizing Ajani Goku, I I knew I was criticizing one of the most level-headed guys here. So, <laughs> yeah. no, 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 that's true because he is, he's, he tries to be as fair as possible. But he no, wasn't I coming was... from the tribal position at all, but you just like he just no, 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 he he was, I, I was listening to you guys for a long I, time. What, then... is, what is Oscar Blackstone? What have I done to you today? No, <laughs> no, 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 I'm just talking about between that, that argument you had with him earlier. And yeah, so no, no, Mike, he just Mike, kept accusing. I'm like, ah, Mike, why are you doing Mike, that? Mike, 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 I'm talking about this guy in the chat, you know, because he, he Oscar Blackboard, you're my man now. Why are you? Uh, you said uh, there is two law in Nigeria, Sharia law and uh, this uh, constitution. Abi, wait, why yeah. are people why are people so at uh, toxic about uh, Sharia law in your own states in Nigeria? Is it Sharia law that they was operating there? Mm -mm, no. And so why are you worried about another person who you are not worried about your home? No, I'm, I'm not worried because, because what I'm saying. Is, so why must I be worried with uh, Sokoto? What is happening, Sokoto? 
Uh, what what I'm saying is that you cannot you cannot have two separate laws in the same but country. But it's not only on their own traditional way. way. It's, let me yeah, say but, one. But people but are people wait, wait, moving. People wait, wait, wait. Other people from issues different are states. Issues. Wait. People, people from other people from different states are moving. How can you go? In you in America, you are in UK. Yeah, in UK. Yeah, in UK. Yeah. If you marry to a white man or any citizen. What you your tradition, what you like to eat, that is what they will ask you. If you go and visit the white, but if you don't eat that, they will tell you, tell you the ingredient. If you don't eat it, if you are you are allergic to it, if it's against your tradition, even those you want to pray, they give you your have your right, respect your tradition, respect your right. Why Nigeria? Let me ask respect you a question. Right? Do you know why? Do you know why that lady? Do you know why that lady? There's some people. Do you know why that lady? Killing oh, people. Man. That is uh, saying somebody went to. We say somebody is a witch, and then we burn that person to to death. Kill that person. Whose law are they using in those states? Oh, okay. But that's traditional law. Maybe you are right. Okay. I mean, but I mean, okay. why, why, why are they complaining about but, other people? Oh, where those people are not no, no, they are complaining. They are complaining because if you kill someone under traditional law, you, the constitutional law is crazy. It's a crime. So they so they condemn you for it. But on in Sharia law. Those things, some of them, they don't get condemned by the constitutional law. You know, I mean, only few, but some of them don't. So that's a big problem to have two separate laws, a constitutional law and a Sharia let law. Let me tell you, like Deborah, Deborah, eh, the people that, uh, by Deborah, to, you know, you know they, they never prosecuted to tomorrow. What happened? The IPO that tell those people that charge them to, to court, he charged them to court. The matter was was adjourned for more than I mean, more than one year, be two years. There Those you go. Never, they never show back again. Every there time you they go. call the case, yes. they never show. Every time they call, how do you want the judge to to not persecute those people? He have to discharge them. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I mean, come on. If that happened in the south, wouldn't you think? Wouldn't you think it would have been a different story? Why is it depression? If people are the one causing confusion in Nigeria, what is Nigeria? Why are you both getting all this? Because you just ate one part for nothing, doing nothing. <laughs> Everybody just wants to condemn the old Muslim, condemn the old North Anna. For what? One, one thing I like about Nigeria man, is that okay. you know, they, they tell you, you are very, very a kind of intuitive and rational with the way you think about stuff. It's funny how some people just, I don't know why some Nigerians uh, like that. In my, in my own state, before they were killing. The kid, if, if, if the kid, uh, di, uh, Eba, I don't want to put it, they will kill about several human to, because of one person dead. What, what law is that? I uh, even to today now, there are places in the south. If you, you no, saw uh, the king, you don't just want make to make it alive. Uh, you know, uh, this, uh, if, uh, you know, 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 you are saying, some people want to tell you, wait, my please. So I don't want to tell you if I go to North and I cannot go and sell beer, they are collecting money for beer. The sugar cane, the wheat, the everything they are using to do that beer. Where is it coming from? Is it not from the north? And they're not paying tax too. People should think yeah, exactly. where they have to think where. Somebody told you this is not what I want. You are in abroad. They will tell you, don't, don't, don't drink in this street. So you will not say because you pay tax here. Then you buy the beer here in UK. You must drink it that state because when you see the Niger, food, uh, Niger, 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 I, agree, I agree. I agree with you. Even in United States, the laws are different. The federal law passed. They pass a law, and other states have the right to refuse or accept it. In a different state, drugs is legal. In another state, it's illegal. In so, illegal. I, mean, I, want, I, don't, I wanted to price. tell you a place like yeah. UK. Yeah, you understand. So people yeah, should not be in those in Nigeria. Okay, if you don't go to Saudi Arabia now, okay, because you have been paying tax for them for ten years. You go and take their loan in the bank, then you will not go and use it to open beer parlor. You will not tell them, hey, you, are you not paying a tax here? Yeah? Respect people's law, respect their tradition. That is the problem we have in Nigeria. Nobody wants to respect this one. This one to be superior than this one. This is their law. You know, you know the if I go to the, class, the, they tell me they don't drink beer here. Yeah. I will not drink beer there. That is their the law. Drama, you, know, you know the people I can't stand? No. People that will, that will, that will be complaining about. Uh, 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 or uh, something being victim in other people's region, like you are complaining that this way they do things, just like you said. Ah, this way they do things in the in the in the north, bros. 
why you go there? Even if you can't, if you can't deal with the way they do their own thing, don't go to their space. Don't go there, man. It's not like they come to your own space. They come to violate you your own space. Obviously, you go no, they go violate their religion. Things they violate their religion. Uh, no, they claim they be Mm. No, so when I, I know that the limit. So, so, I I I so, so, so it's not only the full and people that commit crime in Nigeria, right? Every trap could be crime. I trap commits crime. Oh, okay. There Every you go. You are the right man. Everybody exactly. that says his trap is crime. There is, there is a okay. What about the woman that 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 that, that buy two children and cook them and eat? Yeah. He said, <laughs> oh, it's oh, oh, what my God. That? Oh my God. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, that's is that not more than the, the person that said, Don't sell beer in my street? Yeah. You're all two things, you fry them and cook them with the pot, everything. What? So, what are we saying? That's hardcore stuff. Huh? You know, what are we saying? We just want to focus on the north, everybody. I don't know where they will bring propaganda yeah. for how many years. Just the north. I don't know how the north is their problem of Nigeria. You have a governor in your state, you have your rep, you have your senator, you have your house of assembly, you have your local government chairman. Why can, are they can, not you guys your me now? Yeah. can you guys hear me now? Yeah, yeah, loud yeah, and clear. yeah, okay. Give me five minutes. I'll, I'll, I'll be with you in five minutes. Okay, shame. I'll, I'll be gone by the time he returns anyway. I mean, uh, you don't have to wait for all right, two minutes, two minutes. <laughs> yeah. But I, I wanted to ask you, I wanted yeah, to ask away, you, don't run away from me. Don't run away. From uh, me. No, 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 it's not from you. You know, I've been here for a while. Sorry. Um, the, I wanted to ask Mike a question uh, just in case, or ask everybody actually. Um, in which year, or not year, or how long do you think it would take for Nigeria to have anything remotely like what Israel has, that their defense shield that they have? Talking <laughs> uh, about their, their technology. Yeah, yeah, like how long <laughs> it is. Remember, it remember, remember their life. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you uh, kind of think, uh, <laughs> I, 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 I can begin to give you number, but you haven't even started using your head. <laughs> yeah, give you me you <laughs> <laughs> you have not you have not been able to solve the small problems that you have like no, 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 I mean, <laughs> <laughs> problem all these ones are ah, to Niger. No, come on I man you have to never get like get water you never get like you want to build the iron dome you they talk about nuclear like your mouth too big man i'm saying i don't know what you are saying you are saying my mouth is too big man to think like that. Honestly, I'm not thinking like that. Otherwise, we are dead. Like, I never build power plant for your village. Can you build a ball? Who do you know? Can you build a ball? Give me two billion dollars. I'll build that. I tell you. But the question I ask you, though. How long do you think it will take us? I know we have electrical problem, but you must see a future where Nigeria will get out of this mess. So how long? Not this generation. Not this generation. Not this generation. is twenty years. So how long do you think? Not this. In twenty years' time, we are not there. We are not solving electric problem alone. I know electric. You want go push? That is why they will push CCTV. No one is working. Go push solar. The end of the solar way not reach one month or die through way. We are so mysterious. Are you are you saying okay? Twenty years, thirty years. Do you think we'll be there in thirty years? To Nigeria, too small. Wait, wait, maybe over a hundred years to Nigeria. Oh over a hundred years. Take it. Mother, 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 mother. Because no, we still have no, a long way to go. Let me say this, man. You see what you've just said just now. Just means we are dead. Because of if course. you don't have that by that time, we will be dead people. Uh, so, of course, now we are not. Uh, we have been coming. We have been coming since uh, how many centuries? No light. No, since um, Niger, development is coming now. But, but for, now, Niger, Niger, for now, come and feed on us. No, no to Niger, the happen. only time Africans were better was when the Europeans were still controlling Africa. Yeah, that was yeah, when they were beating us. Yeah, they were yeah, whipping, yeah, that was when they were whipping yeah, us in the back to control yeah, yeah. Yeah. From all these things. Right, right, right. Julia, Julia, can you mute now? I'm back. I'm back. You know, back. You know back. It's, like, it's like when an arm robber comes to rob you while they are there, it's that's the time things are better for you. Come on. Okay. Okay. To Niger. To Niger. Uh, let me start from where Mike left. Mike is 100% right. Chile will owes his constituent. That's what people are voting him in. That goes to every leader in the world. Also, obviously, he's the entire nation. But the people that voted in as a uh, president, he's the one that he owes first. Because they're the one that handed over the 
the keys to it, right? That's one. Uh, Jude, you contradict yourself as you speak all the time. I don't understand why you, you, you do that. It's, uh, you don't sound good. Because you said, why there's Sharia law, you know, in, in the north, or uh, and then obviously the, the, the Sharia law is more supreme than the than the um, than the uh, Nigerian law. You know that's not true. Even in America, as they pointed out to you, that you have certain states that have certain laws, right? I don't support it, but that's the uh, reality. We have moved past that. We have all agree. We have moved past that. Make your point, man. Uh, all right. Okay. All right. Just let me speak, man. Listen to me. First of all, Julie, I'm disappointed in you. Number one, you flip flop. Your loyalty is very, very vague, right? You, you are very kind and no every, one politician, and... every politician flip flops, man. You don't stick to the same point. No, you're not. Once your point you're, has been you're, you're, once your point has been debunked, once your point has been debunked and it's not good, you have to you have to recheck your points. Every politician does, even Obama, who was a, a plus a, a, a politician, he flip flops sometimes. No, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm you have to. No, I'm talking about, okay, first of all, hands up, I'm the most expensive guy on Kaiser show ever, yeah? 300 oh, come dollars. on, man, this is not Kaiser, man, this is, this is, this is one man wins to more. I mean, if, if, if you want to talk about Syria, you'll like, tell us about what is happening in Syria, Oh man, this guy um, lives in London and, and have one of the worst network. Come on, man, you don't even have a better network to to talk on this panel, man. Come on. Do you guys have you guys have Obama phone? Do you guys have poor network in London as well? What's going on? I thought that was a first world country. We have Hello. good network here in UK. We have good network here. Eh? Nigeria, which part of London are you? Are you in Tottenham? <laughs> uh, that ghetto part. Which one they call it? Sir? Not London. Yeah, Peckham. 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 They, they have that their Peckham place where they sell all that African food stuff on the road. You know, it's Nigeria, like Africa. They, is that where you are? <laughs> no, I'm not in Peckham now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Peckham, I'm man, man. Like that, <laughs> man, No, I'm not in Peckham. Peckham is terrible, man. I, Nigeria has got what, that what, what, Wait, wait, wait. What, what, is it? what are the things that... What, what are the bad things that go on there? Like, is it compared no, to no, the no, US? No, no, like, no. no, 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 no that's one. Like, it's not about crime. <laughs> because of the, the environment, yeah, it's like mushing. They, they mess it up a bit. I don't know why everywhere Nigerians go, they go with these, uh, some of these uh, traits where they leave a lot of rubbish everywhere. I don't know how, what, how it happens even. I, I really don't understand it. But Peckham looks quite dirty when I saw it on the, this thing the other day. Um, you know, so it's just what it is. Just like Nigeria, Nigeria is messed up, man. You guys, haven't you been to some part of Nigeria? It's like, oh my God, this place is dirty. It's ridiculous. Am, am, I, am, I, am I clear to you guys? Mark, you know, Mark, you, you know that kind of place they sell uh, goat head in the market, like Bodija market? They will show you the street. Uh, all, of the day, all of the day, they're like that. Mike, Mike, can you hear me now? Is that clear or not? Yeah, oh, we can hear you. Oh, oh, stop this, stop okay. man. Mike, send this guy to the back chat, man. This guy. Ah. <laughs> Julia, ah, you got to fix yeah, your yeah. internet, Julia. man. Yeah. No? Okay, okay. Yeah, we I'll, can I'll, hear you now. We can hear you now. I'll, okay, okay. I'll move. <laughs> Julia, stop, stop your village mentality, man. But anyway, I, I live in the UK. Yeah, the internet, some areas is bad. Some areas is actually uh, quite good, as you can tell. But I live in one of the most prestigious cities, by the way. Unfortunately, the United is not really that good where I am. Um, where you yeah, live? You live in Watford, right? Or Liverpool? No, no. Liverpool is dusty, bro. Nasty. I live in Bristol. To Niger, tell them where Bristol is. Have you been to Bristol, mm. to Niger? Mike, Mike, you forget that people that live in London. London is not even up to a stadium in the United States. It's a uh, small town, man. A city like no, Houston no. is bigger than the whole United Kingdom. You know, no, Lon I London mean, is the biggest. <laughs> London is the biggest city in the UK. Don't forget that. But, it's yeah, not but what I'm saying is, a city here in the United States is bigger than the whole United Kingdom. A city here in the United States. So uh, you know, is a is yeah, London, London bigger than New York? London mm. bigger than New York. There's some cafe, man. You talk so much rubbish, bro. Honestly. But anyway, London, um, what, I'm, what I'm trying to say is the problem we have in Africa is, um, you know, the people are not supportive towards their leaders sometimes, but sometimes the leaders are not supportive towards their people. It's lack of trust. And also, we have a lot of puppets out there 
that you know have a different legion instead of having a legion to their people they have legion towards outsiders you know so it is a problem if you come to power yeah you're not coming to power to solve your, your people's problem but you come into power to solve the people that sponsored you to be in power is a problem you know but it's having a balance you know because every country in the world or every political party have lobbies that give them money you know to get to power you know it's not limited to nigeria or africa but however when you get to power you need to obviously pass a law for the lobbies you know to benefit from but that's what they do they buy laws lobbies buy laws the population install leaders yeah so by the time they they actually finish their tenure you realize they actually are spending more time legislating for their lobbies instead of their population so this is a balance that needs to be uh, done, you know, for the, um, you know, uh, by our leaders in Africa. I don't think they know how to do it well. But looking at what's going on in the current situation in Nigeria, I think, me, as, as I said from the beginning, I haven't changed my mind. I think Tinubu is the right person and he's doing the right things. And even though there's a massive chunk of the population in Nigeria do not, that do not support him and they don't want him to succeed, and they're going to they're gonna regret because at the end of the day, by the end of his tenure, he's going to do great. And he's going to do good for, for the people that voted him in. Because look at the Naira policy at the moment. Look how the, the, the Naira has gained value. When the Naira fell, they were all bashing him. And now the Naira uh, rose, you don't see the same people that was criticizing coming on the internet and say, oh, wow, he done so well. So we should back off. He ain't going to do that. This is the problem with our, our African people also. We're from 640. Sorry? From 640, you say this Naira is dropping. What are you no, saying? No, no, no. Now the Naira is gained, the Naira has gained value, yeah? They're not doing anything about, they're not saying anything good about that, right? Well, the Nubu administration met it in 640. In, in 20, uh, 29th of May last year, not a year. And the month is corrupt out of 23. What are you saying here, man? Well, he, he have to regain Even value, right? The problem is not, it's not getting any, it's not like the way he met it. So, till he gave more than there to 300 before you give him a grace on that, okay? No, well, right, okay, that's true. Okay, you, 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 okay. I, okay, until he get to where he was, but at the end of the day, he's actually rising. I'm just giving it a good example of how people should support leaders in Africa. If they do well, support them. If they do bad, criticize them. That's how we should do it. But the reality is they don't do that. They tend to just criticize their leaders, you know, and not supporting their leaders. And also, it's lack of patriotism in the country, and most African countries, is a problem. And if you come to the West, yeah, people are more patriotic towards their nation, regardless of what they're going through. You know, they will actually love their country, and they do certain things. And when people are patriotic in a, in a nation, it will actually sprinkle down to the average man, because... You cannot, you cannot tell, you cannot tell a, a guy that is going through hunger to be patriotic. You cannot tell a guy that is going through famine to be patriotic. You cannot tell a guy that his family has yeah, just been yeah, kidnapped yeah, or killed yeah, yeah, to be yeah. patriotic. The most, Come on, the man. Most it makes no sense. No, 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 you hold on. The most patriotic person in the UK is the average working class Joe in the council estate living in poverty. But they love their nation, they love their people, they want to fight for their country. Yeah, the average man that got money, the middle class, they are not patriotic at all. What are you talking about? Stop talking rubbish, man. Yeah, the reality is the people, patriotism doesn't come to who give you money and put money in your pocket. That's a bitch mentality. If you love your nation, you would like it to work. So you will actually work with your leader and you work with what you got and build on it. Not just sitting there and criticizing them you know, for what they're doing to make things work for you. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. But, but do you know, do you know, as a citizen, you have yeah. the right to criticize? And let me, yes, uh, let me, let me, you, let, me come, let me yes. come this way. Yes. Even the big money, he said, human need are dissatisfiable. You can never say, even the government is doing well. You can never say, yes, you are doing well. You only say, your good is good, but is your good is not uh, is not uh, your best is not good enough. You want them to do more because if you tell the government that you are say doing that, well, they will arrest. 
say that that's that's true you can say that that's true but you cannot keep uh, criticizing the government why are you doing nothing but about the it spent out of uh, two percent criticizing or three percent and judge the old nation people everybody must not think the same you have if to you know that those people are criticizing is not to it's not to ten percent of the population so they mean nothing what? Okay, good. Okay, I hope so. I hope so because people are most people are criticizing Africa. They don't pay tax. They do nothing to help the government move forward. All they do is go online and criticize. The one, the one we have been paying. What are they doing? What are they using it for? So don't go. Exactly. You are not giving the point, man. No, the one we have been paying. What are they using it for? I, I've seen a lot of infrastructure going up in Nigeria in the last uh, but, but ten years. Mr. Pastor, tell me how in Nigeria. Tell me. Tell me the state. And and what I've seen, um, uh, Ebony State is one of them. And no, that was the, all, that was the former governor there. What he did there? All governors in Nigeria collect money from the central uh, government. You know, equally the same. Some of them don't invest in uh, the money in their local state as they're supposed to. Some so of them that, do. The that, that is the responsibility. The responsibility of uh, of who to find that. Why is the EFCC there? Why is the ICPC there? Why the bureau uh, bureau of, uh, bureau of conduct is there? What are they doing? What is their job? They are criminal. I don't, so I, that I don't see the citizens. I, the FCC, I, I you don't. see a governor that ruled for eight years, siphon money, know how much that go to the to, to, to their coffer, and they, they didn't do no. anything up to ten percent of that money, and you leave them to go. Go and, blame, go and blame your local governor and your local politician, and leave the central government alone because they are allocating the fund to 